Web novel fanfiction TG the good. The latest of the latest. Chapter 134 Confirming that the direction pursued by the Void Chaos Beasts was the same as he guessed, he was stunned. After thinking about it, he was still right. How did the last Void Chaos Beast report the news? Was it just based on its last roar? But that roar could only be transmitted one or two hundred meters at most. And the previous battlefield was at least several kilometers away from the mountains. He was really powerless to complain that the news was successfully reported. I don't know what level of beast this void chaos beast is, but it is so awesome. It is completely omnipotent. Yi Xiaotian hesitated, wondering whether he should rush out now. To be honest, the more he understood the abilities of the Void Chaos Beasts, the more uncertain he was. Various magical abilities, I don't know if they have been shown yet. However, time is running out, and there is no more time for him to waste here. So he rushed over with the large group of Void Chaos Beasts without hesitation. Three kilometers away from the Chaos Beast's nest, the battle begins. Yi Xiaotian did not rush directly. Instead, he followed behind the group of Chaos Beasts, working quietly without shooting. Every time he killed a Chaos Beast, he put the body into the reincarnation space. He must not leave it behind, otherwise there would be endless trouble. Every time he killed a Chaos Beast, he could hear the prompt that his attributes increased. This is the prompt of the reincarnation system. Every time he gets a reward, there is one. But he has never heard of the reward for talent skills, which makes Yi Xiaotian very anxious. Although there are still many void chaos beasts, it is unknown how many there are in the old nest of the mountain. But good things are the safest after they are in hand. What's the use of not getting them, no matter how many there are? Congratulations to the awakened one, kill the void chaos beast, get five points of spiritual attribute, and get the talent skill void secret art. Chapter 135. Yi Xiaotian killed Void Chaos Beasts for nearly two days, but to be honest, he didn't kill many Void Chaos Beasts. After all, he had his own plans. So, his behavior did not anger the strong men in the Chaos Beasts' lair. This can be regarded as a win-win result. Yi Xiaotian didn't know what the consequences would be after luring out the Void Chaos Beasts in the mountains. Anyway, he had both the Void Secret Art and Chaos Grace, talents, so there was no need for that. Even if he killed the Void Chaos Beast King, he would only give a little more attribute bonus. With this time, it would be better to kill a few more ordinary Void Chaos Beasts here. Seeing that the time was almost up, Yi Xiaotian was ready to retreat. The second soul had also stopped hunting, found a place to sit down and rest, and waited for the time to leave the Secret Realm. In general, Yi Xiaotian's gains from this trip to the Secret Realm can be said to be huge. In just one trip to the Secret Realm, he gained six talents and skills, and they were all heavyweight and very useful. Especially the Flying Talent, the Healing Talent, and even the Heaven-Defying Talent skill of Resurrection. After one trip to the Secret Realm, Yi Xiaotian himself had completely changed qualitatively. Although the gains and attributes are far from comparable to those in the reincarnation copy, these talents and skills have already crushed. Attribute points can be brushed anywhere. But these talents and skills with special effects are not everywhere. Perhaps in this life, they can only be obtained in this Fatian secret realm. Especially the heaven-defying skill of resurrection, Yi Xiaotian had never even heard of it. Later, his second soul also asked Huang Jia and Mu Bingyan, the two direct descendants of the Awakening family, and they had never heard of it. Even asserted that there is absolutely no heaven-defying talent skill like resurrection in the world. This is not a game world, this is the real world. How could there be such a thing as resurrection? For the first time, they felt that Yi Xiaotian was also a very naive person. This brought them closer. After all, Yi Xiaotian's performance during this period was really too eye-catching. They all felt that Yi Xiaotian was not like a freshman of the same period as them. After all, Yi Xiaotian was too stable along the way. Now seeing Yi Xiaotian have such naive ideas, they all felt that Yi Xiaotian was also a young man, and he also had naive ideas of young people. 
There were two reasons why even Huang Jia and Mu Binyan had never heard of the existence of the resurrection technique. Either this kind of heavenifying skill really does not exist. Or this is top secret, so even they are not qualified to know. Or even their elders in the family are not qualified to know. In any case, Yi Xiaotian intends to use this talent skill as the last trump card, and absolutely cannot let anyone know. At the critical moment, this is a killer that can reverse the situation. Even with this talent skill, he can perform many tricks. Yi Xiaotian returned to the team and said, Okay, in ten minutes it will be time for us to leave the secret realm, but the more this time, the more careful we should be. He always felt that things were not over yet. However, until the time ran out, they left the secret realm and returned to the school's secret realm building, and no accidents happened. Is there really no accident, or did the other party not find an opportunity? Yi Xiaotian didn't think clearly. But he was sure that the next summer camp would definitely not be so stable. But now he is not worried, and he also wants to see what the other party can do. If he can encounter more beasts with special talents and skills in the secret realm, he should thank the alien race and the heretic organization for making trouble. Dear students, everyone will go back to rest next. The details will be notified again. Everyone, please disperse. Director he looked at the reduced number of students with a heavy heart. Many strange things happened during this trip to the secret realm, which forced them to think more. Whether the summer camp should continue is also a question. In this trip to the Fatian secret realm, students from each of the four famous schools died in it. Although the summer camp has a death index, this kind of death is very abnormal now. If one or two people die in each school, it is still within the controllable range. But if the death toll reaches double digits, it is abnormal. If the three secret realms in the next summer camp are still like this, or even more serious losses occur, such a result is definitely not something they can bear. So they have to report this matter. As for whether the next summer camp should continue, this needs to be considered at a higher level. Everyone left the secret realm building, and Yi Xiaotian led people to the villa area. Sun Yao followed. Now they are all members of a team, so they naturally have to live together and cultivate each other's tacit understanding. This was already agreed when they were in the secret realm. Unexpectedly, they were stopped by someone before they walked far. Shanae Oh, what do you want to do again? Isn't it painful enough to be beaten in the secret realm? Yi Xiaotian said. Upon hearing this, Shen Ao's face turned purple, and he couldn't say the words he had prepared before. One sentence broke his defense and made him speechless. Yi Xiao Tian, don't be so arrogant. This is not the secret realm, but the magic city. Mo Qian spoke for Shen Ao at this time. Oh, what? Back to the magic city, are you going to threaten me again? Yi Xiao Tian said. Mo Qian shrugged and said, I'm not threatening. I'm just telling the truth. Classmate Yi Xiaotian, as the saying goes, a man of insight is a hero. To be honest, we are also fighting for pride in the secret realm. As long as you return Sun Yao, we won't bother with you. How about it? Not so good. Yi Xiaotian refused directly, what do you think of Sun Yao? She is our friend, a comrade in arms who can trust each other. She is not a commodity in your hands. You can give her away if you want and take her back if you want. These words made Mo Qian blush. I was stimulated. Yi Xiaotian, you are too arrogant. This is the magic city, our territory. Be careful not to fall down when you walk at night. Wu Yan also spoke at this time. Yi Xiaotian glanced at him and said, I can see at night now, so I won't fall down. You should be careful. Yi Xiaotian, do you really want to go against us? Shen Ao stared at Yi Xiaotian and said, he was at the edge of patience. It's not that I want to go against you, but you are deliberately picking on me. Yi Xiaotian said calmly. Okay, let's wait and see, I want to see how long you can be proud. Shen Ao said, and left immediately. The classmates next to them saw that they had another conflict, some stayed to watch the fun, and some left quickly, fearing that they would get into trouble. Chapter, 136 In Shen Ao's heart, Yi Xiaotian is already a dead person. 
In his age, no one has ever failed him so many times. When he was in Fatian's secret realm, he even cut off his arm. Fortunately, not many people know about this matter. As the saying goes, there is no airtight wall in this world, and this matter will spread sooner or later. Therefore, Yi Xiaotian and his team must die. The reason why he wanted to get Sun Yao back was because he didn't want her to die because of it. After all, it is really not easy to find an S-level healing auxiliary power user. But he also saw Sun Yao's performance before. Rather than asking for someone from Yi Xiaotian, it is better to say that it depends on Sun Yao's attitude. If Sun Yao also strongly demands to return to his team, it means that this woman can still be saved. Now even she herself has given up. What other reason does he have to save her? Brother Ao, I know what you want to do. Mo Qian and the others were walking on their way out of school. They must be preparing to go home. They also needed to report the situation in the secret realm to their families. You want to stop me? Shen Ao stared at Mo Qian and said. Mo Qian shook his head and said, I just want to remind you not to cause trouble in school. So what? Shen Ao said disdainfully. As long as there is no direct evidence, who dares to say that he did this? We had conflicts with Yi Xiaotian both outside and inside the secret realm. If he died at this time, what do you think everyone would think? Mo Qian reminded. Shen Ao still said disdainfully, so what? Without evidence, this matter can only be done by a heretical organization. Anyway, it's not like their family has never done this kind of thing. In other words, for every awakening family to rise, there are many dark accounts behind it. But it doesn't matter. As long as the family can rise and hide well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, there are scapegoats in the profession of heretical organizations. In recent years, have heretical organizations still taken the blame? The point is, heretical organizations are very happy with this kind of scapegoating incident. They worked hard to make a name for themselves. So Shin Ao wasn't worried at all. As long as you do it properly, everything will be fine. What happened to the school? Is school a restricted area? It was just a small team of Yi Xiaotian. They randomly sent a master over, killed them silently, and then retreated silently. Perfect. The school is not a nursery, and students also have their own privacy. Seeing Shen Ao say this, Mo Qian knew that he could not persuade him about this matter. According to his wishes, he should wait until Yi Xiaotian leaves school before taking action. In any case, doing this kind of thing in school is a serious provocation to the school. Modu University is one of the four famous universities in Xia Kingdom. Although it is slightly inferior to Qingshui and Jingqing universities in terms of strength, it is not much weaker. Otherwise, it would be impossible to have the same name. Once such a huge thing really moves, it will be very scary. Yes, without evidence, people can't do anything to you. But once Shanghai University hates you, your life will be much more difficult in the future. Why bother? But he also knew that it was impossible for Shen Ao to listen to his advice in a rage. Having grown up together since childhood, he knows very well what kind of personality the other person has. Aloof and cold. Even nine cows can't bring back what has been decided. Okay, since you have already decided, I won't say more. I hope it goes as you wish. Mo Qian said helplessly. The remaining Wu Yan and the other Sun Qing did not speak, but listened quietly. Anyway, they were used to this situation. After leaving school, the four of them went home. Modu University Villa area. It's very quiet here. It's summer vacation now, and all students above sophomore year have left school and are either going home or working part time. Back at the villa, Yi Xiaotian said to Sun Yao, there are still a few free rooms you can choose one by yourself and by your own daily necessities. We don't have many rules here. Anyway, just do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Sun Yao was a little speechless, it was really casual. And if men and women live together, wouldn't you feel a little inconvenienced? Sun Yao, we girls live upstairs, and the boys live downstairs. You can live upstairs with us. Han Xuyao saw that Yi Xiaotian was lazy, so she had to make arrangements. 
Sun Yao was relieved. She really wouldn't be used to it if there was a boy living in the next room. Although they are now children of the world, some mental habits have to be slowly changed. Okay, everyone, let's go back and have a rest first. Let's have dinner together tonight and roast rabbit. Yi Xiao Tian said with a big wave of his hand. Okay. But brother Tian, I'm not tired. I'm very excited now. How about I go prepare things for tonight? Huan Jie was the first to respond to Yi Xiaotian's call. Finally I can eat and drink to my heart's content. While they were in the secret realm, they sometimes ate barbecue. But how can it be compared to home where dangers are everywhere? Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, it's up to you. I need to take a rest anyway. My beloved, go to bed. Yi Xiaotian suddenly shouted to Han Shuyao. Han Shuyao was stunned for a moment, then smiled and said, Okay, master. Then she walked towards Yi Xiaotian, as if she was ready to sleep with him. Yi Xiaotian said with a look of disdain, You don't cooperate at all, forget it this time. After that, he fled. Don't run. Han Shuyao chased him directly. Ha ha ha. Bursts of laughter rang out in the hall, because the fatigue brought by the long battle disappeared a lot. Especially the mental pressure, it seemed to be released a lot at once. Sun Yao was a little speechless. Do these two people play like this at home? When in the secret realm, Yi Xiao Tian looked very solemn and calm. Although there was interaction between him and Han Shuyao, it was very light. It can't be seen at all that these two people are in a relationship. Don't be surprised, they are just like this, fighting and playing, you will get used to it. Chang Xiaoxi explained, come with me, I will take you to choose a room. Mu Bingyan is an ice cube, so this kind of thing can only be done by her. On the sofa in the room, Yi Xiao Tian and Han Shuyao sat together in each other's arms. Brother Tian, I think Shen Ao will definitely not give up, you'd better not leave school recently. Han Shuyao reminded Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian said, don't worry, I'm fine, I gained a lot from this trip to the secret realm. Han Shuyao smiled and didn't say anything, but she felt that Yi Xiao Tian was a little naive. That is the top awakening family in the magic city, no matter how much you gain, what can you do? Can you suddenly soar to an S-level strongman? Chapter 137 At the same time, the four famous schools and the senior officials of Xia State are holding a video conference. The topic to be discussed at this meeting is whether the summer camp should continue. This summer camp has caused many deaths and injuries among the freshmen of the four famous schools, and the schools don't know how to explain to the parents of the students. This kind of thing has never happened in previous summer camps. Also, whether the summer camp should continue, and if it continues, what measures should be taken. First of all, I think this incident should not be accidental, but a conspiracy manipulated by the heretic organization behind the scenes. Director he came up and expressed his point of view. This is not only because of Yi Xiaotian's point of view, but also his point of view. When we just entered the secret realm, so many alien beasts rioted, which was too abnormal. But as far as I know, you just encountered the alien beast riot when you just entered. Could this be an accidental incident? A school leader raised the question. Director he said, at first, we also thought it was an accidental incident. But later some students pointed out that they not only encountered a riot of alien beasts in the secret realm, but also the terrain of the secret realm was constantly changing. Terrain changes. Everyone was very confused. This kind of thing, alien beast riots, has indeed never been encountered. But the terrain changes, it seems nothing strange. Isn't it normal for the terrain in the secret realm to change? Every time you enter the secret realm, it seems to be different. Isn't this normal? Someone questioned Director He again. Director He replied, This is different. Before the secret realm was opened, the terrain of the secret realm was fixed, and the power division of each alien beast tribe was also redetermined. But this time, after we entered, the alien beasts rioted first, and when everyone wanted to return by the original route, they found that the place they were in was no longer the original place. You mean, the terrain of the secret realm is constantly moving? Someone asked. Director he said, that's about it. 
Not only at the beginning, but also students responded later that they also had this kind of thing. In fact, director he collected all this information from Yi Xiaotian. He did not doubt the information provided by Yi Xiaotian. And later, when he met other students, he confirmed that the news was correct. This is indeed a bit abnormal, but things like the constant changes in the terrain of the secret realm are not something that aliens and heretical organizations can do, right? Although heretical organizations cannot do it, and aliens cannot do it directly, but aliens can communicate with the alien beasts in the secret realm to complete it. That makes some sense. But no matter how it was done, there were aliens and heretical organizations involved. So, how did they get in? This summer camp, a large number of teachers and students from the four famous schools entered the secret realm. Which school did the heretic organization get in? Also, are the people from this heretic organization teachers or students? The summer camp has to go on. We can't give up because of this. But we can't let the heretic organizations be so rampant. No matter what means they use, no matter whether the other party is a teacher or a student, if they want to make small moves in the secret realm, there will definitely be loopholes. I hope you can conduct self-examination and self-correction, and find this person, or these people. At this time, the attendees representing the top leaders of Xia country made the final decision. This matter even reached the Supreme Sword God. He said in one sentence, if you retreat when encountering such a small matter, what future does Xia country have, and what future does the human race have? Yes, we will definitely find these heretics. The top leaders of the four famous schools all expressed their opinions. Then the people representing the top leaders of Xia country left, and the top leaders of the remaining four famous schools continued the meeting. After all, they will continue to cooperate next. These things have nothing to do with Yi Xiaotian. After he spent some time with Han Xuyao in the room, Han Xuyao went back to rest. In the evening, they prepared a barbecue party. It must be said that Huang Jia, the little fat guy, was well prepared, and he was indeed a foodie. A rich aroma filled the entire campus. An experienced teacher immediately determined that it was the aroma of ice rabbit meat. Such an aroma, once tasted, is definitely unforgettable for life. Someone in the school was roasting ice rabbit meat. Everyone's eyes were on the villa. If their guess was right, the students in the villa area were only Yi Xiaotian's team. The others had already left school. These guys just came out of the Feitian secret realm and started to enjoy themselves. It was really wrong. They didn't even invite their teachers for such a thing. I don't know where their ice rabbit meat came from. Did they buy it outside? It is said that two members of Yi Xiaotian's team are from aristocratic families and are not short of money. If the teacher is like this, the students are even more so. Such delicious food is simply challenging the limits of their taste buds. Students were attracted to the villa area one by one. But the villa area is not open to anyone, so they were stopped outside. But they were unwilling to leave. As time went by, the crowd grew larger and larger. Now, there are still several thousand freshmen waiting for the second round of summer camp in the school. Except for those who enter the world of reincarnation to brush the dungeon, the rest are probably all here. The guards guarding the villa area are also facing a great enemy. Their duty tells them that they must hold this line of defense. But in their hearts, they hate Yi Xiaotian and others. Such delicious food, but they didn't even invite them to taste it. They are really unkind. What are you doing here? Don't gather here, go back to your dormitories. If you have such time, why don't you enter the reincarnation tower to brush the dungeon and waste time here? Director He's voice came. After he finished the video conference, he was about to go back to rest. But he was also attracted by the deliciousness of the ice rabbit meat. When he saw here, he was shocked. Thousands of people gathered. This is going to happen. So he quickly spoke out to expel these gathered students. If they stay, something will definitely happen. Director he is still very deterrent to these freshmen. As soon as he opened his mouth, many students immediately left. But he looked back every three steps. Go back and brush the dungeon. If you don't work hard now, when will you stay? Also, 
the second round of summer camp is about to start. You don't have extra time to waste. Director he added. The faces of the freshmen all changed. They have already experienced the dangers of summer camp. Although they have the protection of teachers, the casualties are still far more than in previous years. At this time, improving strength is the most important thing. As for delicious food, forget it. Compared with your own life, delicious food is nothing. After the students left, director he breathed a sigh of relief, but his eyes looking at a villa inside were full of strangeness. Ungrateful bastard, you have such a good thing, but you don't even think about me. Director he scolded Yi Xiaotian in his heart. Chapter, 138 Villa No Yi Xiaotian and his friends were eating enthusiastically. It must be said that Huang Jie, a foodie, really knows how to have fun. Not only did he buy a lot of ingredients, but he also invited a professional barbecue chef. So they didn't have to work at all, just wait to eat. So when director he came in, he got even angrier when he saw this scene. These young people really know how to enjoy themselves. What's more annoying is that they didn't even inform him of such enjoyment. This is the meat of the ice rabbit. It's definitely the top delicacy. And you can tell from the actions of the barbecue chef that he is definitely professional. The ice rabbit roasted by such a professional is definitely something that no one can refuse. No wonder a thousand students gathered outside the villa area. Who can resist such a temptation? Director He, why are you here? Yi Xiaotian was the first to notice He Shi's arrival and hurriedly spoke out to greet him. He Shi said unhappily, You said it was all your fault. Look at what the whole school has become now. What happened? Yi Xiaotian was confused, and Han Shuyao looked at He Shi. He Shi coughed and said, You are grilling here, and the smell permeates the whole campus. Just now, more than a thousand students gathered outside the villa area and almost something happened. Hearing that it was so serious, Yi Xiaotian was immediately shocked. After all, more than a thousand students gathered. If something really happened, how could he bear it? I'm sorry, Director He, we didn't expect this to happen. Yi Xiaotian apologized quickly. He sure snorted coldly and said, Fortunately, I arrived in time, otherwise the consequences would be serious. Thank you, Director He, Director He, since you are here, why don't you sit down and eat together? Yi Xiaotian invited. He Shi's eyes lit up, and he said, You are a good boy, and I am not wasting my time on you. Everyone got up quickly and made room for Director He to sit in the center. He Shi was even more satisfied. It seemed that he still had a lot of weight in the hearts of these students. Director He, this is the meat of the ice rabbit, please eat. Yi Xiaotian put the roasted meat in front of He Shi on a plate. He Shi nodded and said, Okay, you guys sit down and eat too, don't worry about me. When tasting delicious food, it's better not to disturb it, just eat quietly by yourself, isn't it delicious? Seeing that He Shi didn't mean to be polite, Yi Xiaotian followed suit, quickly sat down next to Han Shuyao, and then ate a lot. After eating for a while, He Shi finally remembered something and asked, where did you get the meat of the ice rabbit? Did you go out and buy it yourself? He couldn't bear to buy such expensive meat. No, we hunted them from the Fatian secret realm. Yi Xiaotian replied. What? He sure was shocked. There are actually ice rabbits in the Fatian secret realm? How come he never knew about this? Director He, don't you know? Yi Xiaotian asked when he saw Director He's shocked expression. He sure shook his head and said, I don't know. I have never seen or heard of it before. The most numerous and most common exotic beast in the Fatian secret realm is the Sky Golden Eagle. Beasts are very rare. Even if you open the secret realm once, you may not be able to see a beast. After hearing what He sure said, Yi Xiaotian and his friends were stunned. Are beasts hard to see? But they saw a lot. There are already hundreds of ice rabbits alone. Later, they encountered other beasts. However, speaking of it, the most numerous group they have seen is indeed the Sky Golden Eagle. At the beginning, the Sky Golden Eagle group that covered the sky and the sun was not an exaggeration to say that there were tens of thousands of them. 
Director he did not think much and said, you are so lucky to meet this ice rabbit in there. This ice rabbit meat is really a delicacy. But the meat of this ice rabbit is very expensive. Have you ever thought about selling it? He sure added. Yi Xiaotian explained, I have thought about it, but considering that the meat of this ice rabbit can increase physical attribute points, I kept it for myself. He sure looked at the other students who were eating voraciously and sighed. The meat of this ice rabbit is indeed delicious and can increase attributes. But don't they know that if they sell the meat and exchange it for other resources, they can improve more attributes? Young people. But it's like this, there's no point in saying these things. So he didn't ruin the atmosphere and continued to eat. This meat seems to be a lot, enough for them to have a big meal. After this meal, I don't know when I will eat ice rabbit meat next time. After a hearty meal, he sure felt a little embarrassed to take advantage of his students, so he said to Yi Xiao Tian, Xiao Tian, I will find a chance to reconcile your conflict with Shen Ao and others. Also, we will enter the next secret realm in two days, so you should stay in school for the next two days and don't go out. Leaving this reminder, he sure left Yi Xiaotian's villa. The barbecue dinner tonight has also come to an end. After letting Huang Jie send the barbecue chef away, Yi Xiaotian said, everyone get ready tonight and go to the dungeon. But brother Tian, our sea level team dungeon has been cleared. Han Shuyao frowned. Yi Xiaotian said, just do it again after you finish. Han Xu Yao still frowned and said, but we have already received the super god reward. If the evaluation is lower, there will be no reward at all. Even if you get the super god evaluation again, the reward will only be 1% of the previous one. Hasn't Sanya done it yet? Besides, 1% is also a reward. Yi Xiao Tian said so. Han Xu Yao stopped struggling and said, okay, I have no problem. I'm just worried that God Haotian will not be willing. I have no problem either. Others said they had no problem. Yi Xiaotian said, I will take care of God Haotian. I believe he should not be disgusted. After all, he cannot do a higher level team dungeon and there is no other source of points. Everyone heard that this was indeed the truth. In fact, in Yi Xiaotian's heart, he definitely wanted to do a higher level team dungeon. But on the one hand, the means of the alien race have failed now, and the number of monsters in the dungeon has dropped sharply. In addition, the number of people is too small, and the number of monsters will also decrease. So after thinking it over and over again, he decided to take Sun Yao through the dungeon first. Although the points reward is only 1%. But a mosquito leg is still meat no matter how small it is. Moreover, in addition to the points reward, there are also additional attribute points reward, 100 is not too much, not too little. Besides, Yi Xiaotian is in urgent need of life essence now. There is no chance to kill more monsters outside, so he can only rely on the reincarnation copy. Chapter, 139 Samsara Square Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao were waiting here. Brother Tian, will the great god Haotian really come? Han Xuyao said hesitantly. In her opinion, it was a complete waste of time for the great god Haotian to brush the second dungeon. After all, after being used to eating big fish and meat, it would definitely be unaccustomed to go back to pickled vegetables and steamed buns. Moreover, for a person like the great god Haotian, time is so precious, how could he waste it here? He will come, everyone wait a little longer, the great god Haotian said he is working in the Awakener Association and will come soon. Yi Xiaotian answered Han Xuyao's question and comforted the others. Especially Sun Yao, she was even more nervous. That was the great god Haotian. The dungeons with him were all super god evaluations and the highest rewards. Now she knew why Yi Xiaotian and his team were so powerful. If she also got the highest reward every time for the team dungeon, brushing from F level all the way to C level, she could also be so powerful. In just over 10 days, he went from an awakening freshman to a sea level awakener. Only Haotian God can do this. There has never been such a precedent in the history of awakening. Others are one step ahead, but you are many steps ahead. How can this be compared? Sun Yao was originally a quiet girl, but now she couldn't help but swear in her heart. 
I didn't expect these teammates to do such a big thing quietly. I am really lucky to join this team and be able to hug Houtian God's thigh. I just don't know who this Houtian God is. Not long after, a figure came over, covered in a black robe, holding a very ordinary staff in his hand. Houtian God. Everyone greeted him. Sun Yao was shocked, is this Houtian God? But this is too ordinary. The black robe on his body is not a special equipment, and the staff in his hand is also the most ordinary novice staff. Is Houtian God so poor? Or does he disdain to use better equipment? God Houtian, let me introduce you to a new friend, Sun Yao, a healing psychic. Yi Xiao Tian introduced. Sun Yao hurriedly said, God Houtian, hello, I really admire you too much. Seeing Sun Yao's eyes shining, Mu Bingyan beside her became a little anxious. God Houtian said in a calm voice, Let's go. After that, he went directly to the Hall of Samsara. God Houtian is so cold. Sun Yao said to Chang Xiaosi. Chang Xiaosi said, You will get used to it after a few more contacts. Have you always been in dungeons with God Houtian? Sun Yao asked. Chang Xiaosi nodded and said, Yes, I was lucky. At the beginning, Brother Tian knew God Houtian, and then he always took us to brush team dungeons. I really envy you. Sun Yao said sincerely. Chang Xiaosi smiled and said, What's there to envy? Aren't you enjoying such treatment now? Sun Yao smiled and said, Yes, I have to thank God Houtian for lowering his status to take me to the dungeon. He didn't take you to the dungeon on purpose. Suddenly, Mu Bingyan's voice rang in their ears. Sun Yao and Chang Xiaosi looked at Mu Bingyan, only to see that there was still no expression on her face. She directly passed them and went to the Samsara Hall. What does she mean? Sun Yao was a little unsure. Chang Xiaosi sighed and said, she has someone in her heart. Mu Bingyan's thoughts on God Houtian, she and Han Xuyao knew. Women's intuition in this regard is still very sharp. It's just that God Houtian has always been elusive and has never made any special expressions to Mu Binyan. So they can't understand these two people. Not to mention that Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao can be together every day. Other couples or friends can at least communicate on their mobile phones. But when he came to Houtian God and Mu Binyan, he could not see them except when he was doing dungeons. Even when he was doing dungeons, he did not talk more than three sentences. These two people are really the best of the best. What's more pitiful is that Mu Binyan did not even add Houtian God as a friend in the reincarnation world. Chang Xiaosi really admired her very much. After listening to Chang Xiaosi's explanation, Sun Yao was also sighing. To be honest, she really just worshipped Houtian God and had no other thoughts. Mu Binyan was really worrying too much. At least, at this stage, she was worrying too much. Just now, he didn't even see Houtian God's appearance clearly. Shrouded in a black robe, he didn't know what this great God was thinking. Is he afraid that the heretic organization would recognize him, so he deliberately disguised himself? This is very likely. A group of people entered the reincarnation hall. Sun Yao, where did your team copy go? Yi Xiao Tian turned around and asked Sun Yao. Sun Yao blushed and said, Brother Tian, I haven't played a team dungeon yet. Never played it. Yi Xiao Tian was very surprised and said, Not really. Sun Yao blushed and said, Before, because the difficulty increased greatly, we didn't come in to waste time and stayed in the training camp. Later, because of the summer camp, we postponed it again. Yi Xiao Tian was also speechless and said, Okay, then let's start with the F level team dungeon, Master Houtian, how about it? The great god Houtian nodded, without saying anything, maintaining his aloof personality. Yi Xiao Tian almost forgot about this just now. Yi Xiao Tian didn't waste any words, and directly chose to enter the F level team dungeon, choosing the normal difficulty. A flash of light, a team of people entered the dungeon. Houtian walked towards the battlefield with his staff. Sun Yao also wanted to follow, Chang Xiaosi held her back and said, Just stay here, save time. What do you mean? Sun Yao didn't understand. Chang Xiaosi said, The great god Houtian will take care of the battle, we just need to wait here. 
Sun Yao was confused, is this how you cling to the thighs, without any help? In a blink of an eye, she found that the figure of the great god Hao Jian had disappeared. And the other teammates were just like what Chang Xiaoxi said, waiting here, without any intention of moving. Okay, we can't keep up with the pace of the great god Hao Jian, so we might as well stay here and wait. Han Xu Yao also spoke. A few seconds later, a world announcement resounded throughout the Samsara world. Congratulations to the Awakeners Hao Jian, Yen Luo, Xu Yao, Hulk, Light of Hope, Bing Bing, Chaos Hen, and Yueshan for clearing the F-level Ordinary Team Dungeon and being rated as Super God. The public channel of the Samsara world went viral again. It's okay for the great god Hao Jian to be rated as Super God, but the question is why did he go to the F-level Team Dungeon? Even if he wants to earn points, he should earn more points by earning higher level team dungeons. Soon, someone discovered that there was a new member in this team. Immediately, they all realized that the great god was refreshing people again. Then everyone's brain was filled with one thought, envy, jealousy and hatred. Chapter, 140 Why am I not the one accompanying great god Haotian to download the dungeon? This question will be heard in everyone's mind. Super awesome review, how many reincarnation points can you get? What is the most important thing for an awakened person? In fact, it is reincarnation points. Because reincarnation points can be redeemed for anything you want. As long as you have enough reincarnation points, you can even redeem them for new talents. In one sentence, it couldn't be more accurate. As long as you have enough reincarnation points, you can do whatever you want. The ruler of the world of reincarnation is the supreme god. But unfortunately, due to practical reasons, the reincarnation points of ordinary awakened people can only be used to exchange for physical attributes, some special equipment and skills. One thing to note is that skills and talent skills are different. Mere skills do not come with talent. Innate skills, on the other hand, come with innate abilities. For example, the talents and skills that Yi Xiao Tian obtained were obtained first, and then the supporting skills. But on top of this talent, he can also acquire skills from other channels. For example, his natural skill void secret technique, comes with a healing talent. After Yi Xiao Tian obtains this healing talent, he can exchange it for more healing skills in the Samsara Mall. The same is true for the talent skill Chaos Grace. After possessing the resurrection talent, he can also redeem more resurrection skills in the Samsara Mall. It's just that when he came in before, he looked through it and found that the resurrection skill really existed, but the price. Just take a look. It's completely unaffordable at this stage. This kind of talent skill matched with the corresponding talent is more effective than ordinary skills. In the following time, the world of reincarnation was completely dominated by world announcements. Those awakened people who are so envious, jealous and hateful that their facial features explode have become numb. Not to mention the great power of God Haotian, he actually has such a good personality. He is really a super warm man. Countless female awakened people are courting on the public channel of the reincarnation world. After Mu Bingyan saw this information, her face became even colder. She felt that she should do something. If this continued, God Haotian would really have nothing to do with her. She took the initiative to become friends with Haotian. Unfortunately, Haotian still had no movement. He had turned into a crazy killing machine. Mercilessly killing the strange beasts in the copy. Yi Xiao Tian saw Mu Bingyan's application to add a friend and didn't think much about it. After all, who among this team has not applied for a friend? In order to ensure that he was not exposed, he ignored them all. Rejection openly hurts a person's self-esteem, so treating it coldly is the best way. Mu Bingyan's face turned gloomy when she saw that great god Haotian still hadn't passed the friend application. She felt that the meaning of god Haotian could not be more obvious. But she won't give up. Since adding friends is not an option, then be more direct. A few hours later. Congratulations to the awakened Haotian, Yama, and Xu Yao for clearing the sea level purgatory difficulty team copy and receiving a super god rating. In the past few hours, Sun Yao felt that she had been living in a dream. Have you become a sea level awakened person? So easy. Even if you are a promoted copy, it will be easy. 
She is an awakener of healing talents, so the way to advance to a dungeon is naturally different from other professions. But on the premise of having super high main attributes, there is no difficulty in passing it. Then the great god Houtian took her to the team copy again. Get high reincarnation points, exchange them for physical attributes, increase your awakening level, and continue playing dungeons. Great joy is followed by mental numbness. After being excited for too long, I became numb. Okay, everyone is tired at night. Let's go back and rest. Yi Xiao Tian said in the samsara hall. No one else spoke. Are they tired? Maybe, after all, I have been in and out of this dungeon for several hours, and I have been in the teleportation array too many times, and I am also mentally stressed. The only one who really took action was Great God Houtian. Thank you for your hard work, Master Houtian. Sun Yao bowed to express his thanks. Great God Houtian nodded coldly and left. His usual aloof attitude. Everyone is used to it. Mu Bingyan's expression changed, and she said to Yi Xiao Tian and the others, I'll go for a walk too. Then he chased after the figure of Great God Houtian. She finally took this step. Han Xu Yao said standing next to Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian asked strangely, What's this step? Bing Yen likes Great God Hao Tian, can't you tell? Han Xu Yao asked. Yi Xiao Tian said after realizing it, Oh, really? Unfortunately, Hao Tian had already merged with him after leaving the reincarnation hall. To outsiders, he just went offline. Therefore, even if Mu Bing Yen chases her out, it will be in vain. Brother Tian, thank you. Sun Yao thanked Yi Xiao Tian at this time. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said, Thank you for what I did, I didn't do anything. Sun Yao said, If it weren't for you, great god Hao Tian wouldn't have been able to take me to the dungeon. It's okay, we are a team. As your strength increases, our safety will be better guaranteed. Yi Xiao Tian smiled. Sun Yao said, Don't worry, brother Tian, I will definitely treat you well. After this, the atmosphere on the scene was a little awkward. Uh, no, I hope you don't get hurt, so I, I won't be able to use my skills. Sun Yao was also a little confused. How should I say this? Okay, no more, go back and rest first. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand to stop Sun Yao, fearing that she would make another shocking statement. Han Xu Yao said, What about Bing Yin? We can't help with this kind of thing, let it go. Yi Xiao Tian thought for a while and said. It was already very late, and everyone had no intention of visiting the reincarnation world, just wanting to go back and have a good sleep. So they all went offline and returned to the real world. Back to his room, Yi Xiao Tian immediately checked the harvest tonight. Reincarnation ID, Hao Tian. Talented skills, infinite growth advanced, diamond bodyguard A level, berserker A level, bull demon power A level, strength S level, swiftness S level, deer and crane blessing SS level. Constitution S level, dragon elephant S level, gravity A level, nightmare A level, golden sharpness A level, eagle soaring A level, void secret art S level, chaos grace S level. Constitution 65162, strength 65852, spirit 63964, agility 64382. Magic power, second Yuan Shen Yan Luo. Life Essence, 1886500 points. Reincarnation Points, 1041300 points. Awakening Level, B Level Awakener. Compared with the first brush, the income of each item is very different. Even because of the decrease in the number of monsters in the copy, the income of Life Essence has also dropped sharply. Chapter, 141. After completing the four-level team dungeons with Sun Yao, the life essence was only a few million. And the reincarnation points were only a few thousand. Even Yi Xiao Tian had not expected such a harvest before. After the second brush, not only was the dungeon reward only 1%. More importantly, the number of alien beasts in the dungeon has dropped sharply, which he did not expect. He missed the alien race a little. If he could use that method again, he would have enough at once. Unfortunately, such an opportunity would probably not come again. 
It is said that this kind of treasure that can interfere with the reincarnation tower dungeon is very rare, and even the alien race has paid a huge price to get it. Such a price is enough to pay once. If it comes again, it will probably be a problem. After all, the alien race is not a piece of iron. Each race has its own interests. This time they paid a heavy price, but did not achieve their goal, and they had already vomited three liters of blood. If it comes again, I am afraid that all the races in the alien world will riot. The alien races were not united to begin with. If the Blue Star humans had not been pressing hard recently, they would not even think about uniting to pay such a price. Yi Xiaotian thought about his resources. In addition to the reincarnation dungeon, he could also go to the 3S level secret realms provided by the school for summer camp. And he also had the 2000 school points provided by the school when he was recruited, which could enter the secret realm controlled by the school. He had already experienced how good the secret realm was. So these 2000 points could definitely play a huge role. As for the next two days, he could only hang out in the reincarnation tower. Although the reward for brushing the old dungeon is only 1%, it is better than nothing. Unfortunately, there are fewer alien beasts in the single-player dungeon, and the rewards that can be obtained are even less. So Yi Xiaotian didn't have much motivation. There is also the promotion dungeon, Yi Xiaotian is very hesitant. Now he is already eye-catching enough. If he is promoted to A-level Awakener, or even S-level Awakener at this time, the alien races will probably go crazy. The kind that will not stop until he is killed. Yi Xiaotian thought about it again, how much his strength would be improved by the awakening level. In fact, it was quite big. After all, when the awakening level went up, the increase of his talent skills would also be increased accordingly. You know, even if the increase of his awakening level was not big, the superposition of many talent skills should not be underestimated. There was no way, who told him that he had so many talent skills. Others did not have such benefits as him. However, Yi Xiaotian always felt a little inspiration about the summer camp, but after some thinking, he did not gain anything. This kind of secret realm change must be the work of the heretic organization. Only they could sneak into the secret realm. Yi Xiaotian suddenly thought of the assassin Chia of the heretic organization that Jiang Qing met. That very arrogant guy never appeared again after being injured by him. But Yi Xiaotian did not believe that this guy would disappear. And when Chia appeared, he had already guessed that there must be his accomplices in Jiangqing. And this accomplice was very familiar with Yi Xiaotian. After all, some information cannot be provided by someone who is not familiar with it. And his external performance has always been mediocre. Even the excuse for entering the temporary training camp was to use the identity of a friend of Haotian God. So at that time he judged that those who were connected with the seventh night should also come from the temporary training camp. In this way, there are fewer people who can be suspected. There are not many people from Jiangcheng who entered the temporary training camp. At that time, Yi Xiaotian was still thinking about his own secret investigation, but he didn't expect that the school was urging him, so this matter could only be put aside. But now that the heretic organization has made a move again, he has to rethink this matter. After all, in the dark, there is still an enemy who may give him a fatal blow at any time. And this enemy is still a member of the heretic organization. The people of the heretic organization are all crazy. They will not stop until they achieve their goals. But now Yi Xiaotian has something to rely on. He still has to be wary of the alien race, but the heretic organization is not so scary. After all, there are not many heretic organizations that can really threaten him now. And these people will not attack him as a freshman. Unless his identity is exposed. Or he does something earth-shattering and causes the fear of the aliens. Otherwise, the first person the aliens really want to eliminate is Haotian. He can only be ranked at the back, not even the second echelon. If Haotian is the first target of the aliens. Then this year's newly promoted SS-level genius is the second target of the aliens. After some thinking, Yi Xiaotian also determined the direction for the next period of time. After a wave of takeoff from the reincarnation copy and the secret realm, he can directly join the frontline battlefield. 
As for the alien beasts outside the city, to be honest, he doesn't look down on them. Either there are few in number or they are weak in strength. The frontline battlefield is still better. Time, unknowingly, has become later. At this moment, Yi Xiaotian noticed a little movement. Yi Xiaotian immediately concentrated his mind. The noise was very small. If it was someone living in the villa, there would be no need to be so cautious. There is only one explanation, that is, someone sneaked in. Yi Xiaotian stood up and applied various status enhancements to himself. In an instant, his physical attribute soared. And that place should be the villa wall. Yi Xiaotian came out of the room without alarming other teammates, but walked out by himself. Sure enough, a figure lurked from there. Maybe the other party didn't expect that he would be discovered. It's just a few freshmen, how could they find him? How could he know that Yi Xiaotian's attributes on all sides had broken 60, 0, 0, and now with the blessing of talent skills, all kinds of attributes have soared to hundreds of thousands. Every move of the other party was covered by his mental power. And because the mental attributes exceeded the other party by too much, the other party didn't notice it at all. Still carefully lurking towards the villa. But looking at the other party's movements, it was very professional. It should be someone who awakened the assassin's talent skills. Yi Xiaotian showed his sword and walked directly towards the other party. According to his perception, the person who came was a warrior with the strength of a B-level awakener. Yi Xiaotian did not hide his figure and footsteps, so he immediately aroused the other party's vigilance. Who? The other party shouted softly. Yi Xiaotian laughed a little and said, You came to my place to ask who I am. Are you polite? The other party was stunned. This is his place. Could this kid be one of the targets today? Do you live in this villa? The other party asked. No matter who it is, as long as they live in the villa, they are his targets. According to the orders of the young master, they must die. Chapter 142 This time, Shen Ao sent a professional killer who had awakened his talent as a professional killer. In his opinion, a B-level Awakener killer was enough to destroy Yi Xiaotian's team. And his talent would also prevent him from alerting the people in the school. After all, only Yi Xiaotian's team lived in the villa area now. Whether it was the guards in the villa area or the leaders of the school, they were all far away from here. His plan was perfect. As long as Yi Xiaotian and his team were killed, this matter could be completely blamed on the heretic organization. As long as no one got direct evidence, who could do anything to him, young Master Shen? This was the rule of the game in the adult world. Are you polite? This sentence seemed to have a kind of magic, constantly echoing in the killer's ears. Damn, I'm here to kill people, and you still care if I'm polite or not. Did you get kicked in the head by a donkey? The young people nowadays really don't have any brains at all. Boy, I'm here to take your life, do you think I'm polite? The killer said with a grin, revealing the dagger in his hand. Before he finished speaking, he rushed towards Yi Xiaotian like a gust of wind. This is Magic City University. It is not an easy thing to kill people here. So he must kill Yi Xiaotian before he calls for help. Once the school's guards are alarmed, he can only retreat. He must not be caught by the school. But he has determined that Yi Xiaotian is a fool. At this time, he did not call for help, but asked him if he was polite. If the future of mankind is handed over to such a person, it will be really over. But in the next scene, he knew that he was wrong, and he was very wrong. Ding! The killer thought that he was very good, but his knife was blocked by Yi Xiaotian. Blocked the shock in the killer's heart could not be described in words. He is a professional. For the way of assassination, even if facing the awakened person of the same level, he can kill him with one knife. But now, the student opposite blocked it. Didn't you say freshman? All freshmen now are like this. Are you polite? The killer couldn't help but complain in his heart. A strong force came, and the killer's body floated backwards. His intuition told him that the assassination failed this time. If he continued to entangle, his whereabouts would definitely be exposed. So he did not hesitate at all, and floated towards the wall with the rebound force. 
Yi Xiao Tian shouted lightly, since you are here, then stay. The killer sneered in his heart. Just relying on you, a freshman, you want to keep me. I, Xing, am an assassin. Strength is not my specialty, but speed, let alone freshmen, even A-level awakening masters can't keep up with his speed. His expertise is stealth and speed. He can kill people without making any sound or feeling. But soon, something happened that made his eyes fall to the ground again. He actually saw Yi Xiaotian's figure on the other side of the wall. This guy actually reached the wall before him. How is this possible? The killer's worldview collapsed. What kind of shitty freshman is this? It's okay that his strength is greater than that of a B-level killer like me, but now even his speed is faster than me. Are you sure this is a freshman, not an A-level warrior? He felt that he was fooled. The intelligence must be inaccurate. Boy, I'll fight you. He couldn't compete in strength or speed. He could only compete in combat skills and experience now. But when the strength difference reaches a certain level, no matter how good the skills and rich experience are, it's useless. Yi Xiao Tian knocked off the killer's dagger with just one knock. He pressed the killer to the ground and couldn't move. The killer was stunned. I, Xing, just missed like this. Yi Xiao Tian moved quickly and directly removed the joints of the opponent's hands and feet. This killer was tough. Even though he was sweating in pain, he didn't scream. Yi Xiao Tian didn't sympathize with him. He went back to get a rope, restored the joints of his hands and feet, and then tied them up. It hurt so much that he couldn't ask questions. This is good. It gives the other party a warning and makes him taste the pain, but it doesn't affect the questioning. Tell me, who sent you? Yi Xiao Tian took a chair and sat down and asked. The killer didn't say anything, and there was a long silence. The other team members in the villa all slept well. Only Mu Bingyan, who had just logged off, heard the noise outside and walked out. Who is he? Mu Bingyan asked in surprise. Killer. Yi Xiaotian replied. Killer. Mu Bingyan exclaimed, and a complex expression appeared on her beautiful face. Has this day come? With the rise of Yi Xiaotian, the interests of many people will definitely be affected. For example, aliens, heretics, and awakening families. Aliens and heretics are easy to understand. And what about the awakening family? The cake is so big, Yi Xiao Tian swallowed most of it by himself, so what do the others eat? Do you really think that Shen Ao and others can't stand Yi Xiao Tian just because he comes from a small place, and want to find a sense of existence in front of him? Shen Ao and others are all legitimate sons raised by big families, how can they be so short-sighted? In the final analysis, it was because of Yi Xiaotian's arrival that they moved their cheese. When Yi Xiaotian came, he occupied a single-family villa, which didn't matter. It's not that Shen Ao and his friends had never lived in a villa before. But those 20 school points are a huge resource. They are the legitimate sons of the four awakening families in Magic City, and they are SS-level talent awakeners, but what do they have to enter Magic City University? A mere 100 school points is only 120th of others. In addition to the points, there are two additional free places to enter the secret realm. This is crazy. Jealousy makes people split apart. So although they haven't met yet, Shen Ao and his friends have a lot of opinions about Yi Xiao Tian. After the incident in Feitian's secret realm, it is normal for them to send someone to kill Yi Xiao Tian. After Mu Bingyan figured it out, she asked, how are you going to deal with it? Although she doesn't talk much and has a cold temper. But if you want to say who is the most understanding in this team, it must be her. Born in an awakened family, he knows a lot about the intrigues here. Let's interrogate him first. If he tells, we'll let him go. If he doesn't tell, we'll kill him. It's that simple. Yi Xiaotian answered casually. Mu Bingyan's mouth twitched, but she didn't say much. You don't want to tell, right? That's fine. Anyway, I probably know who sent you here. It doesn't matter whether you tell or not. It's late, and I have to rest. You can go on your way. After saying that, Yi Xiaotian drew his sword again, 
ready to kill the killer. Chapter, 143 Wait! Mu Binyan stopped Yi Xiaotian and said, If you just kill him like this, isn't it true that there is no proof? The killer also felt something in his heart. This reckless guy has no patience at all. If you don't ask a few words, you will kill someone. He knew very well whether Yi Xiaotian really killed someone just now or was just showing off. If the girl next to him hadn't spoken in time, his body and head would have been separated at this moment. Yi Xiaotian put down the knife and muttered, That's right. If you die without proof, I won't be able to cause trouble for him. But if he doesn't say it, what's the use of this proof? Yi Xiaotian said again. The corners of Mu Binyan's mouth twitched, as if she had a proof. Make a deal. If you name the person behind the scenes, we will let you live. Mu Binyan said to the killer. The killer said, needless to say, I will never tell you. If you want to kill or behead him, it's up to you. Yi Xiaotian said, have you seen it? It's useless to keep it. Let's kill it. As he spoke, he danced the sword again. Mu Binyan said quickly, Mr. Killer, please tell me quickly, otherwise you will really die. I know you have concerns. If you tell the person behind the scenes, your life will be in danger. But think about it, which is better, dying now or dying later. What's more, after you leave here, you don't have to go back. You can leave the magic city and go to other base cities and change your name. You can survive no matter what. It's better to die than to live. This was probably the most talkative time in Mu Binyan's life. Her performance made Yi Xiaotian a little impressed. Unexpectedly, Mu Binyan, who is usually cold and indifferent, can really contribute in critical moments. Yi Xiaotian was a little shocked. I'll give you one last chance. Will you die now or later? Yi Xiaotian said following the knife-fingered killer. As Mu Binyan said, everyone wants to live. It is better to live than to die. This is an ancient saying. Unfortunately, killing someone is not included in this list. You are trying to deceive me with this little trick. I have eaten more salt than you have eaten rice. Boy, if you want to do it, hurry up. After 18 years, I will punish someone and I will be a good man again. The killer punished someone very much. It is the fearless way. Yi Xiaotian looked at Mu Binyan, his eyes meaning, is there no way to go? Mu Binyan's pretty face showed no change in expression, but her eyes were a little disappointed. She failed again. In the reincarnation world before, she searched the entire reincarnation square but could not find Haotian's shadow. It was just one step away and it was gone. She had little face and didn't want to ask Yi Xiaotian for help. After struggling for a long time, she gained nothing. Just returned to the real world, met the killer, and now the strategy failed again. This was a huge psychological blow to her. She is a proud woman, but ever since she met Yi Xiaotian, she has been hit hard. I originally thought that I was the most talented person in the team. Then Yi Xiaotian's true talent was exposed. Originally, she was very confident in her beauty. Another Han Shuyao appeared who could compete with her. That's all. The great god Haotian whom she admired was actually not interested in her at all. Could it be that her beauty was gone? Talent, beauty, and now even sanity are being questioned. She was on the verge of collapse. Become less confident. Go to hell. Mu Binyan's face darkened, then she turned around and left. Yi Xiaotian stepped on the killer and said, there are many trees in my yard, but you can tell by looking at the leaves that they are not very fertile, so I can bury you under the trees and use them as fertilizer. Punish someone. Are you speaking in human language? I was killed by you, but instead of disposing of the body properly, I buried it on the spot and used it as fertilizer. None of my killers are as cruel as you. Moreover, you live here and there is a corpse buried in the yard. Don't you feel uncomfortable? Forget it. Let's take him outside and kill him, so as not to dirty the place he lives in. And Xu Yao is very timid. If she knew someone was buried in the yard, she would definitely not be able to sleep. Yi Xiaotian muttered a few words, then grabbed Mr. Sheng and walked outside. No, let's just leave it like this. 
It's really too easy for him. Let's leave it to the school. I believe the school has the means to make him tell the truth. After muttering something more, Yi Xiaotian turned to director his residence. Punishing someone is really like riding a roller coaster. Why is this kid so capable of tormenting people? But if he is really handed over to the school, it is really not certain whether the secret can be kept. The guards at the villa area were shocked and they saw Yi Xiaotian coming out with someone in his hand. Outsiders sneaked into the villa area, but they didn't notice at all. This is a serious dereliction of duty. Of course they knew Yi Xiaotian. After all, Yi Xiaotian made a lot of noise in the villa area back then. Classmate Yi Xiaotian, what is going on? One of the guards asked. Yi Xiaotian said casually, Oh, a killer came in, I caught him, and I'm going to send him to director He. The guard was shocked. He said it so easily, as if it was easy to catch him. How stupid is this killer? A second look revealed that it was actually a B-level awakened person. B-level master, just caught it. Who is this Yi Xiaotian, a new student, so powerful? Or is this the joint masterpiece of their team? No matter how it was done, Yi Xiaotian couldn't just send the person over. Otherwise, they would be punished. The killers had sneaked in and were caught by the students themselves, but they, who were responsible for protecting the villa area, didn't notice anything. How numb were they? Was there no movement in arresting people? Was there no movement in fighting? What do you do as security officers? Maybe this envy job will be gone. Student Yi Xiaotian, please stay. The guard shouted hurriedly. Yi Xiaotian stopped and asked in confusion, What's wrong? Well, can you hand the person over to us? The guard said with embarrassment. Yi Xiaotian said in surprise, Are you willing to help me hand the person over to Director He? Yes, very willing. The guard said with a smile on his face. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, tell Director He that I'm waiting for his conclusion. Yes, no problem, classmate Yi Xiaotian, thank you. The guard took the assassin from Yi Xiaotian and promised. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. You helped me with things and still thanked me. How can I be embarrassed? Okay, I'll go back and rest first. Yi Xiaotian threw down this sentence and went back to rest. After tossing all night, I was really a little tired. At the gate of the villa area, the guards looked at Yi Xiaotian's back and felt a sense of good man. Such a good classmate should be protected more in the future. Chapter 144 Director he was pulled out of bed in the middle of the night. When he saw the killer, he sighed. What was supposed to happen finally happened. He knew that the matter was not that simple. But he did not expect that the other party would act so quickly that he could not even wait for one night. It can also be seen from here that these children of aristocratic families have no scruples at all when doing things. Director he calmly took the person from the villa guards, and he did not want to ask any more questions. This matter should be limited to a certain range and cannot spread. The impact is too great. Don't worry about this matter. I will handle it. Just treat it as if it has never happened. Also, from today on, the guard force in the villa area will be doubled and patrolled the entire park day and night. Director he ordered. If he was just the director of the admissions office, he certainly would not have such power. But the rule of major colleges and universities is that the director of the admissions office is concurrently held by the director of the teaching department. When there is no enrollment task, it is the director of teaching. Once the new semester begins, they will become the director of admissions. Now the enrollment task has ended. So director his position returned to that of the dean of studies. School affairs, from teachers to students, except for a few principals, there is nothing he can't handle. And he can handle this matter himself or report it to the school. He was hesitating. After thinking for a while, he came to his senses. He kicked the killer lying on the ground and asked, Did Shin Ao send you here? The killer's pupils shrank, and soon returned to normal, without saying anything. He sure said, I know even if you don't say it, there is no one else except him. Just after the conflict with Yi Xiaotian, there are already killers over there. Even a fool knows that this is his handiwork. Let me guess, 
is he still planning to put this matter on the heretic organization? Then the killer Xing's eyelids jumped again. He guessed right again. Damn, this is what Shen Ao thought when he told him. As long as he successfully completes the task and retreats successfully. Then this matter is done by the heretic organization. And he had already thought about how to put the blame on the heretic organization. Young Master Shen could take it for granted, but he couldn't. Of course he had to help young Master Shen fill this loophole. But he didn't expect that he would die before he succeeded. He had just sneaked into the villa yard and was caught red-handed. Director Heesher still didn't look at him straight, but all his expression changes fell into Heesher's eyes. At this point, he didn't have any luck in his heart. He also knew that Yi Xiaotian also had a plan in mind. The last sentence waiting for him was to tell him clearly that you can handle this matter, but don't try to fool around. This little fox. Director he sighed in his heart. Although Yi Xiaotian usually doesn't show off, he knows it in his heart. On the contrary, Huang Jie, who is usually very active, is really at the first level and has no scheming at all. If there is anything to say, just say it to your face, and won't hide it and stab you in the back. But he was sure that Yi Xiaotian was definitely the kind of person who would act after careful planning, without making any noise, but would never suffer any loss. He had a headache. This matter could be suppressed. After all, the power of the Shen family was there. And the four great families in the Magic City had a very good relationship. Once this matter was revealed, the impact would be too great, and it might even shake the safety of the Magic City. So soon, he sure made a decision on this matter. But he had to discuss this decision with the principal. As for the killer, it was meaningless to try him or not. At that time, he would just hand him back to the Shen family. After communicating with the principal. The principal's attitude was very clear, just as director he expected. The matter could not be made a big deal, but it could not be left like this. Otherwise, anyone would dare to mess around in the school in the future. Director he negotiated with the Shen family on behalf of the school. In the middle of the night, he sure had no intention of resting, so he quickly took people and went to the Shen family. The person was in someone else's hands, and the head of the Shen family was reasonable and knew that he could not shirk this matter. After taking the person over, he began to negotiate conditions. Fortunately, this matter has not caused serious consequences, and there is still room for negotiation. Finally, he sure helped Yi Xiaotian get some compensation, and then asked the head of the Shen family to promise that such a thing would not happen again. Although he sure also understood that this kind of guarantee was nonsense. But this attitude is what he wanted. Next, no matter how the head of the Shen family talked to Shen Ao, he sure would not care. What he had to do now was to give Yi Xiaotian an explanation. The next day, when Yi Xiaotian saw Director He, he was a little surprised. Director He, didn't you rest well? Director He rolled his eyes, little bastard, you are asking knowingly. He didn't sleep well last night. Yi Xiaotian, regarding what happened last night, our school means that we should not pursue it further. Of course, the compensation you deserve will still be given to you. Director he didn't waste any words and went straight to the point. Oh, I would like to know what conditions they offered. Yi Xiaotian said. Director he said, you really know who sent the people. Yi Xiaotian said, if you don't even know this, I might as well find a piece of tofu and die. Director his mouth twitched. Is this what a human being said? Both parties will no longer pursue this matter. The other party will give you a place to enter the S secret realm. Director he said directly. Just once. Yi Xiaotian was a little dissatisfied. This is too little. Director his mouth twitched again and said, Student Yi Xiaotian, do you know how precious a place in the S-level secret realm is? If the school hadn't negotiated on your behalf, do you think the other party would pay such a price? This matter is that the school has caught a direct handle, otherwise the Shen family would never admit defeat. It is precisely because he sure represented the school to talk to the Shen family. Otherwise, the Shen family would definitely not admit it. Why don't you try someone else? Director He, the two secret realm places you promised me should also be S-level, right? Yi Xiaotian asked quickly. 
Director he almost went berserk. Is this human language? Do you think the quota for the S-level secret realm is a piece of cake? Do you know how much it costs to open the S-level secret realm once? You can't enter the S-level secret realm just by having points. You also need corresponding merits. In other words, if you don't make a certain contribution to the school, no matter how many points you have, you are not eligible to redeem the qualification to enter the S-level secret realm. Yi Xiaotian saw Director He's face quickly turn black, and hurriedly said, The summer camp went to the S-level secret realm, so my quota is not a problem, right? Bang! Director He was directly furious. Chapter, 145 Classmate Yi Xiaotian, do you know how long it will take for the Feiyan secret realm to be opened again after it is opened this time? Director He took a few deep breaths to calm down. At that moment, he really had the urge to blast Yi Xiaotian's head with a hammer. How long, at most a few years? Yi Xiaotian said nonchalantly. Thirty years, at least thirty years. Director He stood up, condescendingly, and sprayed Yi Xiaotian's face with saliva. Yi Xiaotian wiped his face and said calmly, Director He, your behavior of spitting on others' faces is very uncivilized. Damn it! Director He was about to vomit blood. This bastard definitely did it on purpose. When I recruited him before, I knew that this guy had a calm personality and a good heart. But now I know that this guy is actually so bad. Anyway, this matter is over. It will not be good for you if it continues. From the school's point of view, this is the best result. Director He once again wasted a few minutes to calm down. Yi Xiaotian shrugged and said, Okay, since you said so, Director He, how can I have any objections? As a common man, he is extremely lucky if he is not tortured to death by those aristocratic families. Director He knew that Yi Xiaotian was complaining, but he couldn't change this kind of thing. By the way, Director He, if Shin Ao and the others come to trouble me again, it won't be my responsibility, right? Yi Xiaotian was vaccinated in advance. He sure's mouth twitched again, and finally he could only say, no. That's good. Yi Xiaotian said with a smile on his face. Director he quickly took the opportunity to say goodbye. If he stayed any longer, he was afraid that he would have a heart attack. After Yi Xiaotian and director he finished talking, Han Xuyao and the others came to the hall. Brother Tian, what are director he talking to you about? Because director he deliberately avoided them, they didn't hear a sound. Yi Xiaotian said, it's nothing, it's just a small matter. I just told me that the second round of summer camp will start tomorrow. This time we will go to the secret realm of Colonel Qingxue. This secret realm is really magical. When we go to the secret realm of Qingxue University, we don't even have to go to the capital. Yi Xiaotian added. His word successfully diverted everyone's attention. It's indeed quite magical. Han Xuyao immediately agreed with Yi Xiaotian's words. Wang Hao also nodded. Only Mu Bingyan at the scene knew exactly what Yi Xiaotian and He Xue sure were talking about, but seeing that Yi Xiaotian didn't tell the truth, she didn't tell the truth. She was never a talkative person. Huang Jia explained, the medium for entering the secret realm is the portal. It is too troublesome for so many of us to go to the capital. It is more convenient for them to send teachers over there to build the portal. This is not a time of peace. The journey from the magic city to the capital is long and there are thousands of students, so the possibility of an accident is very high. But it would be much more convenient if a few teachers come over. Besides, in addition to those from Shanghai Moda University, there are also those from Jiangnan University, with a combined total of 10 students. Not to mention safety issues, even the consumption on the road is not a small amount. Although building the portal also requires the consumption of precious materials, in comparison, it is the lesser of two evils. What activities do you have today? Yi Xiaotian asked them. I originally wanted to visit the magic city, but forget it now. We will enter the secret realm tomorrow. Let's take a rest and recharge our batteries. Han Xuyao was actually worried that there would be danger if he left the school. After all, Yi Xiaotian had offended a big family in Magic City. 
Yi Xiaotian thought about it and said nothing more. After all, there is only one day. Even if you go to brush the reincarnation copy now, you won't gain much. Even Sun Yao, who joined last, has completed the team copy. As for the B-level team copy, it may not be that fast. After all, the minimum standard for the main attribute of a B-level awakener is to exceed 10, 0, 0 points, which is a watershed. Countless people can only be C-level awakened ones in their lifetime. After all, the main attribute standard for a C-level awakener is 1000 points. Although reincarnation points are rare, it is still possible to achieve them with a lifetime of hard work. But with 10, 0, 0 attributes, it's not that easy. What's more, there are other conditions between the main attributes and other secondary attributes. For example, for a B-level awakener, the primary attribute cannot exceed 2, 0, 0 points of secondary attributes. This is the most stuck. Therefore, if Han Xuyao and the others want to break through to B-level awakened beings, if there are no accidents, it will take at least a few years. But no one can tell when surprises and surprises will arrive. Although there is no reincarnation copy, you can get a lot of reincarnation points. But in the secret realm, there are also a large number of strange beasts that can be killed to obtain attribute points. Also, there are countless strange beasts in the real world. The only problem is that with their current strength, it is very dangerous to go out of the city alone to hunt strange beasts. And if you want to get so many attribute points, you have to kill a lot of strange beasts. So it still takes longer. In this case, it is better to relax first and enter the second round of summer camp in a better condition. I hope this time in the secret realm, I can kill more strange beasts. Yi Xiaotian thought silently in his heart. If you want them to grow up quickly, you need to kill a large number of strange beasts. In this way, Yi Xiaotian would have to expose more of his strength. This is a very tangled choice. Forget it, let's talk about it later. Yi Xiaotian no longer hesitated, but said, then let's play cards. As soon as this proposal came out, it attracted everyone's attention. What's wrong? Can't I play cards? Yi Xiaotian said with a look of astonishment. Han Xuyao hurriedly said, no, brother Tian must be able to play cards. Sun Yao's mouth twitched for a while, and it was confirmed that this was indeed a face dog. As for Mu Bingyan and Chang Xiaosi, they were much calmer, but they felt that this proposal was really not in line with Yi Xiaotian's image. In their eyes, Yi Xiaotian's current image is a master. Can masters play cards? Don't masters all practice hard? Yi Xiaotian coughed and said, relax your mind, just find a game to kill time. Yes, yes, playing cards is definitely the best choice to relax your mind. Han Xuyao hurriedly told Chang Xiaosi to buy cards. Chang Xiaosi was confused, why me? Miss Han glared, is it me? Chang Xiaosi was defeated and could only give in, but in her heart she cursed Han Xuyao, her fake bestie. I'll go. Wang Hao stood up and ran out to buy cards without waiting for Chang Xiaosi to speak. There's a problem. Han Xuyao suddenly said. There's a problem. Yi Xiaotian also echoed. There is indeed a problem. Huang Jia also said with a clear face. Mu Binyan and Sun Yao looked at each other, not understanding what the problem was. Chapter 146 I don't know what you are talking about. Chang Xiaosi said angrily. Han Xuyao said with a smile, I don't know what we are talking about, why are you angry? Although I don't know what you are talking about, I know that what you are saying is not good. Chang Xiaosi said stubbornly. Ha ha ha. A group of people laughed crookedly again. Chang Xiaosi was so angry that she almost vomited blood. At this time, Wang Hao came in from outside with cards and saw that everyone was laughing. He couldn't help but wonder, what are you talking about that is so funny? Han Xuyao was about to say something, but Yi Xiaotian pulled her and said, nothing, hurry up and bring the cards. Wang Hao looked puzzled. He walked to Chang Xiaosi and sat down, threw the cards on the coffee table, and whispered, Xiaosi, what are they laughing at? Laughing at you, a big fool. Chang Xiaosi said angrily. She was laughed at enough just now. 
It's all Wang Hao's fault, so who else should I blame if not him? Wang Hao was stunned by Chang Xiaoxi's criticism. What did I say wrong? I just bought a card, what happened? Okay, let's play cards. Yi Xiao Tian called. Yi Xiao Tian and Han Shuyao are from the same school. Wang Hao originally wanted to play against Chang Xiaoxi, but unfortunately he was rejected. In the end, he could only play against Wang Jia. Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan were very surprised to see that they really played poker. Is it really good to waste time like this? It's really willful. Look at the other freshman now, who is not desperately brushing the reincarnation copy, hoping to exchange for more attribute points. Although you may only get a few attribute points in a day, a mosquito leg is still meat. Accumulating a lot is the norm for awakened people. It is really rare for people like Yi Xiaotian to get rich overnight. Even the five supreme masters of mankind today fought their way out of the sea of blood and corpses step by step. But at that time, the blue star was full of invading beasts, and they killed them until their hands were tired. The harvest was naturally very rich. As long as they were talented, they basically went up. After that, various base cities were established, and the first batch of awakened masters who grew up all established their own forces. After nearly a hundred years of development, the current situation of Blue Star has come into being. It was these ancestors who sacrificed their lives and blood that drove the alien army back to the alien space plane. Not to mention those ancestors, just talk about the same generation, which one is not working hard to brush the dungeon to earn points and exchange for attribute points. But what are these people doing? They are playing cards. This contrast is too exciting. Sunya wanted to say a few words, but she didn't know from what standpoint. As for Mu Bingyan, just a thought flashed through her mind, and then she gave up. It's better to take a break, because tomorrow she will enter the secret realm and kill again. Shen family. After a good rest, Shen Ao finally came to meet his father. Ao, -er, why did you send Xing back? The head of the Shen family first asked Shen Ao to sit down, and then said lightly. Ah. Shen Ao jumped up from the chair immediately. This matter was arranged by him privately, and he didn't even say hello to his father. Originally, I thought that with Xing's strength, it would be easy to carry out such a task. Unexpectedly, he was still discovered by the school. Dad Shen Ao was a little nervous. The head of the Shen family waved his hand and said, Sit down first, I have forgotten what I said to you before. As a superior, you must remain absolutely calm. Shen Ao sat down again, but he didn't have the same scheming as his father, so his face was still anxious. Yesterday was the second round of summer camp. If the school expelled him, how much loss would he have? This year's summer camp is a big deal. The four famous schools have joined together to open 4S level secret realms this is unprecedented. Everyone knows that this is because of Haotian. But as students in the same class as Haotian, they have to seize this opportunity. Being in the same class as Haotian is both their sorrow and their luck. The sad thing is that under the halo of Haotian, no matter how much they have achieved, they can only be second. Fortunately, because of Haotian's existence, the country has provided them with unprecedented training resources. Even if they can gain a lot themselves. Summer camp will definitely be a watershed for this class of students. If something unexpected happens, Shen Ao will definitely not accept it. The head of the Shen family continued, I have already negotiated with Director He about this matter, a quota for an S-level secret realm. What do you mean? Shen Ao was a little confused. The head of the Shen family explained, the person was not caught by the school. What? Shen Ao was even more confused. If it wasn't someone from the school who caught him, could it be Yi Xiaotian who caught him? This is ridiculous. How could Yi Xiaotian's gang catch Xing? You know, Xing is a B-level awakener, and an assassin among awakeners. He is best at assassination and stealth. Such a person was captured alive by a freshman team, what a joke. But these words came from his father's mouth, so he couldn't help but believe it. If he hadn't verified the news, his father would never have told him this. I've told you before that you should plan carefully before you act, and don't be impulsive. 
You didn't even know the other party's situation, but you rashly sent someone to assassinate him. Aren't you actively handing the handle to the other party? If the school hadn't given Arshan family face, the consequences would have been serious. I hope you won't make such low-level mistakes again in the future, otherwise I will reconsider your matter of being the heir of the Shin family. The head of the Shin family said very seriously. As the head of a family, you must have a global view when making any decision. If you put the whole family at risk just for your own selfishness, such a stupid person is not qualified to be the heir of the Shin family. And such a person can't pass the family elders meeting. Shin Ao finally lowered his proud head and said, Dad, I'm sorry, I was wrong. The head of the Shin family looked at Shin Ao with relief. No matter what, he was still very satisfied with this heir. Although he failed this time, it doesn't matter. It is impossible to blame Shin Ao completely. His arrangement was already very good, but he seriously underestimated the enemy's strength. But then again, the opponent is just a freshman. If it were him, he would probably make a mistake before conducting a thorough investigation. But Shin Ao's mistake was that he did not conduct a thorough investigation of his opponent. This kind of mistake can be forgiven once, but it is foolish to make it a second time. Fortunately, Shin Ao did not make excuses for his mistake, which is what the head of the Shin family is most satisfied with. Chapter 147 The next day, Yi Xiaotian and his friends came to the school playground early, ready to go to the secret building after everyone arrived. But Yi Xiaotian met a very unexpected person. Yi Xiaotian. Lin Hai seemed to have been waiting here for a long time. Lin Hai, why are you here? Yi Xiaotian was really surprised. Lin Hai actually appeared here, how could he appear here? He is not a student of Magic City University. Lin Hai is only an A-level talent, and there is nothing special about him. According to the admission standards of Magic City University, he does not meet the requirements at all. When Lin Hai saw Yi Xiaotian, his eyes were about to burst into fire. Yi Xiaotian, Magic City University is not opened by your family. What does it have to do with you if I appear here? Lin Hai said directly. Even if he wanted to kill Yi Xiaotian immediately, he could only bear it. The Lin family would fall to this point today, all because of Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian is the culprit. So even if he joined the heretic organization, he had to gain power and kill Yi Xiaotian. I just didn't expect to see Yi Xiaotian again so soon. It's true that enemies don't meet each other. Lin Hai, how can you talk like that? Wang Hao rushed forward and shouted. Lin Hai said disdainfully, Wang Hao, you are just a dog of Yi Xiaotian, what qualifications do you have to talk nonsense in front of me? You. Wang Hao was about to fight back, but was stopped by Yi Xiaotian. Haozi, don't be impulsive, he deliberately angered you. Yi Xiaotian comforted. Lin Hai said, Wang Hao, you still say that you are not a dog of Yi Xiaotian, what he says is what it is, if not a dog, what is it? Pa. Yi Xiaotian slapped him directly. The huge force directly slapped Lin Hai and flew out. Puff. Lin Hai spit out a mouthful of blood, and also spit out a few teeth, and one side of his face swelled up quickly. What are you doing, who told you to hit someone? A shout sounded, and the man's eyes were fixed on Yi Xiaotian. This is a teacher in the school, but behind him, Yi Xiaotian also found Huang Jie's cousin Huang Wei. Teacher, he cursed. Yi Xiaotian replied. I'm asking you who told you to hit someone. The teacher was in his thirties, with a strong warrior aura. Yi Xiaotian sensed that he was also a B-level awakener. Modu University is worthy of being one of the four famous schools. Any teacher has the strength of a B-level awakener. He dares to curse, so I can't hit him. Yi Xiaotian asked back. Teacher Yuan, Calm down. Huang Wei, who was standing next to him, saw that the two were about to have a hard fight and hurried out to make peace. Yi Xiaotian apologized to Teacher Yuan quickly and let this matter go. Huang Wei said to Yi Xiaotian again. Impossible. Yi Xiaotian and Teacher Yuan said in unison. Yi Xiaotian would never apologize. 
Teacher Yuan meant that this matter could not be let go. Huang Wei looked at Huang Jia helplessly, and the meaning was very clear. Both of them were stubborn, and he had no choice. Yi Xiao Tian came to his senses a little bit. This was originally a trap against him. Otherwise, how could it be so coincidental? Lin Hai appeared here by coincidence, but in his opinion, he was waiting for him here. Then he angered Wang Hao with words, just to make them unable to help but take action. Then this teacher Yuan jumped out and asked Yi Xiao Tian for the crime in a timely manner. One thing leads to another. It's just that they found the wrong person. When he was in Jiangqing before, Yi Xiao Tian suspected Lin Hai. Now his suspicion is even deeper. Why Lin Hai appeared here is a big question in itself. The Lin family has fallen, and Lin Hai has no capital to rise. Unless there are other forces behind him to support him. As for what the forces behind this are, we can think about it carefully. After all, with Lin Hai's qualifications, who would support him except for forces with ulterior motives? Yi Xiao Tian narrowed his eyes, which was a dangerous signal. Han Xuya wanted to say something, but seeing Yi Xiao Tian like this, he didn't say anything. Arrogant, arrogant, must be dealt with. Teacher Yuan shouted loudly, attracting the attention of the entire playground. Soon, the school leaders came to ask what was going on. Teacher Yuan immediately pointed at Yi Xiao Tian and said, This student, in public, beat his classmates openly in front of everyone, which is simply insane. Such a student is a cancer and must not stay in the school, otherwise the reputation of the school will be dragged down by him. One hat after another was put on Yi Xiaotian's head. Those who don't know would think that Yi Xiaotian is really an unforgivable person. I think what teacher Yuan said makes sense. At this time, a familiar voice sounded. I also think what teacher Yuan said makes sense. There were many voices of agreement behind. But more people just nodded and didn't say anything. Yi Xiao Tian looked over and saw that it was Shen Ao and Emo Qian, so he was not surprised. These people would be fools if they didn't take the opportunity to add insult to injury. The school leader had a headache when he heard Yi Xiao Tian's name. He was a school leader, so he knew how much director he valued this student. But now the public sentiment is surging. If it is not dealt with, it may cause dissatisfaction among the people. At this time, director he came. He came here specially after receiving a call. Everyone, make way. Director he is here. Someone made way for director he. What's going on? Director he came in and looked at both sides. When he saw Yi Xiao Tian, he frowned unconsciously. It seemed that he was thinking about why Yi Xiao Tian was making trouble again. Director He, this student beat someone up in front of so many students. Look at how this student was beaten. Teacher Yuan pulled Lin Hai over. It was indeed quite miserable. Half of his face was swollen like a pig's head. There was blood in his mouth, which looked quite scary. Director He asked, Yi Xiao Tian, did you beat him? I did it. Yi Xiao Tian answered calmly. After he realized in his heart that all this was deliberately set up against him, he calmed down. Why did you beat someone up? Director he asked. Director he teacher Yuan shouted again, but was stopped by director he waving his hand. Yi Xiao Tian said, because he deserves to be beaten. I insulted my friend as a dog. If I don't beat such a person, will I keep him for the new year? Han Shuyao couldn't help laughing. Then it caused a chain reaction, and some chuckles came from the surroundings. I really couldn't help it, after all, I didn't receive professional training. Director he was very upset. Teacher Yuan was like someone stepped on his tail, and said, Director he, you see it, right? Such an arrogant and bloodthirsty person must not be allowed to stay in the school. Chapter, 148 Can you shut up? Are you polite when you interrupt me several times? As a teacher, you don't even have any teacher training. How did you become a teacher? Although Yi Xiaotian's answer is indeed not that serious. But there is some truth to it. But now that he has arrived at the scene, he will naturally decide the matter impartially. Teacher Yuan kept interrupting his thoughts here, and his intention was obvious. 
just to drive Yi Xiaotian out of Shanghai University. These were the students he had personally recruited from Jiangqing. He knew best how much the school had paid to recruit Yi Xiaotian. As soon as such talents are recruited, you want to drive them away. What's your intention? Teacher Yuan was scolded by Director He and suddenly felt confused. How is this going? It was Yi Xiaotian who made the mistake, why did you reprimand me? Director He, I Teacher Yuan felt extremely wronged. But in front of Director He, he naturally couldn't be tough and could only pretend to be aggrieved. What are you? From the beginning to now, have you let my students speak? Since I am standing here, I naturally have my own judgment on the rights and wrongs of things. What do you mean? Do you think that I, the director, can't handle this matter and you need to take action personally? Director He did not give Teacher Yuan a good look. Looking at Director He whose face turned dark and dark, Teacher Yuan didn't dare to be tough anymore. Director He, that's not what I meant. I definitely didn't mean that. I was just angry for a moment. This student's behavior was really out of line. He didn't look like a student at all. Director He said, whether he looks like a student, I know better than you. I will also ask and investigate what happened. Director He Teacher Yuan was just about to defend himself a few more words, but was interrupted by He Shi. Okay, Teacher Yuan, I think you are no longer suitable to be a summer camp teacher. You can go back and I will arrange another teacher to take your place. Director He directly issued an expulsion order. Teacher Yuan was completely dumbfounded this time, with a face full of disbelief. Director He, what did you say? He sure said impatiently, didn't I make it clear enough? If you are not convinced, you can go to the principal to appeal. Now, you can leave. Yi Xiao Tian just sent him a message, that is, today's things are not simple. He sure also received Yi Xiaotian's message, and naturally thought about the secret realm. At this time, Yi Xiaotian was not worried at all that he would be expelled from Shanghai University. He went through everything that had just happened in his mind. Lin Hai. Teacher Yuan. Finally, Yi Xiaotian glanced at Huang Wei again, could it be him? Except for a limited number of people, everyone else is under Yi Xiaotian's suspicion. After director he drove teacher Yuan away, he called Lin Hai over, what's your name? Director, student Lin Hai. Lin Hai said honestly. It's just that a few teeth were knocked out and one side of his face was swollen into a pig's head, so his speech was a bit leaky. Where are you from? He sure asked again. This time it was Yi Xiaotian who answered him, but it was Lin Hai who couldn't hear clearly. Director He, Lin Hai is a classmate of mine in Jiangqing No. One middle school, with A-level kendo talent. But if I remember correctly, he was not recruited by Shanghai University. Yi Xiaotian explained. Director He's face suddenly darkened. Lin Hai quickly explained, Director He, I did only have an A-level swordsmanship talent at the beginning, but then I took the talent spirit liquid and upgraded it to S-level. I was specially recruited. At the end, Lin Hai emphasized again. Director he said, I am the director of the admissions office, why don't I know about this? I, I don't know either. Lin Hai couldn't explain the matter clearly. At this time, Huang Wei said, Director he, I heard teacher Yuan mention this matter. We were all in the secret realm at that time. After we came out, you have been busy, so maybe the teacher in charge forgot to report to you. After hearing this, he sure pondered for a moment and then said, Okay, I will investigate this matter clearly. The second round of summer camp will be held soon. Don't cause trouble again, or you will be disqualified from the summer camp. As soon as these words came out, Lin Hai became a little anxious, Director He. I said, I will handle this matter. It's summer camp time now. Do you want to delay such a big event because of you? Director he scolded with his eyes widened. Lin Hai suddenly shrank his neck and did not dare to speak anymore. Shen Ao and others originally wanted to make a fuss, but director he pushed the matter to a later stage with just a few words. At this time, no matter how ignorant they are, director he may not have a good look on them. But it doesn't matter, the mountains are far away and the road is far away, and the days are long. They have plenty of opportunities to deal with Yi Xiaotian. 
but at this time, Yi Xiaotian's eyes turned towards him. Shen Ao flinched a little at first, but soon became hardened again. After all, the previous matter has been resolved. Used an S-level secret realm quota. He knew very well how precious such a place was. So he felt that this matter must have been cleared up. Yi Xiaotian can no longer talk about this matter. So he looked at Yi Xiaotian again. He sure noticed the difference between the two and coughed, drawing Yi Xiaotian's attention back. Boy, don't make trouble. He sure warned in a low voice. This guy is really good at making trouble. He has only been in school for a short time, and he has caused him so many problems. It's amazing. Yi Xiaotian shrugged and said, Director He, I never take the initiative to make trouble, but I am not afraid of it. My principle is that I will not offend others if they don't offend me. But if someone wants to offend me, then no matter what the other party's identity or origin is, I will fight back. Listening to Yi Xiaotian's words, Yi Xiu's mouth twitched constantly. I don't know where Yi Xiaotian got the confidence to say such a thing. But he also believed that Yi Xiaotian would do what he said. This guy captured a B-level Awakener killer alive. If he meets Shen Ao in the secret realm, he won't really kill young Master Shen, right? I know, I will warn him. He sure said helplessly. After chatting for a while, director he went on stage and said a few words. This was already the second round of the summer camp, so other school leaders did not show up, and everything was handled by director he. After a few words of encouragement and then reminding the students to pay attention to safety, the group went to the secret building. Student Yi Xiaotian, come to me, I have something to ask you. Director He led the way to the secret building and called Yi Xiaotian to come over to answer. This scene attracted countless envious and jealous eyes. Chapter, 149 Yi Xiaotian, did you see anything? He sure asked quietly when Yi Xiaotian came to him. Seeing the intimacy between Yi Xiaotian and Director He, they were all very jealous. Why wasn't I so close to Director He? Director He, this is a big deal. He is an S-level awakener and the Dean of Teaching at Magic City University. He has countless resources in his hands. If you can get in touch with such a big guy, wouldn't your future life be wonderful? Hateful. Countless jealous eyes fell on Yi Xiaotian's back. I do have some clues, Director He, you don't know, in fact, I encountered an assassination when I was in Jiangcheng. Yi Xiaotian said. What? Director He exclaimed, and then reacted. Looking back, seeing that everyone was looking at him with curious eyes, he couldn't help blushing. I actually have a time when I am not calm. Yi Xiaotian said, that man is called Qi Ye Yi, but because of carelessness, I attacked him by surprise. In the end, he escaped because of the timely arrival of the patrol guards. I haven't told anyone about this matter. He sure said strangely, why didn't you report it? Yi Xiaotian said, because I don't know who I should believe. Qi Ye Yi came to assassinate me, which is not reasonable at all. Next, Yi Xiaotian repeated his speculation logic. After listening, he sure pondered, what you said makes sense, but what does it have to do with today's incident? Yi Xiaotian said, to be honest, director, I suspected Lin Hai before, but there is no evidence. Today Lin Hai appeared here again, and then the previous incident happened again, so I have to doubt it. To be honest, if it weren't for you, director He, I might be expelled from Magic City University today. After listening, He sure was silent for a while before speaking, if they attack you in the secret realm, wouldn't it be better? Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, the unknown cause in the secret realm there are too many factors, and they may not be able to find me in the secret realm. But it's different in the real world. If I am expelled from Magic City University, it will be easy for them to find me in Magic City. He sure kept nodding and said, that makes sense, but these are just your guesses, without any real evidence. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, I know, so I didn't say it. If I didn't trust the director, I wouldn't say it. He sure smiled and said, then should I thank you for your trust? That's fine, I don't mind. Yi Xiaotian shrugged and said. He sure was stunned. This shameless guy really got to know him again. The more he got to know Yi Xiaotian, 
the more he felt that the other person's character was really different from what he seemed on the surface. On the surface, he looked very gentle, but when others offended him, he was not soft-hearted at all. After a few verbal disputes, he could slap someone's teeth out with a slap. When you think he is a moody person, you will find that his personality is sometimes quite funny. Don't tell anyone about this for the time being, and improve your strength. Don't make trouble unless you have to. If you miss such an opportunity, you may never have it again. He sure reminded Yi Xiaotian. He felt that Yi Xiaotian was a promising talent and didn't want Yi Xiaotian to be delayed by various trivial matters. In the final analysis, no matter how talented you are, you are just a freshman. A genius who has not grown up is called a short-lived ghost. Over the past hundred years, there have been countless geniuses who died prematurely. But there are very few who can really grow up. Strength is the right to speak. Now no matter how much Yi Xiaotian fights with Shen Ao and others, it is just a dispute of will. As long as Yi Xiaotian can grow up quickly. Not to mention Shen Ao, even the Shen family behind him dare not point fingers at Yi Xiaotian. On the contrary, for powerful awakeners, these big families have always been mainly trying to win them over. I'll give you a suggestion. After the summer camp is over, find a backer. Just when Yi Xiaotian thought that this chat was about to end, he sure spoke again. Backer. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused and didn't understand what he sure meant. That's right. If an awakener wants to rise quickly, he needs a lot of resources. It's far from enough to just brush the reincarnation copy. At this time, it's very important to have a big backer to provide you with resources. And finding a strong backer can not only provide you with a steady stream of cultivation resources, but also guarantee your personal safety. He sure analyzed it for Yi Xiaotian again. Yi Xiaotian nodded repeatedly. Then what does director he recommend? Yi Xiaotian asked again. He now trusts Hisha very much. This is all from dealing with him. Director he is a good person, and he really favors himself when something happens. Take today's incident for example. If it were another leader, he would definitely not handle it so lightly. After all, no matter what, he beat someone in public. The school prohibits private fighting, and it is even more forbidden to beat people. Everything has two sides. There is nothing wrong with the way director he handled the situation today. However, the heavy punishment for Yi Xiaotian is also very reasonable. In addition, the negotiations with the Shen family, today's instructions, etc. All made Yi Xiaotian feel that he sure is indeed a very good elder. Unconsciously, they arrived at the secret realm building again. This time they did not go upstairs, but in the lobby on the first floor. Dear students, the secret realm we are going to enter next is not from our school, but from Qin Shui University. So a temporary portal has been built in this lobby. After everyone comes out of the secret realm, this portal will be removed. Before, the summer camp only lasted for half a month, and the highest level would not exceed the B-level secret realm. But this year, the situation is special. The country has taken out such resources to train you. I hope you can seize the opportunity and make yourself stronger. You are all geniuses among your peers. I hope you will not let the country down. Okay, no more nonsense, open the portal. With the order of Director He, the portal opened, and Yi Xiaotian and his team walked in first. Then Shen Ao and Mo Qian wanted to follow in, but they were stopped by He Xiu. Wait a little longer. He Xiu said. Why? Shen Ao was unhappy. He also wanted to see which way Yi Xiaotian went. He Xiu glared and said, Just wait if I tell you to. Why are you asking so many questions? Separate the students who have conflicts. This is the perfect plan that he sure came up with. As long as they don't collide with each other, there should be no problem. He had already told Yi Xiaotian not to delay after entering the secret realm and to take his team out of the safe zone immediately. He was really afraid that Yi Xiaotian would not be able to hold back and kill Shen Ao and Emo Qian. Chapter 150 he sure now has no doubts about Yi Xiaotian's strength. He can capture a killer with the strength of a B-level awakener alive, 
which means that Yi Xiaoqian's actual combat power has surpassed that of a B-level Awakener. Although this result surprised him, it was a good thing. The stronger Yi Xiaotian is, the more secure he is. This was originally a happy thing. But now he sure can't be happy. Because of Shen Ao and Mo Qian's hostility towards Yi Xiaotian. Once the two sides clash again in the secret realm, the consequences are clear. Shen Ao and Mo Qian will definitely have no way to survive. Yi Xiaotian can really do this kind of thing. So he had to prepare for a rainy day. Although Shen Ao and Mo Qian were very unhappy, they had to obey Director He's arrangement. At least now, they dared not be tough in front of Director He. Lin Hai walked up to Shen Ao and said, I am Lin Hai, and I have met a few classmates. Shen Ao glanced at him, said nothing, and looked arrogant. Mo Qian said, Do you have a grudge against Yi Xiaotian? Lin Hai nodded and said, Yes, a big grudge. My family fell because of him. Oh. Shen Ao became interested. Based on the principle that the enemy of my enemy is my friend, he originally thought that there was only a small conflict between Lin Hai and Yi Xiaotian. But now it seems that it is not the case. Family hatred is greater than heaven. In this era, such hatred is absolutely irreconcilable. If Lin Hai can be pulled over, then there will be more confidence in dealing with Yi Xiaotian. What's more, there are some things that they are not convenient to do, but they can let Lin Hai do it. When the time comes, just support him behind the scenes. What level of talent are you? Shen Ao said. It is not so easy to become his subordinate, Shen Ao. Without certain talent and strength, you are not qualified. He Shen Ao can't afford to accept a waste as his subordinate. Lin Hai hurriedly said, S-level sword talent. Shen Ao nodded slightly. Although it is only S-level, it is qualified to be his subordinate. Okay, stay with me for now. Whether you can join my team depends on your ability. Shen Ao said arrogantly. Mo Qian's eyes moved, as if he wanted to say something, but he didn't say it in the end. He always felt that there was something wrong with Lin Hai, but he couldn't say it. He could only observe first. When he sure saw Lin Hai and Shen Ao mixed together, his expression moved, but he still didn't say anything. When he chatted with Yi Xiaotian before, although he didn't express his opinion, he also had doubts about Lin Hai in his heart. Now, Lin Hai took the initiative to join Shen Ao's camp. Thinking about it, he sure's face became solemn again. If Lin Hai is really a person who has been alienated by the heretic organization, then he must have other purposes for approaching Shen Ao and others now. If he drags Shen Ao and others into the water, the consequences. He sure didn't dare to think about it. Behind Shen Ao's team are the four major families in the Magic City. Fortunately, Lin Hai is now under his surveillance. If he dares to make any unusual moves, he sure will break his neck in the first place. We must not let the heretic organization reach into the four major families. If he didn't have any real evidence now, he really wanted to kill this bastard right now. As time passed, more and more students and teachers entered the secret realm. Huang Wei also went in, but when he went in, he felt Director He's eyes on him and was slightly startled. But when he looked back, he found that Director He's eyes were not on him. So he didn't think much about it and stepped into the portal directly. When his figure disappeared in the portal, He Shi's eyes returned to the portal, and his eyes kept flickering. If he thought Yi Xiaotian's suspicion was a bit unreliable before, he believed it a little more now. If there is nothing wrong in his heart, why is he so sensitive? Why are other students and teachers not so sensitive? This Huang family disciple who returned from studying abroad is also a bit unusual. Huang Wei is a graduate student at Magic City University, and can also be considered an assistant teacher. After all, he returned from studying abroad and has the attributes of a sea turtle. That's why he was arranged to enter the secret realm, to protect the safety of freshmen while using the resources of the secret realm to improve his strength. This can also be regarded as a great cultivation of Huang Wei. But if Huang Wei is recruited by external forces, Magic City University will suffer a great loss. Going further, if Huang Wei is alienated by a heretical organization, it will not only be a loss, 
but more seriously, it will cultivate talents for the enemy. No matter which speculation it is, what he sure needs most now is evidence. And this trip to the secret realm is the best opportunity. Without direct evidence, neither Huang Wei nor Lin Hai can make specific decisions. The good news is that they haven't alerted the enemy yet. Soon, it was Shen Ao's turn. Looking at Lin Hai who was following behind, he sure reminded him, don't make trouble. Shen Ao snorted coldly. As a proud son of a noble family, although he didn't want to provoke he sure, he was not afraid of him much. The arrangement of he sure today was obviously aimed at them. Otherwise, why did he arrange Yi Xiaotian to enter first and them to enter last? Why didn't he arrange Yi Xiaotian's team to enter the secret realm last? Although the time difference between the first and the last is not too big, Shen Ao was unhappy. He sure didn't take their four major families seriously. Shen Ao remembered this matter. Hearing Shen Ao's cold snort, he sure sighed in his heart. Forget it, life and death are determined by fate, and wealth is determined by heaven. He has done everything he can, and next, it depends on their own luck. This is the case for Shen Ao and them, and it is also the case for Yi Xiaotian. After everyone entered, he sure also led people into the secret realm. Soon, the portal was closed, and it would open again after half a month, allowing the people inside to be automatically teleported out. After entering the secret realm, he sure did not see Yi Xiaotian and his team, and he felt much more at ease. Then he shouted, everyone come and gather. Yi Xiaotian's team was specially arranged by him, so they can go first. But other teachers and students don't have such treatment. No matter they are advanced or backward, they have to wait inside. Who dares to move without his leader's permission? Not only the students of Magic City University, but also the students of the other three famous universities are the same. After their students come in, they also stay there first and wait for everyone to arrive. Dividing the area and arranging teachers to protect the safety of students can all be done here. Chapter 151 While the safe zone was still arranging the pairing of teachers and students, Yi Xiaotian and his team had already started the operation of hunting the alien beasts. Brother Tian, I have inquired about it. This secret realm is called the Phantom Secret Realm. It is said that the four secret realms of this summer camp are all different. The purpose is to allow students to adapt to various special alien beasts in advance. Let's not talk about the land alien beasts. They are the most common and the easiest to encounter. The previous flying secret realm is to let us adapt to the battle between flying alien beasts. This time, the phantom secret realm is a phantom type alien beast. In the secret realm, our biggest advantage is that we can have a perfect team battle, but the alien beasts rarely have such an opportunity. After all, in the special secret realm, there is a high probability that all the alien beasts are of the same type, and there are few organized alien beast teams. As a child of a big family, Huang Jie is the person with the most sensitive source of information in the team. Of course, Mu Bingyan's status is similar to his. Yi Xiaotian even suspected that her status is more powerful than Huang Jie. But this woman is too cold. Unless she has to, she will never speak. Huang Jie happened to like to talk, so this task fell on Huang Jie. Fortunately, Huang Jie also liked this task. Phantom-like beasts. This kind of beast is quite strange, everyone be careful. Huang Jie reminded. Huang Jie, have you seen phantom-like beasts? Wang Hao asked. Huang Jie replied, no. Yi Xiaotian said, okay, everyone be careful, I will remind you if there is any movement. We move forward in a triangle formation, and several auxiliary psychics stand in the middle. As a healing psychic, Sun Yao is naturally the core of the formation. The second layer is Han Xu Yao, Mu Bingyan and Huang Jie, who are either auxiliary or attacking psychics. Yi Xiaotian, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi stand at the outermost. By alternating their positions, Sun Yao can be well protected. As long as she is fine, then it's okay, even if she is injured, she can be treated. Of course, if she dies, it will be troublesome. Although Yi Xiaotian and his second soul have the skill of resurrection, this is a killer. 
Yi Xiaotian also has a guess, that is, his nightmare, talent skill split out of the incarnation, I wonder if it can inherit his talent skills. In principle, it should be possible. Insufficient strength should only be reflected in its own attributes, not in talent skills. Of course, because there is no opportunity to test this talent skill, all this is just Yi Xiaotian's guess. This trip to the secret realm, there is a chance to try it. Nightmare, according to the number of enemies, the same number of clones are differentiated. The strength of the clone is affected by the talent grade and the awakening level of the clone. The last sentence is, the enemy dies, the clone disappears. There is a question here. The enemy dies, and the corresponding clone will disappear. What if the enemy is not dead? What if it just ran away? Or released? How should this be judged? Thinking of this, Yi Xiaotian urgently wanted to find an opportunity to try it. Wang Hao, Xiaoxi, come to the front. Yi Xiaotian stopped and called Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi immediately came to the front, and Wang Hao asked, Brother Tian, what's wrong? Yi Xiaotian said, It's okay, we are moving forward in an inverted triangle, I'm behind. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were both confused, what's the difference? I'm behind, if there is any accident, I can support you in time. But if I'm in front, I can't see what's happening behind. Yi Xiaotian explained calmly. Oh, that's it, thank you brother Tian. Wang Hao suddenly realized and felt that what Yi Xiaotian said made sense. They have all experienced Yi Xiaotian's fighting speed. They are very convinced by Yi Xiaotian's words, the martial arts in the world are indestructible, only speed can't be broken. It's just a pity that Yi Xiaotian can go the way of agile combat, but they can't. But then again, Yi Xiaotian is an SS level auxiliary talent, but looking at the current situation, he seems to be planning to go the way of close combat. Is this a narrow path? Instead of cultivating the SS level auxiliary talent, he pursued the A level melee talent. No matter how you look at it, it's a brain hole. It's just that Yi Xiaotian has always performed very well, so everyone has ignored this problem. After all, Yi Xiaotian's increase in auxiliary is no less than Huang Jia. And in terms of combat, he even crushes Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. With such a powerful teammate, what can they question? Just follow him and shout 66. In fact, everyone gradually got used to Yi Xiaotian's strength. Always think that he is a genius, and it is understandable that he is stronger. Never thought about whether his strength has exceeded common sense. As for others, they don't know Yi Xiaotian's details. They only know that he is a genius and seems to be very strong. Then director he values him very much. But then again, if Yi Xiaotian is not very different, why does director he value him so much? You know, even Shen Ao and Mo Qian, geniuses from famous families, were outshined by Yi Xiaotian. No one doubted anything and felt that Yi Xiaotian's arrangement made sense. Han Xuyao saw brother Tian running to the back, and quickly changed positions with Huang Jie. Although the second and third floors are two opposite triangles, it is closer to brother Tian. Brother Tian, I heard that this phantom beast is best at confusing people, so be careful. Han Xuyao warned. Phantom beasts are good at mental attacks, and Yi Xiaotian has super close combat ability. So Han Xuyao felt that his mental attributes should not have improved much, and he was not very resistant to this kind of phantom beast. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Don't worry, I'm fine, just be careful. Han Xuyao smiled sweetly, and she was so beautiful. Her liveliness and the cold Mu Bingyan next to her were like two extremes. Han Xuyao was like a lark, and when she had nothing to do, she would chat with you in various ways. But Mu Bingyan was like an ice sculpture, and she could not say a word from morning to night. It is said that talent can also change a person's personality, but I don't know if it is true. Yi Xiaotian took advantage of everyone's inattention and released his second soul. Anyway, this time he was just testing the effect of the talent skills. Anyway, the second soul has all the talent skills except the supreme talent of the life. The second soul was covered in a black robe, holding a staff, and quietly left the team. Chapter 152
Yi Xiaotian was distracted as he was trying to do two things at once. Hey, that's a bit strange. At this time, Wang Hao suddenly spoke up and the team stopped. Chang Xiaoxi said, what's wrong? Did you find traces of the strange beast? Wang Hao shook his head and said, Xiaoxi, do you feel that the surrounding environment is familiar? Seeing that the two people who were leading the way in front had stopped, Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan also stopped and were fully alert. Yi Xiaotian even shouted to Wang Hao, Haozi, what happened? Wang Hao said, Brother Tian, I always feel that something is wrong. The surrounding environment is a bit familiar. Are we lost? Lost? Everyone was stunned. How could they get lost in such a place? Now that you mention it, it seems to be a bit familiar. Chang Xiaoxi suddenly spoke up. Wang Hao suddenly pointed to a plant next to him and said, it looks familiar. We have indeed walked the same path. Xiaoxi, look at that ironwood. Chang Xiaoxi looked in the direction of his finger and exclaimed, it really is. Look, the mark I cut before is still there. Ironwood is extremely hard and comparable to steel. The key point is that it is heavier than steel of the same size. Chang Xiaoxi is now also a C-level awakener, and he has a B-level sword in his hand, but he can only leave a mark on the ironwood. You can see how hard this ironwood is. This is definitely a good material for making weapons. It's just a pity that even if they see it, they can't take it back. This is a hundred feet high, and it can't be cut down. How can they take it? Their reincarnation space can't fit such a giant tree. So when they found it before, they just tried it with a knife, and didn't expect to take it out at all. Unexpectedly, the previous casual test became the best evidence. Howzi, what happened? Yi Xiao Tian asked loudly. Wang Hao said, Brother Tian, there is a problem. We are walking the same path again. Illusion, everyone gather together, don't disperse. Huang Jie suddenly seemed to remember something at this time and said quickly. Yi Xiao Tian quickly called everyone to gather together. Wang Hao pointed to the towering ironwood and said, Brother, look, this is the mark that Xiaoxi cut before, and now we are here again. But the surrounding environment is so ambiguous. If it weren't for this ironwood and the mark on the tree, I would never have thought that we would return to the old place again. Yi Xiaotian asked Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, did you two find anything? In the team, except Yi Xiaotian, only the two of them had the highest spiritual attributes. So Yi Xiaotian asked them first. Mu Bingyan shook her head and said in a cold voice, no, I have used my spiritual power to sense it just now, but I didn't find anything. She looked a little lost and was hit hard. Recently, she always felt very powerless, as if she couldn't help with anything. Like a waste. She is a genius, awakened to the ice talent, and her talent skills have control effects. So she is a rare awakener who combines control and attack. Even the ice element can learn defensive skills. At the beginning, she was still very proud. But as time went by, her pride was slowly wearing away. Especially Houtian's attitude, which made her even doubt her charm for a while. If it weren't for the greedy eyes of countless boys on the playground before, she would have doubted whether she had grown crooked. Now, the team is in trouble, but she is helpless. Originally, with her ability, she should be able to become the main force of the team. But now, she has the tendency to become a burden. She doesn't want to be any burden. No. Is it because I am too weak that Hao Tian doesn't like me? Suddenly, such a thought popped up in Mu Binyan's mind. In such an environment, she can still spread her thoughts to this extent, which shows how entangled she has been in her heart during this period. Han Xuyao said straightforwardly, Brother Tian, I didn't sense anything either. Did you find anything? Yi Xiao Tian observed the surroundings and said, I did find something. There are fluctuations in mental power here. I didn't expect that the first strange beast encountered in this phantom secret realm is good at illusion. Yi Xiao Tian said, but his eyes were cast in one direction. Everyone followed his gaze, but found nothing. There were no strange beasts there except plants. Yi Xiao Tian raised his knife and chopped it out instantly. A terrifying knife energy slashed towards that place. 
suddenly, the plants in everyone's eyes slowly changed. The plant disappeared and turned into a sable. The sable avoided Yi Xiaotian's knife attack like a flash of lightning. Turning around, it bared its teeth at Yi Xiaotian. Look at its pupils! Chang Xiaoxi exclaimed. The pupils of sables are different from those of humans, and even from those of other strange beasts. Its two pupils seem to be spinning constantly, making people disappear into them unconsciously. Don't look! Yi Xiaotian shouted. This suddenly awakened Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi, who were already somewhat fascinated. As for the other people, especially those who were all superpowered, their mental strength was much stronger, so their resistance was also much stronger. Hearing Yi Xiaotian's shout, they quickly retracted their gazes. So powerful! Huang Jia whispered. It's really powerful! Sun Yao couldn't help but say. She almost fell into Zidane's trap just now. Thinking of this, she looked at Yi Xiaotian with a more mysterious look. Where did this captain come from? Not to mention the close combat, the last secret realm, and yesterday's single-handed capture of the killer, are absolutely powerful. And the auxiliary aspect is also very powerful. He can actually increase two attributes, which is simply outrageous. What's more outrageous is that these two attributes can be specified. No wonder director he thinks so much of him. No wonder the school thinks so much of him. Even the conditions given to him, even Shin Ao and others are jealous, thinking of snatching these resources from him. This man is indeed unfathomable. He is so strong in close combat, which means that his strength and physical attributes are already very high. But now his spirit is so strong. Where did his attribute points come from? Like the rest of the team, he was taken to the dungeon by the great god Haotian. In this way, his reincarnation points should be similar to those of the other members of the team. Facts have proved that, except for Yi Xiaotian, the strength of the other members of the team is indeed at the same level. But Yi Xiaotian is not. Could it be that the great god Haotian gave him a special treatment? Sun Yao silently guessed in his heart. I am afraid that only this explanation is reasonable. In this way, the relationship between the captain and the great god Haotian must be more than what it seems. Chapter, 153 This is the Phantom Sky Martin. Huang Jia exclaimed, I didn't expect that the first strange beast we encountered in this phantom secret realm would be it. Huang Kong Diao, you have a nice name, and you are so beautiful. Han Xu Yao said, making everyone roll their eyes. Although this phantom ferret is indeed very beautiful, it is very dangerous. The phantom ferret in front of him has at least B-level awakening strength, and the opponent can also perform illusions. Huang Jia reminded, everyone, please be careful. Not only is this magic sky Martin good at illusions, but he also has lightning attributes. Moreover, he is very fast and his claws are very sharp. You mean it can also use thunder magic? Han Xu Yao said unexpectedly. After all, she is also a person with lightning powers. Huang Jie nodded and said, Generally speaking, an adult phantom ferret has these two talents. Its abnormal speed and sharp claws are inherent in its attribute body. FCK. Everyone couldn't help but swear in their hearts. No wonder the monsters are so powerful. There are too many races with this pair of talents or even multiple talents, right? This fantasy sky ferret possesses dual talents as an adult. And this close combat is probably very terrifying. After all, Yi Xiaotian said that all martial arts in the world are invincible, only speed is indestructible. It's so terrifying. But fortunately, it is difficult to reproduce this kind of phantom ferret, so the number is very rare, and it is rare to see it outside. Huang Jia added. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief. If there were many such strange beasts, it would be terrible. There is only one now, which is a little better. After hearing what Huang Jie said, Yi Xiaotian became interested. Wang Hao, Chang Xiaoxi, be careful, I'll go meet this magic sky Martin. Yi Xiaotian raised his knife and rushed towards the magic sky mink. Brother Tian, be careful. Han Xuyao only had time to remind him. She was already prepared to take action once Yi Xiaotian was in danger. 
It's just that Yi Xiaotian and Huan Kongjiao were already standing together. One person and one animal were moving very fast, and her eyes couldn't keep up with the speed of their battle. Not just her, but others too. No wonder Brother Tian said that the only martial arts in the world is fast. Huang Jia sighed. Now they can only see two shadows flashing continuously. As for how many times they have fought, they have no idea. Not even their mental power has locked onto the Phantom Sky Martin. Under such circumstances, I am afraid that only large-scale magical covering attacks are likely to be effective. And once the opponent is alert, even if it attacks a large area, the opponent may be able to escape. So now they can only watch the excitement from the side. On the other hand, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi were under great pressure. After all, they didn't know if the Phantom Sky Martin would suddenly rush towards them. The Magic Sky Martin roared again and again. Damn ants, actually have such speed. Its claws couldn't even touch Yi Xiaotian. But Yi Xiaotian's sword kept threatening it. I barely managed to avoid it several times. This guy's sword skills have no rules at all, it's all just messing around. It was very different from the human awakeners it had encountered before. But he didn't know that this was the reason why Yi Xiaotian never learned more advanced sword skills. As long as you practice basic sword skills to the extreme, you can produce magical effects. It's impossible to figure out his tactics. Because his sword skills have no routine at all. Just when Yi Xiaotian was fighting against Huan Kongjiao, the second soul also found his target. A black beast that resembles a wolf and a leopard, with a sharp horn on its head. If Huang Jia were here, he would definitely recognize it as the nether leopard wolf beast. But the second spirit didn't care. If he killed this strange beast, he would know what kind it was. After all, this is the real world, not a real game. Or if one day, he can obtain innate skills such as insight, he can detect the opponent's information in advance. He waved the staff in his hand, and a clone dressed exactly like him appeared next to the second soul. The nether leopard wolf beast opposite saw this scene and was stunned for a moment. Then, ripples flashed across the sharp corners of the nether leopard wolf beast's forehead. Fuck. The second soul was stunned. This damn thing is actually a summoned beast. Looking at the densely packed leopard wolf summoned by the leopard wolf beast on the opposite side, the second soul laughed a little. Is this a quantitative comparison? What a coincidence. The one summoned by the nether leopard wolf beast can be said to be its clansmen or its summoned beasts. Seeing that the numbers on his side were overwhelming, the nether leopard wolf beast was immediately satisfied. The eyes looking at the second soul were full of provocation. The second soul suddenly laughed. Sure enough, the IQs of high-level alien beasts are not weak. Naturally, he couldn't let the opponent down. As he waved the staff, dozens of rays of light flashed, and clones as many as the opponent's summoned beasts appeared around him. Shocked. The face and eyes of the netherworld leopard wolf beast were filled with astonishment. I don't understand what kind of magic the human in front of me is using. It's not a summoning magic, let alone a beast controlling magic. More like a clone technique. At the moment, the two sides are fighting together. The second soul will never forget what its mission is in this line of work. He quickly paid attention. The physical attributes of these clones summoned by his innate skill nightmare, are only about one third of his. This is expected. But fortunately, these clones have inherited all his innate skills. This is great. If the attributes are not enough, the talents will make up for it. Many innate skills that can enhance physical attributes are all activated, as well as the innate skill gravity, and even golden sharpness, are all activated. As for the skill eagle soaring, it is random. A group of clones emitting golden light rushed towards the leopard wolf beast. At this moment, these clones, whether in strength, physique or speed, have soared again. Unfortunately, the innate skill deer and crane's cry, cannot be stacked, otherwise it can be infinitely nested. But it doesn't matter. Although deer and crane's cry, cannot be nested, it can be stacked with other amplification skills of itself. So in just a blink of an eye, the strength of these clones has been improved by several levels. The opposite nether leopard wolf beast was already dumbfounded. 
how could this human be so perverted? It's not enough that he can summon so many clones, and the strength of these clones can actually grow explosively in an instant. On the other side, the battle between Yi Xiaotian and the Phantom Martin has reached a fever pitch. Yi Xiaotian activated the two amplification talents of strength and swiftness, and with the assistance of the gravity, skill, he beat the Phantom Martin so hard that it screamed, but there was nothing it could do. Now, it has been crushed by Yi Xiaotian. Chapter 154 Huan Kongyao was crushed by Yi Xiaotian. On the second soul side, the leopard and wolf herds were also crushed. There are no familiar people around this time, so there is no need to hide the second soul, just use as much strength as you can. However, because the second soul's own strength is limited and its surrounding attributes are only over 30, 0, 0, the clone can only inherit one third of the caster's physical attributes. After many increases in talent skills, the physical attributes of these clones have now exceeded 100, 0, 0, reaching the standards of A-level Awakeners. In addition, there are many other talents and skills that assist combat. Therefore, the actual combat effectiveness of these clones is probably maintained at the mid-level A-level. And if Yi Xiaotian's body casts Nightmare, then the attribute values of these clones can at least reach the A-level mid-level Awakening level. The actual combat effectiveness is at least A-level high level. But the specific situation remains to be seen. After all, the higher the basic attributes of the body, the greater the role of talent skills. Now, the second soul knows what's going on, and Yi Xiaotian also knows what's going on. As the leopard and wolf beasts fell down one by one, their clones also disappeared. The eyes of the nether leopard wolf almost bulged out. What kind of operation is this? The other party clearly has the advantage in strength and quantity, so why does it want to take back those clones? Is this looking down on yourself? So to take back all the clones, there must be a battle of equal numbers. What kind of hobby is this? The nether leopard wolf beast couldn't figure out what the second soul was thinking. It didn't know at all that this was the characteristic of the innate skill nightmare. If the enemy dies, these clones can continue to exist, which is too perverted. In the end, the nether leopard and wolf beast can only be attributed to the fact that the second soul needs to be consumed to maintain the existence of these clones. But at this moment, it has no more time to think about it. Because his men were on one side, all the leopards and wolves he summoned were almost dead. In the end, only three or two of the nether leopard wolf beast's men were left dead. The second spirit summoned the clone to stop and did not continue the attack. The nether leopards and wolf beasts are ready to retreat. What if they cannot win or retreat? It's not stupid. It knows when to make which choice. But the second soul suddenly stopped, making it a little confused. The netherworld leopard wolf beast made a cheering sound at the second soul. The second spirit frowned and folded, unable to understand. But that didn't stop him from showing off. He waved his hand and said to the nether leopard and wolf beast, let's go. Although the nether leopard and wolf beast didn't understand his words, it did understand the movements of the second spirit's hand. It was a little hesitant, not knowing whether the second spirit really let it go or was just pretending. But after hesitating for a while, it turned around and left. In this mountain forest, it is still very confident. After walking for a while, it turned back and saw that the second soul had no intention of pursuing it, so it started running with confidence. Like a bolt of lightning, it disappeared into the forest in the blink of an eye. The second spirit looked at the clone beside him and waited quietly. The nether leopard wolf left with three of his men. He was waiting to see if these clones would disappear after the enemy left. He didn't know what kind of rule this was. But now, he has no power to resist, so he can only obey. But he must figure it out so that when fighting in the future, he can calmly design his own fighting method. A few minutes later, looking at the three clones that gradually dissipated, a look of disappointment flashed across the face of the second soul. But you should be content. Facts have proved that this nightmare, talent skill is really very powerful. Currently, he only has more than a dozen innate skills, and they have not yet formed a system. In the future, after he systematically learns the Awakener's combat system, he can perfectly match all his talents and skills. 
the combat effectiveness that those clones can exert will be greatly improved. In short, it's really time to be content. Moreover, with the supreme talent infinite growth, he can also acquire countless powerful talents and skills in the future. These natural skills can also be upgraded to higher levels. Now Nightmare, is only an A-level talent. What if it is upgraded to S-level, or even SS or SS level? What effect will that have? As far as Yi Xiaotian knows now, after the talent reaches S-level, there will be a qualitative leap every time it is promoted to another level. There is no way, it is difficult to strengthen and improve talents, but it becomes even more difficult when reaching S-level. If you want to train an S-level talent awakener into an SS level 1, it will require a huge amount of resources. Even a top awakening family like the Shen family still has to work hard. Even the five most powerful men are not willing to make such a sacrifice. But Yi Xiaotian is not afraid. He can obtain life essence by killing strange beasts, which can be used to strengthen his skills and improve his talent level. It's definitely a profitable business. Although most of the alien beasts have now rushed back to the alien space plane from Blue Star. But it doesn't matter, wait until Yi Xiaotian becomes stronger. You can go directly to the alien battlefield. Even, directly enter the alien space plane and break into the lair of the alien race. There are countless beasts in the different space and planes, and they are endless to kill. Don't be in a hurry, take your time, one day, he will brush all the talents and skills in the world, and strengthen these talents and skills to the highest level. This is his ultimate goal. The second soul returned to the main body, and what happened there was integrated into Yi Xiaotian's own memory along with the memory of the second soul. It was as if those things were all experienced by him personally. The fantasy Martin had been crushed by him and had no temper at all. It was not as fast as him, not as strong as him, and even the fantasy eye technique that he was proud of had lost its effect. After Yi Xiaotian wore the B-level Tianjin armor, its last advantage clause also disappeared. So the final battle was purely Yi Xiaotian playing with the Fantasy Martin. The Fantasy Martin was very angry, but there was nothing he could do. Suddenly Yi Xiaotian stopped and let it breathe. Just when it was confused, Yi Xiaotian spoke, If you follow me in the future, I can spare your life. Yi Xiaotian didn't know whether the Fantasy Martin could understand what he said. But he wanted to try. The Fantasy Martin could understand what Yi Xiaotian said. As a rare race, their talent and IQ were very high. It was not difficult to understand human language. At least for the Fantasy Martin clan, it was not difficult. It even knew human language, although not much. The main reason was that it was rare to meet a human in this secret realm for decades. Especially humans who were willing to communicate with it. If it was before today, the Fantasy Martin would definitely let Yi Xiaotian know why the flowers were so red. But now, it had to consider it. Chapter, 155 Wang Hao and Huang Jie's eyes were about to fall to the ground. Yi Xiaotian actually wanted to subdue this Fantasy Martin. Although this Fantasy Martin is indeed very beautiful, and its talent is also very good. But this is a strange beast. Although there have been precedents of human awakeners subduing strange beasts in the past. But without exception, it is very difficult. And unless you have absolute strength to suppress, otherwise subduing such a strange beast by your side is tantamount to burying a time bomb by your side. Although Yi Xiaotian has been suppressing the fantasy Martin just now. But this is only done under the enhancement of talent skills. And the enhancement of talent skills is time limited. He can't always bless himself with talent skills. When the talent skill time limit is up, what should I do if the Fantasy Martin suddenly hurts people? Tigers also have naps. Yi Xiaotian did not awaken the talent of beast control, so there is no solution. Unless Yi Xiaotian's own strength can crush the Fantasy Martin. This is truly safe. But at this time, they couldn't say much. They could only wait for Yi Xiaotian to come back and find a chance to tell him. And the Fantasy Martin might not agree. But they miscalculated. After thinking for three seconds, the Fantasy Martin actually agreed. This result surprised Han Xuyao and the others. As a proud Fantasy Martin, you are so spineless, which is really too despised. 
The most shocking person here is Huang Jia. He has the most profound understanding of the fantasy Martin. Whether it is the statement of the family elders or the records of the family, it is said that the fantasy Martin cannot surrender to humans. This is the transcendence unique to their race. But what is going on now? After being beaten and fooled with a few words, it surrendered directly. This is not consistent with the description in the book. Yi Xiao Tian held the fantasy Martin, which is the size of a cat, in his arms and walked towards the crowd. If you don't look closely, you will really think that the docile fantasy Martin is a cat. Seeing Yi Xiao Tian coming, Huang Jie took a few steps back and pulled away. But Han Xuyao came up to him the first time and said, Wow, so cute, brother Tian, let's give it a name, okay? Yi Xiao Tian said lovingly, Sure, you can give it a name. Huang Jia shuddered. They are really not from the same family. Han Xuyao is not afraid at all. Let's call it Xiao Zi. Han Xuyao thought for a long time and gave a very intuitive name. Okay, this name is pretty. Yi Xiao Tian gave face. Everyone's face was not good. What's so good about this name? Even if you want to show off your love, you don't have to be so strong, right? Are you going to let single dogs live? Brother Tian, can I hug Xiao Zi? Han Xuyao said with anticipation. Yi Xiao Tian thought about it for a while before saying, forget it. This guy is quite heavy. I'm afraid you'll get tired. Han Xuyao thought about it and said, okay. Everyone rolled their eyes. Can this team stay here any longer? Wang Hao looked at Chang Xiaoxi, who gave him a fierce look with a strong warning. He had been laughed at before. If he dared to make trouble at this time, Chang Xiaoxi would let him know why the flowers are so red. Wang Hao was scared and looked away. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, let's keep going forward. Next, their team went through several more battles and even encountered illusions. However, because Yi Xiaotian was holding the Phantom Martin in his arms, they all passed smoothly. Yi Xiaotian was the Ding He Shenzhen in the team. If the enemy is not strong, let Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi fight against the enemy. Only when they are defeated will Yi Xiao Tian choose to take action. This is also a kind of experience for them. Two days passed leisurely. On this day, they had just finished fighting. In this battle, Yi Xiao Tian did not fight. He held the Phantom Martin and watched the battle from the side. He looked more like a nobleman holding a pet cat. Just as they were about to rest, a figure suddenly appeared in front of them. Hey, Teacher Su, why are you here? The man was a teacher from Magic City University. Everyone in Yi Xiaotian's team knew him. Because when Teacher Yuan strongly requested to deal with Yi Xiaotian, Teacher Su had always spoken well of Yi Xiaotian. So Yi Xiaotian had to accept this favor. But he didn't expect that they would meet here. After all, according to the plan of Yi Xiaotian and Director He, it is best not to meet with people from the school in this secret realm. Director He was afraid that Yi Xiaotian would conflict with Shen Ao and others again and disrupt his plan. So when Yi Xiaotian chose a direction, he would actively avoid the area planned in advance by the school. The students of the four famous schools were divided into four directions, each unrelated. This can also avoid a lot of trouble. Now the school leader's intention is very clear, to improve the student's strength as much as possible to cope with the upcoming Global Awakening Freshman Competition. This is a major event related to the allocation of resources of major universities around the world in the coming year. The five Supremes attach great importance to it, so they naturally have to work hard. It is also the most competitive competition every year. Because only the freshman competition is held once a year. Other competitions are basically held every few years, and may even be cancelled during special periods. Only the freshman competition has not stopped every year. It can be seen how much importance the higher authorities attach to freshmen. Let's get back to the point. Yi Xiao Tian was also surprised to see Teacher Su appear here. After all, all teachers now should bring people to protect their students. Logically, when Teacher Su appears here, there should be two or three people around him. But now, the other party appears here alone. Could it be that they were also attacked by strange beasts? 
but there were no signs of fighting on Teacher Su's body. This made Yi Xiaotian even more confused. Teacher Su smiled at this time, Student Yi Xiaotian, you really made it difficult for me to find you. If I hadn't known your locator in advance, I really couldn't find you. Oh, I don't know what Teacher Su wants to talk to me about. I don't remember any agreement between Teacher Su and me. Yi Xiaotian heard something wrong. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were all very confused, wondering what Yi Xiaotian and Teacher Su were talking about. After all, Teacher Su had spoken for Yi Xiaotian outside. Now it seems inappropriate for Yi Xiaotian to treat Teacher Su with such an attitude. Yi Xiaotian, you really saw it. How could a smart person like you make such a stupid decision? Teacher Su said with regret. Yi Xiaotian's face was full of caution, which made him understand that it was almost impossible to use the identity of a teacher to let Yi Xiaotian let down his guard. But it didn't matter, he was absolutely sure to face Yi Xiaotian's team. Chapter 156 Yi Xiaotian, I look at you horizontally and vertically, and I think you are a smart person. But why did you make such a stupid decision? Teacher Su said with a look of regret. Director he is optimistic about Yi Xiaotian, but he is also optimistic about Yi Xiaotian. But there are some things that he can't just be optimistic about. In some things, Yi Xiaotian went too far and challenged others' bottom line, so it was normal for others to want his life. Then do you think a smart person like me will make stupid decisions? Yi Xiaotian asked. Teacher Su shook his head and said, You don't need to delay here. It's useless. Since I have found this place, it means that you will not be spared today. Teacher Su, can you show some mercy to my classmates? Yi Xiaotian suddenly asked. Teacher Su shook his head and said, No, since my identity has been exposed, it is impossible for them to return to school. Yi Xiaotian, you are a smart person, why do you think about such innocent things? This is not what a smart person should ask. Teacher Su felt that Yi Xiaotian was a bit challenging his bottom line. Yi Xiaotian shrugged and said, Okay, I'm a little naive, but it also confirmed some of my guesses from the side. Teacher Su raised his eyebrows. He wanted to ask what Yi Xiaotian's guess was, but he gave up in the end. It's no longer necessary. As long as Yi Xiaotian dies here, any of his speculations will be meaningless. Everyone else was confused. What on earth were these two people talking about? Isn't Teacher Su a teacher at the school? Isn't he here to protect them? Yi Xiaotian, you are a smart man. For this reason, I will give you a chance to kill yourself. I can leave you a whole body. Teacher Su said. Teacher Su, you are a teacher, why do you do this? Wang Hao asked angrily. Teacher Su looked at Wang Hao and said with a sigh, This student, a smart person would never ask such a stupid question. So, you are not a smart person. Wang Hao was stunned. What the hell is this? Am I a smart person? Do I have anything to do with you? What I'm asking is why are you doing this? As a university teacher, you don't protect your students, but you attack your own students. Is this how you become a teacher? What should I do? Huang Jia asked Mu Bingyan. Mu Binyan shook her head, this was not the outside, what could they do? Here, the so-called family background has no threat at all. If someone dies here, no one knows how he died. When the time is up and they have not gone out, the school will notify their families that your child died in the secret realm. Didn't those students who died in the Fatian secret realm last time have the same result? In an era like this, it is normal for a few people to die. So when Yi Xiaotian proposed to let them live, Teacher Su would say that his proposal was very stupid. Hey, Yi Xiaotian, this cat in your arms is very cute. Where did it come from? Teacher Su suddenly turned his attention to the Huankong mink in Yi Xiaotian's arms. If you don't look carefully, this phantom ferret really looks like a cat. But how could there be a cat in this secret realm? It is also impossible to bring it in from outside. No. This is not a cat. Teacher Su looked carefully and then exclaimed, This is the Phantom Sable. He didn't even know what to say at this time. This Yi Xiaotian is really lucky. 
I unexpectedly encountered a phantom ferret in this secret realm. The most enviable thing is that this fantasy ferret actually recognizes him as its master. This is even more puzzling. But no matter what, as long as he kills Yi Xiao Tian, then this fantasy sky ferret will be his. Thinking about being able to have a phantom ferret as a pet makes you excited all over. At Shanghai University, if you want to become a teacher, you must at least start as an A-level awakened person. Teacher Su is an A-level awakener. Although there was a B-level assassin awakener who failed before. But there is a huge gap between class B and class A. The difference in attributes alone is 10 times. So teacher Su is very confident. They were just a few freshmen. In front of him, they were no different from a few ants. He could easily crush it to death. As for why Yi Xiao Tian was able to subdue a phantom ferret. That can only mean that this fantasy ferret is too weak. Yi Xiao Tian just got lucky and unexpectedly met a phantom ferret. At the same time, as luck would have it, this phantom ferret is actually still a baby. Looking at it this way, it is completely the template of the protagonist. But now, this protagonist template belongs to him. He is very confident. Are you ready? Teacher Su asked Yi Xiao Tian. What are you preparing for? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Of course it's death. A trace of contempt flashed in Teacher Su's eyes. He had praised Yi Xiao Tian for being smart before. But now it seems that this guy is only smart. I won't die. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head. You must die. You all must die. Teacher Su said firmly. If they don't die, how can he use the power of the family to climb up? This was the condition offered to him by the Shen family. As long as Yi Xiao Tian is killed, the four major families in the demon city will be his strong backing in the future. Teacher Su took on the task very readily. He originally thought that this task was easy, and the only difficulty was to find Yi Xiao Tian in the secret realm. But unexpectedly, this matter had already been done for him. So there was no difficulty at all. But unexpectedly, Yi Xiao Tian, this kid, was so arrogant. No wonder he dared to offend the Shen family, he was really arrogant. Yi Xiao Tian handed the fantasy Martin in his hand to Wang Hao and told him, if it dares to move, kill it. The fantasy Martin was immediately frightened and trembled all over. Brother Tian, I will fight with you. Wang Hao asked for battle. Chang Xiaoxi also stood up, with a strong fighting spirit on his face. People have already wanted their lives, so they naturally have to resist with all their strength. Fighting or not, they will die, so they might as well fight. Yi Xiao Tian comforted them and said, No, your strength is too different. I can do it alone. Brother Tian, no, you can't be his opponent alone. Let's fight together. At least there is a chance. Han Xuyao said. Mu Bingyan also said, Let's fight together. At this time, no one would be naive to think that they still have a chance. Since that teacher Su has said so much, he will definitely not let them live. That's right, with me here, at least you can hold on for a while longer. Sun Yao also stood firmly beside Yi Xiao Tian and said. Brother Tian, although my talent is auxiliary, I can also participate in the battle. Huang Jia said so. Chapter, 157 No need. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head directly. He was a little annoyed. The endless Shen family really made him angry. He no longer had any expectations for the behavior of these aristocratic families. Under the heavy external crisis, the internal strength was still being consumed. Not to mention the oppression of alien races. Although the Blue Star human race is now in a big alliance to fight against alien races together. But in the big alliance, the competition between countries is still there. And these aristocratic families do not work hard for their own countries, and do not want to cultivate more hard-working strong people for the human race. But they are still interrupting the path of geniuses here. What is this? To put it mildly, this is nonsense. To put it seriously, this is clan traitor. Since the Shen family doesn't care, what is he afraid of? With his current background, he already has enough confidence to confront the Shen family. 
Even if the Shin family is the top family in the magic city, what does it matter? It's these arrogant top families that are fighting. Is he wrong? No. Because he never thought of provoking others. It was Shin Ao who wanted to step on him to get to the top. But in the end, it was his fault. Should he just lower his head and let Shin Ao step on him? There is no such reason in the world. The more he thought about it, the more aggrieved he felt. He stared at Teacher Su and said, I have never thought of making an enemy of anyone. Even if Shin Ao sent someone to assassinate me at school, I would never think of doing anything to him. But the Shin family still won't give up and must kill me. In that case, come on, let's see who dies first. Yi Shao Tian drew out his sword and pointed it at the ground. Teacher Su looked calm, and suddenly said, I thought you were a smart man, but now it seems that you are just a young man. There is no right or wrong in this world, there are only interests. It is normal for the Shen family to want you dead for their own interests. And it is also normal for me to kill you for the Shen family for the sake of interests. Because only with enough interests can you become stronger and do more things you want to do. The five supremes are high above, why can't I become the sixth supreme? Teacher Su's emotions were very calm, as if these things had nothing to do with him. He was not touched by Yi Xiaotian's resentful eyes. Yi Xiaotian is just a young man who has not yet matured, so it is normal for him to be impulsive and fierce. And what about him? As a university teacher, he is not only mature in thought, but also sees a lot of things. He has a very thorough understanding of the true meaning of this world. To put it bluntly, all this is driven by interests. Why do aliens want to occupy Blue Star? It's still because of interests. The humans on Blue Star wanted to resist, and they didn't want their own interests to be damaged. You are unworthy of being a teacher. I feel sad for the students who listened to your class before. Yi Xiao Tian raised his knife and pointed, saying, Okay, stop talking nonsense, and do it. I'll give you a chance, let you make the first move, and let you die with your eyes closed. Teacher Su was very calm, and it was a pity for Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian would not be stupid enough to give in, and cast a deer and crane cry, on himself. Under the digital amplification, his physical attributes instantly broke through 200 zero zero points. And it was 200 zero zero points for all attributes. This is completely different from a single main attribute breaking through this value. This means that he has no shortcomings. No matter what type of awakener the opponent is, unless the attributes are far superior to his, or he has special talents and skills. Otherwise, his attribute defense cannot be broken at all. Attribute defense can also be said to be resistance. This is just the state of opening an amplified talent skill. However, Yi Xiao Tian felt that it was enough to deal with Teacher Su, who was only an A-level beginner awakener. Yi Xiao Tian rushed towards Teacher Su with a knife. Teacher Su snorted coldly. He was just a freshman, so what if he was so powerful? Even if his main attribute had several thousand points, how much could he improve with the team's amplification skills? He felt that the so-called B-level assassin did not lose to Yi Xiao Tian, but to the team behind him. After all, if a C-level awakener has the amplification skills, it is very likely to increase his strength to B-level. It is said that Yi Xiao Tian himself has such auxiliary talent skills. Yi Xiao Tian is indeed a talent, and if he can grow up, he can indeed be amazing. But so what? He is amazing, but what about Shin Ao and others? They have a big family behind them, and their talents are not bad, so why can't they be amazing? Why did Yi Xiao Tian take away all the resources? Yi Xiao Tian's death can also help more geniuses, so he died for a good reason. Seeing Yi Xiao Tian's sword slashing down, Teacher Su also showed his weapon, which was also a B-level Tianjin sword. Although he was a teacher at Magic City University, he was also an A-level awakener. The income was not low, but the consumption was higher. So the B-level Tianjin sword was already the limit. He couldn't afford any higher grade equipment. This was also the reason why he agreed to the Shen family, he needed more resources to improve his strength. As an S-level talent awakener, his growth rate should not be so slow. 
The reason why he is still only an A-level beginner awakener is because the school is reluctant to invest resources in these teachers. It limits their development. Since your school is not strong, I can only find opportunities myself. Teacher Su thought so, and when he goes out, he can harvest a lot of resources. Crack. The sound of the sword breaking. Teacher Su was very satisfied. Although your sword is also made of B-level natural gold material, the grade is the same, but can your attributes compare with mine? The huge gap in strength attributes, he concluded that even if he Xiao Tian took an A-level natural gold sword, it would be useless. But soon, he noticed something wrong. A knife energy came out of his body. Yi Xiao Tian put away the knife and stood up, taking a deep breath. Teacher Su remained standing, and the B-level natural gold sword in his hand had broken into two pieces. A trace of blood emerged from his forehead, and then formed a line, from the forehead to the chin. This how is it possible teacher Su's eyes widened to the maximum, with an expression of disbelief on his face. He could not figure out until his death why Yi Xiao Tian could cut off his sword and break through his defense. Bang! Teacher Su's body fell backwards, splashing dust. Yi Xiao Tian used his knife to fiddle with the opponent's broken sword, turned around and asked, Is this broken sword still useful? There was a group of dull eyes behind him. They knew that Yi Xiao Tian was stronger than them, but they didn't expect him to be so strong. They were still at the level of C level awakeners, but Yi Xiao Tian was a university teacher who could kill A level awakeners in seconds. This gap, is it too big? How did he do it? Chapter 158. Let alone Yi Xiao Tian, even Haokian God probably doesn't have this strength at this time. If they remember correctly, Haokian God has only passed the B level promotion dungeon. He is only a B level beginner awakener. The further the awakener goes, the greater the gap between levels. Starting from the B level awakener, each major level increase is a tenfold difference. In their eyes, Yi Xiao Tian is at most B level beginner while teacher Su is a level beginner. That is the difference between 10 0, 0 attribute points and 100 0, 0 attribute points, how can it not be big? To put it bluntly, even if teacher Su stood there and relied on Yi Xiao Tian to chop, it is estimated that there is no way to break the defense. But now, Yi Xiao Tian killed teacher Su in one second. Even the B-level Tianjin war knife in teacher Su's hand was cut in half. This power has broken their defense. Is this still the freshman of the same class as them? Is this still my brother Tian? This is Han Xuyao's thought. Is this still my brother? This was the thought in Wang Hao's mind. Hearing Yi Xiaotian's question, they woke up instantly. Huang Jie quickly replied, It must be useful. It can be used as a material. This is a Tianjin level material. How much is it worth? Yi Xiao Tian asked casually. Huang Jie said, It must be worth tens of millions. Fuck. Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao both cursed, and Han Xuyao and other girls also widened their eyes. This is fucking, just a break in the middle, the value is so much less. It cost hundreds of millions when I bought it, and it's worth tens of millions when it's broken. It's fucking robbery. Sure enough, doing business is the most profitable. Okay, Brother Tian, you are so powerful, and you still care about this little money? Huang Jia said unhappily. Even the teacher of the A-level awakener was killed, does Yi Xiao Tian still need to worry about money? You know, how long has he awakened his talent now? It's only been about a month at most. Others are still struggling with F-level or E-level awakeners, and even the top geniuses are only D-level awakeners. Their team can have C-level per capita, which is already in the good hands of Haokian God. And Yi Xiao Tian is already an A-level awakener, what else do you want? If such strength is known to the top, Yi Xiao Tian will definitely be trained as a national treasure. Brother Tian, if you and Haokian God hadn't appeared in the reincarnation world together, I would have suspected that you were Haokian God. Huang Jia said casually. But he said it unintentionally, but listened to it intentionally. For example, Mu Bingyan, and Sun Yao. They both looked at Yi Xiao Tian with suspicion. But Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi thought Huang Jia was just joking. 
Han Xuyao even smiled and said, it would be great if Brother Tian was Haokian God. Mu Binyan was still very suspicious, why was Haokian God so indifferent? Why did Haokian God only add Yi Xiao Tian as a friend? Many, many, I never doubted these before. I just thought that Haokian was very cold and left after finishing the dungeon. But when Huang Jia mentioned this, she recalled every bit of her time with Haokian. The more she recalled, the more frightened she was. Although she didn't want to admit it, but considering all the factors, the conclusion is that the probability that Haotian is Yi Xiaotian is very high. The biggest doubt is Yi Xiaotian's strength. This can't be faked. We all cling to Haotian, why is your strength two awakening levels higher than ours? This is unreasonable. Unless you are Haotian himself. Sun Yao only recently learned about the fate between Haotian and Yi Xiaotian's team. In her opinion, Yi Xiaotian was just lucky to meet such a great god at the beginning. But now, like Mu Binyan, she doesn't think so. Mu Binyan cares about Haotian, so she has such doubts. Sun Yao heard about these things two days ago, and her memory was still fresh. So naturally she had doubts. In fact, she was very curious before, why everyone was clinging to thighs, why was Yi Xiaotian so strong? It's okay that your auxiliary system is strong, but it's unreasonable that the warrior system is also so strong. During the freshman period, every attribute point is very precious. Everyone will only point to the main attribute, because in this way, they can quickly improve their strength and obtain more resources. But Yi Xiaotian's attribute points are like endless. The auxiliary system is not weaker than Huang Jia, and even surpasses it. The combat system is even beyond the reach of Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi. This is too strange. But if he is Haotian God, then things can be explained. No need to explain, he is Haotian God, everything is enough. A man who has been evaluated as a super god since the novice copy, what else can be explained? Shouting Haotian God, the eternal God is enough. However, both of them were smart people. Although they had great doubts in their hearts, they did not say it out loud. The look they gave Yi Xiaotian had a different meaning inexplicably. Yi Xiaotian noticed their looks and his heart skipped a beat. Sure enough, exposing too much would arouse other people's suspicion. However, seeing that Mu Binyan and Sun Yao did not ask any questions, he was relieved. Some things are better to know in your heart, and it's not good to say them out loud. And even if Mu Binyan and Sun Yao asked, he would not admit it. I really didn't expect that the Shen family has no bottom line. Huang Jia said with emotion. These big families only have interests in their eyes, so where is the bottom line? Han Xuyao snorted coldly. Huang Jia said with embarrassment, Sister Xuyao, not all big families have no bottom line. If that were the case, the human beings on Blue Star would have been finished long ago. Mu Binyan nodded after hearing this, indicating that what Huang Jie said made sense. The two of them were born extraordinary. Although they didn't say it clearly, Yi Xiaotian and the others knew very well that the forces behind them were probably not weaker than Shen Ao and his ilk. It's just that I don't know which base city the Huang and Mu families came from. Brother Tian, what should we do with this guy's body? Wang Hao said at this time. Yi Xiaotian pondered and said, Bury him. Why bury him? If you ask me, don't waste this matter. Let him feed the beasts here. Wang Hao said with a look of disgust. Han Xuyao said, Brother Tian asked you to bury him, so why so many whys? By the way, Brother Tian, why do you have to do this? I think it's good to leave him here to feed the monsters. When everyone heard this, they almost fell down. Yi Xiao Tian said, it's mainly because of his injuries. It's not good if people see it. Everyone looked thoughtful after hearing this. People like Wang Hao just think that what Brother Tian said makes sense. But people like Mu Binyan would think more, it seems that Yi Xiao Tian wants to trick people again. Chapter, 159 In the eyes of Mu Binyan and the others, Yi Xiao Tian's purpose of hiding his strength is impure. Impure here means that Yi Xiaotian does not just want to protect himself. There is another purpose, which is to calculate others. For example, the killer captured by Yi Xiaotian. 
Another example is Teacher Su who was just killed by Yi Xiaotian. As long as Yi Xiaotian's true strength is not leaked, his opponents will never know how many cards he still hides. The people they sent will be dealt with by Yi Xiaotian one after another. Such things seem to be quite interesting. Wang Hao blew a big hole in the ground with a knife, and then kicked Teacher Su's body down with one foot. As the big knife swung, the soil covered it back. Yi Xiaotian stretched out his hand and the invisible force swept, scattering a large number of dead leaves on the fresh soil. In this way, even if someone passed by here, they would not be able to see that there was a body buried below. Mu Binyan and Huang Jia all looked at Yi Xiaotian with admiration. Being able to think of using dead leaves to cover fresh soil, it seems that Yi Xiaotian is very experienced. But as far as they know, Yi Xiaotian grew up in Jiangqing Bay City. Both his parents died in the Beast Tide attack, and then he lived on government relief funds. There is nothing to doubt about this. His situation is the same as Wang Hao. No problems can be found. But after Yi Xiaotian awakened his talent, all his performances made people wonder if he had changed into a different person. Such a change in personality seems a bit too fast. Logically, Yi Xiaotian should not have such experience. Is it true that some people are born knowing? It seems that there is only this explanation. How could they know that Yi Xiaotian at this moment had already changed his soul? A soul bombarded by the information age. Although he had no experience of killing and burying corpses in his previous life, he watched a lot of TV, so some things were learned without a teacher. Brother Tian, what is your strength now? You can kill Teacher Su in one second, at least you are an A-level awakener, right? Huang Jia asked. The tone was a little excited. The stronger Yi Xiaotian was, the more secure they would be. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, how could it be that easy? There are several reasons why I was able to kill Teacher Su, not because my strength really surpassed his. But Teacher Su is an A-level awakener, and his strength attribute has long exceeded 100 zero zero points. Huang Jia said unconvinced. Yi Xiaotian explained, although his strength is very strong, don't forget that his other attributes cannot be that high. According to the rule that the main attribute cannot exceed the secondary attribute by 20%, his main attribute reaches 100 zero zero points, so the physical attribute is about 80 zero zero points. His sword is the same as mine, both of which are B-level Tianjin swords. Once the power I suddenly burst out exceeds 80 zero zero points, how can he defend? What's more, he doesn't take me seriously at all, how can he defend with all his strength? What he said made sense. But Huang Jia and the others always felt that something was wrong. Soon, he realized that if there was no 100 zero zero point attribute, could there be an 80 zero zero point attribute? Even if you are a genius in the auxiliary system and can specify attribute amplification, it is impossible to make the strength attribute exceed 80 zero zero points. How strong is your basic attribute? They have just broken through the sea level awakener, and the main attribute has barely broken through 1 zero zero points. But Yi Xiaotian is at least about to break through 10 zero zero points. No. If it is just breaking through 10 zero zero points, it is impossible to kill Teacher Su. According to the digits of Yi Xiaotian's talent skill amplification, his main attribute is at least more than 30 zero zero points. 30 zero zero points of main attribute is an astronomical figure for them now. MOMO, who is good at mathematics, calculated in his mind and came up with such a number. But they understand the principle of seeing through but not speaking. And heartless people like Han Xuyao and Wang Hao, they didn't calculate these things at all. As long as Yi Xiao Tian is still their brother Tian, it's fine. Are the others important? Don't stay here, let's go quickly. Yi Xiao Tian reminded, and then the team moved forward in a fighting form. Next, Yi Xiaotian no longer needed to hide his strength. He showed his full strength and could be said to be killing people everywhere. Even, others just had to stand by and watch. Because Yi Xiaotian killed a kid with one knife, he was too fast, and the speed of others was too slow, so it was better to let him kill alone. In this way, his probability of obtaining attribute points and talent skills was increased, 
killing two birds with one stone. And Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan seem to have returned to the days of hugging the thigh of Hao Tian God. Xuyao, do you think Yi Xiao Tian could be Hao Tian God? Mu Bingyan stood beside Han Xuyao, watching Yi Xiao Tian kill the enemy. They wanted to intervene, but they had no way to start. Because the moment before, they had just aimed at the enemy and were ready to attack, and the next moment, the enemy had been killed by Yi Xiao Tian. Then they might be aiming at Yi Xiao Tian. This is not a joke. This kind of thing happened before. At that time, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan insisted on fighting together. Then they tried it. Finally, Mu Bingyan used a frost spell to hit Yi Xiao Tian, and then Han Xuyao used lightning spell to hit his head. Looking at Yi Xiao Tian who was smoking, both of them were shocked. Fortunately, Yi Xiao Tian had a high spiritual attribute and strong resistance to supernatural powers. After that, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan did not dare to launch supernatural attacks casually. As for Huang Jia and Sun Yao, they were professional assistants. And Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi had no choice. There were several supernatural people here, so someone had to protect them. So the two of them became professional bodyguards. There were seven people in a team, and six of them became spectators. If others knew about this, their worldview would definitely be shattered. But in order to improve his strength as soon as possible, Yi Xiao Tian could not care so much. Sure enough, the days when he didn't have to hide his strength were the most refreshing. As for Han Xuyao and their actual combat experience, we can only talk about it when there is a chance. But it is undeniable that the strength of their team has improved very quickly. Almost every time they kill a few monsters, they will get a few attribute points. No matter what attribute points, they are all good things for them. After all, after reaching the sea level awakener, the gap between the main attribute and the secondary attribute cannot exceed 200 points. What is the secondary attribute? In fact, it is physique. If the main attribute of a warrior reaches 100 points, then unless they increase the physique attribute to 800 points, they cannot continue to increase the main attribute. The same is true for the supernatural. The body can be said to be the foundation of all awakeners. No matter how much power you have, if your physique is too poor, how can you play it out? How can you keep up? The same is true for the spirit. The relationship between strength, spiritual attributes and physique is like water and a water tank. Once the water tank is full, no matter how much water you add, it will overflow. The same reason, no matter how strong your strength and spiritual attributes are, if your physique cannot keep up, you will not be able to play your due strength. Even, because of poor physique, the body will be uncoordinated. This is called the body balance rule. Chapter, 160 From the current situation, Yi Xiaotian's attribute points are definitely added by both main attributes. And from his auxiliary effect in melee strength, his strength has definitely exceeded 30 0, 0. As for his spiritual attribute, it is not so certain. However, it is certain that his spiritual attribute has definitely exceeded the standard of sea level awakeners. But if he is really the great god Haotian, then his spiritual attribute must have been tens of thousands. Don't forget, when brushing the teen copy in the reincarnation world, the great god Haotian held the most ordinary staff and cast a large scale magic, killing all sea level monsters instantly. With such attack power, who would believe that his spiritual attribute is not tens of thousands? After all, although the large-scale magic covers a wide range, the damage as a point-to-point -point is really not high. It is definitely incomparable with single-target magic. He does not have a high-grade weapon amplification. There is no auxiliary talent skill amplification from Yi Xiaotian. If the balance rule of physical attributes is taken into account. Just think about it, it's so terrifying. Where did his attribute points come from? Everyone has nine years of compulsory education, and they all play dungeons together, go to training camps together, and attend summer camps together. I haven't heard that he has other attribute points added to his account. They can't figure this out no matter how hard they try. If Yi Xiao Tian doesn't say it himself, they don't want to ask. It seems to be pretty good now. Yi Xiao Tian leads them, and everyone trusts each other and improves their strength together. Why do we have to know his identity? 
the human race's high-level officials have given up looking for the identity of the great god Haukian. Why? Because the alien race and the heretic organization are also looking for his identity. Once this identity is exposed, it will really be endless trouble. The alien race will never allow the great god Haukian to grow up alive. If the identity of the great god Haukian is really asked, they may not even have the qualifications to hug the thigh. So in the following time, everyone kept silent and didn't ask Yi Shao Tian about this matter. But unconsciously, everyone's attitude towards Yi Shao Tian became more respectful. Yi Shao Tian also discovered this problem. But he couldn't say anything, so he could only let it go. Wang Hao, Han Xuyao, and Chang Xiaoxi remained the same. They didn't care what identity Yi Xiao Tian had, as long as he was still Yi Xiao Tian. Director He's arrangement was still very effective. During the trip to the Phantom Secret Realm, Yi Xiao Tian didn't meet anyone else except Teacher Su. For some reason, the monster riots in the Fakian Secret Realm did not happen again this time. It may also be that Director He and his team kept a close eye on it, leaving the people of the heretic organization no chance to take action. But Yi Xiao Tian believed that they would definitely not give up. Whatever the reason, it had little to do with Yi Xiao Tian. He focused on killing monsters, brushing attribute points and talent skills. During this trip to the Phantom Secret Realm, he harvested a Phantom Martin as a pet, with two talent skills, A-level Auxiliary Skill Spiritual Uplift, and A-level Spiritual Skill Illusion. The rest were attribute points and life essence. All four attributes have increased by more than 10, 0, 0 points. It has to be admitted that the attribute points dropped by the beasts in this S-level secret realm are many. Of course, this is only Yi Xiao Tian. The attributes of the other members of the team have increased by more than 1, 0, 0 to 2, 0, 0 points. After all, Yi Xiao Tian has the supreme talent infinite growth. It is equivalent to two drop rates of talent and reincarnation rules. The life essence has increased by about 7 million. The number of beasts killed this time is much more than that in the Fakian secret realm. Last time in the Fakian secret realm, Yi Xiao Tian had to hide his shortcomings and could only take it slowly. But this time, it was full of firepower. Yi Xiao Tian explained to the other members of the team very well what the martial arts in the world are, which is indestructible and only speed can't be broken. Wang Hao was envious. In the time he attacked once, Yi Xiao Tian could deal hundreds of damages. How can this be compared? It really is only speed that can't be broken. What's even more annoying is that Yi Xiao Tian's strength attribute is so high, so there is no such thing as not breaking the defense. Don't you think it's annoying? But with this gain, they are also satisfied. A few more times, they can be promoted to B-level Awakeners. Yi Xiao Tian said, it's almost time, everyone take a break and go out together later. After sitting down, Yi Xiao Tian checked his attribute panel. Reincarnation ID, Haokian. Talented skills, infinite growth advanced, diamond body protection A level, berserker A level, bull demon power A level, strength S level, swiftness S level, deer and crane blessing SS level, constitution S level. Dragon elephant S level, gravity A level, nightmare A level, Golden Sharpness A Level, Eagle Soaring A Level, Void Secret Art S Level, Chaos Grace S Level, Spiritual Uplift A Level, Illusion A Level. Physique 76362, Strength 76652, Spirit 75164, Agility 74582. Magic Power, Second Soul. Life Essence, 25665300 Points. Reincarnation Points. 10041300 points. Awakening level, B level awakener. Talented skills explode, physical attribute points explode. Now his basic physical attributes are almost reaching the standard of A level awakeners. And these are the four sided attributes, not just the main attributes. Coupled with the increase of a bunch of talent skills, his actual combat power now can definitely crush A level awakeners and challenge S level awakeners. As for SS level awakeners, forget it, that is definitely the ceiling level of combat power. The five supreme human beings are only at this level. As for the legendary SS level strongmen, they only exist in legends. Anyway, humans don't have them, 
but I don't know if the aliens have them. But Yi Xiaotian thinks there are none, otherwise, with five human supremes, it would be impossible to stop the aliens. After all, in front of SS level strongmen, the others are scum. With a tenfold difference in attributes, they can pinch you to death with just a finger, so what else can you use to fight? The fact that humans can give birth to five SS level supreme strongmen is already a special period. Now. Go and try, how difficult it is to give birth to a supreme strongman. Unless you enter another world, it is unlikely. At most, with the blessing of auxiliary skills, the temporary combat power breaks through the SS level. But that is not the real SS level. It is still impossible to enter the sequence of supreme strongmen. However, there are strong and weak among the S-level strongmen. Now Yi Xiaotian can only challenge ordinary S-level awakeners. Even without the blessing of auxiliary skills. But this is already very abnormal. If it really gets out, it is estimated that the alien army will kill him at all costs. Such a terrifying person grows up, SS level is just the beginning, SS level is possible. At that time, hundreds of millions of aliens will wait for death. Chapter, 161 The Lobby on the First Floor of the Secret Realm Building of Magic City University Countless lights flashed, and students and teachers were teleported out of the secret realm one after another. This time, because the school's protection measures were in place, or the heretic organization had no chance to make trouble. So this time no students died in the secret realm. But after counting the number of people, they found that there were still people missing. Who is not here? Everyone, look around your team, is there anyone missing? Director He's voice was not loud, but it was clearly heard by everyone. Director He, it's Teacher Sue, he didn't come out from inside. At this time, a teacher reported loudly. He sure's face was so gloomy that water could drip out, and he asked, why didn't he come out? Aren't you in the same team? Director, Teacher Su said he had something to do and left halfway, and he never came back since then, and we don't know where he went. The teacher continued. He sure almost had internal injuries. After all the calculations, he didn't expect that the students didn't get into trouble this time, but a teacher was lost. He subconsciously looked in the direction of Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian's face was calm, and he didn't show any expression. He had no choice but to say, okay, everyone go back, rest for two days, and continue to the next secret realm. This matter must be investigated, after all, a teacher was lost. We must find out how this teacher died. Also, why did he leave alone when the assigned team was already there? Didn't the other teachers notice anything wrong? There was no rest for the next two days. Moreover, he had to report to the school leaders about the secret realm this time. He also had to hold a video conference with the senior management of the other three schools. There was nothing unusual in this trip to the secret realm. Could it be that their previous guess was wrong? These all need to be discussed again. Yi Xiaotian walked out of the secret realm building with his team members and prepared to return to the villa area. Lin Hai saw them coming out and said to Shen Ao, Mr. Shen, Yi Xiaotian. Shen Ao had a subconscious reaction when he heard Yi Xiaotian's name. When he was in the Phantom Secret Realm, Shen Ao always talked about Yi Xiaotian. Lin Hai figured out his thoughts. Knowing that Shen Ao wanted to see Yi Xiaotian in trouble, but was also afraid of Yi Xiaotian's strength. But this is a school, so there is no need to worry about this problem. Yi Xiaotian dared to slap him in the face, so would he dare to slap Shen Ao in the face? So he thought about provoking the conflict between Shen Ao and Yi Xiaotian. He didn't find a chance to make a move during this trip to the secret realm. It's not bad to add some trouble to Yi Xiaotian now. Sure enough, he just mentioned Yi Xiaotian's name, Shen Ao's face changed, and his forward step stopped. Mo Qian was afraid that Shen Ao would cause trouble again, so he quickly leaned into his ear and said, Brother Ao, be patient first. Shen Ao snorted coldly and didn't speak. Yi Xiaotian, he's really haunting. Shen Ao glanced at Yi Xiaotian's side, his eyes full of jealousy. Why? Han Xu Yao, Mu Bing Yan, Sun Yao, which one is not a stealer and has good talent? Why are they all in his team? 
Look at his own team, all men. Even if there is a person in the team who looks like Chang Xiaoxi, it can make him feel more balanced. Not to mention, Sun Ya was sent to Yi Xiaotian's team by him. He was unwilling. The reason why he accepted Lin Hai was nothing more than that Lin Hai and Yi Xiaotian were old classmates and knew Yi Xiaotian better. He needed to know everything about Yi Xiaotian. So he knew how Yi Xiaotian's team was formed. It was really that a grassroots team did not expect to become a force to be reckoned with. Now look at the configuration of Yi Xiaotian's team, it is already very complete. Melee, long range, auxiliary and healing. Among all the freshman teams in the entire Magic City University, no team is as complete as theirs. Because among the freshmen of the entire Magic City University, there is only Sun Yao who has a talent for healing and auxiliary. And Sun Yao's existence is nothing short of a big joke to him. He has heard a rumor. Now many freshmen are talking about this matter behind their backs. They said that young master Shen was incompetent. The eldest young master of the Shen family, even his own team members were robbed. And he didn't dare to say anything. Such gossip was tantamount to a huge insult to him. But he would get it back. His father's warning was right. If you are not sure, it is better not to mess around, otherwise you will suffer. Thinking of the quota for the S-level secret realm, his heart was bleeding. How can he not know what the S-level secret realm has to offer after two summer camp trips? It couldn't be clearer. Such a precious quota was sent to Yi Xiaotian by him. Han Xuyao wanted to fight back, but was stopped by Yi Xiaotian, who said to Han Xuyao lightly, Xuyao, remember, we are human beings, don't think about biting back when a dog bites you. For things like dogs, my principle is to kill them directly. After that, he took Han Xuyao and left with the team members. Shen Ao was confused. What did he just hear? What did he just say about me? Shen Ao said with a dull face. Lin Hai hurriedly said, Mr. Shen, he just said you are a dog. Mo Qian scolded, Lin Hai, shut up and stop fanning the flames here. Staring angrily. He always felt that this Lin Hai had bad intentions and approached them with ulterior motives. But Shen Ao still needed him now, so Mo Qian didn't say much. But this Lin Hai was afraid that the world would not be in chaos, so he couldn't tolerate it. Shen Ao said, he is not wrong, it is Yi Xiaotian who is wrong. Brother Ao, we have to think about this matter carefully. Mo Qian said. Don't worry, I won't be impulsive. Shen Ao's face was cold, and his eyes were full of murderous intent. Shen Ao, what are you still doing here? Don't make trouble. He sure came over at this time, saw Shen Ao staring at Yi Xiaotian and others with unfriendly eyes, and warned. Shen Ao almost vomited blood. He was scolded as a dog, why do you still say this to me? Why am I always the one who gets hurt? Shen Ao met He Shi's cold eyes, lowered his head, and said, Director He, I didn't cause any trouble. That's good. Now is a special period. I hope you will consider the consequences before doing anything. He Shi sure left after saying that. He was very busy and had no time to waste here. Shen Ao left with endless frustration. Lin Hai looked at the backs of the four young masters leaving, his eyes flickering. He is a student of Magic City University and has to live in the school. Unlike Shen Ao and Mo Qian, they are locals of Magic City and can go back home. Chapter 162 Lin Hai is not coveting the warmth of family, he is just worried, he finally gained Shen Ao's trust. If they don't see each other for two days, Mo Qian will definitely say bad things about him. If young master Shen becomes suspicious of him, how can he use him? This time, in order to drag Shen Ao and Mo Qian into the water, Lin Hai can be said to have a heavy responsibility. If he completes this task, the reward he can get will definitely be generous. A reward that can upgrade his talent grade to S level. For such a reward, he must give 120% of his effort. He finally gained Shen Ao's trust. What if Mo Qian and others ruin it? But he can't really follow Shen Ao home, what's the point? He can only go back to the dormitory depressedly. 
Shun Ao said goodbye to several brothers and made an appointment to meet at the club in the evening. When he returned home, he became more and more angry. At this time, the head of the Shun family came back and saw him, saying, You are back. How did you get? Dad, the harvest is good. I didn't expect that the S-level secret realm would improve us so much. Shun Ao said. The head of the Shun family snorted and said, That's because you don't have any experience. The harvest of the S-level secret realm is naturally very great. It's a waste to let you go in. Shun Ao thought so. They are not strong enough, although the attribute points dropped each time are very high. But their speed in hunting monsters is not good. The reason why the human high level made such a decision is nothing more than cultivating that Haokian. This person has already passed the B-level awakening level copy. It's perfect to brush the S-level secret realm. It's really a big investment. Then what are the surprises in this summer camp? Asked the head of the Shin family. Shun Ao shook his head and said, No surprise, Dad, could it be that your previous guess was wrong? The head of the Shin family said, Whether it is true or false, you should be careful. But there is a teacher named Su who has not come out of the secret realm, and I don't know what happened. Director he has taken people to investigate. Shun Ao mentioned it casually. What did you say? The head of the Shin family was a little surprised. If it is said that Teacher Su's mission failed, he can accept it. After all, this summer camp, several major schools attach great importance to it, and the protection measures for students have also been raised to the highest level. No chance, understandable. But Teacher Su did not come out, what does this mean? Teacher Su died in a secret realm? How did he die? This can be investigated in depth. If he died at the hands of a strange beast in the secret realm, it's nothing, it can only be said that it was an accident. But if he died at the hands of Yi Xiaotian, it has to make people think deeply. Teacher Su, that is an A-level awakener master. Who is Yi Xiaotian, just a small college freshman? The two are completely incomparable. Perhaps Yi Xiaotian's future potential can crush Teacher Su. But as of now, Yi Xiaotian is not even worthy of carrying Teacher Su's shoes. However, since the school has launched an investigation, it means that the school has no conclusion yet. It's nothing that a teacher died in there. Didn't I say that? S-level secret realms are very dangerous. Even teachers may die in them. Shun Ao didn't see that his father was wrong and continued. The head of the Shun family calmed down and nodded, yes, then you should have a good rest these two days. It's a rare opportunity to have such a chance, you must seize it. Participate in summer camps in four S-level secret realms in two months. All the freshmen of this class should thank the great god Haokian. If it weren't for him, the top management would never have taken out such resources to train freshmen. The B-level secret realm has reached the top. And there is only one chance. Now, S-level secret realm, four chances. This is totally incomparable. Countless awakeners are envious and their eyes are red. Why don't they have such an opportunity? The head of the Shen family did not tell Shen Ao that he had arranged for someone to kill Yi Xiaotian in the secret realm. This kind of thing was taken care of by his father. By the way, don't bother Yi Xiaotian recently. The head of the Shen family warned. Before there is a conclusion on how teacher Su died, he will not let go of his suspicion of Yi Xiaotian. If Teacher Su really died at the hands of Yi Xiaotian, then Shen Ao would be courting death if he provokes him. Who is the murderer of Teacher Su is still unknown. But Xing was captured by Yi Xiaotian, there is no doubt about this. So the head of the Shen family has reason to suspect that Teacher Su died at the hands of Yi Xiaotian. If this is the case, then how to treat Yi Xiaotian next needs to be considered again. Even the A-level beginner awakener master has failed, what else can he do? Send a stronger awakener. Do you think that the Magic City University is a vegetarian? The transfer of awakeners above A-level strength is very sensitive. Once the Shin family is found out later, how can they shirk responsibility? The head of the Shin family always takes one step and looks three steps ahead, and will never give anyone a chance to criticize him. Since there is no chance for the summer camp, let's postpone it. 
Yi Xiaotian didn't know that the father and son of the Shen family had already discussed his affairs. They returned to the villa at this moment. The other students were exhausted and wanted to rest. But their team was a little special. Everyone had been a spectator for almost half a month, and it seemed that there was nothing to be tired of. Yi Xiaotian, on the other hand, had fought all the way here, and he was simply a god of war descending to earth. Brother Tian, why don't you take a rest? Han Shuyao said with a little heartache. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, Okay, you guys take a rest too, and don't do any extra activities these two days. At this time, Huang Jie, who turned on the TV as soon as he came back, suddenly said, Brother Tian, something is wrong. There seem to be a lot more sea beasts outside the base city. Sea beasts? Yi Xiao Tian became interested. When discussing which school to go to, Huang Jie said that sea beasts might appear in the magic city. Unexpectedly, it really appeared now. Huang Jie nodded and said, Yes, the news reported that sea beasts were frequently found outside the magic city in recent times. Hasn't there been sea beasts before? Wang Hao asked in confusion. Huang Jie said, There have been some before, but not so many. Did you really guess it right? Wang Hao scratched his head and said. Huang Jie shook his head and said, I don't know too much, but judging from the current situation, it shouldn't be a big problem. Otherwise, the authorities would have taken action long ago. If only a small number of sea beasts came ashore, it wouldn't be a big problem. The fear is that if all sea beasts came ashore, then the problem would be serious. Yi Xiaotian frowned as he watched the news on the TV screen, thinking that things were not that simple. He thought about it and called Director He to find out. Chapter 163 Director He was also a little confused when he heard this. He didn't have the time to inquire about these news now. The death of Teacher Su and why the heretic organization did not take any action this time were enough to give him a headache. As for whether there were more sea beasts outside the magic city, these were all trivial matters. Trivial matters. After hanging up the phone, Yi Xiaotian scratched his head. Was it really just a trivial matter? Forget it, even director he said it was a trivial matter, so it should be a trivial matter. Huang Jie was relieved after hearing Yi Xiaotian's retelling. It's normal. He was really afraid that the sea beasts would suddenly explode. Although they chose Magic City University for the purpose of sea beasts. But it can't be now. He is still a rookie and has not developed yet. At this time, the sea beasts came ashore on a large scale and attacked the Magic City base city. What should we do? At least it will take one or two years to come back, so that they will have enough self-protection power. And they can also reap their own benefits in the Beast Tide Feast. How do the awakened people get their resources? Actually, to put it bluntly, it is hunting exotic beasts. The copy of the Samsara Tower is to hunt exotic beasts, and the various secret realms are also to hunt exotic beasts, and going outside the city is still to hunt exotic beasts. As for the frontline battlefield, it goes without saying. It's just that the difficulty of these ways to harvest resources varies. The Samsara Tower copy is naturally the safest, and it is also the place where the new awakeners live. However, although the Samsara Tower copy is relatively safe, the harvest is also small. The secret realm can only be regarded as a diversion. After all, the quotas for the major secret realms are not given for free. Hunting exotic beasts outside the city, basically after the awakeners reach the sea level, they will go to the outside of the city with the major organizations to hunt exotic beasts. The disadvantage is danger, and the advantage is that the harvest is greater than the Samsara Tower copy. As for the frontline battlefield, or even the alien space, it goes without saying that the danger is the greatest and the harvest is the greatest. But freshmen, even those in school, rarely choose to go to that kind of place. What is the biggest task of freshmen? Naturally, it is to survive. Then improve your strength in survival. Others also breathed a sigh of relief. Huang Jie suggested, Brother Tian, how about we go out and have some fun tomorrow and visit the magic city? No, Brother Tian has offended that Shen Ao, what if he plots something? Han Shuyao said worriedly. 
Yi Xiaotian said, it's okay. Although the Shen family is very powerful in the magic city, they can't cover the sky with one hand after all. In broad daylight, can they still attack us in the city? Han Xuyao was also tempted when he said that. To be honest, if they were not worried about Yi Xiaotian's safety, they would have gone out for a walk during the last break. They came from the small base city, but they really wanted to go to the magic city base city. This is one of the best base cities in Xia country. Even on the entire blue star, it ranks first. The next day, everyone got up early in the morning, and several girls even dressed up. As an awakener, an awakener who is ready to fight at any time. Even girls rarely wear makeup. But today, several girls put on light makeup. Three beautiful women walked the streets, and the rate of turning heads was absolutely eye-popping. Wang Hao and Huang Jia became miserable tools. Yi Xiaotian was held by Han Xuyao's arm, walking on the street, entering the mall, and shopping. Yi Xiaotian is no longer the same as he was before the college entrance examination. Now he has a scholarship from Shanghai University, so he can buy as much as he wants. Although Han Xuyao still doesn't have money to buy him equipment. But there is definitely no shortage of money to buy her clothes and gifts. After shopping, it's natural to eat. Huang Jia, do you know what delicious food there is in Shanghai? Wang Hao asked Huang Jia. When it comes to eating, he is a professional. Huang Jia rolled his eyes and said with a sad face, Brother Hao, I'm not from Shanghai. I know. Sun Yao spoke in time to ease Huang Jia's embarrassment. He has always been the smartest and most intelligent person in the team. But he was actually stumped by eating. Sun Yao is a 100% Shanghai native, so it's reasonable for her to know what delicious food there is in Shanghai. Under her leadership, they walked through the streets and alleys. Those who didn't know would think she was going to kill for money. In the magic city, those high-end and classy hotels are useless. You have to find the ones hidden in the alleys, which are the real inherited delicacies. Sun Yao explained. Wang Hao said with a little doubt, is it true? He was a little suspicious that Sun Yao was too poor and had no money to eat good food, so she would look for these restaurants hidden in the alleys. Sun Yao, you haven't only eaten the delicacies in the alleys, right? Sun Yao glared and said, if you haven't eaten it, can't you hear about it? What else do those high-end hotels have besides being beautiful? And enjoyment. Wang Hao said very straight. Superficial. Sun Yao looked contemptuous. Wang Hao was almost choked to death by Sun Yao's words. Why is it superficial? Wanting to eat in high-end hotels is superficial. What's your logic? Those big guys always eat in big hotels when they go out. Are they all superficial people? Do you dare to say this to others? Wang Hao was very angry. Sun Yao's words were a huge blow to him. Because he immediately felt Chang Xiaoxi's eyes, which also contained contempt. If it's really like what you said, wouldn't all those big hotels go bankrupt? Who would still go there to eat? Wang Hao sneered. Sun Yao said without hesitation, flat people like you. Wang Hao vomited blood. In a place like the Magic City, there are still many flat people like you. Sun Yao silently added another knife. Wang Hao's face became even uglier. By the way, Shen Ao and his friends are just like that. Sun Yao killed them with the last knife. Wang Hao said, Okay, I give up, you can shut up. The women in this team are really too individual. Mu Bingyan is an ice beauty. Let alone Han Xu Yao, there is no one else in her eyes except Yi Xiaotian. He has experienced Sun Yao's poisonous tongue. As for Chang Xiaoxi, she has no other shortcomings, but the weight of her best friend is too heavy. Han Xu Yao speaks better than she does. It makes Wang Hao very distressed. Huang Jia pulled Wang Hao and whispered, Brother Hao, I told you not to argue with girls, why didn't you listen? Wang Hao glared, You hindsight, when did you tell me this? Also, am I arguing? I'm being reasonable. Who knew girls are so unreasonable? Huang Jia rolled his eyes and said, How about I say don't argue? You are being reasonable with her, and she is playing tricks on you. 
You are playing tricks on her, and she is being reasonable with you, what can you do? Wang Hao thought it made sense. He didn't expect Huang Jia to know so much at such a young age. He decided to ask Huang Jia for advice in the future. If for nothing else, just to win Chang Xiaoxi. Chapter, 164 What are you two doing there whispering? After walking for a while, Chang Xiaoxi realized that Wang Hao was not around. At first glance, Wang Hao and Huang Jia looked wretched. She muttered in her heart and knew that these two guys were up to no good. No, no, we are discussing what to eat later. Wang Hao quickly left Wang Jia and caught up with Chang Xiaoxi, explaining with a flattering face. Chang Xiaoxi rolled her eyes and said coquettishly, Virtue. Wang Hao heard it and immediately moved closer to Chang Xiaoxi. Huang Jia, who was behind, saw this scene inside. Wang Hao, this guy, is finished. Haven't you ever heard a saying? A dog licks a dog, and licks until he has nothing. I just chatted with Wang Hao, but he didn't understand the essence at all. He is indeed a simple-minded guy with strong limbs. At this moment, Wang Hao suddenly turned around and grinned at Huang Jia, almost scaring Huang Jia to death. Soon, under the leadership of Sun Yao, a group of people came to a private restaurant. Sun Yao explained, this private restaurant is very famous here. Many rich people who really know how to eat will come here on purpose. And it is difficult to order food here. Generally, you have to make an appointment in advance, especially at night. Sun Yao said. Then if we come here now, will there be no seats? Han Shu Yao said worriedly. Sun Yao smiled and said, it doesn't matter. I just called and there are still seats. Sun Yao, you look familiar with this place. Han Shu Yao said. Sun Yao said, I used to work part-time here, so I am very familiar with the boss. That's it. Yi Xiao Tian was also a little relieved. Sun Yao led everyone in. The boss and service staff inside saw Sun Yao coming and greeted her one after another. It can be seen that Sun Yao's popularity here is still quite good. Seeing that Sun Yao has made progress, everyone is happy for her. Yao Er, Hongdu Hall on the second floor, bring your friends there and greet them yourself. I'm a little busy here, I'll greet you later. The proprietress behind the counter greeted. Sun Yao responded, Okay, Aunt Liang, don't worry about us, I will greet my friends. Okay, I won't be polite with you, I will arrange the dishes for you, you just wait to eat. The proprietress said. Sun Yao, why did you come out to work part-time before? Han Shu Yao was a little puzzled. Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao both lost their parents and had no income. They lived on government relief funds. They didn't go out to work to make money. After all, for a student, learning is the most important thing. Learning cultural knowledge in advance and getting into a good university in the future is better than working part-time, right? Sun Yao said helplessly, there is no other way. There is an old and sick grandmother at home. The government's relief money is not enough, so I can only work part-time. But fortunately, Aunt Liang is very good to me and takes good care of me, so that I can take care of both. Sun Yao said with gratitude. Han Shu Yao said, then you really met a good person. Now is not a peaceful era. It is too difficult to meet someone who is willing to help you. People like Yi Xiao Tian and Wang Hao can really be said to be lucky. How many classmates have become cannon fodder after the awakening ceremony? How many college entrance examination candidates are there in the country every year, and how many can be admitted to university? How many can have a promising future after graduating from university? In comparison, Sun Yao is indeed very lucky. Not to mention the awakening talent, even if the talent is not very good, she can still have a good job. It can be regarded as meeting a noble person. Yes, Aunt Liang is my noble person. Sun Yao said with emotion. At the corner outside the Liang family private restaurant, two figures met here. Did you see clearly? A voice asked. I saw clearly, they entered the Liang family private restaurant. Another voice said. Okay, keep watching them and keep in touch at any time. When the two people's faces appeared, they were Lin Hai and Kiki. 
I'm afraid no one would have thought that the famous Kiki would appear in the alley of the Magic City so openly. Kiki explained a few words to Lin Hai and left. After all, his name and appearance are too eye-catching, or in other words, he is listed in all major institutions in Xia country. Once they are discovered by them, the consequences will be disastrous. This is because there is no surveillance in the alley, otherwise he would not dare to show up in person. He didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian would actually run to this alley. This is really a great opportunity. Lin Hai watched Kiki leave, and then looked at the Liang family private restaurant, with a glow in his eyes. He now shoulders two major tasks, and as long as he completes them, the rewards will definitely be rich. One is to find an opportunity to capture Yi Xiaotian. The other is to drag Shen Ao and others into the water. This is also the reason why the heretic organization opened up connections and sent him to Magic City University. Only with this identity can he get closer to Yi Xiaotian. As for Shen Ao, it was really an accident. The original task was to develop a few downlines in Magic City University. But he accidentally discovered the contradiction between Yi Xiaotian and Shen Ao. Based on the principle that the enemy of my enemy is my friend, he decisively contacted Shen Ao and the others. Sure enough, when Shen Ao heard that he and Yi Xiaotian were old classmates, he immediately accepted him. The two sides can be said to hit it off. Even Lin Hai himself did not expect that this mission would be so smooth. Now Yi Xiaotian is asking for death and actually ran out of the school. Naturally, he will not miss such an opportunity. He followed him and kept in touch with Kiki. Kiki was naturally very excited when he knew that Yi Xiaotian had left the school. He dreamed of killing Yi Xiaotian. He was really careless last time. Let Yi Xiaotian escape. This time, he will make Yi Xiaotian unable to escape. He learned that Yi Xiaotian actually got into this alley without surveillance. He couldn't help but come to see it in person. It's broad daylight now, of course he can't do it here. He has to wait for the right time. Don't rush. This is the base city of the magic city, where masters are everywhere. It's easy to kill people here, but it's not so easy to escape after killing people. So you have to wait for an opportunity. Yi Xiaotian, who was eating, naturally didn't know that he had been targeted. It tastes really good. Yi Xiaotian commented objectively. Even Huang Jia and Mu Binyan, who were from aristocratic families, nodded repeatedly. Especially Huang Jia, the little fat guy, who is a foodie at first glance and must have eaten a lot of delicious food. Even he recognized the taste here. It is said that masters are among the people, and it really makes sense. Who would have thought that in such a small alley, there is such a delicious private restaurant? Huang Jia said with admiration. Chapter 165. Huang Jia felt that he was indeed a bit superficial. Wang Hao feels the same way. I really didn't expect that the masters are among the people. Shouldn't such a good chef work in a big hotel? But Sun Yao said, I tell you, those who really know how to eat in the capital will look for private dishes in the alleys. It's a quiet place and it tastes great. Also, don't think that it's cheap just because it's not so magnificent. A meal here is no cheaper than a big hotel. No way. Wang Hao said in surprise. Huang Jie, on the other hand, kept nodding his head and said, It tastes like this, so it's understandable that it's a little more expensive. Wang Hao suddenly became unhappy and said, Damn fat man, where are you from? Huang Jie said, I'm just telling the truth. I stand on the side of truth. Wang Hao was speechless. I'm so angry and want to hit someone, what should I do? Okay, stop arguing. I can't stop you from eating. Chan Xiaoxi scolded. Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao looked at the bickering people and smiled comfortably. In a world like this, it is not easy to enjoy such warmth for a moment. As awakened ones, they must be ready to fight on the battlefield at any time. It's a good time now. Ten years from now, there won't be such peaceful days. Even if you don't go to the front line, you still have to go out into the city to hunt exotic beasts. 
Now the alien army has been driven back to the alien space, and the number of alien beasts outside the city has also been reduced sharply under the encirclement and suppression of the Wasteland Legion and the Night Watch Legion. The crazy heretical organizations were also beaten to the point of shrinking into darkness, like rats crossing the street. It can be said that now is the prosperous age of awakened people. I heard that there was a strong rebound on the alien battlefield. Yi Xiaotian suddenly asked. It was said to Huang Jia. Huang Jia comes from a wealthy family and has relatively well-informed sources of information. So Yi Xiaotian could only ask him. Huang Jia was stunned for a moment, he was eating well, why did he switch to this? However, he still put down his chopsticks, and then said in a low tone, that's true. I heard from my dad that the situation on the alien battlefield is not good, and the aliens are showing signs of stopping their internal disputes. The reason why we are in the current situation is that we took advantage of the constant internal fighting among the alien races and caught them off guard. Once they stop their internal disputes, their strength will skyrocket. Whether they can withstand it on the frontline battlefield is still open to question. Han Xuyao said at this time, I heard that several human race supremes have already gone to the front line. Huang Jie nodded and said, This news is true. To prevent accidents, four of the five supreme beings have left, leaving only the sword god to guard Blue Star. As soon as this topic came up, everyone's mood dropped. It cannot be said that Yi Xiaotian is sabotaging, this is a problem they have to face. Perhaps at some point, they will receive news of the collapse of the front line. When the time comes, Blue Star will disappear into the great chaos. There will be countless casualties, that's for sure. During any major alien attack, Blue Star didn't have corpses strewn all over the ground and blood flowing like rivers. Blue Star looks peaceful now, but the undercurrent hidden underneath is constant. On the alien side, there are also an increase in sea beasts. I don't think this is a normal phenomenon. Yi Xiaotian said. So we need to speed up the process of improving ourselves so that we have enough power to protect ourselves before the chaos comes. After listening to Yi Xiaotian's words, everyone nodded, no longer in the relaxed mood before. They didn't think so before, but when Yi Xiaotian said this, everyone felt that what he said made sense. The alien side may return to Blue Star at any time. And sea beasts may come ashore at any time. These are all crises for the Blue Star human race. Then do we want to go back and clear the reincarnation copy? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, No, there is not much to gain from the reincarnation copy at this stage. It is better to rest and then go to the secret realm to kill. When several people heard this, they realized the same thing. They had replayed the previous team copies of the Samsara Tower with Sun Yao, and the gains were indeed minimal. Of course, this is a conclusion drawn from comparison. After all, in the secret realm, they can obtain hundreds of attribute points in half a month. But in the Tower of Reincarnation, it would be good to get points that can be exchanged for 100 attribute points in half a month. There is no harm without contrast. If it were other students who could earn points that could be exchanged for hundreds of attribute points in half a month, that would already be a huge gain. But when they arrived at Yi Xiaotian's team, they couldn't stand it anymore. After the summer camp is over, I'm going to leave the city. Yi Xiaotian said again. Leaving the city is much more dangerous than entering the secret realm. After all, any accident can happen when you go out of the city. Not only do you have to deal with attacks from alien beasts, but you also have to deal with attacks from your own kind. Such as heretical organizations. And now Yi Xiaotian has made his own name among the many new students in Xia Kingdom. The possibility of being targeted is very high. Once he leaves the city, he may be hunted by forces from several parties. Huang Jie, go back and find out what type of secret realm the next summer camp will be. Yi Xiaotian said to Huang Jie. Don't bother Mu Bingyan if Huang Jie can do it. This girl's personality makes it difficult to talk to her. Huang Jie said, Okay, I'll call my dad when I get back. He should be able to find out the news. But according to my guess, the next one is from Jiangnan University, and it should be the secret realm of sea beasts. Sea beast? Yi Xiaotian muttered, Was this a coincidence or a deliberate arrangement? 
Huang Jia said, I have inquired before, and it is said that the secret realms opened by the four major universities this time are very representative, so that we can familiarize ourselves with these special beasts in advance. The flying beasts in the Phaetian secret realm, the psychedelic beasts in the phantom secret realm, and it's not surprising that the next ones are sea beasts. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, we have never seen a sea beast before. I wonder how this sea beast is different from the land beasts. Huang Jia explained, our blue star's alien beasts are divided into local mutant beasts and alien beasts from different spaces. With the arrival of the reincarnation tower, not only we humans have gained the ability to awaken our talents, but other creatures have also gained this ability. It's just that because of time, very few of the local mutant beasts can become stronger. The real threat to us is the alien beasts from different dimensions. As for sea beasts, the most typical one is that they have water talent. As for the more specific ones, I don't know. Yi Xiaotian said, okay, go back and ask more, we don't want to fight an uncertain battle. Huang Jia took the order. Okay, now that we've finished eating, should we continue shopping or go back to school? Seeing that everyone had almost eaten, Yi Xiaotian was about to leave. Chapter, 166 After the discussion just now, everyone felt a little heavy in their hearts, and they didn't have much desire to go shopping. In this case, Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and said, let's go back. Yi Xiaotian and his friends suddenly changed their schedule, which caught Lin Hai off guard. Originally, he thought that since Yi Xiaotian and his friends came out, they would definitely play all day and go back at night. And here, night is the best time to act. Chi Ye heard that Yi Xiaotian and his friends had returned to school, so he gave up the assassination plan. Then let him live a few more days. When the summer camp is over, there will definitely be a chance. Chi Ye said very confidently. Lin Hai had no choice but to give up this mission. Originally, I thought I could complete a big task and get a reward. Now it seems that I can only postpone it. But what the seventh master said is right. When the summer camp is over, there will definitely be a chance. Maybe there will be a chance in the summer camp. Anyway, as long as Yi Xiao Tian dies, the seventh master will credit him. Brother Tian, have you heard of the Global Awakener Freshman Competition? Huang Jia asked Yi Xiao Tian on the way back. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, I know, I have heard of it, but I don't know the details. People from small places, the school will not tell them about this at all. For them, this kind of global competition is completely a stunt. Because there is no chance to participate. Talking too much will make people think too much. But now, both Yi Xiaotian and their team have a great chance to participate in the competition. So Huang Jia has to let them know in advance. Huang Jia said, generally speaking, one month after the start of school, it is the time for the competition to start. At that time, the first is the internal selection of major schools. Then there is a national selection, and finally the major countries and alliances around the world will fight together. This year's global freshman competition is held in our Xia country. Maybe this is one of the reasons why our Xia country supreme stayed to take charge. With Huang Jie's explanation, Yi Xiaotian and others have a better understanding of this competition. In this team, only Mu Bingyan knows this. Even Sun Yao is not very clear. Although she grew up in the big bay city of Magic City, her background was too ordinary, and she had no channels to know these things. Moreover, she spent most of her time making money, and she didn't have extra time to learn about these things. Huang Jie continued, Brother Tian, our team will definitely participate in the competition, and there is a high probability that we can get a good ranking. And you, Brother Tian, can also participate in the individual competition. Can fight, can resist, and can assist. Huang Jia wanted to ask, who else? Global competition, just hearing this name feels high-end Wang Hao said excitedly. Before he finished speaking, Sun Yao said, you only know high-end. Wang Hao. Sister, I didn't offend you, didn't I just make a joke before dinner? Is it that serious? Forget it, don't bother with a girl. I mean, the rewards for this level of competition must be very generous, right, fat man? Wang Hao asked Huang Jie. 
Huang Jia immediately said, Yes, this is a competition that all countries in the world will participate in. The rewards must be extremely generous. Secret realm quota, rare skills, high-level equipment, and most importantly, there is also talent spirit liquid. Huang Jia added. These rewards can be said to be related to the vital interests of an awakener. No matter which of these rewards, it is possible to quickly improve the strength of the awakener. Not to mention the treasure level things such as talent spirit liquid. When she heard about the talent spirit liquid, Chang Xiaoxi's eyes lit up. Now in the entire team, she is the only A level talent awakener. A bit of a drag. She dreams of raising her talent grade to S level. But it is not so easy to improve the grade of talent. I am afraid that there has never been a second person like Wang Hao who went from C level to S level since the reincarnation calendar. Even Yi Xiao Tian, a dual talented person, has strengthened his melee talent to A level. If she doesn't work harder, she will really become a burden. Although no one else in the team meant to dislike her. But she couldn't get over the hurdle in her heart. She even made up her mind that if she still couldn't strengthen her talent level after the freshman year, she would apply to withdraw from the team. She was embarrassed to stay any longer. However, she hasn't told anyone about this matter yet. Huang Jie, are there talent spirit liquid rewards in the team competition? Chang Xiaoxi asked impatiently. Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao looked at each other. He gave her a reassuring look in return. Han Xuyao felt relieved. Huang Jia shook his head and said, There is no talent spirit liquid in the rewards of the team competition, only the individual competition, and the champion only has A level talent spirit liquid rewards. Chang Xiaoxi is an A level talent awakener. If she wants to be promoted to S level talent, then taking S level talent spirit liquid is the safest. It's just that the value of S level talent spirit liquid is absolutely sky high. And it's the kind that you can't buy even if you have money. Even a few Supremes might not be willing to exchange for treasures of this level. Even for the Supreme, the S-level innate spiritual fluid is priced at a sky-high price. So the reward for the individual champion of the global freshman competition is only A-level talent spirit liquid. However, for freshmen, even A-level talent spirit liquid is already a treasure. The runner-up is B-level talent spirit liquid, and the third place is C-level talent spirit liquid. Huang Jia added. Also, choose between skills and equipment according to your ranking. The best reward for the team competition is a place in the secret realm. After listening to Huang Jia's words, Chang Xiaoxi's eyes were a little lonely. In the team competition, she still has a chance, after all, Yi Xiaotian is there. But in the individual competition, she has no advantage at all. Although at this stage, her physical attributes are definitely very high among freshmen. But it is not an absolute advantage. After all, there is still more than a month. Those with high talents will definitely get good resources in this more than a month. By then, it will not be difficult for her to catch up with her in physical attributes. And other people's talent grades are higher than hers, why should she compete with them? So she has no chance of winning the individual competition at all. Seeing that Chang Xiaoxi was in a low mood, Han Xuyao let go of Yi Xiao Tian, hugged Chang Xiaoxi and said, Xiaoxi, don't worry, brother Tian will help you. Wang Hao also said, yes, Xiaoxi, brother Tian will help you. With his strength, he will definitely win the individual championship, and then he will have the gift of spiritual liquid. Ha ha ha, it really makes me laugh to death. Where did this bumpkin come from? He is so arrogant. As soon as Wang Hao finished speaking, a mocking voice rang out. Chapter, 167 None of your business. Wang Hao, who was already a little irritated by Chang Xiaoxi, directly retorted. What did you say, kid? You're looking for death. The other party was also a hot-tempered man, and he would fight if he disagreed. The five people on the other side were obviously a team. However, they were much older than them, generally in their thirties. The one who quarreled with Wang Hao was very strong and had a face full of flesh. It was obvious that he was a close combat warrior. Such social people would certainly not be afraid of Wang Hao, a student. In their opinion, Wang Hao's group of people had not even grown their hair, 
so they could be manipulated at will. Why, you can't say it, you said it first. Wang Hao was not to be outdone. So what if they are social people? The strength of their team cannot be measured by freshmen. Lin Hai, who was hiding behind, saw that Yi Xiaotian's team had a conflict with others, and quickly took out a special communicator to contact the seventh knight. When the seventh knight heard that Yi Xiaotian's team had a conflict with others, he immediately became interested and his brain started working quickly, trying to see if there was any chance to attack. What if I say you? The other party pushed Wang Hao, and Wang Hao staggered back a few steps due to the huge force. What do you want to do? Why push people? Chang Xiaosi also stepped forward to argue. The other party said disdainfully, what's wrong with pushing him? I just hit him, and it's right. At such a young age, you only know how to brag, waste resources, and waste air. You. Chang Xiaosi's face turned red with anger. Boom. Wang Hao directly activated the talent skill Furious Battle, and the Blood Light Shield was propped up. This talent is a combination of the energy conversion of the strength attribute and the physique attribute. This blood light shield can not only increase a large amount of attack power, but also form a good protective shield. This is the role of the talent skill. Without this talent skill, it is impossible to do this. The strength attribute is the strength attribute, and the physique attribute is the physique attribute. Although the two have a certain mutual influence. But it is impossible to integrate the two kinds of energy that manifest themselves together out of thin air. This is the rule of reincarnation. When the other party saw that Wang Hao had actually activated his talent skill, he immediately became interested and sneered, Okay, you are a bit bloody and dare to show your skills in front of us. Boy, I won't bully you. If you can take my move, I will spare you once. The man with a face full of flesh did not show his weapon, but clenched his fist and prepared to go. His teammates did not stop him. Han Xuyao wanted to say something, but was stopped by Yi Xiaotian, who asked her to pull Chang Xiaosi back. It's okay, let them fight. Yi Xiaotian said to Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao didn't know what Yi Xiaotian's purpose was, but since he said so, Han Xuyao didn't persuade him anymore. Pulled Chang Xiaosi back and said, Xiaosi, watch, it's okay. Although Han Xuyao was unreliable, Chang Xiaosi still trusted Yi Xiaotian. Since he said it was okay, it was okay. Even if there was something wrong, Yi Xiaotian would make him okay. Fighting with other awakeners, especially those who have entered society, is also a rare experience. As students, they have few opportunities to fight with awakeners in society. Most of them fight with strange beasts in various copies. Or it is a competition between classmates. Yi Xiao Tian wants to see what kind of methods the awakeners in society have. There was no chance before. Today is just in time. It doesn't hurt to try. Anyway, he is standing here, Wang Hao will definitely be fine. And he has just sensed that most of the people in the other team are sea level awakeners. There is only one B level awakener. This is normal. In this society, there are a lot of people in their thirties who are still sea level awakeners. After all, no matter what society it is, there are few elites and many mediocre people. The team in front of them obviously has no talent. They are almost twice as old as them, but their strength is not even as good as his team. This kind of awakening team has almost zero influence in society, and can only show off in front of students. Maybe this is also the reason why the other B-level awakener did not stop him. Boy, take my punch. The other big man shouted, and the light condensed on his fist, hitting Wang Hao's blood light shield. Bang! On the blood light shield, the rich blood power flashed again, and the light flashed, removing the opponent's fist power, and then bounced back. The big man groaned and stepped back several steps. When he stood still, he showed a surprised look. He just held back. After all, the other party was a student, and he looked like a freshman. He just saw that the other party was talking nonsense and deceiving girls, and wanted to teach him a lesson. He didn't really want to kill Wang Hao. But he never expected that the other party not only took his punch, but also made him step back several steps. His face flushed red. Old bear, 
it seems that you are not good enough. Did you play too much last night and waste your energy on women? Seeing him suffer, the big man's teammates laughed heartlessly. And the words they said were also full of color. The big man, Lao Xiong, glared at his teammate fiercely, then turned around and said, Boy, it seems that I was wrong. I didn't expect you to have some tricks. Your talent skill is quite powerful, and your defense is very strong. You can actually withstand 30% of my strength. But next time, I won't hold back. Wang Hao didn't waste words, his eyes were firm, he also wanted to see what kind of methods the awakened people in society had. Seeing this, Lao Xiong gathered his fist power again and smashed towards Wang Hao. He didn't use any skills, just the simplest boxing skills, and there was no attack amplification. To deal with a prospective college student, what boxing skills are needed? Doesn't it mean that Lao Xiong is incompetent? It's just a prospective college student. No matter how talented he is, how many attribute points can he have? Not everyone is the great god Haotian. So Lao Xiong is sure that as long as he doesn't show mercy, he can definitely take down Wang Hao. In other words, he has been in society for more than 10 years. If he can't even beat a fledgling boy, he might as well crash into his head and die. But ideals are full, and reality is very skinny. His attack again did not break Wang Hao's blood defense. How is this possible? Lao Xiong was shocked after being bounced back again. This time, even his teammates couldn't hold back. Damn, just meeting a freshman, he has such strength. No wonder he dared to say that he would win the championship of the freshman competition. Damn, are they so unlucky. Chapter, 168 Did the old bear lose? He lost. Does he have any other means? Of course there are. But he was too embarrassed to use it again. Because of what he said before, he was slapped in the face by himself. How could he have the nerve to continue taking action? He is not the kind of social person who has no bottom line. The reason why he ridiculed Wang Hao was, to put it bluntly, he thought Wang Hao was just trying to pick up girls and would dare to say anything. This kind of person would dare to promise anything just to pick up girls. Wait until you get it, and then push four, five, or six. This kind of person is what Lao Xiong hates the most. When he realized that he seemed to have misunderstood others, he was a bit stuck. Old Xiong, it's okay. You have already lost. As a senior, you must be able to afford to lose. At this time, the other B-level awakener spoke. Yes, captain. Old Xiong breathed a sigh of relief. The captain's words gave him a step up. Boy, you are very good. Old Xiong said to Wang Hao again. Wang Hao was a little confused, what is going on? Isn't the other party aggressive? Why did he suddenly become a good person again? At this time, Yi Xiaotian walked up, patted Wang Hao on the shoulder, and said, Okay, put it away, don't be so nervous, these seniors don't have any ill intentions. Yi Xiaotian can naturally feel whether the other party has any malicious intent. These people have a strong murderous aura and the smell of blood is also strong. It can be judged that they must have participated in hunting exotic beasts recently. But when dealing with Wang Hao, he did not show any murderous intention. It means that the other party is not here specifically for them. The reason why there was a conflict today was because of Wang Hao's words. After all, that sentence is indeed too crazy in the eyes of ordinary people. Little brother, I'm sorry, we don't mean any harm. The other B-level awakened person said. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, I can tell. Lang Min, the captain of this team. The other party stretched out his hand and said to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian also stretched out his hand, shook it, and said, Yi Xiaotian, the captain of this student team. Lang Min said, Are you freshman? Yi Xiaotian said, Yes. You are very good. Lang Min praised. Thank you, you are very nice too. Yi Xiaotian responded. Lang Min sighed, We can't compare with you, otherwise we wouldn't be at this level of strength now. Strength is divided into strong and weak, but the heart of an awakened person is not. Yi Xiaotian said. 
When Lang Min heard this, he was immediately moved and said, Thank you. Yi Xiaotian said, I should say thank you to you. Without thousands of you, we would not be able to live in a safe base city and go to school safely. After hearing this, Lang Min felt better about Yi Xiaotian. To be honest, their team can barely be regarded as a mid to low level hunting team. Further down, they are basically cannon fodder. And above them, there are high level teams those who have eyes higher than the top will not admit what contributions they have made to the human race. In their words, you are just struggling for food and clothing. What contribution do you have? In this crisis ridden world, the strong are respected. People at the bottom have no say. It is also undignified. But Yi Xiaotian's words today vindicated Long Min and the others. No matter how strong or weak you are, no matter how many strange beasts you kill, no matter how strong or weak the strange beasts you kill are. As long as you do it, you will make your due contribution to the world where humans live. Then you deserve to be respected. Yi Xiaotian does not believe that only the strong deserve respect. If it weren't for thousands of ordinary awakened people, they would fight against alien races without fear of life or death. Then Blue Star has already fallen. A master can only fight against a master. Who will deal with the billions of ordinary alien beasts? There are only a few strong people. Most of them are ordinary awakened people. The ordinary awakened ones here refer to those who are below level B. Here, only awakened ones above level A can be called masters. In fact, in the history of alien invasions, the ones who sacrificed the most were ordinary awakened people. They deserve to be remembered. Yi Xiaotian has not forgotten that his parents in this life are also ordinary awakened people. Although he has never met his parents in this life, no matter what, they are the ones who gave him this life. He would not deny their contribution. Bosom friends. Lang Min sighed, Brother Xiaotian, I want to buy you a drink. Yi Xiaotian said, Brother Lang, we just had lunch. Besides, we have summer camp tomorrow, so we can't drink. Lang Min felt very sorry. It was rare to meet a confidant like Yi Xiaotian, but it was really a pity that he couldn't get drunk. In that case, let's have a chance in the future. I originally thought about asking you if you have time to go out of the city to exercise, but it seems that there is no time. Lang Min was indeed very sorry. Yi Xiaotian was too angry with him. It is estimated that the middle and lower level awakens in the Awakened Association will regard him as a confidant. Yi Xiaotian said, We really don't have time. Our schedule for the two months of summer vacation is very tight, but after school starts, we can still go out of the city to exercise. He had this plan in the first place, but they had never left the city. It would be much better if Lang Min and the others were with them. Then it's a deal. Lang Min was overjoyed when he heard it. The two sides exchanged contact information, and Yi Xiaotian and the others continued to return to school. Lin Hai was dumbfounded when he saw this. The two sides who had just clashed actually shook hands and made peace so quickly, what the hell is going on? This is inconsistent with his previous speculation. His previous speculation was that the two sides would fight each other. Then he would take advantage of the situation. This is why he contacted the seventh knight. Because when the two sides fight, there are many opportunities. With the means of the seventh knight, it is entirely possible to kill Yi Xiaotian in the chaotic scene, and then put all the blame on Lang Min and the others. Perfect. But such a perfect plan was aborted just like that. He hated Lang Min and his gang, useless trash. They couldn't even beat a student kid, and it's okay that they couldn't beat him, but they actually shook hands and made peace without any backbone. Where is your dignity as a senior? Are all social awakeners like this? No, the awakeners of their Lin family are definitely not like this, but have blood. But now that things have come to this, he has no choice. He can only send a message to Chia. Chia was not disappointed when he received the message, but asked Lin Hai to continue looking for opportunities. If this kind of thing can be solved so easily, he really has to doubt whether there is any problem. Let's say that Yi Xiaotian and his group said goodbye to Lang Min and others and returned to school. Brother Tian, are you going to go out of the city to train after the summer camp? Huang Jia asked Yi Xiaotian. 
Yi Xiaotian said, I have this plan. With the strength of our team, there is no need to stay in school all the time. That's right, okay, during this period, I will collect some information outside the city for reference. Huang Jia said. He has always been responsible for intelligence work, because he has more channels than others. Chapter, 169 After a busy day, he sure finally had some free time. He remembered the guess in his heart, then took out his mobile phone, called Yi Xiaotian, and asked him to meet. Yi Xiaotian was very surprised. It was late at night, and tomorrow was the third time to enter the secret realm. Why did director he want to see him? Villa area. Yi Xiaotian met He Shi. Director He, what do you want to see me for? Yi Xiaotian asked. He Shi said, Yi Xiaotian, have you seen Su Zichang in the secret realm? Yi Xiaotian's heart jumped, and he said, Director He, who is He Zichang? He Shi looked at Yi Xiaotian and did not answer immediately. If he was just guessing before coming, then he was 80% sure now. Although Yi Xiaotian pretended to be very similar, he was still too young after all. His acting skills were not up to standard. Is he sent by the heretic organization? He sure asked directly. Yi Xiaotian was silent. Why was director he so sure that he had seen Su Zichang? Does he have any substantial evidence? He sure suddenly said, we checked Su Zichang's movement trajectory and found that there are some overlaps with yours. Movement trajectory? Yi Xiaotian was shocked. What is this? He sure said, you don't think that the distress instrument we sent you is just a decoration? Can you still collect the action signals in the secret realm? Yi Xiaotian was a little surprised. He sure said, originally, it couldn't be collected, but because of the Fatian secret realm, we moved the signal collection ceremony into the phantom secret realm. After all, the school has to ensure your safety. Of course, if you don't activate the distress instrument, we generally won't check these. He sure explained. Yi Xiaotian nodded to show his understanding. Fatian's secret realm has indeed put a lot of pressure on the school, from public opinion pressure, and from students' parents. After discussion, it was decided to move the signal instrument to the secret realm. This will make it easier for them to obtain more information. And once a student is in danger, they can also accurately locate. Also, they also want to see who the traitor is. Unfortunately, in the Phantom Secret Realm, the people of the heretic organization did not seem to make any moves. After listening to He Shi's words, Yi Xiaotian knew that it was meaningless to continue to play dumb. He Shi must have confirmed that he was the one who did it. I don't know either. After talking to him, I am more inclined to believe that he was sent by the Shen family. But I can't be sure of the details. Yi Xiaotian told He Shi what happened without hiding anything. You mean you killed him with one knife? And cut off his sword? He Shi's eyes were about to pop out. Yi Xiaotian's heart jumped, and he secretly said it was not good. Also, Director He, your attention is a bit biased. At this time, shouldn't you care about who sent Su Zichang? Yi Xiaotian, tell me honestly, what is your current strength? He did not ask about the awakening level, which was all false. Only actual combat power is real. In the world of awakeners, the awakening level can only judge a person's level of the reincarnation dungeon. It cannot be used as a reflection of a person's actual combat ability. After all, the awakening level is a reflection of physical attribute points, and it also shows which level of promotion dungeon you have passed. There are too many factors that affect a person's true strength. Yi Xiaotian was silent. He didn't know how to answer this question. Seeing this, he sure could only say, forget it, if you don't want to say it, forget it. I won't force you. It seems that the strength of your team is already very strong, so I am relieved. Yi Xiaotian breathed a sigh of relief, but also a little strange. Director He's attitude is a bit wrong. But fortunately, the result is good. No matter what director he thinks, at least it is beneficial to him. That's enough. Go back and have a good rest. Tomorrow we are going to the Bai Tao secret realm provided by Jiangnan University, which is full of sea beasts. 
Also, the environment of the Bai Tao secret realm is different from the secret realms we have been to before. The Bai Tao secret realm is divided into countless large and small islands. After entering the secret realm tomorrow, you will take the teleportation array in the secret realm to different islands. There is no rule to figure out this kind of timeliness, so you should be careful. If there is any danger, activate the emergency rescue device as soon as possible. Do you understand? He sure gave another reminder. Yi Xiao Tian said, Yes, Director He, I know, thank you. He sure waved his hand and left the villa area. He gained a lot tonight. He was very glad that he brought Yi Xiao Tian to Moda University. This person is definitely a monster. No worse than that Hao Tian. It is said that the two of them are still friends. If he didn't know that they appeared in the reincarnation world at the same time and brushed the dungeon together, even he sure would suspect that he was Houtian. It is true that the magical power of the second soul is unique and has never appeared before. Neither the alien race nor the human race had ever heard of it. There was no such magical power exchange in the Samsara Mall. I could only say that I was lucky to have recruited a top-level demon comparable to Houtian. I don't know if the others will regret it after knowing Yi Xiaoshan's strength. The hands of the aristocratic families are really long. He sure did not tell Yi Xiaotian that the teacher in charge of the signal collection ceremony at the school also became Su Zichiang's insider. I just don't know whether this is Su Zichiang's own hand or the hand of the forces behind him. This needs to be investigated carefully. When Yi Xiaotian returned to the villa, Han Shuyao came up and said, Brother Tian, what happened? Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, It's okay. Director he told me about some things in the secret realm tomorrow. Brother Tian, I have already inquired. The secret realm we are going to tomorrow is called by Tao Secret Realm, which belongs to Jiangnan University. All the creatures that appear in it are sea beasts. Huang Jia also reported at this time. This is the news he just got from his father. Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, I have heard from Director He. He also told me that the Bai Tao secret realm is different from the secret realms we have been to before, so we should be careful. Then he told him everything about the Bai Tao secret realm that He sure had told him. As for Su Zichiang's matter, he did not tell them. When everyone heard it, they did not doubt it. After all, they all knew how much He sure valued Yi Xiao Tian. It is normal for He Shi to come to Yi Xiao Tian and tell him about the Bai Tao secret realm. Tomorrow's secret realm is very random, and we are not sure whether we will meet acquaintances. What Yi Xiao Tian has to consider now is not only Shen Ao and his people, but also the people of the heretic organization. Chapter 170 The next morning, the playground of Magic City University. There were crowds of people and constant discussions. When Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xuyao's team arrived, there was a commotion. Everyone speculated when Yi Xiao Tian and his team would be wiped out. After all, how could he get away with offending the local snake of Shen Ao's team? I heard that Yi Xiao Tian and his team went out yesterday. Oh, did nothing happen? It seems that nothing happened. It seems that the Shen family is not as scary as the legend says. Speak softly, you will be finished if someone hears you. It's not that scary, isn't Yi Xiao Tian still alive and well? He made young Master Shen look ashamed. Can you compare with Yi Xiao Tian? He has Director He to protect him, do you? Fuck, it's true. Everyone's usual thinking is that Yi Xiao Tian is protected by He Shi. He Shi represents Magic City University. To round it off, Yi Xiao Tian is protected by the Magic City University. This is one of the four famous schools in Xia country, which supplies countless talents to major organizations every year. If you want to protect someone, even if the four major families of the Magic City come together, you have to think twice. Thinking about it this way, everyone feels that it makes sense. No wonder Yi Xiao Tian is still fine and lives so comfortably. It is not without reason. Although he himself has some strength, in the final analysis, it is still the school that protects him. No wonder after entering the secret realm, there is no need to gather and can go ahead. This school really favors him. There are many incomprehensible details about Yi Xiao Tian, but when you think of Director He's attitude towards Yi Xiao Tian, everyone understands. 
With such a big boss taking care of him, the treatment is naturally needless to say. Really envious. They only know that Yi Xiaotian has a good talent, but they don't know the details. Yi Xiaotian's strength is not bad, but it's all legends, and people follow the crowd. They didn't believe that Yi Xiaotian could defeat senior students, or even the top 50 masters on the list. This must be something the school deliberately hyped up in order to train Yi Xiaotian. After all, without these titles, how could the school legitimately throw resources at him? Although these freshmen said it clearly, they knew it in their hearts. They didn't do anything, but were just waiting for an opportunity. Waiting for an opportunity to get a bargain. Soon, director he came with many teachers. He didn't deliberately procrastinate now, and came as early as possible. Fearing that the last thing would happen again. Seeing that everyone was there, he called everyone to go to the secret building. This time, like last time, they all took the teleportation array in the lobby on the first floor to go to the secret. This time, Yi Xiaotian didn't enjoy any special treatment. Anyway, it will be randomly teleported later, and there is nothing special. As soon as I entered the secret, the biggest feeling was that there was a moisture in the air here. The students of the four major colleges were separated from each other. There was a little distance, but they could see each other. Yi Xiaotian didn't know about the students of other universities. He didn't even know which students were in his own school. He only knew Shen Ao and a few others. Now everyone was busy improving their strength, so how could they have the energy to get to know new classmates? If Shen Ao hadn't taken the initiative to trouble him, he might not even know Shen Ao and his group. Classmates, now I will tell you some basic information about the Bai Tao secret realm, you must listen carefully. He Shu Jiang repeated what he said to Yi Xiaotian. Then he told everyone to be careful and cautious, and if there was anything, turn on the distress device on their wrist in time. Then he waved his hand and let everyone step into the portal. As for which island they would be teleported to, it depends on their own luck. It could be with classmates from the same school, or it could be with students from other schools. And this time, the teachers who were protecting did not act immediately, they would stay in the safe area. Once there was danger somewhere, and a student activated the distress device, they would rush over to support immediately. However, directional teleportation requires the consumption of special treasures. They spent a lot of money to exchange this from Jiangnan University. It is a specialty of the Bai Tao secret realm. There is no way, who makes this secret realm so special. And they have to come in. After all, the four secret realms of the four universities have their own characteristics. Only the Bai Tao secret realm of Jiangnan University has reached S level and meets the characteristics of the Sea Beast secret realm. The other three universities are not qualified to compete for this business. So they can only bear the pain. When it was Yi Xiaotian's team's turn, director he said, be careful, open the distress device in time if something happens. Yi Xiaotian nodded repeatedly, and then led the team into the teleportation array. Other students saw it and sighed. He is worthy of being director He's son, this treatment is different. Even Shen Ao's family team did not enjoy such treatment, but Yi Xiaotian did. I don't know what's so good about Yi Xiaotian. I don't see him with three heads and six arms. Shen Ao's eyes were almost blazing with anger, he was indeed unwilling to accept this. Why? In terms of talent, he was of the same caliber as Yi Xiaotian. In terms of appearance, he thought he could crush Yi Xiaotian. In terms of background, let alone, Yi Xiaotian was not even worthy of carrying his shoes. Why could such a Yi Xiaotian be favored by Director He? And Director He didn't even look at him, a proud child of heaven. He even warned him repeatedly not to make trouble. When had Shen Ao ever suffered such grievances? From childhood to adulthood, whether in elementary school or middle school, teachers looked at him differently. They thought he was the future pillar of the human race. Why didn't he do well in college? It's all because of Yi Xiaotian, the damn country bumpkin. Don't let me touch you, or I will kill you. In order to let them come out of the secret realm safely, the four families prepared a lot of good things for them. Although with the strength of the family, there is no way to directly help them improve their own strength. But they can help them improve their external strength. 
for example, various auxiliary treasures. There are offensive ones, defensive ones, and auxiliary ones. These treasures are all very valuable. Ordinary people must have never even heard of them. But for the four major families, these are all standard equipment for direct disciples. This is the difference. If you are born ordinary, you can only rely on yourself to fight for your life. But for people from aristocratic families, they only need to pay the smallest price for the same gains. Seeing Shin Ao and his men coming over, director he had a complicated look. Was teacher Su bribed by the Shin family, or was he a member of a heretical organization who deliberately framed the Shin family? This has not been determined yet, and it will take time to investigate. But for him personally, he still hopes that Shin Ao and others can live in peace with Yi Xiao Tian. They are all elites of the human race. No matter which side dies, it is a great loss for the human race. Chapter, 171 On an island, Yi Xiao Tian and his team were fighting. This time, they were facing an octopus. The mutated octopus was like a mountain, making a rumbling sound when moving. The ground was shaking. The eight tentacles were huge, and every time they fell, they would leave a huge pit on the ground. When they saw this thing for the first time, Wang Hao and his team felt weak in the knees. They had seen large monsters before. In fact, monsters are very large. But the size of this octopus was beyond their imagination. Such a huge monster had never been seen even on TV. Their first reaction was, is the sea beast so terrifying? Judging from its strength, the level of this giant octopus is only B-level. But the difficulty of hunting it has increased sharply. Even Yi Xiao Tian was no longer as calm as before. This octopus was too big, and its eight tentacles were waving, which could reach hundreds of meters away, making it impossible for Yi Xiao Tian to get close. What made Yi Xiao Tian even more upset was that the tentacles of this octopus were very tough, and his B-level Tianjin war knife was actually unable to work for a while. Even if the tentacles with a diameter of more than 10 meters could leave a little scar on them, it was just a tickle for the octopus. Later, Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan were also constantly attacking the giant octopus. But their attacks were even more ticklish. Han Shuyao was fine, as lightning was still very destructive to the beast and had a paralyzing effect. But Mu Bingyan's ice skills were completely useless. This was a sea beast that had crawled out of the deep sea, and its resistance to low temperatures was off the charts. Even Mu Bingyan's freezing effect had no effect at all. It can be said that in front of this octopus, Mu Bingyan's damage was equivalent to zero. This made Mu Bingyan very uncomfortable. Of course, all this was because her awakening level was not high enough, so she could not break the defense. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi both activated their innate skills and stood in front, which was very hard. Every time the octopus's tentacles came over, they felt like they were hit by a speeding train. Their team retreated again and again. Brother Tian, what should we do? Xiaoxi can't hold on any longer. Wang Hao said loudly to Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian originally wanted to play around. But the tentacles of this octopus were really too big, and he also found that the tentacles of this octopus had the ability to recover themselves. The tentacles that were cut by him recovered in less than a moment. He cut them directly with a knife, but it didn't work. There was no way, this tentacle with a diameter of more than 10 meters was really tough. And he also heard that water-based monsters are good at defense. So the best way is to pass through the tentacles of the octopus and attack its brain. Bypass the most powerful tentacles of the octopus. Of course, this requires a very fast speed. And Yi Xiao Tian is good at fast attacks. Haozi, you and Xiaoxi step back, leave this to me. Yi Xiao Tian said loudly. Brother Tian, can you do it? Wang Hao was a little worried. In the previous secret realm, Yi Xiao Tian killed the beasts as easily as cutting melons and vegetables. But the first beast they encountered today put their team in a tough fight. And Yi Xiao Tian didn't seem to be as sharp as before, and felt a little helpless. So when Yi Xiao Tian said it, Wang Hao was very worried. When Yi Xiao Tian can handle it, it's natural to let him fight alone. But if there is danger, he naturally can't let Yi Xiao Tian go alone. 
Yi Xiao Tian said, It's okay, I can handle it, I just wanted to play with it just now. You forgot, what I am best at is fast attack. Wang Hao heard it and suddenly realized, I said why you have become weaker today, killing B-level beasts before, it wouldn't be so difficult. Even the A-level awakener Su Zichang was killed by Yi Xiao Tian with one knife. Today's combat power is indeed a bit inconsistent with his identity. It turns out that he didn't give his best. This is a bit too much. The woman I like and I are about to vomit blood, and you are still playing. Are we still good brothers? So he pulled Chang Xiaoxi back very simply. Wang Hao, why did you retreat? Han Shuyao was the first to be anxious. What should Yi Xiao Tian do without Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi in front? In their team, only Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi are shield warriors. Yi Xiaotian's position is a quick warrior. Win by speed and strength. Defense is not his forte. Brother Tian asked us to retreat, he said he could handle it. Wang Hao replied quickly. How to handle it? If it can be handled, it would have been handled long ago. Han Shuyao said with a dark face. Wang Hao said, don't worry, brother Tian was just playing just now, he didn't take it seriously at all. Hearing what Wang Hao said, the rest of them were a little confused. Just playing. They were almost worried to death. There was even no one to protect them. They thought this battle would be difficult, and there would be casualties. But in the end, they were just playing. Suddenly, a complex emotion spread in their hearts. The more they were worried just now, the more resentful they were towards Yi Xiao Tian now. Just when they were blaming Yi Xiao Tian in their hearts. Yi Xiao Tian has already turned on the extreme speed state. His figure turned into a shadow and rushed towards the direction of the octopus's head. However, the B-level alien beast has a very high IQ. It seems to understand Yi Xiao Tian's plan. The eight tentacles waved at a high speed, forming an airtight defense network. Every time Yi Xiao Tian rushed forward, he was blocked outside by the defense. Yi Xiao Tian had no choice but to change direction quickly and compete with the octopus in speed. However, the eight tentacles of the octopus were too terrifying. They were hundreds of meters long and could form a 360-degree closed loop outside the body when combined. For a while, Yi Xiao Tian couldn't find a place to start. From a distance, the giant octopus at this time looked like a tornado. Wang Hao and Han Shuyao, who were hundreds of meters away, were stunned. Is the battle so fierce? Then, they saw Yi Xiao Tian jumping out of the cloud, standing not far away, watching the cloud dancing with dust. What's going on? Wang Hao was stunned. Han Shuyao was also a little dumbfounded. Was this giant octopus fooled by Brother Tian? Yes, Brother Tian has already jumped out, why hasn't the octopus stopped yet? Huang Jia also murmured. This octopus was indeed dizzy by Yi Xiao Tian. It could only use this method to prevent Yi Xiao Tian from getting close to its head. But this defense circle is a bit big and the movement is also very loud. It can't be sure where Yi Xiao Tian is, the opponent's speed is too fast. So it can only keep dancing its tentacles. Even if Yi Xiao Tian has jumped out of the battle circle, it didn't notice it. Chapter 172 by the time the giant octopus reacted, it was already too tired to hold on. The waving tentacles slowed down, stirring around constantly, looking quite scary. A pair of big eyes stared at Yi Xiaotian's direction, full of anger. It knew it had been fooled. It was really too shameless. You said you would fight to the end, but you ran away halfway. The key is that you didn't even notify me. You kid has no martial ethics. The panting giant octopus was like a huge blower, making bursts of noise. Yi Xiao Tian was not afraid at all. He had this octopus ready. So what if it has a high IQ? It's still a beast after all, and can't really compare with humans. A ray of light flashed by, like lightning. The giant octopus was still panting and angry, and didn't react at all. Roar! A shrill scream came from the octopus's mouth, and then its huge body began to twist violently. Eight huge tentacles kept twitching, and the ground made a rumbling sound. 
Yi Xiaotian's voice came from a distance, everyone move away. A huge beast like the octopus, no matter how badly injured, can't die all at once. This giant beast has very strong vitality. Yi Xiaotian's sword pierced its head, and it couldn't die for a while. Before dying, it had to struggle again. Such a big beast, with many tentacles and great strength, it would be a fool not to hide away at this time. The octopus struggled loudly before dying, and the atmosphere was full. After more than half an hour, it gradually stopped. Huang Jia wiped the sweat off his forehead and said, I didn't expect this sea beast to be so terrifying. This was also the first time he personally experienced the power of this sea beast. This is just a B-level sea beast giant octopus. If it is A-level or even S-level, how terrifying would it be? He didn't dare to imagine it. He had heard before that a terrifying beast could destroy a base city with a slap. When he first heard it, he was a little skeptical. But now, he believed it. It can only be said that they were born in a relatively peaceful era. At this time, the powerful beasts on Blue Star were almost all dealt with, or they were all driven back to the alien space. And there was no news about this on TV and the internet. Let them take it for granted. Brother Tian, do you think the sea beasts on Blue Star are so terrifying? Huang Jia asked while swallowing his saliva. This sentence attracted everyone's attention. Most of the area on Blue Star is ocean, and no one knows how many mutated marine creatures there are. No one knows how powerful these mutated sea beasts are. Once these sea beasts come ashore, they dare not imagine it anymore. Hey, come and see, there is a dead sea beast here. At this time, a voice came from a distance. Ha, really, I'm so lucky. How much money can I make by bringing this beast back? Someone sighed. Such a large corpse of a strange beast must be very powerful. If you take it back, you can easily make tens of millions. How did this strange beast die? Someone asked. You don't care how it died, as long as it's dead, we have to deal with it quickly, otherwise when others come, there will be no such good thing. Someone answered, and then scolded the other party. Stop! Wang Hao ran up and shouted. This is the strange beast we killed. Wang Hao saw that these people were going to divide the corpse of the octopus, and hurriedly declared sovereignty. The other party didn't believe it and said, You say it is, what evidence do you have? We just fought with this octopus for a long time. Wang Hao was righteous. I also said that we fought with this octopus for a long time. Someone on the other side also said. Wang Hao was so angry that his nose was crooked. This octopus made him suffer a lot and almost injured. Now the octopus is dead, but it was picked up by others. The octopus struggled too hard just now, and the destructive power was very terrifying. So they hid a little far away. They chatted for a while. That's why they didn't rush to the octopus in the first place. Just a little delay, the octopus became someone else's. Wang Hao was naturally not polite. My knife is still in the octopus's head. Yi Xiaotian also said at this time. The other party laughed contemptuously, is your name on the knife? Yi Xiaotian's expression froze. This knife was bought in a shop on the Samsara Square. How could his name be on it? I haven't heard of anyone engraving his name on a weapon. Then will it agree if you ask it? The other party asked again. Yi Xiaotian could see that this group of people were making a fuss without reason. They were going to rob openly. Are you still being reasonable? Han Xuyao's face turned red with anger. Oh, beauty, I like it, but beauty, you should provide evidence when you speak. Why are we not being reasonable? We are reasonable, okay? You are the ones who said right away that this beast is yours. Do you think we will believe it? Such a big beast, you are also freshmen, are you trying to challenge our IQ bottom line? Said a thin man on the opposite side. Put yourself in his shoes. If Han Xuyao and the others hadn't seen Yi Xiaotian's power with their own eyes, they probably wouldn't believe such a thing. They are still freshmen, and the school hasn't officially started yet. It's still summer camp. He dared to say that he killed such a terrifying beast. 
whoever believes it is a fool. Just look at the aftermath of the battle around to know how tragic the previous battle was. How destructive this beast is. Countless plants were cleared at the scene, and the ground was also destroyed beyond words, with all kinds of big pits. The cracked ditches on the ground formed a dense spider web. And the broken rocks on the ground, such a battlefield, what kind of strength the two sides of the battle are, as long as you have seen the scene, you will basically have your own judgment. In short, no matter what, it won't be caused by freshmen. So the other party's first reaction after hearing Wang Hao's words was to want to eat it all by themselves. This is too much. We found the corpse of the beast first, and we haven't said we want to eat it all by ourselves. You dare to do this later. This is not taking Qin Shui University seriously. Which university are you from? Yi Xiaotian asked. Why? Do you still want to tell your parents? It's okay to tell you, we are from Qin Shui University. The thin man said proudly. Qin Shui University, the number one awakening university in Xia country. Those who can be admitted to such a university are definitely geniuses among geniuses. The students of this school are all proud of themselves. Even the geniuses of their Qin Shui University can't do it, can students from other schools do it? Absolutely not. Chapter, 173 Xiao Cheng, the thin guy, is a freshman from Qin Shui University. He is an SS-level talent awakener with the talent skill quick battle. The effect of his talent skill is similar to the theory that Yi Xiaotian said that all martial arts in the world are indestructible, but only speed can't break. After opening the talent skill, the agility attribute can be greatly improved, and the strength attribute can be slightly improved. Although Xiao Cheng has not experienced the baptism of martial arts theory in his previous life, after many battles in the temporary training camp and two summer camps, he has also realized the benefits of his talent skills. He also determined his own development direction. Although he looks very thin, he is the core captain of this team. So he came forward to negotiate with Yi Xiaotian and others. As a genius from Qin Shui University, he has the right to ignore Yi Xiaotian and others. As a freshman of D-level awakening, with the blessing of talent skills, he thinks that his strength has surpassed 99.9% of freshmen. Except for a limited number of people from Qin Shui University and Jingqing University, he does not accept anyone. Obviously, Yi Xiaotian and others are not on the list of people he accepts. So he had no pressure at all when talking to Yi Xiaotian and the others. But he had to admit that there were really many beauties in Yi Xiaotian's team. The whole team only had seven people, four of whom were girls, and three of them scored more than 90 points, and the last one also scored 80 points. Looking at his own team, it was all men, almost like a monk team. Although male teammates were stronger in battle. But having a woman in the team could also inspire everyone's fighting spirit. Especially beautiful women, a simple cheer can increase the combat effectiveness of the team members by 20%. Look at the configuration of the opposite team, so many beauties, shouting cheer together, can definitely double the combat effectiveness of the team members. Envy. Who doesn't like beauties? So you are from Qin Shui University, no wonder you are so arrogant. Yi Xiaotian said. Boy, are you going to fire a map cannon? The consequences of slandering Qin Shui University are very serious. Xiao Qing frowned. What does this mean is that students from Qin Shui University are all arrogant. If this is not a total denial of Qin Shui University, what is it? This is not what I said, but it is the fact. You Qin Shui University graduates have always been arrogant and looked down on students from other universities, isn't it? Yi Xiaotian asked back. Xiao Qing narrowed his eyes and said, No, this is different from what you said. Our Qin Shui University students have reasons and strength to be arrogant, which is different from the arrogance you said. Are you trying to say that students from other universities are not as good as your Qin Shui University? Yi Xiaotian sneered. This is what you said, not me. Xiao Qing said quickly. But that's what you mean. Yi Xiaotian said. Xiao Qing shrugged and said, Okay, that's what I mean. Qin Shui University is the best awakened university in the country. 
this is a recognized fact recognized by awakened people at home and abroad. Brother Tian, don't waste your time talking to them. If you beat them all down, they will know what it means to be better than others. Wang Hao said a little irritably. I also think that we should stop talking nonsense and just fight. A burly man on the other side also said. He and Wang Hao have similar figures. Both are tall and burly, and look like a big fat man. What else is there to say, let's fight? Wang Hao said directly. He was almost depressed by the giant octopus before. It happened that the other party came to his door, so he could vent his depression. He went forward with a knife. Yi Xiao Tian did not stop him. Seeing this, the other party looked at Xiao Cheng. Xiao Cheng said helplessly, Old Iron, be gentle. In his opinion, Wang Hao just didn't know what was good for him. But after all, he was a student of the four major colleges, so it was okay to beat him up and teach him a lesson. But if he was really disabled or killed, it would be troublesome. In order to guard against heretical organizations, the four major colleges have made a lot of preparations to protect the safety of students. So this red line cannot be touched. Moreover, the grudges between the two sides did not rise to the point of life-threatening. To put it bluntly, it was a fight for the corpse of the octopus. Everyone knew that the corpse of the octopus was very valuable, and it was all resources. So no one wanted to give up. The blame was that they were too slow. They should have divided and collected the corpse as soon as they saw it. As long as they collected the corpse, even if Yi Xiao Tian came, he could only stare blankly. Of course, if Yi Xiao Tian and the others did not say that they killed the giant octopus, Xiao Cheng would not be so angry. This is clearly treating them as fools. This is embarrassing. Qing Shui University has all kinds of talents, but no fools. Wang Hao activated his talent skill rage battle, and the blood armor was online again, looking like a Vichra coming to the world. Lao Tai was not to be outdone, and activated his talent skill iron wall. His talent skills and Wang Hao's are both melee types. The only difference is the focus. Rage battle, is both offensive and defensive. Iron wall, focuses on defense. This is more similar to Chang Xiaoxi's golden bell cover. However, Iron Wall is a surface defense, while Golden Bell is an external defense. There are some differences. This is a collision between two shield warriors. However, Wang Hao's talent grade is only S level, while Lao Tai is SS level. However, Wang Hao's awakening level is higher than Lao Tai's. The main attribute of the body can definitely crush Lao Tai. The two did not show their weapons, and directly collided with each other. Wang Hao did not show any mercy, and he was feeling frustrated at the moment. He used all his strength to beat Lao Tai back again and again. Yi Xiaotian's expression was naturally very normal. But Xiao Cheng and the others all widened their eyes and looked like they had seen a ghost. This is unscientific. They really wanted to see a one-sided battle. Originally, they thought that with Lao Tai's strength, he would definitely crush Wang Hao. But now, the situation is reversed. The Lao Tai, who they placed high hopes on, was actually beaten by the opponent and had no power to fight back. He retreated again and again and was almost beaten to the seaside. How could this happen? How should I know? We all know Jiang Tai's strength. Even the captain couldn't break his defense. You can't tell from his defense, but he's no match for him in terms of strength. Although he's relying on the iron wall, defense to hold on, he won't be able to hold on for a long time. It doesn't cost much to activate a talent skill, but it's different if you're fighting all the time. For example, now that Jiang Tai is using Iron Wall, and has been bearing Wang Hao's punches, it would be strange if he didn't consume much. Once his physical strength can't keep up, he can only be slaughtered. Chapter, 174 Haozi, stop now. Seeing that Jiang Tai was about to be beaten into the sea by Yi Xiaotian, Yi Xiaotian hurriedly shouted. Just as Xiaoqing thought, there was no big hatred between the two sides, so there was no need to fight to the death. Just teach the other party a lesson. He believed that the other party was a smart man, otherwise he would not be admitted to Qingxue University. Wang Hao beat Jiang Tai, 
although because of his talent skills, he did not beat him up. But now Jiang Tai is also in a mess. Before, he wanted to teach Wang Hao a lesson. But in the face of reality, he was slapped in the face. Facing Wang Hao's attack, he had no power to resist. That power, if it weren't for his talent skill Iron Wall, which was the limit of defense, it would have been beaten by Wang Hao. What's going on? How could the other party's physical attributes be so much higher than his? His talent grade is not as good as his, and he has not been blessed with auxiliary skills. He still has this judgment. Wang Hao stopped. He finally breathed a sigh of relief, and did not sneak attack Wang Hao when he turned around. What else do you want to say? Yi Xiao Tian asked Xiao Cheng. Xiao Cheng said solemnly, very strong. Among the freshmen, Wang Hao's strength is definitely in the first echelon. Even Jiang Tai is not his opponent. He has never fought, and he is not sure. However, with his professional characteristics, he will not be suppressed by Wang Hao. After all, what he is best at is speed. In this regard, he is not afraid of anyone. So he feels that he can handle anyone with ease. Even if he can't beat the opponent, he can deal with it and not lose. I want to know, what is his strength in your team? Xiao Qing asked. Yi Xiao Tian replied, comprehensive ranking fourth. Fourth. Xiao Qing suspected that Yi Xiao Tian was lying. But Yi Xiao Tian did not lie. Wang Hao's comprehensive strength is indeed ranked fourth. Needless to say, Yi Xiao Tian is the team's first combat power. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan are also better than Wang Hao in comprehensive combat power. There is no way, their professional skills are too unique. In addition to high destructive power, they also have strong control. For example, the paralysis effect of Han Xuyao's thunder skill. And the freezing effect of Mu Bingyan's ice skill. Unless Wang Hao can perfectly avoid every attack of theirs, once he is hit, he will be killed by the kite next. Yes, you cannot believe it, but I am telling the truth. Yi Xiao Tian said. I believe you. What surprised Yi Xiao Tian was that Xiao Qing actually believed him. But even so, it can't prove that you killed this octopus. Xiao Qing added. Yi Xiao Tian said, I did kill this octopus, and there is my B-level Tianjin war knife in its head. If you don't believe it, you can take it out and have a look. Xiao Qing winked at his teammates after hearing this. After a while, his teammates took a war knife out of the octopus's body. It is indeed a B-level Tianjin war knife. Xiao Qing checked and confirmed this fact. But he still couldn't believe it. If I hadn't killed this octopus, I definitely wouldn't have known that there was this weapon inside. Yi Xiao Tian said. Xiao Qing asked, did you kill this octopus head on? Yi Xiao Tian said, I used some tricks. Xiao Qing nodded, and then threw the Tianjin sword to Yi Xiao Tian. Just as he was about to say something, another team came. Hey, there's actually a giant octopus corpse here. The visitor was overjoyed when he saw the octopus corpse. Xiao Cheng looked at Yi Xiao Tian, shrugged, and said nothing. Yi Xiao Tian put away the sword, and said nothing. Dear classmates, I'm Peng Xiangyu from Jiangnan University. I didn't expect that we were so lucky to find an octopus corpse. According to the principle of seeing it, I think we should divide the octopus corpse among the three parties. Peng Xiangyu said what he meant very directly. Xiao Cheng looked at Yi Xiao Tian, showing an expression that everyone understood. Yi Xiao Tian was also helpless. In the first two secret realms, they didn't meet any classmates. But in this secret realm, they met teams from two schools not long after entering. It seems that this Bai Tao secret realm is indeed very unique. There are thousands of islands in this Bai Tao secret realm, with different sizes. The area of the island they are on is indeed not large, with a diameter of about 100 kilometers. So the students who are teleported to this island are very likely to encounter it. I killed this octopus. Yi Xiao Tian said. Peng Xiangyu was stunned for a moment, then smiled and said, Classmate, stop making trouble, this is a B-level alien beast giant octopus, even B-level awakening masters can't do anything with it. The implication is that classmates, you can fool others, 
but don't try to fool me. I am a professional. Others don't know the information of the giant octopus, but Peng Xiangyu, as an internal staff of Jiangnan University, naturally knows it. This is one of the most difficult alien beasts. Not to mention its huge size. The eight tentacles are very difficult to deal with. Even if it was an awakener of the same level, he would have no choice but to flee in disgrace. Yi Xiaotian said that he killed the octopus, and he could laugh at this joke for a year. Yi Xiaotian was very tired. He was thinking whether he should reveal some of his strength appropriately. Otherwise, there would be many more such things in the future. Mr. Peng, is this really a B-level monster? Xiao Cheng was surprised. He had to re-examine what Yi Xiaotian had just said. Although Yi Xiaotian accurately said the sword in the octopus's head, it could not completely prove that Yi Xiaotian had killed this octopus. Before, he did not know the true level of this octopus. Now after Peng Xiangyu said this. He could not hold back. Even the B-level awakening masters could not do anything about the giant octopus. Could Yi Xiaotian, a freshman, kill it? Obviously, this was impossible. So he felt that he was teased. The look in his eyes when he looked at Yi Xiaotian was a little unkind. I treated you so sincerely, but you treated me as a fool. Uncles can tolerate it, but aunts cannot. So he decided to cooperate with Peng Xiangyu to kick Yi Xiaotian out of the equal list. Peng Xiangyu said, Of course, the giant octopus is recorded in great detail in our school's information room. Those of this size are at least class B. After that, he fiddled with it again and said, The tentacles are still warm, so it must have died not long ago. I just don't know what kind of monster this octopus fought with and died. In my opinion, this octopus must have fought with other powerful sea beasts in the sea and then escaped to this island. But because of its severe injuries, it still died. After listening to Peng Xiangyu's analysis, Xiao Cheng and the others nodded. This is the correct answer to the death of the octopus. Chapter 175 Peng Xiangyu made a thorough analysis and successfully pulled Xiao Cheng and others into his camp. Now it's better, it was originally a three-legged tripod. Now Qingshui University and Jiangnan University have joined forces to suppress Yi Xiaotian's team from Shanghai University. Xiao Qing felt that his IQ was insulted and he was pressed to the ground and rubbed by Yi Xiaotian. He needed to teach Yi Xiaotian a profound lesson. Let him know that Qingshui students cannot be insulted. Yi Xiaotian was confused, what's going on? Wasn't it fine just now? The attitude is pretty good too. Why did you suddenly fall out again? After thinking about it for a while, he came back to his senses. This is because I dislike him for deceiving others. Needless to say, there is only one solution in this situation, and that is to convince him. As long as the opponent is defeated, there will be no problem. After all, this is a world where strength is paramount. Dealing with these students, doing things easily could not reveal his strength at all. But Peng Xiangyu's words reminded him that he couldn't say that the octopus was killed by him in its full state later. Rather, it should be said that he was seriously injured and then took advantage of him and killed him. In this case, there should be no problem. I'm such a smart young man. Okay, it's useless to talk more. Let's see the real deal. Yi Xiaotian immediately stood up with his sword across the sword. Whoever wins will get the octopus's body. He added. These words made both Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu's eyes light up. Well, the newly formed alliance also showed some cracks. Whoever wins gets the octopus carcass, this is a great idea. I originally thought it would be divided equally between the two families, but now it's better and I can keep it to myself. Although this octopus carcass is expensive, it can't handle the crowd. Now one person can save half of the money, so why not do it? Agree. Then let's decide the outcome in one battle. Send out your strongest. If you lose then, don't say you didn't explain it in advance. Yi Xiaotian was very aboveboard. That's how it should be. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu both agreed to Yi Xiaotian's proposal. Who comes first? Peng Xiangyu was eager to give it a try. Yi Xiaotian said, You all come together. 
Hearing this, Ping Xiangyu and Xiao Qing both dug their ears and asked, What did you say? I said you two should go together, and I'll go one on two. Yi Xiao Tian said again. A look of anger immediately appeared on the two people's faces. Damn it, this is no longer an insult, this is just tearing their faces off, then stepping on them with your feet, and rolling them over a few more times. Are all the freshmen at Shanghai University so arrogant? It doesn't seem like this before. In front of my Qing Shui students, I am still very self-aware. But the person in front of him was so arrogant that he knew no bounds. Must be taught a harsh lesson. I'll go first. Xiao Qing shouted, Qing Shui University's reputation must be taken back with his own hands. The long sword in his hand flashed and stabbed Yi Xiao Tian. Although his natural skill is speed combat, he does not follow the way of an assassin, but the way of a swordsman. The elegant sword. This is the way in Xiao Cheng's heart. It's just his appearance that is a bit of a hindrance to his future. Yi Xiao Tian looked at Xiao Cheng's long sword and did not panic at all. He knocked the sword and blocked Xiao Cheng's long sword. Xiao Cheng's movements were very fast, and he immediately turned around with his sword and stabbed Yi Xiao Tian again. His speed was very fast, and if it were anyone else at the scene, he would naturally be unable to dodge. But against Yi Xiao Tian, he had no advantage at all. Yi Xiao Tian used the sword in his hand hard and suddenly slapped Xiao Cheng's sword. The huge force struck, and Xiao Cheng's arms went numb. He couldn't hold the sword in his hand, so it flew out and stuck in a tree. And Yi Xiao Tian's sword landed on Xiao Cheng's neck. I accept it. Yi Xiao Tian put away his sword and stood up, cupping his hands and saying, Xiao Cheng looked confused. Where am I? Doing what? What happened? He didn't see Yi Xiao Tian's movements clearly at all in that move just now. He felt a huge force coming, his arm went numb, and then the weapon flew away. But he clearly felt that he could stab Yi Xiao Tian. How did the other party do it? How much higher is his agility attribute than his own? He has activated the blessing of innate skills, his agility attributes have been greatly improved, and his strength attributes have also been slightly enhanced. In such a state, he couldn't even take a single move from the opponent. How does he accept this? He didn't wake up until Yi Xiao Tian said the concession. His face turned red, but he couldn't say a word. My swordsmanship is elegant, but the opponent is even more elegant. This damn thing can no longer be described as elegant. It was completely like a ghost. Peng Xiangyu originally regretted being overtaken by Xiao Cheng. But unexpectedly, the winner was already decided before blinking a few times. And it was Yi Xiao Tian who won. He was immediately overjoyed. He didn't have much confidence in facing Xiao Cheng. After all, he was a freshman at Qing Shui University. Could it be something simple that could be favored by Qing Shui University? I never expected that the surprise would come so quickly. As for Yi Xiaotian's victory, in his opinion, Xiao Cheng must have underestimated the enemy. So as long as he is more serious, he will be able to secure the body of this octopus. Xiao Cheng's face was changing. He was considering whether to cheat and fight again. But in the end, he still endured it and waited for the result between Yi Xiao Tian and Peng Xiangyu to come out. If he cheated now, he would definitely face opposition from both sides. There will be another loser later. At that time, the two sides will be more confident of two to one. This is the corpse of a B-level alien beast. It can be said that it is full of treasures. And it is so huge. How much money will it sell for if it is taken out? Before, it was only estimated to be tens of millions. The pattern is small. Such a large B-level alien beast corpse, don't even think about it without a few hundred million. How many kinds of spiritual liquids can be refined by cutting out this flesh and blood? How many weapons and armor can be refined by extracting these tendons and bones? A B-level sword or armor, that is in the unit of 100 million. He still has this business sense. Such benefits, are you willing not to share a little? It's too unwilling. He thinks that if he wins the ring and takes the ownership of this corpse. The two teams from Magic City University and Jiangnan University will definitely have the same idea as him. 
Ping Xianyu took out his staff, a B-level golden staff. From this weapon, it can be seen that he has an extraordinary origin. The genius from Jiangnan University waved his staff, and a water curtain wrapped him up. Yi Xiaotian didn't care. In the face of absolute power, all skills are futile. Is it okay? Yi Xiaotian even asked very considerately. Peng Xianyu smiled and waved the staff repeatedly, adding layers of water curtains. Yi Xiaotian. Xiao Cheng, you are careless. Others, are you polite? Chapter 176. The battle between peers has not even begun yet, and you have blessed yourself with more than a dozen defensive skills. What are you doing? Even if you want to be on the safe side, it's not like this, right? You really think highly of your opponent. Several of Peng Xianyu's teammates had strange expressions on their faces, but they soon felt relieved when they thought of Peng Xianyu's temper. But Xiao Cheng and his teammates were livid. Damn it, are you slapping them in the face? Our captain underestimated the enemy, so you attach so much importance to it, are you trying to pull our captain out and whip his corpse? As for Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan, their faces were a bit ugly. Although they trusted Yi Xiaotian's strength, Peng Xiangyu's cheating behavior still angered them. The eyes looking at Peng Xiangyu were full of contempt. Peng Xiangyu had no influence at all, winning was the only way to go. Everything else is just clouds. With transactions worth hundreds of millions, you can never be too careful. He's just being steady, what's wrong? Hearing Yi Xiaotian's greeting, he nodded and said, it's time to start. After saying that, he shot a water arrow directly at Yi Xiaotian. I have never seen such a shameless person. Except for Peng Xiangyu's teammates, everyone else glared at him. They thought they had just seen Peng Xiangyu's bottom line. But now they understand that this classmate Peng Xiangyu has no bottom line at all. At this time, he is still attacking. He tarnished the honor of Jiangnan University. Xiao Cheng's face turned black. The more cautious Peng Xiangyu is, the more frivolous he is. He gritted his teeth and looked at Peng Xiangyu, hoping that Yi Xiaotian would kill him with one blow. As for whether this idea was naive, he no longer cared. Click. Xiao Cheng was still laughing at himself when he heard a noise. Boom. Yi Xiaotian's sword directly cut through more than a dozen of Peng Xiangyu's defensive techniques, and the huge force directly sent Peng Xiangyu flying away. Blood spilled into the sky. Now that Yi Xiaotian has decided to use thunder to suppress it. Naturally there will be no mercy. As long as Peng Xiangyu's life is not hurt, it will be fine. Things move too fast. Before anyone could react, the battle was over. It was only at this moment that Peng Xiangyu's water arrow landed where Yi Xiaotian was standing. Blast a small hole in the ground. When the people at Jiangnan University reacted, they all rushed to where Peng Xianyu landed. Team leader. Captain, how are you? Captain, are you okay? After everyone checked, they discovered that although Peng Xianyu was seriously injured, his life was not in danger, and they all breathed a sigh of relief. Xiao Cheng looked dull. Damn it, what just happened? He didn't see it clearly. This time, he stared at Yi Xiaotian very hard. But unfortunately, he still didn't understand. He knew very well that this was caused by the huge gap in strength between him and Yi Xiaotian. This Yi Xiaotian from Shanghai University is so terrifying. This news must be reported to the school. As for the idea that he had just united with another loser and forced the winner to compromise, at this moment, it disappeared. Damn, the gap is too big, how to fight? Even he and Peng Xianyu, the two strongest captains of the team, are not their combined enemies. Others are even more so. Not to mention that there were seven people in a team, even if it was Yi Xiaotian alone, killing both of their teams was as easy as chopping melons and vegetables. He finally understood it now. I admit it too. But he also wanted to see what the people at Jiangnan University would decide. So he stretched out his hand to stop several teammates and asked them to calm down. With the help of his teammates, Peng Xianyu finally stood up again. Being carried by two teammates. After all, 
he is a person with supernatural powers, and his body is relatively weak, so he is incomparable to a martial artist. Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian said to Sun Yao, Sun Yao, go and help him. Han Xu Yao was a little unhappy and said, Brother Tian, why do you want to help him? Yi Xiaotian said, after all, they are all human elites. We cannot let them fall in this secret realm. Even if they die, they should die in a confrontation with aliens. Han Xu Yao immediately shut up. Brother Tian is like this, he is so kind-hearted. But it was precisely because of this that she was completely devoted to him. Sun Yao took a few steps forward and came to Ping Xiangyu. What do you want to do? When Ping Xiangyu's classmates saw this, they all put on a defensive posture. Sun Yao rolled her eyes and said, I'll heal him. Are you a therapist? The other party was suddenly shocked. Unexpectedly, Yi Xiaotian was not only powerful, but also had a dedicated therapist in his team. How can I fight this? Everyone on Xiao Cheng's side was also shocked. There is actually a therapist. I am so envious and jealous. At this moment, Xiao Cheng's envy for Yi Xiaotian reached its peak. Even if Yi Xiaotian is stronger than him, even if the octopus body belongs to Yi Xiaotian, his envy is not as strong as it is now. What a blessing to have a healer among the team. But Sun Yao waved his staff, and a ray of blue light fell on Peng Xiangyu. Then Peng Xiangyu's body, which had just been supported by two classmates, recovered visibly. Soon, he pushed the two classmates away, and then bowed to Sun Yao and said, Thank you for saving me, classmate. I don't know your name, so I can thank you in the future. No matter who you are, you should respect the therapist. Because you never know when you will need them. Of course, if you can have a therapist as a friend, it is definitely a great luck. If you have a therapist as a teammate, it is a great honor. It doesn't matter, you have to find a way to build a relationship. Now that Sun Yao has saved him, of course he has to talk to her. Sun Yao said, don't be polite, it's just a small favor. If you want to thank someone, thank our captain. After that, Sun Yao went back. Peng Xiangyu looked embarrassed. Sure enough, therapists are not so easy to lick. Here, Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng are still thinking about how to build some relationship with Sun Yao. Over there, Yi Xiao Tian walked directly to the octopus corpse and put the corpse into the reincarnation space. Fuck. The loud shouts woke up Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng who were trying to find a solution. What's going on? Both of them were a little angry. Captain, he put the octopus corpse away. The classmates hurriedly explained. So what if he put it away? He won, so the corpse is naturally his. Now the most important thing is not the octopus corpse, but the healer, understand? Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu meant the same thing. But Captain, he put it away directly. The teammate explained. Directly fuck. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu both cursed. He put it away directly. The octopus corpse is so huge, like a small mountain. If we decompose it and put it together, it's still feasible. But if we don't decompose it and put it away directly, how big will this reincarnation space be? Chapter 177 What do you want? After collecting the corpse of the octopus, everyone started to move around the island again. Sea beasts live in the sea. If they don't go ashore, there will be nothing to hunt. But they have no way to lure sea beasts up. So they can only try their luck on this island. Yi Xiaotian and his team are in the front, while Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu's two teams are following behind. Their eyes are all on Sun Yao. Of course, they are not coveting Sun Yao's beauty, but her healing skills. It's not easy to meet her. If you don't take the opportunity to establish a relationship, God will not look down on it. If there is no opportunity, you must create opportunities. We are definitely not following, but on the same road. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu both looked at Sun Yao. They just wanted Sun Yao's contact information. Even if they can't poach her in the future, they can still have a good relationship. Having a therapist as a friend is definitely a blessing in life. The awakened person's life is always dealing with injuries. Even disability and life-threatening. 
At this time, it would be much easier to have a therapist friend. And Sun Yao's talent level is S level. Where can you find such a therapist? It's not that Qing Shui University doesn't have a talent awakener in the healing department. But they don't have a chance. But Sun Yao is different. She is from Modu University. For the sake of Qing Shui University, it is still possible to become friends. Winning is a big profit, and losing is nothing. After Yi Xiaotian knew their intentions, he didn't know whether to laugh or cry. But Sun Yao had to make her own decision on this matter. I'm not familiar with them. Sun Yao said very straightforwardly. Yi Xiaotian looked at Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu and said, You heard it. It's okay. It doesn't matter if we're not familiar with each other now. We can get along for a while and we will naturally get familiar with each other. Xiao Cheng said very naturally. He didn't feel embarrassed at all. Peng Xiangyu also said, Yes, we have to stay here for half a month, and we can take care of each other. Seeing that the two of them said it so frankly. Yi Xiaotian was a little impressed. At least he couldn't match the thickness of her face. Wang Hao said at this time, I say you still have shame, Sun Yao has said that she is not familiar with you, don't you understand? This classmate, don't be so irritable. We are four universities of the same spirit, and we should help each other. Xiao Qing said so. Yes, this classmate, no matter what happens, we must stay calm. Once we lose our composure, how can we deal with the enemy? Peng Xiangyu said so. Anyway, they just hold on to one thing, shameless, and muddle through for half a month. They don't believe that they can't impress Sun Yao in half a month. As long as they make friends, it's fine. Maybe there is only one chance in a lifetime. If you really miss it because of face, you will be struck by lightning. You even Wang Hao was defeated. As for the girls, they were even more at a loss. Huang Jie didn't speak this time. Yi Xiaotian was a little strange. This guy has always been the most talkative, why didn't he speak this time? Does this mean they should follow or not? Is there any other explanation? There is no other way, so he can only let them follow. Yi Xiaotian had already planned that if there were no sea beasts to hunt on this island, he would go to the sea. When he killed the giant octopus before, he got two skills from it, one was the innate skill aquatic, and the other was regeneration. Aquatic is not to be mentioned, it is the blood instinct of all sea creatures, which allows them to breathe and live underwater. The regeneration skill is the innate skill of the giant octopus, which can regenerate broken limbs and recover from injuries. Even the therapist is not needed. So far, his survival skills of the three major races of sea, land, and air have been gathered. What he really lacks now is just attribute points. There are countless sea beasts, and it is a good time to hunt. Unfortunately, it was messed up by Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu, two bastards. He stretched out his hand to call Huang Jia over and asked, Huang Jia, why don't you say anything? With someone leading the way in front and someone protecting him from behind, Yi Xiaotian didn't even have to maintain the formation of the team. This treatment is too good. Huang Jia explained, Brother Tian, I just think it's good to let them follow. What do you mean? Yi Xiaotian said unexpectedly. Huang Jia said, What do you mean? We can't just have enemies, we have to have friends. A hero needs three helpers. And we also need some foreign aid to speak for us. Yi Xiaotian thought about it, but still didn't understand what this meant. Huang Jia explained, for example, the conflict between you and Shen Ao. Although you are right in this matter, the four major families have the right to speak. At this time, if they blame you, what will you do? Now the matter is only superficial. If the conflict deepens and becomes more transparent. They launch public opinion to attack you, what will you do? Don't forget, it has been more than a month. Apart from these teammates, you don't have any other friends in Magic City University, right? Do you know other freshmen? Yi Xiaotian opened his mouth. But in the end, he found that it seemed to be true. They lived in the villa area. Other freshmen live in ordinary dormitories, which are so far away from each other. What can he do? Should he go to the ordinary dormitory area to make friends? 
Besides, the school has not started yet, and there is no class division, so he doesn't know who his classmates are. The only place to meet freshmen is the playground. He had a deep conflict with Shin Ao and others on the first day of meeting. This made other students look at him differently. So although Yi Xiao Tian is very famous in Magic City University. But it is very sad that no one wants to make friends with him. If the four major families in Magic City sees this point and spread that he is a lonely and arrogant person. He really has no way to refute it. If students from other colleges speak for you at this time, it will be more useful than you explaining it a hundred times. Huang Jie explained to Yi Xiaotian in a low voice. After listening, Yi Xiaotian suddenly realized. The look he gave Huang Jie was a little weird. As expected, he is from a noble family, and he has so many little thoughts. No wonder there is such a saying that noble families have dirty hearts. Their calculations are really hard to guard against. Fatty, I want to go to the sea. Yi Xiaotian suddenly said. Huang Jie was stunned for a moment, his face full of confusion, but he didn't think of anything special. Brother Tian, although with the improvement of physical attributes, our human race's ability to survive underwater has greatly increased. But it's still incomparable with sea beasts, and underwater, our combat effectiveness will also be suppressed. It's too dangerous to go to the sea now. The sea is the world of sea beasts. If humans go down, they are inherently weaker than before. Chapter, 178 It's okay. Even if there are obstacles in the sea, it won't be too much. As long as you don't set foot in the deep sea, there will be no problem. Yi Xiaotian said. There is no sense of direction in the sea, so he will naturally not leave the island too far. What if I can't come back? He wouldn't worry about leaving Han Shuyao and the others on the island. The biggest problem now is Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu. These two guys look very honest now. Once he leaves, I don't know if he will continue to be honest. But Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi's strength is there. With Huang Jia and Sun Yao's assistance, they won't suffer a loss. Let's say that Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu saw Yi Xiao Tian and Huang Jia muttering and glanced at them from time to time. I don't know what we are discussing. Are you planning to kill people and steal goods? Should I activate the emergency bracelet in advance? But their two teams are here. I'm afraid the situation will change. What if they take away Sister Sun Yao? Huang Jie said with a worried look. Yi Xiaotian's eyes widened and he said, No way, do they dare to do this? Huang Jie said, Brother Tian, don't believe it, there is nothing they dare not do here. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay then, I won't go. Well, the second soul can stay and the main body can just go to the sea to hunt sea beasts. At that moment, he exchanged identities with the second soul, and the main body was released from the team status, and left the team at a convenient time. The second soul continued to circle the island looking for the sea beasts that came ashore. But the main body entered the sea. Even so, if the second soul stays on the shore, he will not be lost in the sea. Yi Xiaotian's sea beast hunting operation begins. In the sea, what kind of sea beasts are the most numerous? Naturally, they are the sea beasts that mutate into fish and shrimp. It can be said to be endless. Although most of them are low grade. But it doesn't matter, a little can add up to a lot. And what Yi Xiaotian wants is quantity. Because the quantity is large, you can also brush more life essence. Yi Xiaotian even wondered whether he would have to go to the sea in the real world to collect life essence after school started. Anyway, I can't go to the alien battlefield for the time being, but I don't know if the sea beast will be lured ashore. The natural skill aquatic tribe, is really easy to use, making him no different in water than on land. You won't feel like your hands are tied when fighting. Sure enough, Having talent is different. After humans reach a certain level of awakening, they can fly and enter the sea. But without specific talents, you will feel suppressed by nature when fighting in the sky or sea. For example, in the sky, you definitely can't compare with the flying beasts. People are born to soar in the sky. How can you compare with others when you are running on land? It's already pretty good if you can achieve 7 or 8 achievements based on your strength. 
not to mention the sea. For ordinary people, entering the water to fight is like entering a quagmire. At most, it can exert half of its combat effectiveness. But with the corresponding talents and skills, this situation will not happen. On the island. What's going on? There aren't many strange beasts on this island. Xiao Qing said. Xiang Yu, is there any way at Jiangnan University to lure sea beasts ashore? There was hesitation on Peng Xiang Yu's face. Is there really a way? Xiao Qing just asked casually, but he didn't expect that there was really a way. Peng Xiang Yu looked in the direction of Sun Yao. This is a good opportunity. Unfortunately, Sun Yao didn't notice at all. Even Yi Xiao Tian didn't react at all. What's happening here? Don't they all want to hunt sea beasts? This is impossible. Why come in here if you don't hunt sea beasts? In addition to sea beasts, this secret land of Bitao only has sea specialties. Either kill sea beasts on the shore, or go to the sea to find things. If there are sea animals on the shore, then there is no problem. It's just that there are no sea beasts on the shore now, so aren't they in a hurry? This is a bit strange. Classmate Yi Xiao Tian, do you want to kill the sea beast? Peng Xiang Yu asked proactively. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, I don't want to. Hearing Yi Xiao Tian's answer, Peng Xiang Yu went numb. Then, whether it was an illusion or not, he felt that Yi Xiao Tian's aura seemed to be stronger again. He looked at Xiao Cheng and asked, Classmate Xiao, is classmate Ye's aura stronger? Xiao Qing said, I felt the same way, and I thought I felt wrong. Although they don't know what Yi Xiao Tian's specific strength is. But the aura emanating from Yi Xiao Tian just now was indeed stronger. There is no way, as the physical attributes of the main body increase, the second soul will also increase accordingly. Although it is halved, the quantity cannot be maintained. Therefore, it is inevitable that the breath will not be contained, and it is normal for it to leak out. Ping Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng are now in front of the second soul, so they can naturally sense it. Yi Xiao Tian said, No, you feel wrong. Just as they were talking, Xiao Cheng and Ping Xiangyu felt that the aura on Yi Xiao Tian's body seemed to be getting stronger again. Are young people today so good at telling lies with their eyes open? The second soul is also speechless. What can he do? The Hao has gone crazy, and he can only bear it silently. What do you two want to do? Han Xu Yao came over. She took the opportunity to move towards the second soul. The second soul pulled away a little without leaving a trace, and then said, I'll go to the bathroom first, you continue to move forward. Han Xu Yao didn't care, but stared at Xiao Cheng and Ping Xiang Yu. The two were helpless, but they didn't do anything bad. It was just that Yi Xiaotian's aura was getting stronger and stronger when he stood there, which confused them. Sun Yao didn't communicate with them at all. What should they do? Now that Yi Xiaotian went to the bathroom, Han Xuyao became the person in charge of their team. But they couldn't afford to offend Han Xuyao's personality. Should they follow Yi Xiaotian to the bathroom? This is a good idea. But would it be too vulgar? So tangled. The team of Magic City University is really mysterious. There are shield battles, agile battles, supernatural long-range attacks, and special assistance. What's more, they actually have healing assistance. Look at their team again. Besides the martial arts awakeners, there are the supernatural awakeners. Either defensive or offensive. With such a configuration, it is already considered to be quite qualified. But compared with others, it is a pile of shit. No, no matter what, we must have a good relationship with this team. If you don't think about the future, you will have immediate worries. Even if it is useless now, will it still be useless when you go to the alien battlefield in the future? People should have a big picture. You should have a long-term vision. Xiao classmate, I also want to go to the bathroom, you can do it yourself. Peng Xiangyu said decisively. Xiao Qing also had this intention, and hurriedly said, I drank too much water before, and I was just thinking about going to the bathroom, how about together? Han Xuyao. Where is your face? Xiao Cheng, Ping Xiangyu, what do I need this face for? Chapter, 179. 
Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu finally understood that although they wanted to be friends with Sun Yao. Unfortunately, Sun Yao followed Yi Xiaotian's lead in everything. So in desperation, they could only turn their target to Yi Xiaotian. As long as you become friends with Yi Xiaotian, you will also be friends with Sun Yao. Moreover, dealing with men is easier than with women. Just like this moment. It is convenient for Yi Xiaotian to go, and they can follow him. If it's a woman, can they? Brother Yi, wait, let's go together. Xiao Qing said loudly. Yes, Brother Yi, wait for us. Peng Xiangyu also said quickly. Look, this is promoted from classmate Yi to Brother Yi. This is how relationships between men change. Regardless of whether the other party admits it or not, I called it that. Is it okay if the other party is a woman? Of course not. Yi Xiaotian suddenly froze when he heard what Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu said. This is crazy. If he really let this happen, he would be absolutely disgusted to death. So he turned around very simply and said, Forget it, I can hold it in for a while, it's more important to look for the strange beasts first. Brother Yi really has amazing willpower. Xiao Qing said. Peng Xiangyu said, Nonsense, Brother Yi, this is a manifestation of strength. Yi Xiaotian, cold sweat began to break out on his forehead. When we first met, weren't you quite proud? Is this just a therapist, and he rubs your pride to the ground? Of course he knew why Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were like this. What can he do? The other party looked like a doglegger. With his character, he really couldn't do anything more extreme. So he simply said, Peng Xiangyu, didn't you say you can lure sea beasts ashore? Let's start. Ah. The surprise came so suddenly that Peng Xiangyu didn't react. Xiao Cheng was a little confused. Peng Xiangyu had already made contributions, so how should he maintain this brotherhood? Only fight to the death. So he gave the order very simply, Brothers, we are at the front and we cannot let the students of Mahdi University be in danger. Very good, in this way, there will be protection. Yi Xiao Tian is stunned. The sea beasts have been killed by you, so what do we gain? They are not in the same team, and they do not get a tribute point rewards for the strange beasts they kill. Classmate Xiao Cheng, no need, we can just kill the sea beasts ourselves. Yi Xiao Tian said. Xiao Cheng said, it doesn't matter. When we beat the sea beast to its last breath, it won't be too late for Brother Yi to take action again. Isn't this bad? Yi Xiao Tian didn't know what to say. This is fine too. Give them all the harvest, what will you do yourself? In order to make friends, this is also a big investment. Yi Xiao Tian glanced at Sun Yao, how about accepting these two groups of friends? Forget it, let's wait until the elder brother comes back to make the decision. When Han Xu Yao heard this, he couldn't bear it anymore and said to Sun Yao, Sun Yao, otherwise you should just obey. Sun Yao was stunned, from what? You're going to die. After understanding the meaning of Han Xu Yao's words, he laughed and cursed. Han Xu Yao said, These two guys are a little shameless, but they really spent a lot of money for you. Sun Yao said, Don't talk nonsense, it's not what you think at all. It's all the same, it's all the same. Han Xu Yao said with a smile. Sun Yao said angrily, It's not the same at all, okay? Mu Bingyan frowned slightly as she watched the two of them fighting. Bing Yen, what's wrong? Han Xu Yao asked upon seeing this. Sun Yao also stopped fighting and looked at Mu Bing Yen. Mu Bing Yen said, We are here to practice and improve our strength. If so, how can we practice? Entering the secret realm, the most important thing is to kill strange beasts and increase attribute points. But it is also very important to have your own combat experience. Now that they have become last hitters, how can they practice? This copy is considered useless. Han Xu Yao said, then we will fight ourselves. She had a straightforward and decisive character, otherwise she wouldn't have let the whole world know that Yi Xiao Tian was hers. Everyone, are you ready? I'm going to lure the sea beast ashore. Peng Xiangyu asked loudly. Looking around, I saw that everyone was ready to fight. Xiao Cheng's team has formed a battle formation. 
His teammates Peng Xiangyu have also completed all preparations. But why do you guys from Shanghai University also put up a battle formation? Didn't I ask you to go to the back? After being glared at by Han Xuyao, Peng Xiangyu shrank decisively. Forget it, let's just fight. At the worst, we'll take more care of them later. After all, more than half of a team are pretty girls. And all of them are beauties. Three of them are of national beauty and heavenly beauty. The men in this team are so lucky. They are definitely smoking from their ancestral graves. There has to be blue smoke rising into the sky. I really want to join their team. This is the resentment of everyone on both teams. Besides, Peng Xiangyu made sure that everyone was ready, so he quickly took out a plate of incense, lit it and put it aside. Ren Qing, let the fragrance float into the sea. Peng Xiangyu warned. The classmate who called Ren Qing responded, then waved his staff, and a breeze suddenly blew. Blow the wisps of green smoke toward the sea. Time passed by bit by bit. No movement. Xiao Qing looked at Peng Xiangyu and almost said, Are you here to make fun of me? Xiangyu, how long will it take? He thought that it would take a long time for the fragrance to attract sea beasts to the shore. Peng Xiangyu was a little confused. This was unscientific. According to the records, sea beasts should have come ashore by now. What's going on? The fragrance has drifted dozens of miles away. Is there no sea beast within dozens of miles around this island? Xiao Cheng, there is a problem. After explaining the matter, Xiao Cheng and his group were also confused. Only Yi Xiao Tian stood aside without saying anything. All the sea beasts within hundreds of miles of the island were killed. Where did the sea beasts come from? He can only blame the original body for killing too quickly. The attributes of his second Yuanshan have increased so much that he can't even cover up his breath. What should I do? Xiao Cheng was also confused. No way, such a good opportunity, just missed it. Is it really the only way to transfer? The therapist at Qingshui University can't make connections, but the one at Modi University is hard to make connections, so I can't let it go just because the schools are different. If I transfer from Qingshui University to Modi University, they should accept me, right? By then, relying on the friendship in Bitao's secret realm and the friendship between classmates, this matter will be done. Of course, this is the last choice. Do I really have to take this path? Will I be beaten to death? Peng Xianyu felt angry and took out two more incense sticks and lit them directly. Ren Qing, increase the wind speed, I don't believe it. Peng Xianyu looked like he would die if he didn't succeed. Chapter, 180 Under the strong wind of Ren Qing, the green smoke soon floated hundreds of miles away from the sea. Suddenly, the sea level began to surge. And Yi Xiaotian in the sea also felt something strange. It seemed that the sea beasts became a little irritable and began to gather in the direction of the island. What was going on? He couldn't smell that smell on the seabed, so he didn't know that Peng Xiangyu had lit three ambergris to lure the sea beasts ashore. This was like poking a hornet's nest. These sea beasts no longer attacked him, but swam past him violently and rushed towards the island frantically. What happened on the shore? Yi Xiaotian was very confused. Then he sent a message to the second soul. Soon, there was a response from the second soul. Ambergris? Yi Xiao Tian murmured twice. Looking at the sea beasts rushing to the shore frantically, Yi Xiao Tian didn't care about continuing to hunt sea beasts in the sea. He had to go ashore. Otherwise, there would be problems with so many sea beasts going ashore. He didn't want his team to suffer any loss. This damn Peng Xiangyu, is he stupid? He actually lit three ambergris at once. This is not the way to seek death. Fortunately, the sea beasts around this island are basically below sea level, and there are very few sea level. B level, except for the giant octopus before, has not been seen. It is very likely that the area around this island is the territory of this giant octopus. But I didn't expect that not long after landing on the island, the lord of this island was killed. On the island, looking at the surging sea level, Peng Xiangyu swallowed his saliva wildly, and things seemed a little bad. 
It seems that it is not that his ambergris has failed, but that there are no sea beasts in the sea near the island. It should be the disaster of the giant octopus before. It must be because of its existence that other sea beasts dare not approach the island. But now, the giant octopus is dead, and his breath does not exist. Coupled with the temptation of ambergris, the sea beasts in the distance are boiling. Xiao Qing said with a dull face, Xiang Yu classmate, what's going on? Run! Ping Xiang Yu exclaimed, how many sea beasts would it take to cause such a commotion? My scalp is numb. What did this bastard do? Han Shuyao shouted angrily. Brother Tian, what should we do? Wang Hao asked Yi Xiao Tian. Peng Xiang Yu said, Don't discuss it, run first, if you stay here, you will be besieged to death. He knew very well the temptation of ambergris to see beasts. Anyone who smelled this smell would go ashore. God knows how many sea beasts there are under this raging wave. Let's avoid the limelight first and wait until the smell of ambergris dissipates. Brother Yi, classmate Sun Yao, let's go to the island first. Look at the movement. At least hundreds of sea beasts are coming, and there will be more later. Ping Xiang Yu was anxious. In order to prevent the sea beasts that came ashore from chasing them, he didn't even dare to collect the remaining ambergris. You know, this ambergris is very precious. In Jiangnan University, 1,000 points can be exchanged for one. The reason why he could take out three at a time was naturally not because he exchanged them himself. But his family gave them to him. He regretted it. Why did he order three? Too careless. If his father knew that he used his ambergris like this, he would probably beat him to death. Yi Xiaotian rolled his eyes and said, let's hide first and see what happens. He always said what he meant in the team. Three teams, seventeen people ran quickly towards the center of the island. Hearing the roar of the sea beasts behind and the sound of the ground shaking, Ping Xiangyu and his team ran faster. Judging from the sound alone, there are no less than hundreds of sea beasts. Sure enough, there are the most strange beasts in the sea. After running more than ten kilometers, the roars behind gradually disappeared, and they slowly stopped. Ping Xiangyu, what's going on? Wang Hao couldn't help but asked angrily. Ping Xiang Yu smiled awkwardly and said, You saw it too. I didn't mean to do it. It was a mistake, a mistake. This was indeed his mistake. What should we do now? Can we only hide here? Wang Hao looked frustrated. Since he awakened his talent, he has never felt so frustrated following Yi Xiao Tian. Even when he encountered the beast tide in the temporary training camp, he didn't feel so frustrated. It has always been Yi Xiao Tian who led them to kill gods and Buddhas. But now, after being messed up by Peng Xiangyu, they are actually going to run away. There are more people, but they are going to run away. What's the matter? Okay, Haozi, be quiet for a while. Yi Xiao Tian had to stop Wang Hao. But in his heart, he thought that this was a good opportunity. Now there is no one else in the place where the ambergris is lit, Yi Xiao Tian can kill as many as he wants. And he is on the shore, so his speed advantage can be better utilized. Ping Xiang Yu, how long can the ambergris be lit? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Ping Xiang Yu said with a sad face, about half an hour. Xiao Qing was speechless and said, how many sea beasts will it take to attract to the shore? Ping Xiang Yu shook his head and said, I don't know. If the smell of three ambergris spreads far, it may attract sea beasts within hundreds of miles. But fortunately, if there is no wind-type mutant, the smell of ambergris can't spread that far. Peng Xiangyu added. Yi Xiaotian was moved when he heard it, and quickly passed the news to Yi Xiaotian. Such a good opportunity can't be missed. In the sea, he still has to find sea beasts. But with ambergris, he can stand there and keep killing. How much time will this save? As for wind skills, although he doesn't have them, it doesn't matter. With his power, he can blow a strong wind. On the coast, Yi Xiao Tian stood up with his sword, and the nightmare, talent skill was activated. Hundreds of clones descended and killed the sea beasts in their respective positions. Yi Xiao Tian held the sword, but did not kill the enemy, but kept fanning the green smoke, 
hoping that the green smoke could float farther. After fanning for a while, he found that the effect was not very good. He had no choice but to chop down a giant tree, carve out a fan as quickly as possible, and then continue fanning. This time the effect was much better. On the coast, a steady stream of sea beasts came ashore and were killed. And Yi Xiaotian's clones kept disappearing and reappearing. Even some of them could be seamlessly connected. As the effect of ambergris spread, the number of sea beasts increased, and the roars became louder and louder. More than 10 kilometers away from here, Ping Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng listened to the increasingly violent roars of sea beasts, and their faces became extremely ugly. And the aura of Yi Xiaotian not far away from them was constantly changing. Can't hold it back again. Chapter, 181 Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu, who were standing farther away, did not notice it. But Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, who were standing closer, could clearly feel that Brother Tian's aura seemed to have become stronger again. Yi Xiao Tian was a little embarrassed and said quickly, You guys take a rest here first, I'll go check around to see if there's any danger. I can't stay any longer. The battle on the coast is getting more and more intense, and the attribute points will increase more and more. His aura will also leak stronger and stronger. At that time, not to mention Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, even Xiao Cheng and Peng Xianyu will notice it. Seeing this, Xiao Cheng hurriedly said, Jiang Tai, protect classmate Sun Yao and the others, I'll go check the surrounding situation too. Peng Xianyu was not willing to lag behind and said, Ren Qing, protect classmate Sun Yao and the others, I'll go see if there's any danger around. Looking at Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu who followed, Yi Xiaotian was numb again, and these two pieces of dog skin plasters really couldn't be thrown off. What are you two doing? He asked. Brother Yi, we will patrol with you so that you won't be in danger alone. Peng Xiangyu said with a smile. Yes, it's too dangerous to be alone. It's safer for us to accompany you. Xiao Qing patted his chest and said. Yi Xiaotian was speechless again. He really wanted to drive these two guys away. But he was worried that they would run to the coast and find Yi Xiaotian killing people. But if he stayed by their side, they would notice something. After thinking about it, he said, let's keep a certain distance, which can save some time. Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng looked at each other. They came to chat with Yi Xiaotian to deepen their relationship. If the distance was widened, how could they deepen their brotherhood? It doesn't need to be too far, just keep it about 100 meters, and you can hear what you say. Yi Xiaotian continued to add. Hearing this, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were relieved. Yi Xiaotian was in the middle, and the two of them were on the left and right, keeping a distance of about 100 meters. At this distance, not only can you hear what is being said, but you can also see it. Brother Yi, I have the SS level martial arts talent quick battle. After the talent skill is activated, I can greatly increase the agility attribute and slightly increase the strength attribute. Xiao Qing said loudly. Peng Xiangyu heard this and immediately understood, and hurriedly said, Brother Yi, I have the SS level water based supernatural talent water magic fury. After the talent skill is activated, it can greatly increase the effect of water based spells. After that, they all waited for a while, but did not hear Yi Xiaotian's response. Brother Yi, can you tell me what your talent is? Seeing that Yi Xiaotian was not proactive at all, Ping Xiangyu had to ask. Yi Xiaotian is very annoyed with these two guys. Who are you? Why should I tell you my talent? But if I don't tell them, with the attributes of these two dogskin plasters, it will definitely be endless. I have the A-level martial arts talent frenzy battle. After the talent skill is activated, it can increase the power of martial arts attack skills. He said casually. A-level. Frenzy battle. Impossible. How could such an awesome person be just an A-level talent awakener? In their hearts, Yi Xiaotian is guaranteed to be an SS-level talent awakener. They were a little angry. Yi Xiaotian was fooling them. But when they thought of Sun Yao's attitude towards Yi Xiaotian, they became scared again. As long as they could deepen their relationship, they didn't care if he was a liar or not, as long as there was a topic to talk about. 
Brother Yi, you are really amazing. A level talent has such strong combat power. Xiao Qing said so. Yes, we are all SS level talent awakeners, but we can't get away from Brother Ye's hands. Shame on us. Peng Xiang Yu said so. Licking is not scary, what is scary is having nowhere to lick. There are tens of thousands of students in the four major universities No, there are more than 200 00 freshmen and old students in total. How many of them have such an opportunity? None. Licking with your own ability is not shameful. Yi Xiaotian was already desperate. Thinking that these two guys had other purposes, he could only say, Okay, I know your purpose. We can be friends. If you need help in the future, I will not refuse as long as I can do it. Finally, I waited for this sentence. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu both wanted to cry. Being friends with Yi Xiaotian is equivalent to being friends with Sun Yao. Finally, I have a healer friend. Nice. What is the general auxiliary system? The auxiliary of the healing system is the most awesome. This is good. I finally have something to brag about and something to pretend when I go back. Brother Yi, look at what you said, we just want to make friends with you. Peng Xiangyu said with a serious face. Yes, Brother Yi, we really want to make friends with you. Xiao Qing also said quickly. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes. If it weren't for the information just sent from the main body, he really didn't want to say that sentence. According to Huang Jia, these two will be foreign aid in the future. The three of them walked forward and chatted. The aura of Yi Xiao Tian changed from time to time. Fortunately, the three of them were hundreds of meters apart and were not discovered. The killing on the coast was still going on. But their patrol was about to end. Originally, this island was not big, and they were just patrolling the surrounding environment. Just make sure there is no danger around. After a while, they made sure there was nothing unusual around. When they were about to go back, Yi Xiaotian suddenly said, Why don't you two go back first, I'll keep an eye on it here. How can that be? How can we let Brother Yi stay here alone? We'll stay here and keep an eye on it too. Peng Xiangyu said immediately. Xiao Qing also quickly agreed. Yi Xiao Tian couldn't let them go together, otherwise there would be a risk of being exposed. But before he could finish his words, he heard a noise. Hush, there's a noise over there. He quickly called out to the two of them. The noise came from the opposite direction of the burning ambergris. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were both stunned. They had just made sure there was nothing unusual, but suddenly there was a noise. It's not that weird. The two didn't dare to be careless, and quickly listened quietly. Soon, Peng Xiangyu also noticed the movement of walking, and it seemed that they were running wildly on the road. This was the same as their previous running. Could it be that someone over there also lit ambergris and caused the sea beasts to riot? I wonder which school this student is from. Peng Xiangyu said. Soon, he saw the other person. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned when he saw the person coming. What is this? Isn't it true that enemies often meet? There are more than a thousand islands in the Bai Tao secret realm. If two people who know each other are not in the same team, the probability of being teleported to the same island is really too low. But even with such a low probability, they still met. Chapter 182 Shen Ao has been in a bad mood recently. After all, his smooth life was dealt a heavy blow by the appearance of Yi Xiaotian. He is no longer the eldest son of the Shen family who gets everything he wants. He was defeated by Yi Xiaotian again and again. He tried to make trouble for Yi Xiaotian several times, but he couldn't beat him, which made him even more frustrated. Before entering the Bai Tao secret realm this time, his father gave him several life-saving treasures. The head of the Shen family had no choice. Even an A-level awakening master like Teacher Su had failed. He could only prepare more backup plans for his son. Considering the special nature of the Bai Tao secret realm, it is unlikely to send another master to accompany and protect. So Shen Ao can only strengthen his own security. Not only Shen Ao, but also Mo Qian and several other teammates were given secret treasures. 
with secret treasures in hand, there is confidence in the heart. Unfortunately, due to the special nature of the Bai Tao secret realm, the possibility of the meeting Yi Xiao Tian here is almost zero. Shen Ao thought that when he got to the next secret realm, he must give Yi Xiao Tian a good show. As for this secret realm, he would make good use of it and improve his strength. Even if there is a secret treasure, the iron must be strong. No matter how good the secret treasure is, it still needs a certain amount of strength to play. But what they didn't expect was that they waited for a long time on the coast, but there was no sea beast. The brothers discussed it and prepared to cross the island to see the other side. When the sea was surging before, they also saw some movements here. But unexpectedly, only halfway through the journey, he saw the guy who made him haunted. Yi Xiao Tian, don't run. Shen Ao thought he had seen it wrong at first, and after confirming it, he shouted decisively. Yi Xiao Tian naturally knew Shen Ao, and could only sigh, it was really a narrow road for enemies. Shen Ao ran over with his group of younger brothers, staring at Yi Xiao Tian, fearing that he would run away. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu hurriedly approached Yi Xiao Tian. Brother Yi, what's going on? Peng Xiangyu asked. Yi Xiao Tian said casually, Nothing, I met a few acquaintances. Peng Xiangyu and Xiao Cheng are both veterans, and they can tell from the situation that it is not just acquaintances. There must be a conflict between the two. Otherwise, Shen Ao's tone would not be so aggressive, and his face would not be so ugly. Yi Xiao Tian, God really has eyes, and I actually met you here. Shen Ao came to Yi Xiao Tian. Beside him were Mo Qian and Wu Yan, as well as Yi Xiao Tian's high school classmate Lin Hai, who was highly suspected of being a member of a heretical organization. In the past, if they met Yi Xiao Tian in the secret realm, they might have retreated first. Because they couldn't beat him. But now, there is nothing to be afraid of. He has attack and defense secret treasures on him, what is there to be afraid of? Let alone Yi Xiao Tian, a freshman, even if he met a B-level awakening master, he would not be afraid. Shen Ao felt that his back was stiffened again. Brother Yi, do you want to call for support? Xiao Qing approached Yi Xiao Tian and said. He didn't know if it was an illusion, but he felt that Brother Ye's aura seemed to be unstable again, and seemed to be getting stronger. It must be an illusion. Brother Yi was standing here, how could he suddenly become stronger? He didn't have any talent skills or anything like that. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, No, it's just a small matter. Shen Ao was even more angry when he saw that Yi Xiao Tian dared to ignore him. Yi Xiao Tian, today I will let you know the foundation of our four major families in the Magic City. Shen Ao shouted again. The four major families in the Magic City, are they awesome? Shen Ao just finished speaking when he heard Xiao Cheng say with a nonchalant look on his face. Shen Ao's expression froze. Damn, someone actually dared to ignore the four major families in the Magic City. Is he blind? Who are you? Shen Ao's tone was very aggressive. Brother Ao, he might be a country boy who doesn't know the power of the four major families in the Magic City. Lin Hai said beside him. Shen Ao suddenly realized that, as expected, those who were with country bumpkins were all country bumpkins. It is normal to be ignorant. The four major families in the Magic City are not accessible to everyone, so it is normal not to know their power. His face darkened, ignorance is not a sin, but if ignorance is revealed, it is unforgivable. Xiao Qing sneered, the four major families in the Magic City, the Shen family, the Mo family, the Wu family, and the Sun family, I heard that the direct descendants of the four families have awakened SS level talents in this generation. But, is it amazing? Peng Xiangyu shrugged and said, it's really nothing amazing, a third class family, a second class famous family, a first class inheritance, just a third class family. Shen Ao's face turned red. Mo Qian was moved and said, who are you two? In the magic city, many people know about the family. But not many people know about the famous family and the inheritance family. Awakened families also have different levels. In the eyes of ordinary people, awakened people are all great people. In the eyes of awakened people, awakened families are unattainable wealthy families. 
but among the aristocratic families, everyone wants to become a famous family. As for the inheritance family, it is even more terrifying. Only the awakened families that have produced SS-level high-level realms are qualified to be called inheritance families. In fact, there is another level above the inheritance family, that is the Supreme Holy Land. On Blue Star, there are only five Supreme Holy Lands. That is the family where the five Supreme Masters of the human race came from. Yi Shao Tian is not clear about these, and Yi Shao Tian is naturally not clear either. Shen Ao and the others know, but they don't say it. Now it comes from the mouths of Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu. That means one thing. The origins of Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu are at least not worse than theirs. Mo Qian was afraid that Shen Ao would offend them to death as soon as he opened his mouth, so he first discussed the bottom. Xiao Cheng said lightly, Qing Shui University, Xiao Cheng. Peng Xiangyu also said lightly, Jiangnan University, Peng Xiangyu. Xiao Cheng, Peng Xiangyu. Mo Qian pondered for a while and had some guesses in his mind. Beijing Base City and Jiangnan Base City, the big families with the surnames Xiao and Peng, there are enough clues. Those who come from these two places, these two surnames, and do not take the four major families of Magic City seriously, are at least from aristocratic families, or even wealthy families. Brother Ao, don't be impulsive, you can't afford to offend him. Mo Qian reminded in a low voice. Shen Ao's face changed. Hearing the words can't afford to offend from Mo Qian's mouth was enough to explain the other party's background. Although he is arrogant, he is not stupid. It is stupid to provoke someone knowing that you can't afford to offend him. However, his target is Yi Xiao Tian, not Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu. This is the grudge between us and Yi Xiao Tian, and it has nothing to do with you. Shen Ao stared at Yi Xiao Tian and said. Brother Yi is our brother, and his business is our business. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu said without hesitation. Chapter 183. Hearing Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu both say that Yi Xiaotian's affairs are their affairs. Shen Ao felt as if he had eaten a mouthful of shit. Originally, I thought Yi Xiao Tian was just a country bumpkin, but I didn't expect him to get close to a noble family so quickly. But what does it matter? Even if you are from a noble family, I'm not afraid. I'm from the Magic City, and you are from Kyoto and Jiangnan. No matter how long your hands are, you can't reach the Magic City. After all, they are not the people in power in the Xiao family and the Ping family. This is a personal grudge between Yi Xiao Tian and me. I advise you not to interfere. Shen Ao said so. Xiao Cheng and Ping Xiangyu both laughed. Are they afraid of trouble? No. Otherwise, when they first met Yi Xiao Tian, they wouldn't have almost fought. They licked Yi Xiao Tian because of Sun Yao. They came from aristocratic families, and they knew the importance of a therapist. Does their family have a therapist? Yes. But what does it have to do with them? This kind of family boss acts together with the older generation of the family. They can't even drink a mouthful of soup. So if you can get to know a healer, why not work hard? Du Shen Ao and Mo Qian want to snatch Sun Yao back. Of course they do. But before that, they have to kill Yi Xiao Tian first. As long as Yi Xiao Tian is killed, Sun Yao will come back to them obediently. So there is no rush. They are all in Magic City University, and they can't run away. Will the head of the Shen family watch Sun Yao become someone else's teammate? No, he also wants to kill Yi Xiao Tian. But he seems to have miscalculated several times. Now, even the head of the Shen family has no good solution. After all, he really can't intervene in the secret realm of the summer camp. And Magic City University seems to have discovered something, and the measures are getting more and more. So the head of the Shen family can only bear it for now and wait until the summer camp is over. To be honest, they gave Shen Ao the secret treasure just to save their lives in the secret realm. I never thought they would meet Yi Xiao Tian. Let's get back to the point. Shen Ao warned Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu not to intervene, but they sneered at him. The two of them stood in front and behind, protecting Yi Xiao Tian in the middle. As a warrior, Xiao Cheng naturally stood in front, although he was a sensitive fighter. 
As a superpower, Ping Xiangyu stood behind Yi Xiaotian, holding the staff tightly in his hand, ready to take action at any time. The short sword in Xiao Cheng's hand was also unsheathed. Shineo, don't I have face? Can you give me some face? Then there was another commotion, and a group of people surrounded him from the opposite side. Shen Ao, no need for face. Damn, more than a dozen people surrounded him together, what face does he need? What? You said he has a secret treasure. Nonsense, he has a secret treasure, don't Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu, the disciples of the aristocratic families, have it? Who knows? So Mo Qian decisively said to Shen Ao, Brother Ao, take a step back and deal with them after returning to the magic city. Shen Ao felt very uncomfortable. He didn't know how many times he had said this. He had dealt with them many times, but which time was successful? But the situation was stronger than the people, and they really had no advantage. So he retreated decisively. But at this moment, he didn't know where to retreat. The direction he came from must not work. The opposite direction was not good either. Even Yi Xiaotian and the others came here. Is there any point in going or not? So choose one of the left and right sides. Han Shuyao came to Yi Xiaotian and said with concern, Brother Tian, are you okay? Why are you here? Yi Xiaotian was very surprised. Han Shuyao said, Ren Qing and Jiang Tai received the news, so we came here quickly. Yi Xiaotian then realized that it was Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu who called for support. Although it was a bit redundant, this favor must be accepted. Thank you. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu said it was a small matter. They were very tough in front of Shen Ao, but when they came to Yi Xiaotian, they returned to their dog licking attitude. What should we do now? We came to the secret realm to hunt exotic beasts and improve our strength. We didn't come here to travel. This is an S level secret realm. How much will we lose? Yi Xiaotian said, How about this, let's find a new direction. By the way, Xiangyu, do you still have ambergris? Peng Xiangyu said, There is still one. Enough, let's go slowly this time. Yi Xiaotian said, We definitely can't go back to the original place now, Yi Xiaotian is killing people there. If they really find them, it will be a big deal. Seeing that Shen Ao and the others chose the left, they immediately walked to the right. Let's say that after Shen Ao and his group of five walked for a while, they became more and more angry. Brother Ao, Yi Xiaotian is too arrogant. Lin Hai did not miss such a good opportunity and applied eye drops to Yi Xiaotian. Shen Ao snorted coldly and said, go back to the magic city and make him suffer. Mo Qian, let's change direction and go to where they came from. Shen Ao said to Mo Qian. Brother Ao, they are all coming to our side, there must be no sea beasts over there. Mo Qian said. Shen Ao shook his head and said, no, although the waves were turbulent before, you can still see some clues. I judge that the direction where those sea beasts gathered is over there. Mo Qian said, we can't go there now. You saw the previous movement. There must be a lot of sea beasts over there. We have to go there because there are a lot of them. How can we improve our strength if we don't kill more beasts? Shen Ao said impatiently. Even if we use all the secret treasures, we still have to kill more beasts. To be honest, the reason why he was defeated by Yi Xiaotian was because of his own lack of strength. Otherwise, Yi Xiaotian would have been crushed to death by him. Such a good opportunity must not be missed. Mo Qian saw that Shen Ao was determined, and considering that he had a secret treasure, he did not insist. Everyone changed direction and turned to the direction where Yi Xiaotian was. Yi Xiaotian did not expect that Shen Ao and his group would change direction halfway. However, Yi Xiaotian had already received the information he sent. It's really a narrow road for enemies. I can actually meet Shen Ao and his group here. Should I kill them directly? Yi Xiaotian was thinking in his mind while fanning the green smoke of ambergris towards the sea. As for killing the alien beasts, does he need to do it himself? If he has to do even this little thing himself, what is the use of so many talents and skills? At this moment, 
hundreds of clones are hunting sea beasts on the beach. Countless sea beasts are constantly attacking the beach under the temptation of ambergris. Most of them are fish and shrimp mutations, not high level, but they are large in number. With a large base, the attribute points dropped will naturally be more. As for talents and skills, these low-level alien beasts have no other talents except aquatic. Chapter, 184 Then when Shin Ao and his group of five came over, they saw an incredible scene. A Yi Xiaotian was fanning a wooden fan, and countless Yi Xiaotian were killing sea beasts. Those sea beasts were enlarged versions of fish and shrimp, fish and shrimp with strange hands and feet, and fish and shrimp with strange weapons. They looked very much like the beast-headed people in the reincarnation copy who shouted never be a slave. What's going on? What's the situation? Why are there so many Yi Xia Oceans? Which one is the real Yi Xiaotian? Didn't we just meet Yi Xiaotian? Countless questions popped up in Shen Ao and Emo Qian's minds. But they couldn't find the answer. When Yi Xiaotian found them, it was too late. I was careless. Yi Xiaotian was speechless, didn't they say they went in another direction? Why did they come here? Since they have been exposed, there is nothing to hide. Yi Xiaotian was thinking whether to take this opportunity to kill these people. However, considering the distress bracelets on their hands, he gave up the idea. Killing them now is too risky. God knows how many methods the four major universities have added to ensure the safety of students. If director he hadn't suppressed the last incident of Su Zichiang, it would definitely not be so easy to get over. Poor Shen Ao and the others didn't know they had been discovered. They hid in the mountains and forests more than 10 meters away, watching the battle on the beach. What should we do? Should we go out? Wu Yen said when he saw that the atmosphere was a bit solemn. Lin Hai, who was originally the most alive, was silent now. Is this Yi Xiaotian so perverted? What is he doing? So many clones, what kind of talent is this? Brother Ao, have you heard of this kind of talent that can clone? Mo Qian asked Shen Ao. So strong. Even Sun Cheng, who had the least presence, couldn't help but sigh. Hundreds of clones are not scary, what is scary is the strength of these clones. The dense sea beasts, from F to D level, there are even one or two sea level sea beasts mixed in. But they all couldn't escape the fate of being killed by Yi Xiaotian's clones. Thinking that if they went out now, they might just be sent to the battlefield. Although they had a lot of secret treasures, they couldn't stand the large number. Hundreds of clones, this is so terrifying. God knows if Yi Xiaotian can create more clones. Looking at Yi Xiaotian standing there with ambergris fanning the green smoke and looking relaxed, Shen Ao felt guilty. Forgive his limited knowledge, he really doesn't understand. He plans to go back and ask his parents what kind of talent this is. As far as they know, Yi Xiaotian has two talents, one is the martial arts talent frenzy, and the other is the auxiliary talent. The specific effects of the talent skills have not been made public, and only the school's top management knows. However, later, Lin Hai learned that Yi Xiaotian's auxiliary talent effect can specify a physical attribute increase, and the grade is S level. S level auxiliary talent is nothing, the key is the word specify. In this way, the importance of Yi Xiaotian's talent is definitely not inferior to SS level, and even exceeds it. It's no wonder that Magic City University would spend resources to recruit him. What would happen if Yi Xiaotian's talent was strengthened by one more level? No one knows. Now, so many clones suddenly appeared, what the hell? Could it be that Yi Xiaotian is a person with three talents? Double talents are already so awesome. Three talents again, wouldn't it be against the sky? No way. Magic City will never allow such an awesome newcomer to exist. As they were talking, suddenly, more than a dozen sea beasts rushed towards them. A group of shrimp soldiers, holding two huge shrimp claws, rushed over with murderous intent. Fuck, Brother Ao, be careful. Lin Hai was shocked. Shen Ao also came back to his senses. Seeing the shrimp soldiers close at hand, he no longer had the intention to calculate Yi Xiaotian. The main thing was to kill the enemy quickly. 
stand in formation, play auxiliary, and start fighting. Yi Xiao Tian, who was fanning the wind, saw this scene and smiled immediately. Although I can't kill you with my own hands, if you die in the hands of sea beasts, it has nothing to do with me. In order to shirk responsibility, he even stopped his innate skill nightmare. After the clone dissipates, it will not condense again. Suddenly, more and more sea beasts passed Yi Xiao Tian and rushed towards Shen Ao and the others. There were too many sea beasts around Yi Xiao Tian, and there was no more space. So Shen Ao and his team became the best targets for attack. Then Shen Ao's team was surrounded. After a while, Shen Ao and his team could no longer hold on. Brother Ao, use the secret treasure. Mo Qian reminded quickly. Shen Ao was a little hesitant. He was going to use the secret treasure to deal with Yi Xiao Tian. He was unwilling to use it on these strange beasts. Mo Qian saw his hesitation and reminded him quickly, Brother Ao, the secret treasure is to be used. At worst, you can ask Uncle Shen to buy it for you after you go out. Listen, what is this? When Yi Xiao Tian didn't even know what a secret treasure was, the children of other noble families had already reached the point of using up and then buying more. This is the difference. Hearing this, Shen Ao gritted his teeth and began to use the secret treasure helplessly. To put it bluntly, a secret treasure is a treasure that can temporarily improve strength. It is not easy to refine, so it is very expensive. And there are not many of them, so it is not easy to buy them. Secret treasures are different from equipment. No matter how powerful the equipment is, you must have the corresponding strength to use it. But secret treasures can work no matter what your strength is, as long as they are activated. However, equipment can be used forever unless it is destroyed. But secret treasures have a time limit. Ordinary secret treasures are only effective for half an hour. And what Shin Ao brought in is a B-level secret treasure. It is used to save lives. Using it on this group of C-level monsters is really a big loss. When the secret treasure is activated, light rises from their bodies. The corresponding physical attribute soar. Kill them. Shen Ao roared. If he doesn't kill more monsters, how can he make a profit? Without his reminder, Mo Qian and Wu Yan were already standing up. Only the poor Lin Hai can rely on his own ability. It's not that he doesn't have a secret treasure, but he doesn't dare to use it here. After all, his secret treasure was given by the seventh knight, and it carries the breath of heresy. If he uses it here, won't it be exposed? So he can only ask Shen Ao for help. Brother Ao, help me. Lin Hai's voice was shrill. Shen Ao heard the sound, and several wind blades flew over, killing all the strange beasts around Lin Hai. Lin Hai quickly ran to Shen Ao's side, not daring to leave. Shen Ao didn't care, and a wind blade flew out from his staff, and then several strange beasts were cut into two. Chapter 185 Yi Xiao Tian played a trick of borrowing a knife to kill someone. He couldn't kill by himself, but he could borrow the help of a strange beast to kill. As for whether he could kill them, it depended on Shen Ao's luck. However, the scene that happened next made Yi Xiao Tian a little envious. Damn, he is indeed from a noble family, he is rich. He used two secret treasures at once, what else can he say? He is rich and willful. But don't worry, see how many secret treasures they can get. It's just that the effect of this ambergris only lasts for half an hour, which is a bit short. Ping Xiangyu doesn't have more ambergris on him, what a pity. Should I take advantage of the chaos and give them a knife? Yi Xiao Tian thought with his chin in his hand. Killing Shen Ao and a few others is definitely something that everyone likes to see. But he can't find out about him. It's not that he is afraid of the family behind them, but that he can't be labeled as a murderer of the human elite. Now he doesn't have enough strength to fight against these awakened families. At least in terms of discourse power and public opinion, he is no match for them. So killing them without leaving any trace is the best choice. This trick of killing with a borrowed knife is just to test the waters. It doesn't matter whether it succeeds or not. After thinking about it, Yi Xiao Tian suddenly jumped into the sea. Although it was easy to kill on the shore, 
the time for Ambergris is almost up. As for the remaining sea beasts, let Shin Ao and his team deal with them. As for whether Shin Ao's team will deal with the army of sea beasts, or the army of sea beasts will deal with Shin Ao's team, it depends on God's will. Anyway, Yi is not here, and no one can use him to make a fuss. Shin Ao and his team were killing, and then Yi Xiao Tian disappeared. I thought Yi Xiao Tian was hiding in the dark and wanted to murder him. Brother Ao, I saw Yi Xiao Tian jump into the sea. Lin Hai said. Shen Ao breathed a sigh of relief, and then started killing sea beasts again. Pain and happiness. Although there are too many sea beasts, they are very tired to kill. But looking at the rising attribute points, I am still very relieved. Sure enough, the secret treasure is useful. After going out, I must prepare a few more. If his father knew about this, he would vomit blood. Is this B-level secret treasure so easy to buy? Unfortunately, the time of Ambergris did not last longer than the time of the secret treasure. After using the secret treasure, Shin Ao and his team were not threatened by these low-level sea beasts below level D. Finally, Yi Xiao Tian also rushed back with a large team. There were no sea beasts in other directions. Peng Xiangyu wanted to light the last ambergris, but was stopped by Yi Xiao Tian in time and suggested to come back here to take a look. Of course, Yi Xiao Tian was definitely not trying his luck. He came here after receiving the information sent by Yi Xiao Tian. On the one hand, he wanted to take advantage of the popularity, and on the other hand, he wanted to see if Shen Ao and his team were dead. Seeing that Shen Ao and his team were still alive, Yi Xiao Tian was full of pity. As the effect of amber grease dissipated, fewer and fewer sea beasts came ashore. At this time, joining the battlefield would not be too dangerous. Shen Ao saw that they were here too, so he was going to fleece them. But this was not their territory, not to mention that the amber grease was ordered by Yi Xiao Tian, so they had no right to expel the other party. They could only see who killed more and gained more. Brother Ao, didn't Yi Xiao Tian go to the sea? Why is he here again? Lin Hai asked in confusion. Shen Ao said coldly, why bother so much? Killing more beasts is better than anything else. It was so exciting. In just twenty minutes, their attribute points soared by hundreds of points. Using secret treasures to kill beasts, the harvest was great. After this by Tao's secret realm, they can all go to sea level dungeons. At this moment, he had forgotten his hatred for Yi Xiao Tian. As the effect of ambergris disappeared, fewer and fewer sea beasts came ashore. The sea beasts were gone, and Shen Ao and his secret treasures were still valid, and they began to stand up again. Yi Xiao Tian, today I will let you know how powerful I am. Shen Ao did not hesitate at all, and directly killed Yi Xiao Tian with a wind blade. Even if Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were there, even if he couldn't kill Yi Xiao Tian, he would still make Yi Xiao Tian suffer. Yi Xiao Tian knocked off Shen Ao's wind blade with one knife. Stopped Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu who wanted to help. It's good now. If it's more, he will owe you a favor. Yi Xiao Tian stood out from the crowd and said, Shen Ao, since you want to die, then I will fulfill your wish. Shen Ao snorted coldly and said, Just you. Shen Ao is now full of confidence, because his combat power is no less than that of a B-level Awakener. In fact, because of the two secret treasures of attack and defense, he is stronger than the average B-level Awakener. He feels that he is now a sure winner against Yi Xiao Tian. Countless wind blades shot out from his staff and surrounded Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian's sword made the wind so fierce that all the wind blades could not get close. Sister Xu Yao, do you think we should fight those guys? Wang Hao said to Han Xu Yao. Han Xu Yao shook her head and said, Forget it, they have used the secret treasure now, and their strength has greatly increased. We are no match for them. Let's see how Brother Tian fights first. Wang Hao nodded and said, That's right, but even if Shen Ao used the secret treasure, he would definitely not be a match for Brother Tian. They had a mysterious trust in Yi Xiao Tian. No matter what kind of expert the opponent is, he is no match for Yi Xiao Tian. That was the master who even the A-level awakening strongman Su Zichang killed with one sword. 
A mere shin ao, no problem. Even if he used the secret treasure, it would still be a background for Brother Tian. Wang Hao and his team did not take action, and Mo Qian and Wu Yan did not dare to take action either, staring at the battle between Yi Xiao Tian and Shen Ao. Yi Xiao Tian cut through the countless wind blades attacking from Shen Ao all the way and approached Shen Ao. As a psychic, Shen Ao's biggest advantage against warriors is long range attack. Once a warrior gets close, and he is a master among warriors, there is only one way to die. So he can't let Yi Xiao Tian get close. But the wind blade obviously can't stop Yi Xiao Tian. Suddenly, Shen Ao flew up, about 10 meters above the ground. Looking down from above, one wind blade after another attacked again. It's not that he doesn't know other skills. It's that the wind blade is fast and can be seamlessly connected. And now his main attribute has soared to be level awakener, even the most basic wind blade skill, the power is very strong. When he killed those strange beasts just now, he could kill several of them with one wind blade. This is the floating technique of the wind system. Huang Jia said, it's going to be difficult for Brother Tian to fight now. Others are flying in the sky, and you are a warrior, you can only stay on the ground, how can you fight? Yi Xiao Tian ran quickly, kicked his feet, and soared into the sky. He couldn't fly blatantly, but he could use inertia to shoot himself into the sky. Chapter, 186 Boom! Yi Xiao Tian slashed out with his sword, hitting Shen Ao with a strong force and throwing him out from high in the air. Mo Qian didn't dare to let him fall to the ground, and the lightning figure caught Shen Ao. But at this moment, Shen Ao had already fallen into a coma. Blood spilled into the sky, scaring Mo Qian out of his wits. Sun Yao, please save brother Ao. Mo Qian immediately asked Sun Yao for help. There is no way, there is no healer in their team. They have no other means of treatment. Shen Ao was seriously injured. The blood he vomited was like rain, and his internal organs must have been severely shocked. If timely assistance is not provided, there may be sequelae. But Sun Yao was unmoved. She is now Yi Xiaotian's team member. If the captain doesn't say anything, how can she save the captain's enemy? And Shen Ao took action first. Such people should be taught a heavy lesson. Lest he always rely on his own background to act arrogantly. He always felt that everyone wanted to let him go, and no one dared to mess with him. Seeing that Sun Yao didn't respond, Mo Qian looked at Yi Xiao Tian. But what he saw was indifference. He knew very well that it was impossible for Yi Xiao Tian to save Shen Ao. If he didn't kill Shen Ao directly, he would be showing mercy. At the same time, I was also very shocked. Shen Ao, who had opened two B-level secret treasures, was beaten into a dog by Yi Xiao Tian with a knife. How strong is Yi Xiao Tian? At this moment, he had no time to think about whether it was scientific or not, he just wanted to save Shen Ao. Just when he was about to wave Shen Ao's distress bracelet, a voice came from behind, Wait. It's Sun Cheng. The person with the least sense of presence in this team. Although he is also from one of the four major families, his personality is relatively reserved. So he seldom speaks, always stands behind them, and never expresses his opinions. It seems that his existence is to assemble the team of the four major families. Sun Cheng, what do you want to say? Brother Ao is seriously injured. Mo Qian said. Sun Cheng sighed helplessly, took a few steps forward, and said, I'll do it. Mo Qian looked shocked. Even Wu Yan had to speak, Sun Cheng, don't make trouble. If you delay it any longer, Brother Ao will really leave Sequeli. Sun Cheng didn't waste any time, raised his staff, and a flash of light fell on Shen Ao. Yi Xiao Tian stood aside with an indifferent expression. He had tried his best with that stab blow just now. There is no way, even though many talents and skills are available. But the attribute points were halved. So the effect is greatly reduced. And Shen Ao also has a defensive secret treasure with him. He could only be seriously injured, but he could not kill Shen Ao at once. What a pity. However, Shen Ao was seriously injured and died if rescue failed. Then you can't blame him. 
It was Shin Ao who made the first move just now. He was retaliating passively. He took advantage of everything wherever he went. Even if the four major families attack him with the righteousness of the human race, he still has reasons to fight back. In short, you are standing on the moral high ground. What am I afraid of you doing? Even if you want to brand me as a human traitor, then kill your own son first. Of course, it would be his fault if he does another last hit now. He estimated that even if Emo Qian and the others activated the distress bracelets, the rescue team might not be that timely. But he didn't expect that Sun Cheng would suddenly appear. Sun Cheng can be said to be the one in Shen Ao's team whom he has the least impression of, and he is ignored almost every time. There was really no communication. Even if Shen Ao, Mo Qian and the others were at odds with Yi Xiao Tian, this one stood aside motionless. But he didn't expect it, and he was shocked as soon as he took action. Everyone was stunned when they saw Sun Cheng performing the healing technique. Even Mo Qian and Wu Yan were stunned. Sun Cheng, how do you know how to heal? Do you still have a talent for healing? Mo Qian came back to his senses and said excitedly. Sun Cheng is the support in the team, but it is an increased type support. He never expected that he actually had a talent for healing. Han Shuyao looked at Sun Yao. Sun Yao shook her head and said she didn't know. You didn't even ask. Sun Cheng said lightly, and then stepped aside. He is still the son of an aristocratic family who is extremely low-key. Fuck. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were sour. It is rare to see people with healing powers in normal times, but today I saw two of them at once. Damn it. Since when have therapists become so ordinary? Mo Qian and Wu Yan also looked like they were beeping. As for the rest of Yi Xiaotian's team, only Huang Jie had some feeling. After all, he knew better. As for others such as Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi, they were not too surprised at all. After all, there was a healer in their team, so what was there to be surprised about? Soon, Shen Ao woke up. Then, his face turned very ugly, and he looked in the direction of Sun Yao with a troubled expression. He thought it was Sun Yao who saved him. Brother Ao, it was Sun Cheng who saved you. Mo Qian quickly explained. Shen Ao looked stunned, are you kidding me? Mo Qian said, Brother Ao, Sun Cheng has dual talents, and he also has healing talents. Shen Ao then turned to look at Sun Cheng, but Sun Cheng shrugged, as if it was a small matter. Shen Ao really wanted to kick him. Damn, you are a healer, and you still want me to owe Sun Yao a favor, you are really a rude son. Last time, his arm was cut off by Shen Ao, but Sun Yao helped him to put it back. This is a favor. Otherwise, Shen Ao would not be so easy to talk to, and he would have taken action against Sun Yao long ago. He Shen Ao is arrogant, but he would never do such a thing as attacking his benefactor. If Sun Yao had cured his hand last time, he would have dismantled Yi Xiaotian's team long ago. Even if Yi Xiaotian cannot be dealt with temporarily, Sun Yao can still be controlled. After all, Sun Yao is a native of the Magic City, and her family is in the Magic City. But Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao are orphans, and the others are not easy to control. In the end, in this team, Sun Yao is the easiest to deal with. Let's go. Shen Ao has lost so much face that he has no face to stay here. Retreat decisively with his men. What a pity. Yi Xiaotian feels very regretful. I failed to kill Shen Ao at this opportunity. But don't worry, there are still many opportunities. The important thing is that the other party has to take the blame. Anyway, he didn't lose anything. Every time he faced Shen Ao, Shen Ao was the one who suffered in the end. Brother Tian, just let them go like this. Xiao Qing stood next to Yi Xiao Tian with a sinister look on his face. Peng Xiangyu also said, Brother Tian, hit the snake at its weakest point. Since there is such a contradiction, just kill them. Yi Xiao Tian sweated on his forehead. How could these people from aristocratic families be so murderous? Don't worry, haven't you had enough fun yet? Let's talk about it after you have had enough fun. Yi Xiao Tian replied. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu looked at each other. 
Is there any other explanation here? Chapter, 187 Dad, we can't let Yi Xiaotian grow up anymore. Magic City, Shen's family, the first word Shen Ao said to his father when he returned home. In the Bai Tao secret realm, after being severely injured by Yi Xiaotian, Shen Ao hid away. When he came out of the secret realm, he went home as soon as possible. The conflict between him and Yi Xiaotian was irreconcilable, so he had to kill Yi Xiaotian while the situation was still under control. Of course, Lin Hai also contributed to this. If it weren't for his instigation, Shen Ao wouldn't have such a firm belief. This time, even Mo Qian didn't persuade him. Yi Xiaotian's development was really too terrifying. How long has it been since he awakened? Shen Ao used two B-level secret treasures, but they were all severely injured by Yi Xiaotian's knife. And it was under the condition of air advantage. If it was on the ground, Shen Ao's grave would probably be covered with grass at this moment. What's going on? The head of the Shen family had a gloomy face. When he heard the name Yi Xiaotian, he felt a strange emotion spreading. This damn kid actually made him fail again and again. It was nothing before, but I don't know who spread it recently. It made the head of the Shen family lose face. He thought that the Shen family was about to fail, and they couldn't even handle a new student. Shen Ao immediately told what happened in the Bai Tao secret realm, Dad, you don't know, those hundreds of clones, one knife and one alien beast, I don't know how he did it. The head of the Shen family looked solemn. If it was really like this, it would be too terrifying. Think about it, several clones together, even if they are only B-level awakeners, it would be enough. Among the new students, who can compare with him? Is it the legendary shadow clone technique? The head of the Shen family murmured to himself. What do you mean? The head of the Shen family immediately reacted and asked Shen Ao. Shen Ao said, send out a master immediately to kill him. The head of the Shen family said, but now he is protected by the Magic City University, so it's not easy to do it. Shen Ao said, what should we do? Can we just let him grow up? I don't know why, but I have a feeling that every time he comes out of the secret realm, his strength will be greatly improved. His growth rate is too fast. Shen Ao added. The head of the Shen family thought for a while, and then said, Okay, I will consider this matter, so don't interfere. Dad. Shen Ao was a little dissatisfied, he thought his father was fooling him. The head of the Shen family said, I need to think about this matter carefully, how to operate, don't worry about it. I will handle it. I promise you that I will get rid of him before the freshman competition selection. Shen Ao left with satisfaction. The head of the Shen family fell into deep thought. It would definitely not work if they, the Shen family, sent someone to come forward for this matter. The Magic City University is not easy to mess with. Now they are obviously going to protect Yi Xiaotian. Especially Director He, who almost treated Yi Xiaotian as his own son. So the Shen family couldn't come in person. So how to solve this matter? A plan gradually emerged in the mind of the head of the Shen family. The villa area of Magic City University. Reincarnation ID, Houtian. Talents and skills, infinite growth advanced, diamond body protection A level, berserker A level, bull demon power A level, strength S level, swiftness S level, deer and crane blessing SS level, constitution S level. Dragon Elephant S level, Gravity A level, Nightmare A level, Golden Sharpness A level, Eagle Soaring A level, Void Secret Art S level, Chaos Grace S level, Spiritual Uplift A level, Illusion A level, Aquatic A level, Regeneration A level. Constitution 106362, Strength 106652, Spirit 105164, Agility 104582, obtained after brushing the phantom secret realm of Qingshui University. Magic Power, 2nd Yuanshan. Life Essence, 5566500 points, obtained after brushing the Bai Tao secret realm of Jiangnan University. Reincarnation Points, 10041300 points, gained from re-clearing the sea level team dungeon with Sun Yao. Awakening Level, B Level Awakener. Yi Xiaotian is taking stock of the gains from this by Tao secret realm. Both talents and skills are A-level. 
The talents and skills gained from several secret realms seem to be A-level. I don't know if it's a coincidence or for other reasons. Then there are the four surrounding attribute points, which have all exceeded 100-0-0 points. According to the classification of Awakener levels, Yi Xiaotian's Awakener has actually broken through the A-level. It's just that because he hasn't passed the promotion dungeon of the Reincarnation Tower, his Awakening level is still B-level. Now, he can go to the A-level promotion dungeon. This time, the gains from the Bai Tao secret realm are very great. As expected, going to the C is the right choice. As the strength increases, the efficiency of brushing attribute points will become higher and higher. Of course, the premise is to have enough exotic beasts. The fourth summer camp will be held in two days. So Yi Xiaotian plans to pass the A-level promotion dungeon first to give everyone a little surprise. His name Haotian has long disappeared from the Samsara dungeon. According to his identity, he is an auxiliary awakener. Therefore, the level of the Samsara tower is also assigned to the corresponding profession. Auxiliary, you should do auxiliary things. Combatant Samsara tower provides you, as an auxiliary awakener, what you have to do is to assist the combatants and kill the enemies in front of you. But when it was Yi Xiaotian's turn. Why bother with so much trouble? Just pick up the knife and it's done. Congratulations to the Awakener Haotian, who passed the A-level promotion dungeon and was rated as a super god. A world announcement ignited this ordinary night. Human Awakeners, heretic organizations, and even the aliens were all boiling again because of this announcement. It has only been a short time since he awakened, but he has already become an A-level Awakener. The most terrifying thing is that he was rated as a super god after passing the promotion dungeon. In other words, in fact, the combat power of the great god Haotian has far exceeded that of the A-level Awakener. This is terrifying. It has not been less than two months, and he has already become an A-level Awakener. What will happen if he is allowed to grow? The aliens have issued a death order to the heretic organization to find him and kill him. No matter what the price. Even if the heretic organization is completely destroyed, it doesn't matter. Then a few hours later, the aliens added another order. Since Haotian cannot be found now, it is better to kill him by mistake than to let him go. Kill all the geniuses on the human race list, and Haotian will be killed. Suddenly, heretical organizations around the world took action. Countless people poured into Xia country. The next day, the villa area. It's amazing. I really don't know how Hao Tian did it. Wang Hao didn't sleep much that night after hearing the news, the gap was too big. Is this the difference between monsters and humans? Chapter, 188 Yeah, how many monsters do you have to kill to do this? Chang Xiaoxi sighed. Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, how do you think the great god Hao Tian did it? It's definitely impossible in the reincarnation copy, and even the monsters outside the city are unlikely. Is he also in the summer camp? Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes and said, How should I know? Aren't you a good friend of the great god Hao Tian? Han Xuyao asked in confusion. Yi Xiao Tian said speechlessly, Even if they are good friends, they won't tell me this. Don't you know that the whole world is looking for him now? I heard that since last night, many awakened people have poured into Xiaogua. I wonder if they are targeting the great god Haotian. Huang Jia suddenly said. Are these people here to deal with the great god Haotian? Doesn't the country care? Han Xuyao said. Huang Jia said, they all entered the country through normal channels, what can we do with them? Without evidence, who dares to say that they are here to deal with Haotian god? They can also say that they are here to make friends with Haotian god. Brother Tian, you should contact Haotian God and ask him to be careful recently. Mu Bingyan suddenly said. There is no way. Among them, only Yi Xiaotian can contact Haotian God. She tried to add Haotian God as a friend several times, but failed. The last time she even chased him out and wanted to get close to Haotian God, but failed. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, I will notify him, but you can rest assured that he is already an A-level awakener, and nothing will happen. It's hard to say, two fists can't beat four hands, and it's hard to guard against hidden arrows. It's better to be careful. 
Huang Jia said. I think he is doing a good job now. No one knows his true identity, and people can't find him. Yi Xiao Tian listened silently without saying anything. After being promoted to A-level Awakener last night, his strength has been improved. Especially after being blessed with many talents and skills. His actual combat power now can no longer be measured by the Awakening level. However, for this extremely dangerous world, Yi Xiao Tian feels that he is still not safe enough. Steady, must be steady and steady again. As the old saying goes, only by hiding can you win the world. Yi Xiao Tian estimated that he would not have to hide for long. What level is the strongest master of the heretic organization? Forget it, don't think about it. After resting for two days, they entered the last secret realm of the summer camp again, the alien secret realm. Originally, Yi Xiao Tian thought that this alien secret realm was similar to a movie in his previous life. But when he came in, he found that it was not the case at all. In this alien secret realm, all are non-blood and flesh beasts. To put it bluntly, they are stone beasts, steel beasts, etc. But no matter what type of beast it is, as long as you can get the attribute point reward, it's fine. Most of the monsters in the alien secret realm drop physical and strength attributes. This is exactly the opposite of the previous phantom secret realm. After staying in it for 15 days, Yi Xiao Tian gained an A-level talent skill materialization, and then gained a large number of attribute points. This time, Yi Xiao Tian did not hold back and killed as many as he could. Fortunately, the most abundant thing in the alien secret realm is various non-blood and flesh monsters. And this time, their team joined forces with Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu's teams to form a big team. The huge harvest made Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu stunned. Is this Yi Xiaotian's ability? No wonder everyone in their team is so strong. Reincarnation ID, Haotian. Talents and skills, infinite growth advanced, diamond body protection A level, berserker A level, bull demon power A level, strength S level, swiftness S level, deer and crane blessing SS level, constitution S level, dragon elephant S level. Gravity A level, Nightmare A level, Golden Sharpness A level, Eagle Soaring A level, Void Secret S level, Chaos Grace S level, Spiritual Uplift A level, Illusion A level, Aquatic A level, Regeneration A level, Materialization A level. Constitution 156362, Strength 156652, Spirit 145164, Agility 144582. Magic Power, Second Spirit. Life Essence. 8566500 points, obtained after completing the Bai Tao Secret Realm of Jiangnan University. Reincarnation Points, 10241300 points, obtained after completing the C-Level Team Dungeon with Sun Yao. Awakening Level, A-Level Awakener. The Life Essence has returned to more than 80 million, and he is ready to strengthen a few more talent skills. It takes 10 million life essences to strengthen a talent skill from A level to S level. He can strengthen 8 A level talent skills. But he currently has 12 A level talent skills. So he has to think carefully about which ones to strengthen to increase his combat effectiveness. Vajra Bodyguard, this skill can greatly increase his ability to save his life, so it is a must. Frenzy, is a talent skill that is announced to the outside world. After using it, it can greatly increase his attack power. This is a must. Bull Demon Power, can not only increase his strength, but also increase his physique, which has a great effect on improving his combat effectiveness. Gravity, is an auxiliary talent skill. For now, A level is enough. Nightmare, is a must, no explanation. The next choices are spiritual upliftment, aquatic, regeneration, and the last materialization. Not to mention the previous ones, the last materialization, can instantly turn him into a non-flesh and blood life, which can have a miraculous effect in special circumstances. Regeneration, is needless to say, it guarantees his life to a great extent. Aquatic, is the talent skill that must be used next, which is because the life essence is not enough, otherwise he must stack it directly to SS level. The Bai Tao secret realm tasted the sweetness. Next, he doesn't have so many S-level secret realms to break through. So he is ready to go to the sea. 
The Magic City is close to the sea, and it was really right to choose Magic City University. At this moment, Sun Yao ran over and said, Captain, my grandma is in trouble, I have to go back. What's going on? Yi Xiao Tian asked in confusion. Sun Yao said, I just received a call from a neighbor saying that my grandma fell down. Han Xu Yao said, Brother Tian, let's go back with Sun Yao. Yi Xiao Tian immediately said, Okay. No, no, I can go back by myself. Sun Yao quickly refused. Yi Xiao Tian said, It's okay, we will go back with you to take a look, and we can help you if you need it. Okay, stop wasting time, let's go. Sun Yao saw that Yi Xiaotian's attitude was very firm, so she had to agree. The group left the school and headed towards Sun Yao's home. At the same time, many people received the news that Yi Xiaotian had left school, and a wave that was about to sweep across the entire magic city was rising. Chapter 189 Yi Xiaotian didn't know that a storm was forming against him. Under the leadership of Sun Yao, they returned all the way to Sun Yao's home. But after rushing into the house, they were dumbfounded. Nothing happened to Sun Yao's grandmother. Grandma, are you okay? Sun Yao's eyes widened. Grandma Sun was also surprised and said, I'm fine. Sun Yao's heart thumped, oh no. Brother Tian, hurry back to school. Sun Yao reacted, but it was already too late. The sky outside is already dark. Yes, it was broad daylight, but the sky in the entire surrounding area was dark. How is this going? What happened? Could it be that aliens are attacking the city? In the east district of the Magic City Base City, what we face here is the Magic City Sea. So this can be said to be the slums of the Magic City Base City. The people who live here are the lowest class people in society. Even if there are awakened ones, they are very ordinary and don't have much fighting power. Once the aliens really attack the city, they will be the first to become cannon fodder. Countless voices of discussion came from outside, it was a mess. I'm sorry, Brother Tian, it's me who has caused you trouble. Sun Yao said with a crying face. Yi Xiao Tian said, It's okay, please comfort your grandma, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi first, and then you will protect Han Xu Yao, Mu Bingyan and Sun Yao later. Wang Hao said, Brother Tian, what about you? Han Xu Yao also said anxiously, Brother Tian, you better notify the school quickly. After saying that, she immediately took out her mobile phone, but there was no signal. Yi Xiao Tian said, Okay, since the other party has already made arrangements, how can they ask you to notify the school? Look outside, it's even dark. I guess in this area, not only is there no mobile phone signal, we can't even leave this area. You just stay in the house, I'll go out and take a look. Yi Xiao Tian warned. No, Brother Tian, we can't let you go out and take risks alone. Everyone was very determined. Yes, Brother Tian, we are a team, we will die together. Yi Xiao Tian said with a speechless expression, What are you saying to be dejected? Who said I was going to die? It's not like you don't know my strength. Even Su Zichang was killed with a knife. What are you worried about? But Han Xu Yao looked hesitant. Yi Xiao Tian said, It's okay. Although they have sealed off the surrounding area, they don't dare to use too strong experts. Otherwise, are you a vegetarian as a city guard? After Yi Xiao Tian calmed his team, he walked out alone. But soon, he heard footsteps behind him. Six teammates followed him, walking firmly. Yi Xiao Tian sighed, If that's the case, let's face it together. Although these teammates of his are still only sea level awakeners, with the blessing of their own talents and skills, they can also exert the combat effectiveness of B level awakeners. To be honest, such strength can already help him. He didn't believe how many experts the other side would send over. Most of them are B level or even C level awakeners. No big deal, he'll deal with the masters, and leave the rest to his teammates. As soon as they left the house, they saw that there were no ordinary people on the dim streets outside. Dozens of figures came out of the darkness and surrounded him. This style of conduct, no need to guess, is from a heretical organization. Seventh night, I know you are coming, why don't you dare to show up? 
Yi Xiaotian said loudly. In fact, he knows shit and is just trying to bluff people. But unexpectedly, as soon as he finished speaking, a familiar voice sounded, how did you know it was me? Chi Ye was surprised. This time, it was not just him, but local snakes, and local aristocratic families in the magic city also contributed. It can be seen that Yi Xiaotian has a hard time dealing with the magic city family. They actually came to the point of uniting with them to kill Yi Xiaotian. The seventh knight asked himself that he was not exposed. Yi Xiaotian actually revealed his identity immediately. Shouldn't he first guess his enemies in the magic city? Only your heretic organization can do this kind of hiding thing. Why, your henchman Lin Hai didn't come? Yi Xiaotian was also secretly shocked. It's actually this guy. The reason why he guessed the seventh knight was entirely because of Lin Hai. When they were in Jiangqing, seventh knight attacked him and Wang Hao. He guessed that there was some kind of connection between Qi Ye and Lin Hai, otherwise Qi Ye would not have known about his situation. Now, it's a real deal. Qi Ye opened his eyes wide and said, you actually know that Lin Hai is mine. Yi Xiaotian said disdainfully, is it difficult to guess? I guessed it was him when we were in Jiangqing. Then why didn't you expose him? Qi Ye was a little confused. Yi Xiaotian said, I really didn't expect that the Shen family would choose to cooperate with you in order to kill me. You know what? Qi Ye said with a shocked face. If Yi Xiaotian guessed it was him before, he was just surprised. So now I am really shocked. How does this guy's brain grow? Or is it that he has seen through everything a long time ago? Not to mention the seventh night, even Han Xuyao and Wang Hao were dumbfounded. Listening to Brother Tian's words, it seems that everything is under his control, so why did he come here so stupidly? Yi Xiao Tian gave them a look that you all understand. He didn't know how to calculate, this was all guesswork. He was just trying to get seventh night to say something. But he didn't expect that Seventh Knight would be so cooperative and admit it without even a struggle. But it doesn't matter, you're going to die here today, what's the use of knowing more? Seventh Knight said indifferently. From the moment Yi Xiaotian stepped out of the school gate, he was destined to die here today. Not only the heretic organization, but also the power of the Shen family in the magic city. It's just that their heretic organization is in front, and the power of the Shen family is behind. They are not afraid that the Shen family will cheat them. After all, in this matter, their goals are the same. If the Shen family dares to cheat them, then they don't mind making the Shen family completely stinky. Don't struggle, Yi Xiaotian, you're dead today. We have been preparing for half a month to deal with you. But I can give you a chance, bring your team to join our heretic organization, and I will protect your life. Seventh Knight suddenly said. Yi Xiaotian said, that's not right. The Shen family wants my life. How can you protect it? That's my business. As long as you agree to join our organization, it's fine. Kiki looked very confident. Yi Xiaotian was shocked. Could he have a backup plan? The Shen family wouldn't be so stupid, right? I don't believe it. Yi Xiaotian shook his head. Chapter 190 do you think I'm a fool? With the Shen family here, can you protect me? Yi Xiaotian said with contempt. Chi Ye said, the Shen family is eager for you to join us, why can't they protect you? Yi Xiaotian blinked, and for a moment he didn't react to what Chi Ye meant. But it doesn't matter, everything that should be known is already known, and there is no need to talk about it anymore. Yi Xiaotian showed his equipment, holding a staff in his left hand and a knife in his right hand. He was wearing a Tianjin armor. His teammates behind him also showed their equipment. Seeing this, Chia shook his head and said, It's really a pity, Yi Xiaotian, you don't care about your own life, don't you care about the lives of your teammates? Yi Xiaotian said calmly, Since they have chosen to stand behind me, I believe they have decided to live and die with me. Live and die together. Behind him, the six people said in unison without hesitation. Chi Ye's face was ashen, and this was what he hated the most. Live and die together, what is there to be proud of? Back then, he wanted to be like Yi Xiaotian, but the fact is that he was abandoned. 
why? Just because his talent is a little worse than others, he will be abandoned. He was unwilling. His life should not be like that. He needs to stand up. So he resolutely joined the heretic organization. He gained powerful strength, and his talent continued to improve. Now, he is already a B-level high-level awakener, and with the blessing of talent, his combat power can easily break through to A-level. And at night, his combat power is also increased. This is why it is already dark here. Because only in this way can his combat power be maximized. He has dealt with Yi Shao Tian and knows that Yi Shao Tian is very strong. So he must be fully prepared. This time, not only did he come, but many masters of the heretic organization in the magic city also went out. Vow to kill Yi Shao Tian here. Because among the freshmen of this year, except for the mysterious Hao Tian, only Yi Shao Tian is the strongest. This is the conclusion they have drawn from the intelligence from many sources. The aliens have issued a killing order. Since they can't find Hao Tian, they will kill other geniuses. Kill them one by one, they believe that Hao Tian must be hiding among them. It's better to kill the wrong one than to let him go. This is the strategy they are implementing now. At all costs. Although doing so may cause the heretic organization to suffer a new heavy blow. But it doesn't matter. The aliens have said that they will give them rewards. Generous rewards. As long as they do something, they can get rewards. Bloodline, talent, equipment are all available. Under the stimulation of such rewards, the people in the heretic organization are now crazy. They are frantically looking for the geniuses of the human race to hunt. Not only the new geniuses, but also the geniuses of the human race are on their assassination list. Anyway, the aliens said that as long as they are geniuses of the human race, they can get rewards if they get their heads. As an old friend of Yi Xiao Tian, how could Chia miss such an opportunity? Kill them. Chia's face was full of ferocity. Since they can't be recruited, then die. Dozens of masters from the heretic organizations began to take action. Close combat, the superpowers held up the protective shield, and then they all added amplification skills. Each of them was shining with various colors and began to attack. Yi Xiao Tian was also the first to bless his teammates with amplification. This time, he blessed them with three attributes, except agility. The teammates were all surprised. What's going on? But at this time, no one had time to ask such questions. Following Yi Xiao Tian, any magical thing can be regarded as normal. Yi Xiao Tian put away the staff and said, Haozi, Xiaozi, protect them. After that, he had already killed out. He wanted to kill Qi Yi himself. Last time in Jiangqing, Qi Yi ran away. There was no way. At that time, his strength was not enough. But now, his strength is enough. Most of Qi Ye's men's attacks were locked on Yi Xiao Tian. Because in their eyes, Yi Xiao Tian is the real big fish. As for his teammates, they are all rookies. Various supernatural spells attacked Yi Xiao Tian, but he dodged them all. Yi Xiao Tian has only one target, that is Qi Ye. As for the others, they are all garbage. Even if they are all sea level awakeners, so what? With the blessing of his innate skills, his teammates have reached the physical attributes of B-level Awakeners one by one. And all the attributes are up to standard. They gather together and cooperate with each other. As long as there is no stronger master, there will be no danger. Yi Xiaotian's body flashed with light, and he approached Qi Ye in the firepower of supernatural spells. Puff! Yi Xiaotian beheaded a heretic organization believer with a knife, and continued to walk towards Qi Ye without moving his expression. Another believer came in front of Yi Xiao Tian, and before the weapon in his hand fell, Yi Xiao Tian cut his carotid artery. Blood gushed out like a fountain. Qi Ye looked at Yi Xiao Tian who was killing people everywhere, frowned slightly, and always felt that something was wrong. Yi Xiao Tian's strength shouldn't be so strong. Although most of the men he brought were sea level awakeners, with the help of the auxiliary, they could at least reach the level of B-level Awakeners. But such masters could not even avoid a single blow in front of Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian's attack speed was too fast. It was as if they were all sent to Yi Xiaotian's knife. 
Han Xuyao and the others also raised their staffs and began to attack the heretic organization's cultists. They did not cast large-scale cult spells, but single-target spells. Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan's attacks were still very powerful. The defense spells of the heretics collapsed under their attacks, and the attacks fell on these cultists, causing heavy damage. Seeing this scene, Kiki took a breath. Are these really freshmen? When did the freshmen of human beings become so powerful? Originally, I thought that Yi Xiao Tian was the only anomaly, but now it seems that this team is all anomalies. In just a few moments, half of the thirty believers he brought with him had died. Yi Xiao Tian killed half of them by himself, so damn brutal. He was a heretic, but he was not so brutal. Are you still going to watch? Why don't you take action? Chi Ye couldn't stand it anymore. If he continued, all his people would die. These were all his elites, and his future predecessors were far reaching. If they all died here, he would really be left alone. Two seconds later, five more figures appeared on the roofs on both sides of the street. They were wearing night clothes, and only their eyes were exposed from head to toe. Chapter 191 The seventh night was very frustrating. This time, it was originally a sure thing. But I didn't expect that not only Yi Xiaotian's strength had greatly increased, but also his teammates were all as strong as B-level awakeners. Each of his subordinates has been awakening their talents for several years, and some of them are almost ten years old. They can all be regarded as young elites of the heretical organization. But these elites were vulnerable to Yi Xiaotian's teammates. In desperation, he could only call for backup. For the proud man, calling for support was tantamount to shame. But he didn't care much anymore. If he doesn't call for backup, he will die here. Yi Xiao Tian is already very difficult to deal with. Once his teammates free their hands and attack him, he has no chance of winning. So he decisively called out the experts sent by the Magic City branch and the experts sent by the Shen family. There are five people in total, but they are all B level high level awakeners. With the blessing of their talents and skills, each person's combat effectiveness can reach the standard of an A-level Awakener. He originally thought that such a backup plan would be completely useless. Now he is very lucky. If this backup plan had not been arranged, he might have really fallen into trouble. Five figures appeared on the roofs on both sides, all wearing night clothes and covering their faces, with only a pair of eyes exposed. Not to mention recognizing the person, I don't even know whether they are male or female. The seventh knight also showed his sword. A sword energy struck Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian blocked and struck Qi Yi with a knife. Qi Ye fought with Yi Xiaotian while yelling at the people on the roof, hurry up and kill those guys. Yi Xiaotian was suddenly shocked. These were real B-level high-level experts on the roof. His team had absolutely no chance of winning against these people. With a thought, the talent skill gravity was activated. With him as the center, the gravity within a few meters suddenly increased several times. On the seventh night, I only felt a heavy weight on my body, and my movements became sluggish. Yi Xiaotian took the opportunity to slash at Qi Ye's neck with a knife. On the seventh night, I couldn't escape, and my eyes were about to burst. At the critical moment, a spell hit Yi Xiaotian's sword, causing his sword to deflect and slide across Qi Ye's neck. Missed. On the seventh night, I broke out in a cold sweat. I almost told you here. Just what happened just now. It was Yi Xiaotian's fault. Could he still control the increase in gravity? Impossible. Although he has dual talents, he does not have a gravity control talent. According to the rules of the reincarnation world, without talent, it is absolutely impossible to learn the corresponding skills. When? 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 Several ice arrows struck Yi Xiaotian in succession, and he could only put down the seventh knight first and block the ice arrows. Although ice arrow is only the most basic spell, it also depends on who casts it. Just like an ordinary knife, in the hands of ordinary people, it can only be used as a tool for chopping wood. But in the hands of an awakened person, it can cut down strange beasts. If it is placed in the hands of the supreme power, it can break the sky. 
The ordinary ice arrows allowed Yi Xiaotian to estimate that this person's true combat power was definitely higher than that of an average A-level awakener. Yi Xiaotian was wondering whether to kill this guy first. But after thinking about it, I might as well forget it. After all, the seventh night is closer. This guy is like a dogskin plaster. Unless he is killed, the heretical organization will really think that he is easy to bully. After enduring it for so long, he has endured enough and is not going to endure it anymore. I can't bear it anymore, no need to bear it anymore. How? It's nothing more than a kill. Gravity, talent skill once again enveloped the seventh knight. Under several times the gravity, seventh knight's movements became sluggish again. Then, gravity, was removed, and seventh knight stumbled, unable to stand at all. Damn it! Boy, you don't have martial ethics. On the seventh night, I almost went crazy. How could this bastard be so wicked? He has mastered the gravity control skill. Yi Xiaotian slashed it with a knife. Poof! It could have ended the seventh night with one blow, but it went astray. That damn ice superpower knocked his sword again. Yi Xiaotian took out the staff with his left hand, waved it in a circle, and then put it away again. The seventh knight was confused. The ice superpower on the roof sneered, young man, after all, he is still too young. Yi Xiaotian attacked seventh knight again. The seventh knight was just about to be disemboweled. Seeing Yi Xiaotian attacking again, he hurriedly tried to avoid it. But several times the gravity enveloped him again, and then let go, causing his figure to stagger again. This time, Yi Xiaotian directly inserted the knife into Chia's chest. He wasn't even given a chance to transform. The seventh knight looked at the sword on his chest with a look of disbelief on his face. He looked over at the roof. The B-level high-level ice expert from their organization was actually standing there, waving his staff, and then the attack point landed ten meters away from them. What's going on? Even if he had the alien essence and blood to transform his body, he would still die if his heart was gone. It's just that he didn't understand what was going on until he died. Puff. Yi Xiaotian drew out his long knife and glanced at Han Shuyao and Wang Hao, struggling to hold on. He rushed back to help. Let's talk about the ice awakener of the heretical organization who saw another Yi Xiaotian suddenly appear. Immediately stunned. Then he wiped his eyes, unable to believe what he saw. Kiki fell in a pool of blood. What happened? Wasn't he attacking Yi Xiaotian just now? How did he kill Kiki? Kiki was the deputy head of the seventh hall of the Holy Church. He was already a B-level awakener at a young age and had a bright future. But now he fell in front of him. How to explain when he goes back? The worst thing is, how did Yi Xiaotian do it under his nose? Yi Xiaotian didn't care about that and rushed towards Han Shuyao and the others. Boy, if you want to save people, you have to get through me first. A figure stopped Yi Xiaotian. Are you from the Shen family? Yi Xiaotian asked in a deep voice. Stop talking nonsense, come and die. The other party did not answer, but attacked Yi Xiaotian with a knife. In fact, there was no need to answer, Yi Xiaotian already knew the answer. Among the few people who appeared later, at least two were from the Shen family, or even more. A layer of light appeared on Yi Xiaotian's body, and his strength and physical attributes suddenly soared again. The powerful aura made the awakened masters who stopped him stunned for a moment. Did this young man just hide his weakness? Impossible. In the battle with Qi Yi just now, he had already used the strength of a B-level awakener. According to the Shen family's evaluation of Yi Xiaotian, his strongest combat power should be around the high level of B-level. As for Su Zichang who died in the secret realm, he must have been careless. Or did he see his companions in danger, so he burned his blood essence? Chapter, 192 The Shen family master couldn't tell. But it didn't matter, his mission was just to kill Yi Xiaotian. The rest would be handled by the Shen family. So he continued to attack Yi Xiaotian without hesitation. But suddenly, he found that the space seemed to have changed and became very sticky. Damn! This is gravity amplification. 
the Shin family master reacted immediately and realized that there must be a gravity-talented mutant. But the investigation of Yi Xiaotian's team did not find anyone with gravity talent. What is going on? Did someone help Yi Xiaotian? Puff. Yi Xiaotian's sword chopped on the Shen family master and blasted him out heavily. Vomiting blood. Wang Hao also vomited blood. He just took a blow from a B-level high-level awakening master and couldn't bear it. Fortunately, there was Yi Xiaotian's deer and crane cry, amplification, otherwise this blow would have killed him. Seeing this, Sun Yao quickly waved her staff to treat Wang Hao. Wang Hao was just getting better. Chang Xiaoxi on the top was knocked out again and was seriously injured. Sun Yao was very busy, waving her staff repeatedly, treating Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi in turn. Soon, Chang Xiaoxi returned to her position again. This is the benefit of having a healing talent. No matter how badly you are injured, as long as it is not fatal, there is no problem. With a healer, you can quickly recover your combat effectiveness. But this is not a solution to the problem. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi's strength can crush C level awakeners. But now they are facing B level high level awakeners. They are at a disadvantage. Even with many auxiliary blessings, it is useless. They can only hold on. And the attacks of Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan are very lethal to the elite awakeners of the heretics, almost killing them instantly. But against these B-level high-level awakeners, they don't have much killing power. This is the difference in strength. Not everyone is like Yi Xiaotian, who has many talents and skills to kill enemies at several levels. Stop playing, that guy is coming. On the roof, the ice-type B-level high-level psychic said loudly. The five people who came later, one auxiliary psychic, one ice psychic, and three warriors. Except for the auxiliary and ice psychics who stayed on the roof, the remaining three came down for close combat. Yi Xiaotian had two, and the team had one. In the eyes of these people, one was enough for Yi Xiaotian's team. And there was also an ice psychic on the roof for remote support. But they miscalculated. Chi Chi Yi died inexplicably with the support of the Ice Psychic. Then it was the Awakener of the Shen family, who was seriously injured by Yi Xiaotian's knife. They didn't bring a healer with them, so they temporarily lost their combat effectiveness. On the team side, because of Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi's tenacious resistance, they were injured again and again, and were healed by Sun Yao and continued to resist. Unless they died. The B-level high-level masters of the heretic organization were also very anxious, and they didn't need the ice-type psychic to remind them at all. But what can he do? Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi blocked his way, and their speed was no less than his. And the spells of Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan gave him a lot of interference, and from time to time he was stiff for a second. Although his attack was very sharp. But before dealing with Sun Yao, the healer, there was no better way for the time being. The ice-type psychic could provide remote assistance. But at this moment, he had no intention to help this colleague. His current target was Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian killed Qi Yi under his nose, and he had to kill Yi Xiaotian. But Yi Xiaotian, this slippery guy, was too difficult to beat. Even a master of the Shen family was severely injured by Yi Xiaotian under his watch. What the hell, what level is this guy? He is a high-level B-level expert, plus the support, he is definitely an A-level strongman. Could it be that his support has increased his mental attributes? But even if he is only a high-level B-level, it should be enough to deal with Yi Xiaotian. The intelligence is inaccurate, this guy is definitely not just a B-level strength. TSK Another round of ice arrows, Yi Xiaotian is annoyed, Wang Hao and the others are almost unable to hold on. Even if there is a healer, being injured again and again is a huge torture to the spirit. Once the situation is serious, the whole person will be useless. Looking at the high-level B-level warrior in front of him, there is also a high-level B-level psychic on the roof. With the cooperation of the two, he can't do anything to the guy in front of him for a while. It's really that the long-range ice psychic is too good at finding opportunities, and the two cooperate very well. It can be confirmed that these two guys must be comrades in the heretic organization. He took out the staff again and cast illusion, again. 
the previous seventh night was killed by him in this way. The ice-type mutant on the roof had his vision disturbed by his illusion. To the opponent, his ice arrows were attacking Yi Xiao Tian every time. But in fact, they all hit the ground. The same trick was used again. Yi Xiao Tian severely injured the B-level high-level expert in front of him, chased him again, and killed him directly. As for the master of the Shen family who was seriously injured by him before, he ignored it and would deal with him later. How is it possible? How could this happen? The ice superpower on the roof had already begun to doubt life. The second time. How on earth did he do it? Bing Hun, what's wrong with you? The auxiliary superpower asked. Missing twice in a row is an unforgivable mistake. Sir, I don't know either. I obviously interfered with him, but suddenly something changed. Bing Hun was shocked when he heard the assistant's words. A good auxiliary superpower has a much higher status than an offensive superpower. This time they came out to assist and lead the team. With good support, he can be a strong A-level awakener. But without assistance, he can only have the combat power of an ordinary A-level awakened person at best. Now because of his mistake, two partners died. How could he take the blame? When the auxiliary superpower heard this, he immediately frowned. He opened his mouth and said, don't worry about him first, kill those damn teammates of his first, especially the healer, kill her. When Bing Hun heard this, he didn't dare to neglect. If they don't get rid of this healer, they will probably fail again this time. If support is the core, then therapists are the core of the core. Without the healer, Yi Xiaotian's team would have been captured long ago. Yi Xiaotian rushed towards Wang Hao and the others. As long as this awakened one is taken out, he can start taking care of the two on the roof. Especially the ice superpower, be sure to chop him a few more times. Sun Yao Just when Yi Xiaotian seriously injured his opponent and was about to hit him, he heard Han Xuyao scream. Chapter 193 Yi Xiao Tian looked toward Sun Yao's position and saw that Sun Yao was being held by Han Xu Yao, with her eyes closed and her face pale. What happened? Yi Xiao Tian hurried over. Han Xu Yao said, I don't know, Sun Yao suddenly fell down just now. Didn't you see any attack? Yi Xiao Tian only had time to ask. Brother Tian, we can't hold on any longer. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi both had blood at the corners of their mouths. Yi Xiao Tian reached out and touched Sun Yao's wrist, and there was no pulse. But there was no external injury, what happened? But one thing is certain, it must be the work of the ice-type psychic on the roof. Look at her heart. Mu Bingyan suddenly said. So cold. Mu Bingyan reached out to Sun Yao's chest and felt a chill, it's true. Han Xu Yao said anxiously, what happened? Her heart was pierced by the ice needle. Because of the extreme cold, the heart was directly frozen and no blood flowed out. Mu Bingyan's cold voice also trembled. Sun Yao, dead. A sense of sadness filled the air. Yi Xiao Tian grabbed Sun Yao and said, I'll go find that ice-type psychic first. He must have a way. The resurrection spell cannot be performed in front of them, so it can only be cast on the ice-type psychic of the heretic organization. Yi Xiao Tian put away his sword, held Sun Yao in one hand, and held the cane in the other hand, and cast a resurrection spell on Sun Yao. This resurrection spell is also time limited. So he had no choice. He added layers of defensive magic to himself, protecting both him and Sun Yao. Shooting towards the roof at high speed. On the roof, there are two B level high level awakening masters of the heretic organization, one is an assistant and the other is an ice-type psychic. The rest are either dead or seriously injured. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi have also lost their combat effectiveness at this moment, but fortunately Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan's combat effectiveness is still there. Because Yi Xiaotian rushed over, the ice-type psychic gave up Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi and only targeted Yi Xiaotian. But he couldn't break Yi Xiaotian's defense. Damn it! Yi Xiaotian's speed was very fast. In the blink of an eye, he had crossed hundreds of meters and reached the roof. Sir, what should we do? The ice-type psychic was a little panicked. 
This Yi Shao Tian is poisonous. The auxiliary psychic sighed and said, The intelligence is seriously wrong, let's retreat. Although Yi Shao Tian was not killed, killing Sun Yao was a big game. But would Yi Shao Tian let them run away? How could it be possible? Sun Yao's death completely angered Yi Shao Tian. Under his operation, several times the gravity enveloped the area. This time, these two guys must die, so there is no need to worry about the exposure of gravity, talent. The two heretic awakening masters who were about to leave suddenly felt a mountain pressing on them and moved slowly. In just a blink of an eye, Yi Shao Tian had already arrived in front of them. With a thought, gravity was removed. The two awakened masters of the heresy exerted too much force, and their bodies could not keep balance, and they fell to another street. Yi Shao Tian felt Sun Yao's body warm up again. Where am I? Sun Yao said softly. Soon, memories came to her mind. She seemed to have been pierced in the heart and died. But now, she is alive again. Yi Shao Tian jumped down the street with Sun Yao and let her go. Sun Yao, you stand here, be careful, I will avenge you. Yi Shao Tian put away the staff and took out the sword. Killing people is more fun with a knife. The auxiliary psychics and ice psychics of the heretic organization were shocked. This kid actually has the talent of controlling gravity. Unbelievable. This is a serious error in intelligence. He is a three-talent awakener. The auxiliary psychic exclaimed. The ice-type psychic said, not only that, I suspect he is a four-talent awakener, he can also create illusions. Illusions? The auxiliary psychic expressed his incomprehension. I was clearly fighting with Kiki and the others before, but suddenly they died. This is definitely not normal. The ice-type psychic explained. What should we do now? The auxiliary psychic looked at Yi Shao Tian who was approaching them step by step, and his scalp was numb. This young man is really terrible. So terrifying. How can a newcomer who has awakened for two months have such strong strength? Also, is he really a four-talent awakener? This information must be sent back. Said the auxiliary psychic. But this place is blocked, and no information can be transmitted. The ice-type psychic said. Yi Shao Tian approached step by step, and he did not approach quickly. He wanted these two guys to feel the fear before death. Control that woman first, no, isn't she dead? The auxiliary psychic looked unbelievable. The ice type psychic also looked at Sun Yao. He had just focused on Yi Shao Tian, but now he realized that the girl Yi Shao Tian had just let go was actually Sun Yao, who was killed by him. Impossible. The ice type psychic was confused. Is everything before just an illusion? The ice type psychic muttered to himself. The auxiliary psychic was even more confused. It was an illusion just now, so what is it now? Is it also an illusion? You taste it, you taste it carefully. An emotion called fear surged in his heart, and his body began to sway. This feeling was not good. Because he was not sure whether he was in an illusory world or a real world. If it was illusory, why was it so real? They could even feel the murderous aura on Yi Shao Tian that was about to overflow the streets. Cover attack, don't worry about whether it is an illusion, just cover attack. The auxiliary psychic woke up in time and gave orders quickly. The ice psychic did not hesitate, raised the staff, and was about to perform the cover attack technique. Swish. Yi Shao Tian attacked the ice psychic with a knife. The ice psychic did not care about the cover attack and quickly defended. In terms of the frequency of attack, the psychic could not compare with the warrior. The advantage of the psychic is long-range attack and super-destructive power. But these advantages are useless in front of Yi Shao Tian. A knife rushed towards the B-level awakening masters of the two heretical organizations, and layers of ice walls were broken. The ice-type psychic waved his staff at high speed, and layers of ice walls protected him and the auxiliary psychic but they both knew very well. It was only a matter of time before they died in Yi Xiaotian's hands. Damn it, what are the people of the Shen family doing? Can't they see what's going on here? The auxiliary psychic cursed. 
Of course they are drawing a line with us at this time. The ice type psychic panted, and he couldn't hold on any longer. Although this ice wall has strong defense, it also consumes a lot of energy. Chapter 194 There is one word that stands out about Yi Xiaoqian's attack frequency, and that is fast. The attack net formed by the sword energy left the ice superpowers with absolutely no time to spare. He now wished he could count every second as a minute. He wishes he could have more hands so that he could add more layers of defensive skills. We can't leave now, so we have to wait for support. But it is a pity that they have been abandoned by the Shen family. At this time, the Shen family wants them to die immediately, so how can they save them? Wouldn't it be better to die without any symptoms? Seeing that Yi Xiaotian was already in front of him, the ice superpower hurriedly said, Stop, Yi Xiaotian, you can't kill us. Give me a reason not to kill you. Yi Xiaotian was very calm. Can't kill. Joke. He wanted to hear what flowers these heretics could tell. It would also be great to let them experience more of the fear before death. By leaving us here, we can testify for you and make the Shen family pay the price. If we die, we will die without any evidence. The ice superpower said. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, this reason is not enough. Not enough? How could it be not enough? Without our testimony, you can't shake the Shen family at all. The Shen family is deeply rooted in the demon city. If there is not enough evidence, no one will believe you. The ice superpower reminded. Yi Xiaotian said, with you, do you think others will believe it? Do you think they will believe the words of the heretics or the Shen family? The ice superpower was suddenly speechless and had to admit that what Yi Xiaotian said made sense. The Shen family can clear all suspicions with just one sentence. These are all slanders from heretics, and their purpose is to weaken the strength of the human race. What an honest reason. Unless the other party has more direct physical evidence. But it's a pity that the Shen family will never let anyone catch any direct evidence of this kind of thing. But there are still people from the Shen family here. The ice superpower said forcefully. Yi Xiaotian said calmly, they are all just traitors of the Shen family, colluding with heretics, so they deserve to die. If Yi Xiaotian was not a time traveler, maybe he would really believe the words of the ice power user. But after being baptized by many movies, TV dramas and novels in his previous life, he would not be so naive. The ice superpower user was speechless. He looked at the auxiliary superpower user, hoping that he could save their lives. The auxiliary superpower user simply had to do it. At this point, there was no possibility of survival. Let's do it. As a support system, he was not good at fighting. And he was still facing Yi Xiaotian. It's just that I can't send this news back, I feel a little unwilling. But they all died here, and I believe the organization will find out the reasons. At that time, you can speculate about Yi Xiaotian. Before I die, I have a question. The auxiliary superpower looked at Yi Xiaotian and said. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, You say it. Is your reincarnation ID Haotian? Said the auxiliary superpower user. The ice superpower's eyes widened, Haotian. Yes. He is Haotian. If so, that makes sense. The entire reincarnation world knows that Haotian is the strongest new generation of the human race. His strength has reached the level of an A-level awakener, which has been certified by the will of reincarnation. If Yi Xiaotian were Haotian, their deaths would not be unjust. I can't answer this question for you. Yi Xiaotian said. The auxiliary superpower looked full of regret. Although he was 90% sure in his heart, Yi Xiaotian refused to admit it and was still not satisfied. At this moment, a clicking sound came from my ears. The darkness that shrouded this place suddenly revealed a glimmer of light. Then this glimmer of light spread. Light dispels darkness. Then there were footsteps. There's no need for me to take action. Yi Xiaotian stood with his sword in hand, showing no intention of taking action. The two heretics now have no ability to escape. Soon, a group of people came over. 
Among them were the head of the Shin family, a group of experts, the school's director He Shi, and some teachers from the school. There are also Han Shuyao and Wang Hao. Han Shuyao immediately ran to Sun Yao, checked her, and was relieved to see that she had returned to normal. It's just that Sun Yao is obviously dead, how can she still be alive? But now is not the time to talk about this. Director He came to Yi Xiaotian's side immediately and said, Xiaotian, are you okay? Yi Xiaotian shook his head. Kill them heretics. At this time, the head of the Shen family shouted loudly, and the masters of the Shen family rushed out to get rid of these two heretical monsters. Shen Xuechen, you don't follow martial ethics. The ice superpower shouted, you were the one who clearly contacted us about what happened today, and now you actually want to kill people and silence them. Shen Xuecheng snorted coldly and said, You are already on the verge of death, and you still want to bite me back. You deserve to die. He Shi and Yi Xiaotian both watched with cold eyes. Seeing this, the ice superpower became anxious and said, There are members of the Shen family among these killers. If you don't believe me, you can ask them. Shen Xuecheng said in a cold voice, They betrayed the Shen family and colluded with heretical organizations. Damn it! They have paid the price for their actions, and now it is your turn. The ice superpower looked at Yi Xiaotian with a surprised look. He really expected it. So cruel. In order to clear himself from the relationship, he killed his own people. Now there is really no cure for death. Kill! Shen Xuecheng raised his hand, and the masters of the Shen family rushed over. In just a few rounds, they killed the two B-level high-level Awakener masters of the heretic organization. After they died, Shen Xuecheng breathed a sigh of relief and turned to Yi Xiaotian and said, Student Yi Xiaotian, I'm sorry for making you suffer. The heretics have actually mixed in the demon city. This is our dereliction of duty. Yi Xiaotian stared at Shen Xuecheng. Student Yi Xiaotian, why are you looking at me like this? Shen Xuecheng said calmly. If you don't want others to know, don't do it yourself. What do you think, Master Shen? Yi Xiaotian said. Shen Xuecheng smiled and said, I think this sentence is very right. Then don't you think you should do something? Yi Xiaotian stared at him. Shen Xuecheng said, What should I do? I led people to eliminate the heretics, I should be praised. Our Shen family saved you, shouldn't you thank me? I have seen shameless people, but I have never seen such shameless people. It really fulfilled the words of Prime Minister Zhuge, I have never seen such a shameless person. Yi Xiaotian said, You know what you have done. This is the last time, Master Shen, if there is a next time, I will definitely chop off your son's head with my own hands and hang it on the gate of the Shen family. The smile on Shen Xuecheng's face finally disappeared, and his eyes stared at Yi Xiaotian, and said in a cold tone, Are you threatening me? You dare to threaten me. Chapter, 195 Shen Xuecheng's eyes were full of murderous intent. A mere new student actually dared to threaten the dignified head of the Shen family. It's simply courting death. You can take it as a threat, or you can take it as a warning. Yi Xiaotian was not weak at all, looking straight at him without flinching. Master Shen, I will report this matter to the principal truthfully. Director he spoke up at the right time, interrupting the confrontation between the two. Why, Director he also thinks that my Shen family did this. Shen Xuecheng was very dissatisfied. Although Moda University is very impressive, in the final analysis, he sure is just a dean, and he is not qualified to represent Moda University. If the principal of Shanghai University was standing in front of him, he would naturally not dare to be so presumptuous. Director he said, some things don't depend on how you say it, but how you do it. You know best what family Master Shen has done. That's it for now, let's do our own thing. Shen Xuecheng immediately said, being self-sufficient is a good word. Today's young people are really amazing. I hope director he will be more optimistic. We will naturally take a good look at the students in our school. Head Shen doesn't need to worry about this. After He Sure finished speaking, he asked Yi Xiaotian to go back. Seeing that He Sure was taking Yi Xiaotian and the others to leave, Shen Xuecheng suddenly said, Director He, 
my son is also a student at Shanghai University. Those who abide by school rules and regulations are naturally the students of our school. He should drop these words and disappeared on the street. Director He, it's clear that the Shen family colluded with heretical organizations to do this. Why didn't the school come forward? Wang Hao said with an aggrieved face. If Yi Xiaotian's eyes hadn't stopped him, he would have gone crazy before. Yi Xiaotian is also waiting for an explanation from Director He on this matter. If it weren't for Director He's look before, he would definitely not let go of the Shen family so easily. There is no way. According to reliable information, the sea beast is coming ashore. Director He was also helpless, we need the power of the Shen family to resist the sea beast. The sea beast is coming ashore. Wang Hao exclaimed and looked at Yi Xiaotian. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan also looked at each other and started talking to each other in low voices. Yi Xiaotian said at this time, Director He, we have seen the news before, saying that the number of sea beasts coming ashore is increasing, but doesn't it mean that there will not be large-scale sea beasts coming ashore in the short term? Director He said, the news was reported like this before, just to avoid causing panic in the society, but in fact, in the last month of your summer camp. The frequency of sea beasts coming ashore is getting faster and faster, and the number is getting larger and larger. I can't hide it anymore. The Night Watch Corps and city guards alone are no longer enough to defend against the sea beasts coming ashore. Next, the awakened people in society will be summoned on a large scale to go out of the city to hunt sea beasts. Judging from the current situation, a big wave is inevitable. The highest decision-making meeting in the Magic City has decided to issue a recruitment order to the whole country. Perhaps by then, we, including you, will all go to the battlefield. Director He's tone was a little bleak. He knew only too well how many people would die in a beast wave. In fact, the scale of this beast wave is unprecedented, and whether the demon city base city can be saved is a question. What about other base cities? Yi Xiaotian asked. Director He's expression became more solemn and he said, it's not optimistic. Yi Xiaotian took a breath of cold air. He knew that when the sea beast came ashore, it would definitely not be just in the demon city. The coastline of Xia Kingdom is very long, and there are many base cities along the coast. To be precise, it's not just our Xia country, but also all the coastal countries around the world. Director he added. According to research, it should be that the alien beasts in the sea have evolved and have the ability to survive on land. Another reason is that there are too many alien beasts in the sea, and the sea is no longer enough for them to continue to reproduce, so they it needs to be developed ashore. Director He, we also want to go out and hunt sea beasts. Yi Xiaotian immediately expressed his stance. Director He said with a cautious face, you don't need to take risks now. I will notify you when necessary. No, Director He, you should know the strength of our team. It is no longer necessary to stay in the school. We need to leave the city early. Originally, I hoped to leave the city after the freshman challenge, but now that I have this opportunity, let's move forward. Freshman challenge. Director he muttered, I don't know if there will be a freshman challenge this year. What a pity for those generous rewards. Okay, I will report this matter to the principal. You are now the freshman of our Shanghai University. We cannot let you take risks easily. Director he said. This time, the Shen family and the heretical organization joined forces and sent out five B-level high-level awakened masters and dozens of C-level awakened masters, but all of them were wiped out. The strength of Yi Xiaotian's team completely shocked him. They need to re-evaluate the actual combat effectiveness of Yi Xiaotian's team before making a final decision. Such a talent must not be allowed to die young. This time, the Shen family made a big mistake. But as Shen Xueqing said, without direct evidence, no one dares to do anything to the Shen family. Especially at this critical moment. But if you don't dare to destroy the Shen family directly, is there no other way? There is a way. And there are a lot of them. But these need to be considered and implemented by higher levels. What he has to do now is to report this matter to the principal. Three days later. 
Brother Tian, I just got the news that the head of the Shen family has been called out of the city to fight. Huang Jia said to Yi Shao Tian excitedly. What's so strange about this? Now the sea beasts are rampant outside the city. Sooner or later, they will have to go out of the city to fight. Yi Shao Tian said calmly. Although director he promised him that he would give him an explanation. Huang Jia shook his head and said, it's different. This time, the higher-ups have designated how many masters the Shen family will send out of the city to fight. They are not allowed to return to the city until the sea beasts are driven away. What do you mean? Yi Xiao Tian was stunned. Huang Jia said mysteriously, the superiors are very dissatisfied with what the Shen family did. Although there is no direct evidence, the Shen family is also unlucky. They encountered a sea beast on the shore, so they used this as an excuse to weaken the strength of the Shen family. Yi Xiao Tian held his chin and pondered, this is not satisfying. I want to destroy the Shen family with my own hands. Is there any way? Dealing with these forces, Yi Xiao Tian has no advantage, so he can only ask Huang Jia for advice. Huang Jia shook his head and said, Brother Tian, there is no need for this now. When the sea beast tide is over, the Shen family will not be a noble family. It will be a matter of raising your hand to destroy them. I have decided. When I leave the city, I will kill the sea beasts and destroy the Shen family. Yi Xiao Tian stood up suddenly and said decisively. Chapter, 196 Although he was very angry, Yi Xiao Tian also knew that this was the best way to deal with it. Now is a time of trouble. The Shen family is a powerful force no matter what. Letting them die in the battle with the alien beasts is also a good use of their resources. And Yi Xiao Tian was still very confused in his heart, why would the top leaders deal with it so decisively this time? The Shen family is one of the four major families in the Magic City, and their power is deeply rooted. Without ironclad evidence, how could the Shen family surrender? It would be strange if they didn't make a big fuss. But from Huang Jie's words, the Shen family really surrendered and did not resist. Very strange. Of course, fighting outside the city does not mean that you will die outside the city. The Shen family has many masters, and if they form a team, they may not suffer much loss even if the sea beasts are driven back to the sea. So he still has to do this himself. He will kill the sea beasts that come ashore, and he will also have to kill his own enemies. What's more, the more alien beasts he kills, the greater the benefits he can get. He wanted to kill all the sea beasts in the sea by himself. Yi Xiao Tian also thought about whether to sneak into the Shen family. But in the last thought, he gave up. No matter what, the Shen family is an awakened family, and it is also a family in the base city of the Magic City. It is not clear how many hidden awakened masters the Shen family has. But there must be some. Therefore, leaving the city is the best choice, at least the masters of the Shen family are exposed. But after a trip outside the city, when he comes back, maybe he can ignore the Shen family. With his current strength, he can compete with ordinary S-level masters, but it is not enough to meet S-level high-level awakened masters. At the level of S-level awakeners, each small level is a difference of millions of attribute points. With the foundation of the Shen family, there must be one or two S-level high-level masters. Yi Xiao Tian is now at the initial level of A-level, with attribute points of about 150 0, 0. After various talents and skills are added, his actual combat power can be equivalent to 2 to 3 million attribute points. There is no way. Even if he has more amplification skills, it is useless if his basic attributes are poor. He can fight across a great realm, which is shocking. If you tell others, it will probably scare people to death. Because of the start of school, Magic City University has become lively again. Senior students have also returned to school. I really envy those freshmen. Yeah, I envy them too. Two months of summer camp, for S-level secret realms. Look at us, we only have one A-level secret realm, and it only lasts for half a month. The gap is too big. There's nothing we can do, they are in the same class as Haotian God. Speaking of Haotian God, there's really nothing to say, he has actually made it through the A-level promotion dungeon. Is that the point? 
the point is the super god evaluation. Yeah, from the arrival of the Samsara Tower to now, more than a hundred years, no one has ever been able to get a super god evaluation. Don't say A level promotion dungeons, even B level dungeons have never been super godly evaluated. Yeah, the last super god evaluation was the Sword God, he only got a super god evaluation for the C level promotion dungeon. It seems that the five Supremes only got a super god evaluation for the C level dungeon, and the ones behind are one level lower. I don't know how long the legend of Haokin God will continue. On campus, everyone is discussing how lucky the juniors and seniors of this class are. Then there is how powerful the great god Haokin is. It would be great if I could meet the great god Haokin. Countless students sighed in their hearts. The principal's office, rest area. The principal and he sure sat on the sofa, and the principal was making tea. Looking at his smooth movements, you can tell that he is a master of this. He poured a cup for he sure and invited him to drink tea, and then said, Director he, tell me what you want to say. Principal, he Xiao Tian wants to go out of the city to kill strange beasts. He sure said directly. The principal frowned, as if he was considering. He sure continued, Principal, Yi Xiaotian's strength is unquestionable, and his team is at least at the level of sea level awakeners. Continuing to stay in school will indeed hinder their growth. But it is very dangerous outside the city now. The principal reminded. If jade is not polished, it will not become a tool, and if people are not tempered, it will be difficult to become a talent. We all went through that stage. He sure said. The principal thought for a while before saying, what do you think is the probability that Yi Xiao Tian is Hao Tian? 80%, not to mention, even if Yi Xiao Tian is not Hao Tian, he will be the second Hao Tian. He sure added. The principal nodded. This time, he helped the Shen family, otherwise it would not be so smooth. The biggest reason is that he sure guessed that Yi Xiao Tian is Hao Tian. As for Hao Tian, it is estimated that no one on Blue Star does not know. After two months of awakening, he has been promoted to A-level Awakener. Even the five Supremes are not so abnormal. Although the environment is better now, it is not enough to achieve such an achievement. The only explanation is that Haokian's talent is very strong. In fact, he has not only one talent, but also a multi-talented Awakener. He sure listed Yi Xiaotian's achievements in front of the principal. In the end, the principal was convinced by him. This time the Shen family really went too far. If they are not given a warning and lesson, I am afraid that such things will continue to happen in the future. After all, there are other direct descendants of several major families in Shen Ao's team. Okay, I agree with this in principle, but safety must be guaranteed. Said the principal. He sure said, I will ask the school security department to send experts to protect them secretly. The principal nodded and said, that's fine. By the way, as long as there is no danger to life, you can't show up. Don't let Yi Xiao Tian know that someone is protecting him in secret, otherwise it won't play the role of training. Although I have experienced two months of summer camp. But to be honest, hunting monsters outside the city is completely different from summer camp. The degree of danger is completely different. The psychology of students is also completely different. In the summer camp, because of the protection of teachers, students will be more relaxed. No matter what, there are teachers behind them. But it's different outside the city. That's a real dangerous place. What's more, the situation is special now. Sea beasts have come ashore and made a big fuss. No one dares to guarantee that they will encounter powerful sea beasts. In this case, students will face great psychological pressure, but the effect will be better. A truly strong person must have a strong heart. If you can't even bear a little crisis pressure, you'd better go home and farm as soon as possible. On the first day of the new semester, Yi Xiao Tian received a notice from He Shure that he could leave the city. Go to the school security department to get a pass to leave the city. When to leave the city is up to you. Be careful. After giving two instructions, he hung up the phone. Chapter 197 in this world today, humans need a pass to leave the city. You can't leave the city just because you want to. 
After hanging up the phone, Yi Xiaotian took his teammates to the security department of Magic City University. The security department is not just a general security guard, but a real awakened master. Their biggest responsibility is to be responsible for the safety of Magic City University. Because in Magic City University, in addition to students, there are many scientific research institutions. These scientific research institutions involve many secrets about awakened people and aliens. So even during the summer camp, not too many people from the security department were sent to be responsible for the security of freshmen, but school teachers and some older students with stronger strength were chosen. On the way to the security department, there were a lot of discussions. There were too many news about Yi Xiaotian and his team. I don't know which one is true and which one is false. Some people even said that because of Yi Xiaotian, the Shen family of Magic City was sanctioned by the top leaders. It's nonsense. That's the Shen family. But it is obvious that no matter how outrageous it is, Yi Xiaotian and his team are really popular. In any case, the three beauties are beautiful. If Chang Xiaoxi didn't walk with Han Xuyao and the others, they would have a high rate of turning heads. Sun Yao, do you really not know how you survived? Han Xuyao didn't stick with Yi Xiaotian. She held Sun Yao with her left hand and Mu Bingyan with her right hand. The three top beauties walked in a row, and the rate of turning heads was absolutely 100%. They all wanted to stick their eyes on them. Yi Xiaotian and other male team members were envious and jealous. They wanted to replace them. Damn, with such teammates, the combat effectiveness can definitely be raised by several percentage points, and as for endurance, it can definitely be pulled to the maximum. Even if you are exhausted, you won't feel tired. If eyes can kill, Yi Xiaotian and his team would have been torn into pieces long ago. Classmate, wait a moment. Yi Xiaotian and his team were stopped. What do you want to do? Wang Hao stepped forward and said with a vigilant face. Classmate, don't be nervous, don't be nervous, we have no ill intentions. The five people on the other side were obviously in the same team. What do you want to do? Yi Xiaotian was not in a good mood either. Now they look at everyone with full of malice. Classmate, we really have no ill intentions. We came here just to get to know each other and make friends. The other party said. Yi Xiaotian stared at the other party tightly, with a look of disbelief on his face. The other party raised his hand and said, Classmate Yi Xiaotian, although you are their captain, they also have the freedom to make friends, right? As the saying goes, a gentleman loves a beautiful lady. As a man with normal orientation, it is normal for us to want to make friends with beautiful women, right? After the last incident of Sun Yao being deceived, the vigilance of Yi Xiaotian's team was raised to the highest level. Anyone who approaches them needs to be screened again and again. God knows if they are thinking of calculating them again. They are not interested in making friends with you. Yi Xiaotian refused coldly. No, 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 Xiaotian, you are just their captain, you can't make decisions for them. They are all human beings, they have the right to freedom, they want to make friends with whomever they want, it is their freedom, you can't deprive them of it. Even if you are their captain. The other party said seriously. I am not depriving them of the right to make friends, I just think they won't make friends with you. Yi Xiaotian said calmly. Why? Look at us, we are all good looking and have good character, we are definitely the first choice for dating. People can only understand each other after getting along, we can exchange contact information first, and then deepen our understanding of each other. When you really get to know us, you will definitely know the personality charm of the five Yenzu of Magic City University. The other party was very angry. That's right, Yi Xiaotian, you are doing it wrong. Dear juniors, ask around about the character of our Magic City University five Yenzu team. That's right, ask around the school, our Magic City University 5 Yenzu team is definitely the most popular team. This is not just because we are handsome, but also based on our talent and character. Yi Xiaotian seemed to have poked a hornet's nest and was madly complained by the 5 Yenzu team. Ha ha ha, I am dying of laughter, 5 Yenzu team, you are simply losing the face of our Magic City University geniuses. Just as the people of the 5 Yenzu team were complaining, another 5-man team came over. 
Dear beauties, we are the Warcraft team, look at my muscles, I will give you a chance to make friends with us. The five big guys came over and showed their strong arms. The arms are thicker than the girl's thighs, the biceps are constantly beating, and the air is full of hormones. Yi Xiaoqian's head is full of black lines. Damn, are all the geniuses of Magic City University mentally ill? First, the five Yenzu almost made him laugh, and now these five monsters are even more speechless. How many dishes? If there was only one peanut, he wouldn't drink like this. Okay, get out of the way, don't waste our time. Yi Xiaotian didn't want to talk to these guys anymore, thinking that they would lower his IQ. Alas, you have no sense of humor. By the way, where are you going? We are on the way. The captain of Wu Yenzu said. Yi Xiaotian was confused. You don't even know where we are going, and you dare to say we are on the way. We are not on the way. Yi Xiaotian said. No, we are definitely on the way, as long as you tell us the destination. The captain of Wu Yenzu said. Yes, we are definitely on the way. The leader of the Warcraft team slapped his chest loudly, and his eyes kept sweeping across Han Shuyao and Mu Binyan's faces. But seeing that several beauties were chatting by themselves and didn't pay attention to them, I was a little depressed. I have performed so hard, but you are so disrespectful. Do I have to break the ground to attract their attention? But? It's a bit tangled. The school has given them many warnings for breaking the ground frequently. No matter what, for the sake of sexual happiness in the second half of my life, I will accept the punishment from the school. Boom! The captain of the Warcraft team stomped the ground, as if a tank had fallen from the sky. The ground around him was shaking a little. Yi Xiaotian widened his eyes. What the hell, is he going to move? Han Xuyao and the others finally noticed this. Ladies, I am the captain of the Warcraft team, Demon De. These are my brothers, Demon 2, Demon 2, Demon 4, and Demon V. Seeing that Han Xuyao and the others finally noticed him, the captain of the Warcraft team quickly introduced himself with a fist. Demon De, you destroyed the school facilities again. At this moment, an angry roar resounded throughout the campus. Chapter 198 A roar shook the world, and the whole campus was about to boil. The Warcraft team has done something weird again. Oh, it was the Demon University who destroyed the school facilities again, so it's okay. There are always a few times in a semester, unless they are not in school. But I didn't expect that on the first day of the new semester, this guy would cause trouble again. The originally proud face of the Demon University collapsed, and then he drooped his head and took his team to the office building. They are familiar with this matter and know where to deal with it. Seeing this, the people of the Wu Yenzu team no longer wanted to make friends. They left a sentence, let's talk next time, and left in a hurry. Yi Xiaotian and his group came to the security department, where they met an acquaintance, Zhao Jinjie. He was the person in charge of the temporary training camp. Zhao Jinjie was very emotional when he saw Yi Xiaotian again. When they first met, Yi Xiaotian was just an awakening novice. But now, this person's reputation has overshadowed him. He also heard about what happened a few days ago. He was full of admiration for Yi Xiaotian's strength. Xiao Tian, no matter what, be careful. But it won't be long before we go out of the city to fight against the sea beasts. Zhao Xinjie said. Your security department members are also going out of the city to fight. Yi Xiao Tian was a little surprised. The security department has a heavy responsibility and usually does not leave the school. Zhao Xinjie said, there is no way. This time the sea beasts are coming fiercely. When the nest is overturned, how can the eggs be safe? Yi Xiao Tian nodded to show that he understood. Take care of each other. Brother Tian, are we going out of the city today? On the way back, Wang Hao said excitedly. Going out of the city to fight is so exciting. Going out of the city to hunt strange beasts is dangerous, but the rewards are also the greatest. This way is also the most important way for awakeners to advance. The secret realm is good, but the opportunity is rare. Although the reincarnation copy is safe, the rewards are meager. But following Brother Tian, 
there is definitely no danger, and the rewards are definitely great. Let's go tomorrow. Today, everyone will enter the reincarnation world and make up for the skills that will be used later. This time, the battle outside the city is different from the past, so we need to be more fully prepared. Sun Yao, you are the most critical, so in addition to skills, you must also prepare some pills to restore mental strength. Yi Xiao Tian reminded everyone. Sun Yao nodded and said, I know, Brother Tian. Yi Xiao Tian had reminded them before that after being promoted to sea level awakeners, they should keep more reincarnation points in case of emergency. But to be honest, during this period of time, the attribute points of the team members were basically obtained by killing monsters. So everyone has accumulated a lot of reincarnation points, just waiting for this moment. There are too many surprises in the battle outside the city. The enemy is unknown, so everyone must be armed. No matter how strong Yi Xiao Tian is, he can't be comprehensive. He himself is also going to go to the Awakener Association. There are many things he needs to consult. His strength is growing too fast, and the accumulation is insufficient, so he can't exert all his strength at all. So he needs to consult. He is now an A-level Awakener, but his means of dealing with enemies are still at the stage of low-level Awakeners. He needs to learn the means of dealing with enemies of high-level Awakeners. Generally speaking, it takes more than 20 years for an Awakening novice to become an A-level Awakener, even if he has good talent. But what about him? It's only a few months. Samsara World, Awakener Association. Deacon Wu, who is responsible for communicating with Yi Xiao Tian, has been very bored recently. Because Yi Xiao Tian hasn't come to him for a long time. Of course, Yi Xiao Tian also needs to make up for his various combat skills and auxiliary skills. With his talent, there are too many skills to learn. He has very few real combat skills now, and he only has basic swordsmanship as a warrior, which is too lagging. As for supernatural spells, there are only a few, and their levels are not high. But he prefers the warrior's fighting style, so he plans to make up for some warrior's combat skills this time. Weapon skills are one aspect, and we also have to consider the situation if there are no weapons. After some instructions, Yi Xiao Tian and his party entered the Samsara world. Brother Tian, I'll go with you. Han Xuyao naturally wanted to follow Yi Xiao Tian. However, Yi Xiao Tian refused, Xu Yao, you go with Sun Yao and Bing Yan to find supernatural spells, Hao Zi and Xiao Si go to find warrior skills, Fatty, you follow Xu Yao and the others. I still have some things to do. After I finish my work, I will go back to rest and leave the city tomorrow. Han Xu Yao was very unhappy when she heard it. But if Yi Xiao Tian said he had something to do, she would not insist on it. In this regard, she was still very sensible. After they all left, Yi Xiao Tian went directly to the Awakener Association. Deacon Wu was so excited that he almost jumped up when he saw Yi Xiao Tian coming. He was in his forties, and he was not calm sometimes. Deacon Wu, this time I came here to ask for advice. Yi Xiao Tian said very politely. Deacon Wu hurriedly said, I dare not, Lord Hao Tian, just tell me directly if you have anything to say. He really didn't dare. When Yi Xiao Tian was still an awakening novice, he was a B-level awakener. Now Yi Xiao Tian has surpassed him, but he is still at B-level, and his realm is very stable. So facing a big guy like Yi Xiao Tian, it is never too careful. It's too late to cling to such a big boss. Recently, countless people in the association want to replace his work. If he was not the only one in the entire Awakener Association who could contact Yi Xiao Tian, he would have been replaced long ago. Yi Xiao Tian didn't waste any words and expressed his doubts. Don't worry, sir. This is very upright. You see, I am already 65 this year, but I am still only a B-level Awakener, but you have only awakened for a few months and you are already an A-level Awakener. Your current situation is a typical case of strength growing too fast and being unable to digest. Then what should I do now? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Deacon Wu said, In fact, I have already prepared it a long time ago, but I haven't seen you for a while, so I can't give it to you. After speaking, Deacon Wu took out a book and handed it to Yi Xiao Tian. Sir, this is specially prepared for you. Deacon Wu said here, 
and suddenly whispered, it is said that it was prepared by Lord Sword God himself. The Complete Book of Awakeners Yi Xiao Tian was shocked and took the book and started to read it. It is very comprehensive, from awakening novices to skill configurations at various stages. Deacon Wu did not disturb him and waited quietly. The one in front of him is the sixth supreme recognized by mankind. And he will definitely become the strongest supreme in the future. Now build a good relationship, and the future is promising. A few hours later, Yi Xiao Tian finally woke up, and he finally had a clear idea in his mind. He knew that A-level awakeners were definitely not that simple. Only after reading the content of the book did he realize that what he knew was only the most superficial. This book can make up for his last shortcomings. Chapter, 199 The East Gate of the Demon City Base City The city guards control the gate, and not everyone can go out. Only those with a pass can go out through the gate. Yi Xiaotian's team came to the gate, and after verifying the pass, the captain of the city guard waved and let them go. During this period, because sea beasts came ashore, more and more awakened people went out of the city to hunt monsters. But there are very few people like Yi Xiaotian who go out of the city to hunt monsters. They still admire Yi Xiaotian's courage. I hope you can return safely. The captain of the city guard personally sent them out of the gate. Thank you. Yi Xiaotian thanked, and then led his teammates to the vast wilderness. Just when they left the city, many people got the news. Especially the Shen family. The current head of the Shen family has taken people out of the city, and the elder of the Shen family is in charge of the affairs of the Shen family on his behalf. He got the news that Yi Xiaotian and his team went out of the city, and immediately sent someone to notify the head of the family Shen Xuecheng. East China Sea Fortress This is a fortress built between the base city of Magic City and the East China Sea. It is the first and last line of defense against the invasion of sea beasts. The awakened ones who go out of the city to hunt sea beasts will come here as soon as possible. The people of the Shen family are also here. Shen Xueqing is also here, but many of the Shen family have already left the East China Sea Fortress and went to the front line to kill sea beasts. As the head of the family, Shen Xueqing naturally does not need to take risks personally, unless all the people in their Shen family have died. Shen Xueqing naturally hates Yi Xiaotian very much. Of course, in the heart of the head of the Shen family, there is another thing that he hates, that is, the heretic organization. It is really useless. They supported two B-level high-level awakened strongmen, but they still failed. He even suspected that the heretic organization was deliberately messing with him. After receiving the message from the family, Shen Xueqing was so excited that he almost jumped up. Pass the order down, let us in the fortress pay full attention to Yi Xiaotian, and report immediately if there is any news about him. Shen Xueqing conveyed his order to his men. Yi Xiaotian, I really didn't expect that you would seek death yourself. Shen Xueqing felt better after being frustrated. Originally, he thought that if he pushed the matter onto the two unlucky guys, Yi Xiaotian would have no way to deal with him. Even if Magic City University values Yi Xiaotian, so what? Their Shen family is not something that Magic City University can control whenever it wants. But he never expected that after an order from the top came down, the Shen family did not discipline them strictly, and there was a case of collusion between their men and heretics. The situation was very serious and the impact was extremely bad, so he was asked to take the masters of the Shen family out of the city to resist the invasion of sea beasts. What the hell? Why did it have to be their Shen family? Why don't other families have such a task? Well, even if other families have such a task. But what do you mean by clearly indicating how many masters to bring? Awakeners of various levels, and the number, are clearly marked, and no one can be missing. Shen Xueqing was not happy at first. Why? Just because of a lack of discipline. Even the Magic City Defense Committee does not have such power. But in the end, I found out that this matter was ordered by the Supreme Defense Committee of Xia Country. Shen Xueqing even asked an acquaintance of the Supreme Committee to inquire about it. He heard that this matter was ordered by the Supreme Sword God himself. 
The original words were that if it were not for the invasion of sea beasts, there would be no need for the Shen family to be there. Shen Xuecheng was almost scared silly. He thought there would be no chance for revenge. But unexpectedly, Yi Xiaotian and his team ran out of the city so quickly. In the magic city Bay City, they naturally had no chance. But out of the city, that's another story. Out of the city, there are many crises. Here, no one can protect you. Even if it's the Supreme Committee, what's wrong? Even if it's the Supreme Sword God, what's wrong? People died outside the city, and it has nothing to do with my Shin family. The last incident can be said to be due to their Shin family's lack of discipline. But this is outside the city, and it has nothing to do with my Shin family, right? Yi Xiaotian didn't know that he had just left the city and was being targeted again. According to the map, head towards the East China Sea Fortress. The area between the East China Sea Fortress and the Magic City Base City is a buffer zone. Although there are strange beasts, there are not many of them. As long as the sea beasts don't break through the defense line of the East China Sea Fortress, there will be no problem for the Magic City Base City. But now, the sea beasts are getting closer and closer to the East China Sea Fortress. If this continues, the sea beasts will break through the East China Sea Fortress as soon as possible, and then drive straight in and hit the front of the Magic City Bay City. So the East China Sea Fortress must not be lost. Fortunately, the East China Sea Fortress is still quite solid under the defense of the awakened people in the Magic City Bay City. Didn't they say that the Magic City Bay City is very dangerous? Isn't this a rumor? Wang Hao was immediately unhappy after hearing about these situations. He thought that the fight at the East China Sea Fortress was very fierce. As a result, this is it. He, Wang Hao, is going to be the role of turning the tide. From what you said, the Sea Beast hasn't even reached the East China Sea Fortress yet, and the Magic City Base City is even safer. This is nonsense. Wang Hao looked indignant. Huang Jia said, Brother Hao, it seems that the Magic City Base City is indeed very safe now. But the Sea Beasts have been developing for hundreds of years. God knows how many sea beasts there are in the East China Sea and how powerful they are. Once the sea beasts really come ashore on a large scale, how many sea beasts do you think will come ashore in the short term? Wang Hao shook his head and said, How do I know, but no matter how long it takes, the Magic City Base City is full of masters, there will definitely be no problem. The Magic City Base City is indeed full of masters, but the sea beasts in the sea may also be full of masters. At our level, we can't get in touch with a lot of core information. But I guess Director He and his team must know more than us. Huang Jia said. Yi Xiaotian suddenly said, Fatty, do you mean that Director He and his team know the situation in the sea? Huang Jia said, Brother Tian, that's what I mean. Yi Xiaotian understood. They are just students, and their news channels are very limited. Either TV news or the internet. But the news released by these two channels are all filtered news. If you want to get first-hand information, you must have other channels. Yi Xiaotian could ask Director He. But since the other party didn't tell him, he didn't bother to ask. Anyway, if the sky falls, there are tall people to hold it up. His mission is to lead his team to kill alien beasts and improve their strength. When one day he is strong enough, he can not only beat the sea beasts back to the sea, but also kill them directly in the sea. The predecessors can beat the aliens back to the alien space, so why can't we? Chapter, 200 At the East China Sea Fortress, Yi Xiaotian and his party arrived here without any surprises. This disappointed Wang Hao, who was preparing to go out of the city to fight. The East China Sea Fortress is very large, like an alternative Great Wall. Walking into this fortress, Yi Xiaotian's first feeling was the weight of history. The mottled and old bloodstains on the city wall could be seen that there had been fierce battles here. Whether it is the outer city or the inner city, there are traces of this. Everyone in the team fell silent. Even the most active Wang Hao and Huang Jia fell silent at this time. This fortress is responsible for the security of tens of millions of people in the Magic City Base City. It is the first and last line of defense for the Magic City Base City. 
I only heard about the fortress before, but now I can see it with my own eyes. Huang Jia said with emotion. I have heard before that the base city of Xia Kingdom, the magical capital, is second only to Kyoto. With a population of tens of millions, it can be said to be a thorn in the side of the alien race. Mu Bingyan suddenly interjected. But isn't Xia Fortress facing the sea? Did the foreign races also come from the sea in the past? Han Xuyao asked doubtfully. Seeing that Mu Bingyan didn't speak, Huang Jia explained, that's not true. In fact, the East China Sea Fortress does not just open to the sea. It actually surrounds almost half of the Magic City Base City. Then how big is this project? Han Xuyao sighed. Huang Jia said, there is no way. In the past, our human race's personal strength was very weak, so we could only use other facilities to resist the invasion of alien races. Actually, at the beginning, many thermal weapons were installed in this East China Sea Fortress, but they were all dismantled later. That's it. Yi Xiaotian suddenly realized. In fact, this kind of protective buildings have been built outside many large base cities around the world to minimize the losses of the human race as much as possible. But you have also studied history. Our human race was almost enslaved by alien races. Huang Jia was very lucky that his ancestors used their blood and wisdom to preserve the civilization and fire of the human race. This kind of thing will never happen again in the future. Now our human race has stood up again. Yi Xiaotian said solemnly. Yes, our human race has stood up now, but now a big crisis has come again. Four of the five supreme beings went to the foreign battlefield to sit down and suppress the frontline battlefield. Now the sea beasts are coming again. I heard that there is no peace along the coast of our country. Huang Jia said in a low voice. As the team's information manager, he naturally knows this common sense information very well. Yi Xiaotian's expression also became serious. Let's go, let's go find our senior first, director he told us. Yi Xiaotian said. Before Yi Xiaotian and the others left the school, director he told them that after arriving at the East China Sea Fortress, they should first find outstanding graduates from Magic City University. Wang Ju, a well-known alumnus of Moda University, has graduated for more than 30 years. Now he is regarded as a big boss in the East China Sea Fortress of Shanghai University. Director he asked Yi Xiaotian and the others to find him, just to make Yi Xiaotian and the others go smoothly in the East China Sea Fortress. Wang Ju will have a headache now. In his opinion, it is a ridiculous thing for first-year students to go out of the city to hunt strange beasts. And coming to the most dangerous Donghai Fortress is just a joke. At this time, my subordinate came to report that there were several students outside the door asking to see him. Wang Ju rubbed his forehead and sent a few students over at this time. Wouldn't this cause trouble for him? The battle outside the East China Sea Fortress is now fierce. I don't know when the sea monster may hit the fortress wall. This is not a good time to come here for vacation. Wang Ju asked someone to bring Yi Xiaotian and others in. I've met Senior. Yi Xiaotian and his group saluted Wang Ju. Wang Ju waved his hand and said, You're welcome, they all came from the same university. After all, I am your senior brother. I've met senior brother. Several people followed suit and called him again. Wang Ju was stunned for a moment, I just said casually, why are you still serious? After letting Yi Xiaotian and the others sit down, Wang Ju said again, Director he has told me everything about you, but I don't think it is a wise choice for you to come to the East China Sea Fortress at this time. Yi Xiaotian said, Senior brother, how can we see him? Wang Ju said, The sea beast's attack is very fierce now, and it is getting stronger day by day. Listen to my senior brother's advice and go back. Yi Xiaotian said, Senior brother, we are here to kill sea beasts. Wang Ju looked depressed. I have already made it so clear, why can't you understand? Do you have to let me put it bluntly? The person who can make director he personally call and ask him to take care of him must have an unusual background. For this kind of students, if they were in the past, it wouldn't matter. At most, you could just send a few people to let them walk around and then send them back. But now, there is almost no one left to fight, 
so there is no one left to hang out with Yi Xiaotian and the others. The leaders of the East China Sea Fortress were already preparing to discuss and ask for help from the Magic City Defense Committee. Juniors and juniors, let me tell you the truth, the East China Sea Fortress is very dangerous right now. Maybe tomorrow, sea beasts will attack the fortress. Wang Ju said again. Yi Xiaotian said, Senior, don't worry, we will protect ourselves. The reason why I came to see you is because Director He has told us that we will leave the fortress immediately and go to the front line to hunt sea beasts. Wang Ju was stunned and said, You want to leave the fortress immediately to hunt sea beasts? Yes. Yi Xiaotian replied. Aren't you kidding me? Wang Ju almost felt that Yi Xiaotian was crazy. I've told you so clearly, but you still want to go out and find death. Director He, Director He, you, an elite in this life, how could you do such a stupid thing in this life? When He sure called him, he didn't say much. He just told him that a new team was coming to the East China Sea Fortress. Let him take care of it. Nothing else was said about the strength of Yi Xiaotian's team. He sure sway felt that there was no need to say much about this kind of thing. As long as Yi Xiaotian and the others went out to hunt sea beasts, Wang Ju would naturally know about it. But the problem now is that Wang Ju doesn't dare to let them out at all. If something happened, how would he explain it to him? On the other side, Shen Xuecheng also received news that Yi Xiaotian and the others had entered the East China Sea Fortress. You mean they went directly to Wang Ju? Shen Xuecheng asked his men. The subordinate replied, Yes, master, after they entered the fortress, they went directly to Wang Ju's home. Shen Xuecheng's face was gloomy, what the hell, when you get here, you actually use your power for personal gain. It's really abominable. Continue to keep an eye on them. Once they leave the fortress, report immediately. Shen Xuecheng ordered. Master, will they really leave the fortress? The subordinate asked. Shen Xuecheng said solemnly, it will definitely happen. Chapter 201 Yi Xiaotian didn't want to stay in the East China Sea Fortress any longer. He wanted to leave the fortress immediately and hunt sea beasts. They are here to improve their strength, not to enjoy life. Wang Ju's face was shaped into the word. At this time, how could he have anyone to protect these aristocratic families? Then, he had to call back one of his right-hand assistants, Xiao Liang. Xiao Liang was very depressed when he received the order. He was going to kill Hard now and it was a good opportunity to improve his attributes. Why did he call him back? Sir. Xiao Liang was depressed, but he still didn't forget the proper etiquette. But his tone was full of resentment. Wang Ju was also helpless and could only say, Xiao Liang, these are sent by Director He of the school to help us. I will send them to your team. Xiao Liang looked confused. These guys look like new recruits. Have they never seen the world when they bully me? Sir, are you kidding me? Xiao Liang almost jumped up and shouted angrily. We are short of people now, and what we need is those who can truly fight. You brought a few freshmen here, what are you going to do? Is this here to help or to hinder? Sir, we are not short of people there, why don't you send them to the second team and the third team? Xiao Liang said sincerely. I heard that the second and third teams are extremely short of players. As the captain of the first team, I naturally have to help them think more about it. Wang Ju rolled his eyes, I believe you, you are such a loser. Okay, this is a military order. I will consider it again with the second team and the third team. If you ask for people from the base city, they will leave it to you. After saying that, he gave Xiao Liang a look that you know. Xiao Liang wanted to say that I didn't understand. But facing Wang Ju's threatening eyes, Xiao Liang was scared. It felt like a dead fly was stuck in his throat, and he was suffocating. The military order had been issued, and he could only hold his nose and admit it. With Yi Xiaotian and his party, Xiao Liang felt heavy in his heart. The great situation might be ruined by the arrival of these guys. Although now a large number of sea beasts have come ashore. But to be honest, it is a good thing for them. After all, the sea beasts coming ashore now are all below B level. With their strength, 
killing as many sea beasts as they come is the best way to earn attribute points. They don't know when the class A sea beast will come ashore. But it is possible that when the A-level sea beasts come ashore, their strength will be enough to sweep away the A-level sea beasts. Then there's the S-class. It's wonderful to think about it. But now, all the beauty has been broken. Xiao Yang felt his scalp go numb at the thought of protecting the seven freshmen among the sea beasts. The members of their team are all masters among the awakened ones. They also have a tacit understanding with each other and can cooperate well. But the arrival of Yi Xiaotian and others not only broke this tacit understanding. A lot of energy must be allocated to ensure their safety. This is a military order. Had to comply. But their attitude towards Yi Xiaotian and the others was not that good. Are you freshmen? Xiao Yang asked Yi Xiaotian on the way to the first team. Although there are so many beauties in this team. But Xiao Yang was not interested at all. For an awakened person, strength is the most important thing. As for women, they would only affect the speed at which he draws his sword. The word sex has a knife on its head. I didn't expect that Xiao Yang would become someone else's nanny one day. It was so fucked up. Soon, the first team station arrived. The air was filled with the smell of blood. Boss, what did Captain Wang ask you to do? Have additional personnel arrived? As soon as Xiao Yang appeared in the camp, someone came to greet him. As soon as he finished speaking, he saw Yi Xiaotian and others following behind. Is this a newcomer? Looking at the young faces, the corners of the other person's mouth twitched. He pulled Xiao Yang aside and said, Boss, what's going on? Didn't you say that there are experts to supplement? Why are there so many rookies here? Xiao Yang looked at his subordinate Wei Ling and said helplessly, This is a military order from your lord. Our juniors are here to practice. FCK. Wei Ling couldn't help but swore and said in a broken voice, Boss, don't you know what the situation is now? Where do we have the extra energy to protect them? Xiao Yang said, This is a military order. Do you want to disobey it? Although they are all from Shanghai University, they are also members of the Night Watch Corps. So they are all soldiers. Soldiers have a duty to obey orders. A large part of the reason why the Blue Star human race was able to drive the alien race back to the alien space plane was due to military orders. This is not the case with foreign races. Thinking of constant internal fighting among them, a lot of strength is consumed. So in the end we could only retreat to a different space. However, it is said that the recent fighting there seems to be subsided, and there are signs that the various races in the different space have begun to join forces to invade Blue Star. Only then did the four supreme powerhouses go to the frontline battlefield at the border between another space and Blue Star. The purpose is to suppress the invasion of alien races. Military orders are the foundation for the strength of many Blue Star legions. So when Wei Ling heard the word military order, no matter how dissatisfied he was, he had to swallow it. What should we do now? The sea beasts are attacking again and again, and we simply don't have any extra manpower to protect them. Wei Ling reminded. Xiao Yang has been thinking about this problem since he came out of the East China Sea Fortress. Let them stay in the camp first, it's at least safer here. Xiao Yang thought of a compromise. As long as Yi Xiaotian and his men are not allowed to rush to the front line of the battlefield, there shouldn't be too many problems. After all, the camp is their logistics base and still has a certain degree of defense. How is the battle situation on the front line? Xiao Yang asked Wei Ling again. Wei Ling said solemnly, It's okay now, we can still withstand it, but now the attacks of sea beasts are becoming more and more frequent, and our human physical strength can't stand it. Xiao Yang stroked his forehead with his hand, and it was raining all night. The continuous fighting has caused his team members to be physically and mentally exhausted. This is why they asked for help from the base city. The strength of the sea beasts is not strong, but there are too many of them. It consumed too much of their physical strength and energy. Both of these things need time to recover. After continuous high load operations, his players need to rest. But now, without substitutes, how can they rest? 
they can only continue to persevere. Captain Xiao, we want to go to the front line. Yi Xiao Tian is very sharp-eyed and sharp-eared, so he heard every word of the conversation between Xiao Liang and Wei Ling. Obviously, the situation on the front line is not optimistic now. Then their arrival added trouble to Xiao Liang's team. At least, in the eyes of Xiao Liang and Wei Ling, they are here to make trouble. Of course, Wang Ju also thought so before. Now, they need to use their strength to tell Xiao Liang and Wei Ling that they are not here to make trouble, but to help. Chapter, 202 Don't make trouble. Wei Ling replied rudely. Stay in the camp honestly and don't go anywhere. We don't have extra people to protect you now. Xiao Liang was concerned about Wang Ju's face, and Wei Ling was in no mood to pamper these family children. Yi Xiao Tian said coldly, I say again, we are not here for vacation, we are here to kill monsters, we don't need your protection. Puff. Wei Ling laughed, a mocking laugh. You don't need our protection, you can't move here. I really don't know if the school's senior executives are crazy. Let you come to the East Coast at this time, are they afraid that you won't die fast enough? Wei Ling didn't give any face at all, and complained crazily. From Yi Xiaotian and others to the leadership of Magic City University, they were all complained by him. Xiao Liang covered his face and didn't stop it. He wanted to stop it. After all, the school's senior executives were highly respected, so how could they complain casually? But today, they did a very unkind thing. If they had made such an arrangement a month ago, he would have had no objection. But not now. It would be fine if they didn't lighten their burden, but now they are actually adding burden to them. Is there anyone who does things this way? Do they really think that their night watch corps is their babysitter? Facing Wei Ling's crazy complaints, Yi Xiaotian was very calm. He also understood some of the current situation of the East China Sea Fortress from Wei Ling's complaints. He was a little confused. Since the front line was a little bit overwhelmed, why didn't the base city send people to support? I heard that the masters of the Shen family have arrived. In theory, other support forces should also be in place in time. However, these are things that the top leaders should consider. He has only one task now, that is, to kill alien beasts, kill more alien beasts. He didn't say much nonsense, turned around and said to his teammates, let's go. When he first came, he asked Xiao Liang which direction the sea beasts were attacking. No matter how much they say now, it's all nonsense. It's better to kill a sea beast. Only by letting Xiao Liang and Wei Ling see the process of them killing the alien beasts can it be the most convincing. Hey, where are you going? Don't make trouble for us, okay? Wei Ling shouted loudly. Xiao Liang stroked his forehead with his hand, with a headache. Hurry up and catch up. He shouted at Wei Ling. If Yi Xiao Tian and the others were injured because of Wei Ling, the guys behind them would probably make them pay for it. No matter what the reason was, it was not a reason for Wei Ling to hurt these nobles. This is reality. Take Shen Ao's actions for example. If he were an ordinary awakener, he would have died countless times. He is still alive and continues to study at Magic City University. What is he relying on? It is the Shen family behind him. The Shen family may be only a drop of water in the entire Xia country, or even the entire Blue Star Human Alliance. But this drop of water cannot affect the entire ocean. If the awakened family members are in danger, the consequences will be serious. So, this can be regarded as a tacit understanding among everyone. People who hold power in their hands always have privileges. This is especially true in the reincarnation world. When one day, Yi Xiaotian's power can surpass all living beings, even if he turns his hand to destroy the Shen family, no one dares to fart. Stop right there. Wei Ling was anxious. If he was punished for this, it would be too unfair for him. Isn't it just a few more complaints? This is unbearable. It is indeed a child of aristocratic family. Yi Xiaotian ignored him and continued to move forward. Wei Ling caught up and stopped them, saying, You can't leave the camp, it's too dangerous outside, if you get hurt, I can't afford it. 
Yi Xiaotian stretched out his hand and directly pushed Wei Ling away, saying, This has nothing to do with you, this is our own business. Wei Ling was stunned at first, he was pushed away, how could this be possible? Oh, it must be because I was careless. He turned around and stopped Yi Xiaotian and the others, saying, But Lord Wang has issued a military order. If we fail to protect you, we will definitely be punished. Yi Xiaotian rolled his eyes and said, However, if you can stop me, I will not leave the camp. If you can't stop me, you let us leave. After all, although Wei Ling is vicious, his starting point is still good. So Yi Xiaotian doesn't want to hurt him too much. After hearing this, Wei Ling's eyes lit up and said, Okay, I'll stand here. If you can push me away, I'll let you leave. Wei Ling is a warrior, and strength is his main attribute. If you want to push him away, it will be impossible to succeed even if these freshmen push him away until the new year. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, you prepare yourself, don't deny it when the time comes, and say you were careless. Wei Ling was shocked. This little guy is quite experienced. He prepared himself and said, Come on. Yi Xiaotian stretched out his hand and pushed him aside directly, and then continued to move forward. Wei Ling stumbled and almost fell. He stood aside, staring blankly at the group of people leaving, with a bewildered look on his face. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Wei Ling began to doubt his life. His worldview was completely shattered. He was just pushed aside by Yi Xiaotian without any hesitation. The surging power made him completely unable to resist. He was easily pushed aside. Moreover, he did not see Yi Xiaotian use auxiliary skills, and his teammates did not move. So in his opinion, Yi Xiaotian pushed him away with his own strength. He did not believe it. Stop! Wei Ling caught up again and stopped Yi Xiaotian and the others. What do you want to do again? Yi Xiaotian was a little impatient. I just want to kill the monster as soon as possible. Why is it so difficult? What did you do just now? Wei Ling said fiercely. Yi Xiaotian said, Stand here. Wei Ling's expression relaxed and stood still. Yi Xiaotian continued, Are you ready? Use your strongest strength to stand firm, I'm going to start pushing. Wei Ling was shocked. This is what he said. He quickly got ready again, Okay, come on. This time, he must take a good look at what weird means Yi Xiaotian used. Yi Xiaotian stretched out his hand and said, Is there nothing in my hand? Then he pushed directly. An unmatched force came, and Wei Ling's body was pushed aside involuntarily. Is this really? Snap! Wei Ling slapped himself directly, he wanted to make sure if he was dreaming. What is he doing? Want to use self-harm to stop us from leaving the camp? Wang Hao said in astonishment. Chapter 203. Wei Ling was almost going crazy. He couldn't say anything except impossible. Think about him, Wei Ling. It has been more than ten years since graduation. He worked hard to be promoted to B-level Awakener. And he is already a master at the level of captain of the Night Watch Corps. There are very few B-level Awakeners under him. Most of them are still C-level Awakeners. It is normal to be promoted after graduating from college for a few years or even ten years. The promotion model of Yi Xiaotian and his team members is completely impossible to copy. And in Wei Ling's cognition, there is definitely no such heaven-defying existence as Yi Xiaotian. Even the legendary five supreme beings of mankind did not have the promotion speed of Yi Xiaotian back then. It has just started school, and he can already crush him in strength. This is fucking unscientific. He caught up again and stopped Yi Xiaotian. Student Yi Xiaotian, tell me, how did you do it? He didn't believe that Yi Xiaotian really pushed him away with his strength. He must have used some means that he didn't know. Did you use a high-level secret treasure? Wei Ling asked again. Yi Xiaotian rolled his eyes and said, Captain Wei, I told you that our strength is not what you think. We are not here for vacation, but to kill strange beasts. But you don't believe it and insist that we are lying to you. Otherwise, how about this, you come with us and we kill a few sea beasts for you to see. 
Yi Xiaotian really has no other way to deal with a pure soldier like Wei Ling. Really hit and hurt the other party? Yi Xiaotian can't do this. But no matter how many times he pushed Wei Ling away, he would think it was fake. It's better to kill the sea beast directly, this won't be fake, right? It's impossible for the sea beast to act with them, right? Yi Xiaotian also knew that their strength improvement speed was a bit shocking. But there was no way, he could hide it before. But as his strength became stronger and stronger, there was no way to hide it anymore. At least it was impossible to hide it from everyone. For example, Wei Ling in front of him, Xiao Yang behind him, and Wang Ju in the East China Sea Fortress. These people can't hide anymore. And the small-scale exposure is also part of Yi Xiaotian's plan. As long as he doesn't attract all the attention of the aliens to him, there will be no problem. What he is afraid of is that the aliens will not care and directly send the top awakening masters to assassinate him. It's better to be careful than to be safe. Yi Xiaotian, who has died once, has to be cautious. When Wei Ling heard it, he immediately felt that it made sense. With him guarding by his side, there shouldn't be any accidents. But he can't go to a place with too many sea beasts. Let's find a place with only a few sea beasts for Yi Xiaotian and his team to show off. For some reason, Wei Ling's mentality has gradually leaned towards Yi Xiaotian and his team. But reason tells him that this is unlikely. It's too outrageous. There has never been such a record in history. Under the leadership of Wei Ling, the group continued to move forward and soon encountered several sea beasts, all of which were shrimp soldiers with D-level strength. Yi Xiaotian didn't even have to do it himself. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi rushed forward with their swords and killed several D-level shrimp soldiers in no time. Wei Ling was a little dumbfounded. Is this true? He carefully examined the bodies of the shrimp soldiers and it was indeed true. The killing was very straightforward, with one blow to death, without any drag. Until this moment, although Wei Ling couldn't figure it out, he had to believe that Yi Xiaotian and his men were not here for vacation. They really came to kill the monsters. This is without assistance, and a D-level sea beast can be killed with one blow. If assistance is used, even C-level sea beasts can be killed. Thinking of this, Wei Ling asked, Do you have any auxiliary psychics in your team? Yi Xiaotian replied, Our team is well equipped, with melee warriors, long-range psychics, and auxiliary psychics. Wei Ling nodded and said, That's good. Although your team is already very strong, this is the east coast, and powerful sea beasts may come ashore at any time. So you can hunt sea beasts, but you can't get too close to the coastline. It's best to follow the big team. Yi Xiaotian nodded to show that he understood. He was too lazy to waste words with Wei Ling. As long as they arrived at the battlefield, they had the final say on where to go. The group said goodbye to Wei Ling and continued to move forward again. Brother Tian, hurry up and call out the Phantom Martin. I miss her so much. Han Xuyao said to Yi Xiaotian. The Phantom Martin is a different species. Yi Xiaotian was afraid that others would miss her, so he kept her in the reincarnation space. Now he can call her out. The Fantasy Martin is so cute that not only Han Xuyao and Sun Yao like it, but also Mu Bing Yan, a cold woman, likes it very much. The Fantasy Martin in static state really hits the hearts of women. Commonly known as petting cats. As soon as the Fantasy Martin came out, it was snatched away by Han Xuyao. Yi Xiaotian said speechlessly, Xu Yao, we are here to kill strange beasts, not to play. It's okay, the Fantasy Martin can still help us kill the enemy. Han Xu Yao responded casually, then stretched out her hand and combed the Fantasy Martin's hair over and over again. Wow, little Fantasy Martin is beautiful again. Sun Yao also came close to Han Xu Yao and said exaggeratedly. Mu Bingyan nodded seriously indicating that she agreed with Sun Yao's words. Yi Xiaotian. No, which eye of yours saw that the Phantom Martin became beautiful again, isn't it the same? He shook his head and continued to move forward. Along the way, they encountered sporadic sea beasts. These should all be fish that slipped through the net. After killing them casually, they accelerated forward. 
Soon, the bloody smell became more intense, and the sound of fighting could be heard vaguely. Yi Xiaotian immediately said, Fatty, bless everyone's status. After saying that, he raised his staff and bless everyone with the required attributes. Seeing Yi Xiaotian take out the staff again, Sun Yao was thoughtful. These days, she has been thinking about her resurrection. From Han Xuyao and others' words, she knew that she had died once. But she was resurrected miraculously again. She asked Yi Xiaotian. According to him, it was the assistant of the heretic organization who resurrected her. And she was resurrected under his coercion. This explanation seems to be fine, but Sun Yao doesn't believe it. If the assistant of the heretic organization has such a magical skill, why doesn't he revive his teammates first? But Yi Xiaotian insisted that it was like this, and she had no choice. But in her heart, she was thinking that if she observed Yi Xiaotian more, she would definitely be able to discover his secret. I really didn't expect that in addition to amplifying the assistant, the captain would actually revive this kind of heaven-defying talent skill. Kill the enemy. The state blessing was completed, and a team of people walked towards the battlefield with high spirits. Chapter, 204 The Night Watch Corps, Wang Ju Brigade, and Shaoyang Squadron were fighting on the front line. However, their movements slowed down unnaturally. Because they were already very tired. The warriors' arms were sore from killing. The superpowers almost had no strength to lift their staffs. But they still couldn't retreat. Because behind them was the East China Sea Fortress, the last line of defense of the Magic City Base City was in their hands. So there was no retreat until death. It was said that the Base City was preparing to send support, and it was unknown when it would arrive. At this time, Yi Xiaotian and his seven people arrived. The people of Shaoyang Squadron were overjoyed, and the support finally came. When they saw the appearance of Yi Xiaotian and his seven people, they were stunned. There were even a few warriors who forgot that they were still fighting and were injured by the sea beasts. Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian said, Sun Yao, save people. Sun Yao didn't waste words, raised the staff, and cast a few healing spells, pulling the injured warriors back from the brink of death. They dared not be careless anymore and continued to fight. Haozi, Xiaozi, let's go forward. Xu Yao, Bing Yan, you protect Sun Yao and Huang Jia. Call us if there is any situation. After Yi Xiaotian gave his instructions, he rushed forward with a knife. The three of them rushed into the group of sea beasts with knives, one knife after another, like cutting melons and vegetables. What is a tiger entering a flock of sheep? This is it. The soldiers of Xiaoyang squadron were all stunned. Aren't they students? How can they be so fierce? Judging from their age, they are probably just promoted to college. How can they be so strong? This is unscientific. But the facts are in front of them, and they can't help but believe it. They were relieved in their hearts. In any case, with the addition of Yi Xiaotian and others, their pressure was greatly reduced. Especially Yi Xiaotian, who was very fierce. Before the battle knife, the knife energy was crisscrossed. Every swing of the knife killed several or even dozens of sea beasts. But in a short while, a large group of sea beasts in front of them were killed. Seniors, you take a break first, we will kill. Yi Xiaotian said loudly. Before he showed his strength, he would definitely be laughed at for saying such a thing. But now, no one dared to laugh at him. With the addition of Yi Xiaotian's powerful new force, the soldiers of Xiaoyang squadron completely relaxed. Yi Xiaotian is really too powerful. No, it's not just him. And the few people he brought are all very powerful. Needless to say, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi, although they are not as fast as Yi Xiaotian in killing monsters. But the two of them are like two Vajra war gods, standing in front, not letting a monster slip through their defense. Later, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan launched large-scale monster skills, and at least hundreds of monsters died under their monster skills every time. Where did this pervert come from? Are all the young people nowadays so unethical? But it's good. Finally, support has come. Long live the Magic City Defense Committee. They thought that Yi Xiaotian's team was a support team sent by the Magic City Defense Committee. 
with such strong support, what else do you need? Some soldiers who couldn't hold on, seeing that there was no danger, immediately fell to the ground and took the time to recover. Wei Ling first went back to the camp, and then was scolded by Xiao Liang. After leaving the camp, Wei Ling wiped the saliva on his forehead. He was really scolded. Then he went to the front line without stopping. He saw that his brothers were sitting on the ground to rest, while Yi Xiao Tian and his team were nowhere to be seen. Brothers, did you see a student team coming? Seven people, three men and four women. Wei Ling asked impatiently. After being scolded by Xiao Liang, his originally firm confidence was shaken again. Guardian, tell me honestly, where did Xiao Lao to find this top grade product? It's really amazing. A team leader at the same level as Wei Ling said with emotion. Wei Ling was shocked. He had seen this before. Where did they go? Wei Ling asked quickly. They killed their way to the front. It's really amazing. The team leader replied. Yes, it's really amazing. To be honest, I thought it was a group of students who came here for tourism. I thought so too. Who would have thought it was our reinforcements? I can't believe that the Magic City Defense Committee actually sent out such a team of young students. Wei Ling listened to everyone's discussion and was a little confused. Who told you that this was reinforcement? Although the reinforcements were already being prepared, they were not yet completed. Guards, look, those sea beasts in front were all killed by them. A soldier pointed to the empty sand hundreds of meters ahead and said to Wei Ling. Wei Ling looked over and saw that some were killed by knives and some were killed by thunder. The most amazing thing was that some were frozen to death. And the ice had not completely melted yet. Looking at the range covered by the strange art, it reached hundreds of meters, which is something that only a B-level awakener can achieve. In other words, the psychic who cast this freezing strange art is a B-level awakener. In other words, with the increase of auxiliary skills, her strength has reached B-level. And the range covered by the thunder power also reached hundreds of meters, which is also B-level. Wei Ling was almost going crazy. Yi Xiaotian and his team are just freshmen, but they have the strength of a B-level awakener. He thought of how Yi Xiaotian pushed him away several times. At that time, he guessed that Yi Xiaotian should have the strength of a B-level awakener. But at that time, he would never have thought that the strength of this team had reached B-level. Have these people who have practiced for more than ten years lived like dogs? At this moment, Wei Ling's mood was so complicated that it was difficult to calm down. Captain Wei, what's wrong with you? Everyone saw Wei Ling's face was dull and his eyes were lifeless, so they hurried to call him. Wei Ling came back to his senses and said, Nothing, by the way, you have a good rest, I'll go to the front to take a look. After that, Wei Ling walked forward quickly, he wanted to see it with his own eyes. Along the way, all he saw were the corpses of sea beasts all over the ground. Wei Ling's steps slowed down unconsciously. The expression on his face changed constantly. These guys didn't even deal with the corpses of the alien beasts. Is it because they can't fit in? Forget it, I'll send someone to deal with it later. What belongs to them is theirs, and no one can embezzle it. If he knew that the reason why Yi Xiaotian and his team didn't deal with the corpses was not because the reincarnation space couldn't accommodate them. But because the level of these strange beasts was too low, and Yi Xiaotian was too lazy to clean them up and waste time, I don't know what he would think. I don't know how long they walked. Wei Ling was numb. A few kilometers away, the battle was still going on. In front of this team with B-level strength per capita, these sea beasts below sea level were not a match at all. Occasionally, one or two B-level awakeners appeared, and they would be dealt with by Yi Xiaotian first. Efficiency is the first priority. Chapter, 205. Advancing all the way, they soon advanced several kilometers away, and they could see the sea level from afar. On the turbulent sea level, you can see shrimp soldiers and crab generals, as well as various fish-mutated sea beasts rushing to the shore. Looking at the endless sea beasts, Yi Xiaotian was excited and worried. Excited that they didn't have to worry about not having any strange beasts to kill. Worried about the safety of the Magic City Base City. 
According to the Night Watch soldiers, there is a channel to land in their direction, and there are also channels in other directions. There are several teams of soldiers guarding each direction, but they have been killing for a long time and are very tired. And there are more and more channels for sea beasts to land, and they now have no rotation personnel. If this continues, they will either die at the hands of sea beasts or die of exhaustion. He had heard Director He say before that the situation in the East China Sea was very serious. But I don't know why the support from the Magic City Base City has not arrived yet. If the sea beasts from every direction continue to pour in like this, without a rotation of awakeners, even if the Supreme Strongman comes, it is estimated that he will not be able to stop them. So Yi Xiao Tian has an idea, that is to kill back to the sea. See where these sea beasts come from. In the vast ocean, there is always a place where sea beasts originate. Yi Xiao Tian found Wei Ling behind him and called him over. Wei Ling felt a little uncomfortable. After all, he is also a senior. But when he thought of Yi Xiaotian's strength, this discomfort disappeared. You are very strong. I take back what I said before and apologize to you. Wei Ling faced the reality thoroughly. No matter how Yi Xiaotian and the others did it, they are masters anyway. Yi Xiaotian said, No, I have something to ask you, why is the situation here so critical, and the support from the Magic City has not arrived yet? If there was no signal here, Yi Xiaotian would have called Director He to ask. Wei Ling smiled bitterly and said, It would be nice if I knew the reason, but Captain Xiao said that the Magic City has been preparing, but the manpower has not yet gathered, so it has been delayed for a few days. Is this really the reason? Yi Xiaotian was a little unconvinced. There are no awakened warriors to rotate here. If no more people are sent over, the Night Watch Corps will definitely retreat to the East China Sea Fortress. By then, the alien beasts will have taken another step forward. Logically speaking, the Magic City Defense Committee should not be so short-sighted. Wei Ling said, anyway, this is the reason I know. I don't know what exactly happened. But if there is a change, it must be related to the heretic organization. Heretical organization? Yi Xiaotian was a little surprised. He didn't even think of the heretic organization. Is it really because of the heretic organization that the support from the magic city did not arrive? This question is unknown. He could only put away his doubts and said to Wei Ling, Captain Wei, we are going to go to the sea after we have cleaned up the sea beasts on the shore. Go to the sea. Wei Ling exclaimed. On the shore, he was not at ease, and going to the sea would make him even more uneasy. After all, Xiao Yang entrusted the safety of Yi Xiaotian and others to him. Although Yi Xiaotian proved their strength, being on the shore and going to the sea are two different things. What's more, no one knows what powerful sea beasts there are in the sea. No. Wei Ling refused decisively. You can stay on the shore, no matter which direction, it's okay. But I can't go to the sea, it's too dangerous, I can't explain to Captain Xiao. Wei Ling explained his helplessness again. Yi Xiaotian and Wei Ling were chatting here. But Wang Hao and Chang Xiaozi did not stop, and continued to hunt the beasts. Especially Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, they are simply great killers. First, Han Xuyao, a large-scale thunder magic went down, and hundreds of beasts died cleanly. Only black scorched earth was left on the ground, and green smoke was still rising. After Han Xuyao finished fighting, Mu Bingyan took over, and ice and snow covered a radius of hundreds of meters. With one round of attack by two people, they can clear a space of about one kilometer. The remaining scattered sea beasts were killed by Wang Hao and Chang Xiaozi, and they continued to advance. The low-level sea beasts were not afraid of death at all, and they continued to advance. They were completely a harvesting machine of attribute points. After reading it, Wei Ling explained again, Xiao Tian classmate, listen to my advice. Although your current fighting style is very fierce, you will not be able to hold on for a long time. If it is on the shore, you can retreat to the camp to rest, but what about in the sea? Yi Xiao Tian did not consider this problem. The whole team entered the sea together, which seemed a bit hasty. However, he did not have such concerns when he went into the sea alone. 
The most important thing is that he can use the method of adding points to restore strength and mental strength. This is the unique effect of his innate talent. Yi Xiaotian tried to ask Han Xuyao and Wang Hao, but they did not have such an effect. There is no record of this in the Awakening Encyclopedia given to him by Deacon Wu. So Yi Xiaotian believes that this is his unique ability. Of course, even if he could recover his strength and mental power, he couldn't keep killing endlessly. After all, a long battle consumes not only strength and mental power, but also fatigue of the soul. It takes time to recover. So even the strong ones of the level of the five supremes cannot fight forever. However, with the increase of attribute points, the strength can be reflected on the soul. The stronger the soul, the less tired it will be. So those strong men can fight for days and nights without any problem. Yi Xiaotian has not tried this ability. But there is one thing that he has an advantage that others do not have. That is, he can use his clone to fight. The main body can stand aside and watch the battle. In this way, he only consumes the power to maintain his innate skills. Of course, this method is most suitable for hunting monsters with relatively low strength. Even his clone cannot beat the powerful monster. Obviously, the current situation in the East China Sea meets his requirements. After a conversation with Wei Ling and recognizing the reality, Yi Xiaotian did not force it. After repeatedly assuring Wei Ling that he would not go into the sea, Wei Ling went back, and Yi Xiaotian's team continued to fight forward. At a certain moment, Yi Xiaotian cast an illusion to cover up the figure of the main body and entered the sea. The second soul stayed on the shore and continued to fight. The most important thing is to cut off the connection between the main body and the team. Otherwise, there will be countless attribute points inexplicably, and there is no way to explain it. Half an hour later. Hey, it seems that no sea beasts have come ashore, what's going on? Han Xuyao, who was ready to cast the great strange art again, was the first to discover this situation. Chapter, 206. It's okay. If there's nothing here, we can just change direction. Let's all take a rest here. Yi Xiaotian responded casually. Han Xuyao came to Yi Xiaotian and said, Brother Tian, are you worried about something? No. Yi Xiaotian was shocked and said calmly. Really? Han Xuyao didn't believe it. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Look at me, I'm fine, right? I'm just a little worried about the current situation of the East China Sea Fortress. Han Xuyao was relieved when she heard it. No wonder, she knew that Yi Xiaotian must have something on his mind. Otherwise, he wouldn't suddenly become like there was a sense of alienation between the two of them. This feeling is not the first time Han Xuyao has encountered. She had this feeling during the summer camp. But at that time, Han Xuyao didn't think much about it. But just now, when everyone sat down to rest, she just approached Yi Xiaotian. The other party was a little nervous, as if deliberately keeping a distance from her. Even, suddenly he stood up and walked to the beach. Although in the eyes of others, the two wanted to stay alone at the beach. But Han Xuyao noticed something wrong. However, Yi Xiaotian's remarks temporarily dispelled her doubts. Han Xuyao naturally leaned over and wanted to hold Yi Xiaotian's arm. Unexpectedly, the other party turned around and walked towards Wang Hao and the others, saying loudly, You have all rested, we have to go to another direction quickly. Brother Tian, we just sat down to rest. Wang Hao was confused, what happened? Yi Xiaotian said, almost, look at the captain of the guards, how long have they not rested? Rest while walking on the road. Wang Hao said speechlessly, brother, to restore physical and mental strength, you need to meditate and contemplate. Are you tired now? A grown man, are you embarrassed? Yi Xiaotian stared at him and said. Wang Hao shuddered and quickly stood up and said, not tired not tired at all. Although they fought for more than 10 kilometers and killed countless sea beasts. But to be honest, they really didn't fight for long, and they were far from tired now. For the soldiers like Wei Ling who have been guarding here for more than half a month, they dare not say they are tired. At the same time, Yi Xiaotian was a little anxious. It was getting harder and harder to hide. 
Han Xuyao had already noticed some clues, and it seemed that the boss had to find an opportunity to explain it to her. Although they were born from the same body, one soul and two bodies. But in the end, they were still two bodies and two independent thoughts. So every time he got along with Han Xuyao on behalf of the main body, he was very cautious, for fear of crossing the line. He had covered it up well before. It's just that this kind of thing will be exposed sooner or later. After all, Han Xuyao is the closest person to Yi Xiaotian. At this point, even Wang Hao didn't find anything unusual. At the urging of Yi Xiaotian, everyone set out again. His reasons were very justified, and no one had anything to say. Wang Hao, the only one who raised objections, was speechless after a few words from Yi Xiaotian. Only those who had been secretly observing Yi Xiaotian in the past few days noticed the abnormality between Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao. It seems that Yi Xiaotian is resisting Han Xuyao. What's going on? It seems that he didn't know when he came before. Did something happen in the process of killing the strange beast that she didn't know about? Sun Yao was a little distracted. Sun Yao, what's wrong with you? Mu Binyan walked side by side with Sun Yao, and then Sun Yao fell behind by two positions. Sun Yao reacted and hurried to catch up. Nothing, I thought of something. Sun Yao answered casually. Mu Binyan didn't care and asked casually, by the way, how is your grandma? Sun Yao heard this and said with a somewhat depressed look, she's fine, but many neighbors have been affected. Mu Binyan knew very well that this kind of thing was very common. The place where Sun Yao's grandma lived was, to put it bluntly, a slum. Most of the people living there were ordinary people, and even if they had awakened their talents, they were useless talents. In the eyes of the aristocratic families, the life and death of ordinary people was really not that important. What's more, this time it was the heretic organization that took action. It was good luck that the people in the nearby streets did not die. Otherwise, wherever the heretic organization passed, generally no one would be left alive. Mu Binyan knew very well that the reason why Sun Yao's grandma was fine was because they wanted to lead them over. So it was a fluke. I have taken my grandma to live near the school now. Sun Yao said. Mu Binyan also knew about this matter, and it was Yi Xiaotian who helped. Although Sun Yao had been through several summer camps and got a lot of money. But the one who got the most was still Yi Xiaotian. It wasn't that Yi Xiaotian didn't want to give them more. It was that they themselves didn't want to. Yi Xiaotian had taken care of them enough. People should be content. Sun Yao got nearly 20 million, which was originally a huge sum of money. However, it cost a lot to update the equipment and skills, and she would never use reincarnation points if she could solve it with money. So in the end, there was not enough money, so Yi Xiaotian had to lend it to her. The housing prices near Magic City University are absolutely sky-high. After all, there are so many experts in Magic City University, and the surrounding area is considered a safe area, so the housing prices are naturally high. Generally speaking, there is no demand for the house. For this reason, Yi Xiaotian made a special trip to find Yi Xiu. As the dean of teaching at Magic City University, he still has some face. Sun Yao bought a three-bedroom, two-living-room house and hired a nanny to take care of her grandmother. This will also allow her to work hard outside with peace of mind. For Yi Xiaotian, being able to solve the team members' worries will improve the overall strength of the team. This is a win-win situation. Mu Binyan looked at the Yi Xiaotian in front of him with complicated eyes, Hao Tian, where are you? Speaking of which, he hasn't seen Hao Tian for a long time. Because of the summer camp, he didn't go to brush the reincarnation dungeon again. The main reason is that their strength is not yet at home, so there is not much meaning in brushing the next reincarnation tower team dungeon. If you want to brush the dungeon with Hao Tian again, you can only break through to the B-level Awakener. It's just that for a B-level Awakener, the main attribute needs to break through 10, 0, 0 points, and the other physical attributes must also keep up. In this way, nearly 20, 0, 0 attribute points will be lost. Not enough. I hope that this trip to the East China Sea can achieve this goal. Mu Binyan's eyes are firm. In order to see Hao Tian again, she is also ready to fight. 
Next time, I must be braver. Mu Bingyan clenched her fists and cheered herself up in her heart. Bingyan, what's wrong with you? This time it was Sun Yao's turn to ask Mu Bingyan. Chapter 207 Huang Jia was alone and messy in the wind. Looking ahead, Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao were walking in the front, and Mu Bingyan and Sun Yao were leaning against each other and whispering. Behind them were Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi, and his good brother Hao Gu kept showing his courtesy to Chang Xiaosi. Only he was walking in the middle, alone and helpless. For a moment, a sense of sadness came over me. Should I also consider finding a girlfriend? At the very least, I have to break this situation and bring someone else in. No matter whether it's a man or a woman, as long as they can make a good couple. Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan can be together. Huang Jie suddenly shuddered, and that scene was so scary to think about. Wang Hao saw that his good friend looked wrong, and quickly asked, Fatty, what's wrong with you? Are you feeling uncomfortable? Oh, nothing. Fatty replied, and then took a few quick steps to Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan. Two beauties, what are you talking about? Can you take me with you? Although the fat man felt depressed, he would not disturb his good brother's love. Wang Hao was a little surprised and said, Xiao Shi, do you think the fat man is a little weird? Chang Xiaoxi rolled her eyes and said, no. Wang Hao was bored and stopped talking. Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan were chatting, and the fat man suddenly came over. Sun Yao said unhappily, can you also interfere in the affairs between girls? Are you a girl? The fat man said with a pretentious face, I can be one too. Ugh. Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan saw the fat man's expression and vomited directly. It was the first time they discovered that the fat man actually had such a side, which was too scary. What do you mean? Can't men be women's best friends? Your thinking is too narrow. You need to be more open-minded. The fat man emphasized. Get lost. Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan said in unison. The fat man sighed and said, I originally wanted to look to the bright moon, but the bright moon shines on the ditch. You have disappointed me so much. The two women were stunned. Hearing the movement behind, Han Shuyao turned around and said, What are you talking about? She was also a little depressed. She didn't know what was going on. She felt that Yi Xiaotian was a little resistant to her. Did she do something wrong? But after filtering the things that happened during this period, there was nothing unusual. She really wanted to ask Yi Xiaotian in person. But now the situation is special, so she can only bear it. At this time, the back of the team was very lively. She was about to join in. After hearing this, she immediately stepped back a few steps, gave up the seat next to Yi Xiaotian, and said, Fatty, go and chat with Brother Tian. The fat man was very surprised. The seat next to Brother Tian was always occupied by Han Shuyao. They were also very sensible and did not disturb them. Now Han Shuyao actually took the initiative to give up the seat. Is there a trick? Sister Shuyao, no need, I'm just a little bored, it's okay, I'll have something to do soon. The fat man shook his head wisely. Han Shuyao said with a smile, just go if I tell you to, why are you talking so much nonsense? Huan Jie hurried to Yi Xiaotian's side and said, Brother Tian, what's the matter? Are you in conflict with Sister Shuyao? Yi Xiaotian was relieved when he saw Huang Jie coming over, and said, No, I just feel a little heavy. Heavy what? Huang Jie said puzzledly. Fatty, how long do you think the East China Sea Fortress can last? Yi Xiaotian always finds trouble, and always has to find an excuse, otherwise something will really happen. Huang Jie heard it and immediately understood that it was worried about this, so there was no problem. Brother Tian, you don't have to worry, isn't there no sea beast coming ashore now? This shows that the number of sea beasts is not as many as we imagined. As long as all the sea beasts in other directions are killed, it will probably be over. Huang Jie said optimistically. Of course, Yi Xiaotian couldn't tell him that the reason why there were no sea beasts in this direction was because Yi Xiaotian killed so many sea beasts in the sea that no sea beast came ashore. 
Judging from the information sent by Yi Xiaotian, the number of alien beasts in the sea far exceeded their expectations. It can be said that they were densely packed. Fortunately, Yi Xiaotian now has too many means to kill alien beasts. The trick of clone alone has made him invincible among these low-level alien beasts. Although the probability of low-level alien beasts dropping attribute points is very low, even if they drop, the points are only one. But the base number is large. But it is because of the large base number that Yi Xiaotian is worried. Then Yi Xiaotian has no idea in his heart. Yi Xiaotian is holding on here, what about other directions? According to Wei Ling, the sea beasts are advancing towards the East China Sea Fortress from eight directions. The East China Sea Fortress originally had a battalion of personnel from the Night Watch Corps to guard it, but now it can't arrange anyone. Eight directions, now only the lowest level of sea beasts, once the middle level sea beasts start to land, what will happen? The situation is not as optimistic as you think. If it is really like this, then the captain of the guards would not have fought for more than half a month, and there would still be a steady stream of sea beasts landing. The reason why the sea beasts in this direction stopped landing may be that the next wave of sea beasts landing on the shore needs time to adjust, or the next wave of sea beasts landing on the shore is stronger. Yi Xiaotian answered casually. Huang Jia opened his mouth and said, Is it really like this? Yi Xiaotian said, Of course, I am just guessing, I don't know the details. But from Captain Wang, to Captain Xiao, to Captain Wei, you can make a judgment by recalling their expressions. Huang Jie's mind sped up, and his face suddenly became solemn. Hey, there are so many beauties here, brothers, we are lucky. At this moment, a frivolous voice sounded in front. The road was blocked. Five people, a team configuration, judging from their clothes, they should not be members of the Night Watch Corps. Who are you? Yi Xiaotian asked. What do you care who we are, kid, we have been here for more than half a month, and we are almost talking nonsense. Offer the women in your team, and then get out, I will spare your lives. A young man carrying a sword on the other side said frivolously. Yi Xiaotian frowned, and his intuition told him that there was a problem here. But he couldn't judge what the problem was. On the east coast, besides the night watchmen, there are other free awakeners hunting sea beasts. They don't need to obey the orders of the night watchmen and can hunt sea beasts freely. Of course, there is another force, that is Yi Xiaotian's mortal enemy, the Shen family of the Demon City. It is difficult to judge whether this team is sent by the Shen family. But there is no doubt that the other party is here to cause trouble. Chapter 208 Yi Xiaotian could not confirm whether the other party was sent by the Shen family, but it was certain that the other party was looking for trouble. He made a gesture to the back, and the tacit understanding of the team made everyone immediately set up a battle formation. Huang Jia also stepped back a few steps, waved his staff repeatedly, and gave everyone auxiliary blessings. Yi Xiaotian thought about it, and also waved his staff to bless everyone with Deer and Crane's Cry, two attribute enhancements that everyone is familiar with. The other party did not stop it. In their opinion, even if the enhancement skills are added, what does it matter? Can they beat them? This wave, they are the winners. I really admire your courage. You dare to fight against our Jiaozi team when you meet us. The leader of the opposite team said with a slightly ferocious expression on his face. Jiaozi team. Huang Jia exclaimed. Then he took a closer look, and sure enough, the five people on the other side were similar to the information he had seen. Do you know this team? Yi Xiao Tian asked without turning his head. Brother Tian, the Yazi squad is notorious for being ruthless and notorious for being only interested in money. Huang Jia explained. Why would the government allow such a team to continue to survive? Han Xuyao asked in confusion. Huang Jia said, because there is no evidence. Even if everyone knows that some things were done by the Yazi squad, there is no evidence. And the Yazi squad is very strong and is not ambiguous when encountering things, so. Huang Jie did not say anything else. But everyone already understood. The reason why the Yazi squad can continue to exist is that there is no direct evidence to convict them. 
Another reason is that the Yazi squad knows how to protect themselves by increasing their reputation. For example, at this time, their team can come to the east coast to hunt sea beasts, which is a positive performance. And, the people of the Yazi squad are famous for being lustful. Huang Jia added. Yi Xiaotian heard this and his heart moved. Is this really a coincidence? How much money did the Shen family give you? I'll give you double it. Let us go. How about that? Yi Xiaotian suddenly said. Really? A support member of the Yazi team said with a look of surprise. Captain Yazi gave him a vicious look. They made a promise about this matter and would never leak any information about the Shen family. If the Shen family knew that their Yazi team was so untrustworthy, would they still look for them in the future? The support member saw the captain's eyes and immediately shrank his neck and dared not speak again. Boy, you're good, you have a flexible mind, but why can't you think of offending the Shen family? Captain Yazi said with regret. Although the double money is very tempting, their Yazi team is a trustworthy team. If you accept the task, you will kill your whole family. You will never let anyone go. The reputation of the Yazi team is built up by the names of people. They promised not to disclose the information of the employer, and those big families would also guarantee that the Yazi team could land safely after the task was completed. Good reputation is the basis of mutual cooperation. This is why the Shen family chose them. The words of the auxiliary team members just now exposed the information of the Shen family. So he said with regret, I wanted to play with them, after all, they are all beauties, but now, it's no use, do it, kill them. As soon as the captain of Yazi finished speaking, the auxiliary and the team took the lead and gave them amplification skills. Rays of light emerged from the bodies of the Yazi team members, and the aura on their bodies also soared. Bang! As soon as the captain of Yazi finished speaking, his body was knocked out as if by a mountain. Then there was a series of bangs. Five figures flew out. Captain Yazi was the first to stand up, resisting the urge to spit blood. Damn, how could this guy be so strong? The light flashed again, and Captain Yazi used his skills and stared at Yi Xiaotian. This speed is too fast. Yi Xiaotian looked at Captain Yazi who got up with a look of regret. This power is still a bit weak. Captain Yazi has the strength of an A-level awakener. The other members of the Yazi team were not as lucky as Captain Yazi. Especially the psychic who was almost killed by Yi Xiaotian. He quickly took out the healing spirit liquid and drank it. Seeing this, Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan raised their staffs, first a lightning spell, covering all the people in the Yazi team. The people in the Yazi team had no time to use defensive spells, so they could only rely on their bodies to resist. Boom! Countless electric snakes filled the air, electrocuting the members of the Yazi team and making them scream. Then Mu Bingyan's ice and snow technique also descended. Captain Yazi was a little confused. Although Shen Xueqing had warned them when they received the mission that Yi Xiaotian's team was a little weird and asked them to be careful. But their Yazi team was an A-level team, and he was an A-level expert. If a mere freshman couldn't handle it, would they still be alive? The Yazi team was used to helping those aristocratic families deal with dirty work, so they didn't take it to heart. Now he finally understood why Shen Xueqing specifically warned him to be careful. He almost capsized in the gutter. Captain Yazi was a shield fighter, and the attacks of Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan did not cause any damage to him at all. But his teammates were not feeling well. It was too sudden, and the series of attacks stunned them. Even though they were very experienced in combat, they were still in a mess. Yi Xiaotian attacked several times in a row, but was blocked by Captain Yazi. He saw that there was no good opportunity, so he aimed his sights at the other members of the Yazi team. Especially the auxiliary personnel standing behind. Captain Yazi could block his attack, but it didn't mean that his teammates could. Captain Yazi was anxious when he saw this, but Yi Xiaotian was too fast, even he, an A-level strongman, couldn't catch up. This is weird. Speaking of Yi Xiaotian's agility attribute, where did his strength come from? The force that could knock him away must be not small. Even his internal organs were violently shaken. Puff. 
one knife killed one. Yi Xiao Tian was about to continue. Brother Tian! Wang Hao exclaimed. It turned out that Captain Yazi saw that he couldn't stop Yi Xiao Tian, so he planned to attack Wei to save Zhao. Since you attack my teammates, then I will attack your teammates. Sure enough, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi couldn't withstand his attack at all. One knife, one, directly knocked Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi away. This is the performance of a rookie. Yi Xiao Tian heard Wang Hao's call for help and rushed to Captain Yazi with a knife. Captain Yazi felt the knife attack from behind and didn't dare to be careless. His brain worked quickly. Do you want to exchange your injury for your life? Chapter 209 Captain Yazi quickly gave up this plan, feeling ashamed. Although he lost the initiative due to carelessness, he firmly believed that with his own strength, he could take back the lost initiative. He avoided the attack of Yi Xiao Tian in time. Yi Xiao Tian was a little anxious, his strength was still far behind his original body. This is not just a matter of having the attribute points. With the blessing of various talents and skills, this is not just a difference of half an attribute point. According to the records in the Encyclopedia of Awakeners, the C-level talent can be amplified by up to one time, B-level by three times, A-level by five times, S-level by seven times, SS-level by ten times, and SS-level by fifteen times. As for those below C-level, they can almost be ignored. Even if such a talent is awakened, it is basically a waste talent and can only be an ordinary person. Honestly contribute to the population growth of the human beings on Blue Star. Yi Xiaotian's talents are all above A level. And various amplification talent skills have reached S level. Deer and Crane's Cry has even reached an exaggerated SS level. The S level and SS level skills combined can increase the power by 17 times. The key point is that the effects of 1 million attribute points and 2 million attribute points are completely different for other combat-related auxiliary talent skills. For example, the regeneration skill, although it is also S-level, the effect of using it by a B-level awakener and an A-level awakener is definitely very different. Yi Xiaotian's various physical attribute values are about to break through 200 points. After a while, the difference in attribute points alone is nearly 2 million. The difference in superimposing various combat-related auxiliary skills is not just 2 million attribute points, but even more than 10 times. Fortunately, before coming to the East China Sea Fortress this time, they all supplemented their combat skills. Yi Xiaotian is no exception. Seeing that Captain Yazi avoided the attack, his five fingers flexed and stretched, and a suction force was born. Captain Yazi's figure stagnated, and then recovered. Captain Yazi snorted coldly, a trifle. But soon, the smile on his face solidified. He felt that his body suddenly became several times heavier. He quickly strengthened his strength, and then he moved again. But the next moment, the gravity suppression on him disappeared again. He staggered. His body stability was completely broken, and the trajectory of evasion was completely messed up. Yi Xiaotian's eyes lit up, it was indeed a good opportunity. The frenzy, skill was activated, and the attack power instantly increased several times. Add the increase of strength, and deer and cranes cry. This attack, calculated according to attribute points, is about 2, 5 million. And Captain Yazi is an A-level beginner shield warrior awakener, with a physical attribute of over 100 00 points, plus the S-level talent skills and the blessing of the awakening level, it is only about 1 million. Puff! A knife hit Captain Yazi's chest. Captain Yazi flew out, blood spilled in the sky, and fell to the ground motionless, deader than dead. Captain! The members of the Yazi team screamed. How is this possible? How could this happen? They were too careless. They thought they could definitely take down Yi Xiaotian's team this time. Even though Xin Xu Eching had warned them, they didn't care too much. It was just a freshman team, how powerful could they be? Their captain was an A-level expert. It was no different to crush Yi Xiaotian and his team than to crush an ant. What's more, four of the seven people in Yi Xiaotian's team were girls. This made them even more relaxed. Now, the death of Captain Yazi has dealt them a heavy blow. 
the strongest captain died just like that. Their captain had an S-level talent skill iron wall, with unparalleled defense. How could he die at the hands of a freshman? No matter what, they wouldn't believe it. But the facts were before their eyes, and they had no choice but to believe it. They were stunned, but Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan wouldn't. And Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi, who were cured by Sun Yao, also rejoined the battle. Suddenly, the members of the Yazi team fell into a passive situation. Although the members of Brother Tian's team did not have such a strong increase as Yi Xiao Tian, it was enough to contain the members of the Yazi team. The first move plus the unique control effect of the skills made the members of the Yazi team suffer. Especially Han Xuyao's lightning and thunder skills, every time they would make their muscles lose control. It made it very difficult for them to use their skills. In addition, with the assistance of Mu Bingyan's freezing skills, they could not be killed, but they could be controlled to death. There were Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi in front, and without the hard tank of Captain Yazi, they would not be able to fight. Yi Xiao Tian was very tired. The knife just now consumed a lot of his energy. At the level of a C level awakener, he performed a full strength attack comparable to that of an A level beginner awakener, and he was exhausted. But he had to persist. Retreat. Seeing this, the deputy captain of the Yazi team gave the order to retreat. If they continued to fight, they would have to stay here. Yi Xiao Tian really scared him. Several members of the Yazi team were unwilling, but they also followed the deputy captain's order to retreat. The deputy captain personally covered the rear, fearing that Yi Xiao Tian would chase and kill them. Fortunately, in the end, Yi Xiao Tian did not attack again. The Yazi team did not even take the body of their captain with them, and retreated in embarrassment. As soon as they retreated, Yi Xiaotian's body softened and fell to the ground. Brother Tian. Wang Hao exclaimed and helped him up from the ground. It's okay, I'm just a little exhausted, just rest for a while. Find a safe place for me to meditate for a while. Yi Xiaotian ordered. Sun Yao didn't care whether it was useful or not, and directly cast a healing light on Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian smiled bitterly and said, it's useless, I'm not injured. Sun Yao pursed her lips, a little annoyed, why didn't she have the talent skill to restore physical strength? Yi Xiao Tian was thinking about the gap between him and the original Yi Xiao Tian at this time. When in the Demon City Base City, Yi Xiao Tian killed five B-level high-level awakeners in a row. After the skill amplification, he was definitely an A-level strongman. No problem at all. He was exhausted after killing one. The gap is too big. Big brother, you have to work hard. Huang Jia and Wang Hao carried Yi Xiao Tian and stopped at a place with trees. Han Xu Yao skillfully laid a layer of leaves on the sand. Yi Xiao Tian looked at him with a smile. Haozi, Xiaozi, you two patrol the outer layer. Bing Yan, we are on the second layer. Sun Yao, Fatty, brother Tian is in your hands. Yi Xiao Tian meditated and rested, and Han Xu Yao immediately took on the role of acting captain. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi took the order and immediately went away in two directions. Mu Binyan didn't say anything nonsense, she just picked up the staff and walked out. Han Xu Yao looked at Yi Xiao Tian with a complicated look, and her face was firm. She decisively went out to form the second line of defense. Chapter 210 Han Xuyao wanted to stay and take care of Brother Tian, but the situation was special and she didn't dare to be careless. In addition to Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi, she and Mu Bingyan were the only combat superpowers. If they didn't go to set up defenses, would they let Sun Yao and Huang Jia go as assistants? Although they both had certain combat power, they were completely incomparable to her and Mu Bingyan. So she could only leave reluctantly. Huang Jia looked at Brother Tian sweating profusely and said, I'll find someone who can fan the wind, you take care of Brother Tian first. Sun Yao nodded and said, Go, I'll take care of Brother Tian. She took out a towel and began to wipe the sweat off Yi Xiao Tian. After being exhausted, Yi Xiao Tian's resistance also dropped sharply, and he couldn't even stand the heat. After regaining some strength, Yi Xiao Tian opened his eyes and saw Sun Yao wiping his sweat, and said, Sun Yao, thank you. Sun Yao said, 
Brother Tian, compared to what you did, what I did is nothing. But what are you going to do next? Yi Xiao Tian didn't know what to do, he could only pass the message to the main body, and the next thing was up to him. Seeing that Yi Xiao Tian hadn't replied for a long time, Sun Yao asked, Don't you want to seek revenge on the Shen family? Yi Xiao Tian said helplessly, Of course I want to, but the Shen family is big and powerful, with many experts, how can I seek revenge? The last incident reminded me that the Shen family can't do anything to me, but they can do something to you. So for the Shen family, if you don't move, it's fine, but if you move, it's like a thunderbolt. Sun Yao said, but this is not a solution. If the Jiaozi team fails, there will be other teams as far as I know, there are many teams like the Jiaozi team in the Magic City Base City. They recognize money but not people, and they will take action when they find an opportunity. As long as there is no direct evidence, no one can do anything to them. Yi Xiao Tian murmured to himself, there will be a way, just wait. Perhaps when this trip to the East China Sea ends, it will be the day to showdown with the Shen family. The Shen family felt that they were very powerful, and they did all kinds of tricks. As long as there was no direct evidence, no one could do anything to them. But have they ever thought that when Yi Xiao Tian became powerful enough, he would destroy them, so why would he need direct evidence? But at that time, it would be impossible for Yi Xiao Tian to continue to hide. He would be completely exposed to the eyes of the alien race, and perhaps there would be no peace for a day. For Yi Xiao Tian, there are more ways to improve his strength than others. An amplification talent skill can make his strength change dramatically. It's just that it's not so easy to get a non-overlapping amplification talent skill that can be superimposed on each other. So Yi Xiao Tian still puts his hope on improving his physical attribute points. But after breaking through to the A-level Awakener, the next upgrade requires too many attribute points. To improve a small realm, it is hundreds of thousands of attribute points, and the four surrounding attributes together add up to more than one million. More than one million attribute points, for other Awakeners, don't even think about it for more than twenty years. Those who can achieve S-level Awakening are all ruthless. Those who can break through to SS level awakening are werewolves. Which one of them is not a beast killer? Even if Yi Xiao Tian has the supreme talent unlimited growth, to help him plunder extra attribute points, it will take time. Fortunately, the number of sea beasts in the East China Sea is enough for him to upgrade to S level. By then, it will be the death of the Shen family, and no one can intercede. This is what Yi Xiao Tian really thought after receiving the news from the second soul. But the tree wants to be quiet, but the wind does not stop. Yi Xiao Tian wants to wait, but Shen Xuechen can't wait. I was shocked to hear that the captain of the Jiaozi team was killed. This is a real A-level awakening powerhouse. They all died in Yi Xiao Tian's hands. Yi Xiao Tian's growth rate is too terrible. Let him continue to grow, this is definitely the seedling of the next supreme powerhouse. It is naturally a good thing for mankind to have another supreme. But for his Shen family, it is not a good thing. So for the prosperity of the Shen family, Yi Xiao Tian must die. And he must die as soon as possible. If he continues to delay, the Shen family will have no way to deal with Yi Xiao Tian. How can this be done? Now is a good time. Yi Xiao Tian and his team are on the east coast. No matter what the price, they must be killed. Moreover, as long as Yi Xiao Tian dies, the higher-ups may not really punish the Shen family. After all, for the sake of a dead person, the Shen family loses such a fighting force, and the higher-ups will reconsider. A single move affects the whole body. The Supreme Defense Committee must also consider the attitudes of other awakened families. He immediately passed the news back to the Shen family. Although he is the head of the Shen family, this major event involving the life and death of the Shen family is not something he can decide alone. He must let the Shen family's top leaders know about this matter, and then make the best response measures. For example, after killing Yi Xiao Tian, how to deal with the high level questions and so on. This is not something he can do. We have to bring out the ancestors of the Shen family to hold on. The Shen family acted very quickly. After receiving the news from Shen Xuechen, they made a decision in less than a day. Kill. 
Although the human race will lose a future supreme. But if there is no Shin family, what is the point of this world? So the future supreme powerhouse is just a cloud. Besides, there are more people who have the potential to be supreme than Yi Xiao Tian, and there are even more who died. What does it matter if Yi Xiao Tian is added? Without Yi Xiao Tian, will the human race on Blue Star not survive? The most critical time for the human race has passed, and the death of Yi Xiao Tian has nothing to do with the overall situation of the human race. This is the decision made by the Shen family's top management after a meeting, and it was passed to Shen Xuecheng. After reading it, Shen Xuecheng agreed with it. Then he issued a kill order for Yi Xiao Tian. Before, he was just beating around the bush. This time, there is no need to do that. All the masters of the Shen family will kill Yi Xiao Tian without mercy. The masters of the Shen family are distributed along the east coast, either assisting the Night Watch Corps to defend against the invasion of sea beasts, or wandering along the coast to hunt monsters freely. But at this moment, they all received the same order, which was to find Yi Xiao Tian's team and kill them. At all costs. But before the operation is over, keep it secret. Those teams that hunt sea beasts freely are fine, but those who assist the Night Watch Corps need to explain a few words. However, the Shen family's awakening team does not belong to the Night Watch Corps, so there is no check and balance relationship between them. The Shen family's awakening team wants to leave, and they can't force them to stay. For a time, the entire East Coast was undercurrent. Chapter 211 This time, killing Captain Yazi was the result of Yi Xiaotian's comprehensive use of his abilities. Although he was still relatively unfamiliar, the result was already very good. And there were still many concerns. He didn't know when he could show all his abilities without any concerns. But I think that the day when he would show his cards with the Shen family would be the final time. Since he was going to show his cards, he would show his cards enough. I showed my cards. I am not a dual-talented person, I am a multi-talented awakener. As for how many talents I have, guess. Yi Xiao Tian suddenly thought it was quite fun. He passed the situation here to his eldest brother Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian was already killing in the sea. Countless clones were scattered, and after killing the sea beasts, the clones disappeared, and then more clones condensed. Although they were all low-level sea beasts, they could not withstand a large number. So in just a few hours, his four attributes all broke through 200-0-0. This efficiency is very terrifying. It is not only shocking, but also earth-shattering. Yi Xiao Tian has already decided that he must raise the attributes of the four surroundings to the million level during this trip to the East China Sea. As for the ten million level, he does not expect it for the time being. After all, as his level increases, the probability of the beasts dropping attribute points and talent skills will also decrease accordingly. Maybe when he kills these low-level beasts, no attribute points will drop. At that time, his battlefield should be the frontline battlefield of the alien space. Break through the S level and seek revenge on the Shen family. Yi Xiaotian's idea at this moment is very simple. But as the information of the second soul is transmitted, Yi Xiaotian has to stop. The second soul has lost strength. The team members are in great danger. After all, many masters of the Shen family are gathered on the east coast now. I thought this time was to punish the Shen family, but I didn't expect it to be so coincidental. Instead, it means to fulfill the Shen family. Yi Xiao Tian went ashore and sneaked in the direction of the team. At this moment, he held the staff and cast illusion. He saw Han Shuyao on guard. He felt a little uncomfortable. She was a superpower and should be under the protection of warriors. But now, she also had to come out on guard. This was a very dangerous thing for superpowers. If she met the Shen family's expert team, she would have no chance of survival. So he quickened his pace again, passing through Han Xuyao's guard area like a gust of wind. Came to the second Yuan Shen. Although Sun Yao was still there, Yi Xiao Tian was not worried at all. At his current level, Sun Yao could not see through the illusion, he cast. In her eyes, Yi Xiao Tian was still sitting on the ground to rest and recover his strength. But in fact, the person had changed. 
Yi Xiao Tian took back the second Yuan Shen and let him return to the Sea of Consciousness to recover. He opened his eyes, stood up and said to Sun Yao, Sun Yao, go call Mu Bingyan back. After that, he ran in the direction of Han Xuyao's guard. Sun Yao hurriedly asked, Have you rested well? Yi Xiao Tian said, I have rested well, I am completely fine, go ahead. Sun Yao was confused. How could he recover from exhaustion so quickly? How long has it been? But seeing Yi Xiaotian's complexion just now, and his full energy in speaking, he was not as weak as before. She was relieved. Anyway, so many magical things have happened to Yi Xiaotian. But when did he hold the staff in his hand? Sun Yao scratched her head, and without thinking much, she went in the direction of Mu Binyan's alert. Han Xu Yao was overjoyed when she saw Yi Xiao Tian running towards her. Brother Tian, how are you? Han Xu Yao originally wanted to fly towards Yi Xiao Tian. But halfway through, she seemed to remember something and stopped. Han Xu Yao took her into his arms and said, Xu Yao, you have worked hard. Han Xu Yao was a little confused. Brother Tian, what do you want? You looked like you wanted to keep a distance before, but now you hug me again. What do you want me to do? Yi Xiao Tian said regardless, Xu Yao, let's go find other people quickly. We need to get together. The Shen family will definitely make a big move. If he were Shen Xu Echen, he would not allow him to continue to live. The threat is too great. It is completely out of control. If he is not killed, he will not sleep peacefully. In fact, he knows very well that this is a world where the strong prey on the weak. No one says who is wrong. It only depends on who has stronger means. Now the Shen family has the upper hand. But it doesn't matter. Soon, Yi Xiao Tian will have the upper hand. As long as the Shen family does not send out SS level masters, he is really not afraid. But as far as he knows, there is only one SS level awakening master in the entire Shen family. That is the ancestor of the Shen family. This is the foundation of the top aristocratic families. If it is an ordinary awakening family, there is not even an SS level awakening master, at most an S level master. And Yi Xiao Tian does not believe that the Shen family will send out their ancestor at the beginning. Soon, the seven members of the team gathered again. Brother Tian, are you okay? Wang Hao was the first to run over and ask. Yi Xiao Tian said, It's okay. I just overexerted myself before and I'm a little exhausted. I'll be fine after a rest. Wang Hao was a little confused and said, Is that so? Can exhaustion be recovered so quickly? He didn't quite understand. Huang Jia and Mu Binyan looked at Yi Xiao Tian with burning eyes. It seemed that something was wrong. How could exhaustion be recovered so quickly? Are you really kidding? If there is no special recovery spirit liquid, it will be impossible in a few days. Now, they can only speculate that Yi Xiao Tian had exchanged this kind of recovery spirit liquid in the Samsara Mall before. Or was it given to him by the god Haotian? Thinking about it, Mu Bingyan felt a little uncomfortable. The god Haotian would rather make friends with Yi Xiao Tian than give her a chance. Is this god Haotian a normal man? Dong Hai Fortress, the captain's mansion. Wang Ju listened to the report of his subordinates and was a little confused. What is the Shen family doing? They are fine, but no one knows where they have gone. If such a thing happened in only one direction, he would not care. But the awakening expert teams of the Shen family in several directions have all run away, which is not normal. Did they find some treasure? Wang Ju pondered for a long time, but could not think of any reason. Only the explanation of finding a treasure is more reasonable. If it were in the past, he would have participated. But now, the situation on the east coast is not optimistic. If he had not been stationed in the East Sea Fortress, he would have gone to hunt sea beasts in person. How could he have the time to participate in the treasure hunt? He is a serious soldier, at the level of the captain of the Night Watch Corps. If he really leaves his post without permission, military law is no joke. However, with the departure of the masters of the Shen family, the pressure on each squadron has increased sharply. He had to ask for help from the Magic City Defense Committee again, urging them to hurry up. Chapter, 
212. It's them, that kid is Yi Xiao Tian, kill him. On the beach, a team of Awakeners collided head-on with Yi Xiao Tian and the others. As soon as the other party saw Yi Xiao Tian and the members of his team, he was sure that this was Yi Xiao Tian. Not only have they seen Yi Xiao Tian's photos, but they also know who is in his team. Fight! Seeing that Yi Xiao Tian did not give orders, Wang Hao shouted quickly. These days, they have become accustomed to this kind of scene. The Shen family members seem to be looking for them like crazy, leaving them with no peace for a moment. It seems that wherever you go, you will meet people from the Shen family. I don't know how many people the Shen family sent. It has to be said that if there is a cause, there will be an effect. Because of Yi Xiao Tian, the Shen family was sanctioned by the above, so the Shen family sent a large number of experts to the east coast to fight against the sea beasts coming ashore. But now, these masters have become the Shen family's weapon against Yi Xiao Tian. One drink and one peck, could it be destiny? In the past few days, Yi Xiao Tian has encountered several combat teams of the Shen family every day, which can be said to be very rich in combat experience. Yi Xiao Tian has only one idea when dealing with the awakened members of the Shen family, and that is to kill them. If you help the tyrants to commit evil, then go to death. Yi Xiao Tian drew out his sword and activated the frenzy fighting, skill. The violent aura rose, and the sword beam shot hundreds of feet into the sky, slashing towards the Shen family's fighting team. Boom! The ground shook like an earthquake. The violent power raged, and a deep pit was plowed out of the ground. The surrounding areas of the pit were also blasted into craters. As for the Shen family's team of awakeners, they were lying near the pit, some were completely motionless and were already dead. Some can still squirm, but are not far from death. Yi Xiao Tian put away the knife and said in a deep voice, continue killing sea beasts. Killing strange beasts is the way to improve your strength. As for the Shen family, it is up to him to deal with it. The others in the team were stunned. So scary. East China Sea Fortress. Boom. Shen Xueqing didn't even know how many things he broke. Anyway, he hasn't received any good news in the past few days. Everything reported was bad news. The Shen family is indeed full of experts, and there are dozens of teams scattered on the East China Sea beach. But I can't bear such a loss. In just a few days, more than ten teams have been destroyed. He never expected such a result. Although he had overestimated the strength of Yi Xiaotian's team. But now it seems that he still underestimated it by a long way. The Yezin team can be said to be careless. But the Shen family's team will never be careless. He warned again and again, and he believed that those people did not dare to turn a deaf ear to his words. Take a step back and say that. Even if the Shen family's awakening team on the first day was careless. But it won't be possible in the next few days. The only explanation is that the strength of Yi Xiaotian's team far exceeded his expectations. But he still couldn't figure out how Yi Xiaotian did it. This is a battle between teams, not a fight alone. It was completely different from the assassination in the Demon City base city. The combat effectiveness of a team of awakened ones has increased several times, or even more than ten times. Moreover, each of the Shen family's awakening team has been tempered many times. Very rich combat experience. The cooperation between them is also very smooth. It is far from what a newly established awakener team like Yi Xiaotian's team can compare with. But reality gave him a blow. Their team of awakeners all fell into disarray whenever they encountered Yi Xiaotian. That's a battle team led by an A-level awakener. What's going on? Yi Xiaotian's strength was indeed beyond his expectation. He admitted that Yi Xiaotian had the strength of an A-level primary awakener. However, every captain of the Shen family's awakened team has a combat power that far exceeds his. Just like that, he was completely defeated. It's so off the mark. In the past few days, he had almost smashed everything in the Shen family's mansion in the East China Sea Fortress. So infuriating. There is no good news. News just came that another team has been lost. According to the description of the source who followed Yi Xiaotian, this team was killed by Yi Xiaotian with a single blow. 
a pit dozens of feet long and ten meters deep was plowed into the ground. Who is this guy lying to? Shrink this number ten times and he still believes it. Why is Yi Xiao so capable? As the head of the Shen family, he is an A-level high-level awakener and is one step closer to becoming an S-level expert. Even with all his efforts, he may not be able to achieve such an effect. This damn thing should be the kind of damage that only an S-level powerhouse can cause. Tens of feet long and ten meters deep, this has become a ravine. Such strength can truly move mountains and reclaim seas. How could Yi Xiaotian do it? If he hadn't experienced Yi Xiaotian's fighting power a few days ago, he would have really believed it. These bastards are used to bragging. Do they really think that by bragging about Yi Xiaotian's strength, they can shirk their responsibility? Shen Xuechen cursed. He would never believe that in just the past few days, Yi Xiaotian's attributes had increased by tens of thousands. Even if you tell this to anyone, they will think that the person who said this is a fool. Otherwise, you are just fooling people into thinking they are fools. But now he couldn't blame them too much. In special times, they still had to work. It's okay to be a little exaggerated. As long as the results can be reported, it's fine. After knowing where Yi Xiaotian was, more awakened teams of the Shen family rushed to the destination. He coordinated in the middle. It was necessary to ensure the strength of the Shen family and avoid the sight of the Night Watch Corps. He was also in a dilemma. Since one team can't kill you, then two teams will go together. If two teams are not enough, three teams will go together. He has already issued an order. When a team arrives, wait for a while, two teams together. Yi Xiaotian will definitely be killed. Thinking that he should receive a victory report soon, Shen Xuecheng finally felt better. At this time, the servant came to report. Master, Captain Wang is here. Shen Xuecheng was stunned for a moment. Why did Wang Ju come to see him? Did he find something? No matter what, Wang Ju is a captain-level figure of the Night Watch Corps, and he cannot be neglected. He personally welcomed Wang Ju in. Captain Wang, I wonder what you came to see me today for. Shen Xuecheng pretended to be confused. Wang Ju said seriously, Master Shen, you are also aware of the situation on the East Coast. Our Night Watch Corps is already stretched to the limit. The masters of Yushin family came here, which gave us a break. But now you have transferred all the teams away, leaving our defense line empty all of a sudden. I hope Master Shen can put the overall situation first, and the East China Sea Fortress first. Once the East China Sea Fortress is lost, the Magic City Base City is in danger. So I hope Master Shen can transfer all those masters back to jointly protect the East China Sea Fortress. Chapter 213 At another time, Shen Xuecheng would definitely give Wang Ju face. After all, this is the captain of the Night Watch Corps, a master of the same level as him. And the Night Watch Corps has many opportunities, all of which are needed by their awakening family. If it is not necessary, he naturally does not want to offend Wang Ju. But this time, he did not hesitate at all and directly rejected Wang Ju's request. Wang Ju left the Shen family's mansion with a sullen face. He felt that Shen Xuecheng was too disrespectful. At this time, he was still ignoring the interests of the country for the benefit of one family. And this time the Shen family was exiled here, but they were so uncooperative. Wang Ju directly reported the Shen family's actions. Originally, because of the turmoil on the other side of the alien race, more forces were transferred to the front battlefield, and the local defense force was insufficient. Now the Shen family is still doing its own thing. The top leaders of the Magic City Defense Committee were furious. But they also wanted to know what the Shen family had discovered that dared to take such a big risk. Openly singing against the Defense Committee. Is the Shen family really going to rebel? However, at this time, the Magic City Defense Committee has no time to argue with the Shen family. This account can only be settled later. Now, they have to hurry up and mobilize people to rush to the East China Sea Fortress for support. Wang Ju is really about to collapse. If he, the captain, had not been in charge of the fortress, he would have planned to go out of the city to fight in person. 
it can be said that this is the time when the defense of the Blue Star is the most empty. Most of the forces have been transferred to the front line of the alien battlefield. Four of the five Supremes have gone. The top leaders of the Blue Star Supreme Defense Committee expected that the heretic organization would come out to make trouble. But they did not expect that sea beasts would land on a large scale at this time. Not just the East Coast. There are large-scale waves of sea beasts landing on other coastlines of Xia country. In other countries of Blue Star, all countries with coastlines have such troubles. Now, the awakened people in the major bay cities, in addition to the free hunting teams, are the awakening teams of various awakening families. However, the Defense Committee cannot directly mobilize these forces unless the base city is directly attacked. So the Defense Committee can only turn its attention to the last force, that is, the major universities. Although the actual combat ability of college students is average, it is still no problem to resist low-level sea beasts. Moreover, many of the college students are from aristocratic families. This is equivalent to indirectly mobilizing the power of the aristocratic families. This is also the reason why the East China Sea Fortress had asked for help half a month ago, but the support force has not arrived yet. This decision was very difficult to make. It is indeed a bit cruel to let these students who have not yet left the school gate go out of the city directly to face the army of alien beasts. Although many college students will go for internships during the holidays. But internships can never be compared with real battlefields. Wars are all piled up with flesh and blood. The Awaken a University in the Magic City. The conference room was filled with smoke and it was almost a fire scene. There was no way, this decision was too difficult to make. Every word they said could represent a life, and they had to be cautious. These are all their students, the backbone of the future human race. It was really hasty to let them rush to the front line like this. Principal, there is news from the alien battlefield that the counterattack has begun. The rumors are true. The internal conflicts of the alien race have temporarily stopped. A vice principal said bitterly. It was just a rumor before, but now it has come true. For supreme bosses are in charge of the alien battlefield, and even more manpower may be needed there. He sure, as a senior member of the school, also participated in the meeting. Principal, things may not be as pessimistic as we imagined. According to the news, only low-level sea beasts have landed on the east coast. Although the number is huge, it should be manageable for senior students. And there are soldiers from the Night Watch Legion protecting them. This is also an opportunity for them. He sure considered it and said carefully. Everyone thought of this, but no one wanted to say it. Among the people attending the meeting, he sure had the lowest level. So he had to say it. Should the leader take the blame? Then what do you, a subordinate, do? He sure gritted his teeth again and said, I decided to lead the team to the East Coast myself. Once this was said, other school leaders were surprised. Suddenly, the principal said, Director He, if I remember correctly, Yi Xiaotian's team is on the East Coast right now, right? He sure said, Yes. What's their situation now? Asked the principal. He sure replied, I'm not sure, but I asked Wang Ju to take care of them, there shouldn't be any problem. The previous decision was a bit hasty. They are just freshmen. It's not mature enough for them to go to the East Coast now. The principal stroked his forehead and had a headache. He didn't expect the situation to take a sharp turn for the worse. Now it all depends on the students of their school to turn the situation around. Those awakened families are too outrageous. At this time, they don't know how to send masters over, and they actually find our school. A vice principal said indignantly. Okay, what's the use of talking about this at this time? In the past, the awakening family could sacrifice their lives to fight against the aliens. Now, they are all making their own little calculations. Another vice principal said with a look of regret. It is said that sea beasts from several other directions have also come ashore in large numbers. This time, it is probably quite serious. Both Kyoto University and Qingshui University have organized support forces to move south. Have things really gotten this bad? Isn't this something that the aliens and the sea beasts had negotiated? It shouldn't be the case. 
Aliens and sea beasts are two different systems there shouldn't be any connection between them. This is not necessarily true. After all, the sea beasts are also mutant beasts and can be considered a member of the alien race. If the aliens contact the sea beasts and ask them to join forces to do something together, the sea beasts will definitely agree. If that's the case, that's bad. Yes, only low-level sea beasts have come ashore now, will there be mid-level sea beasts and high-level sea beasts next? It is very possible, even possible, that the mid-to-high-level sea beasts will launch a general attack with the alien battlefield. Hearing this speculation, everyone couldn't help but take a breath. If this is really the case, then the Magic City base city will face a devastating blow. As for some small base cities along the coast, it is estimated that they will be directly destroyed. The meeting is over, Director He. It's up to you to arrange the next steps and support the East Coast as soon as possible. The principal made a decision directly. There were some things that he needed to communicate with his superiors. If things are really as they guessed, it will be a huge disaster for the Blue Star human race. Chapter 214 Congratulations to the Awakened One for killing the enemy and obtaining the talent skill decay. Yi Xiaotian didn't know how many people he had killed. Anyway, as long as the Shen family's awakening team comes over, he will kill them with one strike, leaving no room for them at all. If he could, he now wanted to fly to the Shen family's old house in the devil's capital and raise the Shen family to the ground with one blow. But he was not so excited that he lost his mind. To destroy the Shen family, we have to wait a little longer. Now take this opportunity to cut off part of the Shen family's influence and collect some interest. Isn't it true that someone will bring interest to your door? He didn't know how many thousands of sea beasts he had killed, but not a single innate skill came out. After all, he already has the general skill of water tribe. These low-level sea beasts don't have any other talents. He had almost killed hundreds of masters from the Shen family. This time, I finally got something. Yi Xiaotian put away his knife and stood up, waving his hand and saying, Don't stop, you continue to kill yourselves. Very calm. It seemed as if the destruction of the Shen family's two Awakener teams just now was not his fault. Fortunately, no one else knows the specific strength of the Shen family's Awakened team. Or maybe he has become immune to Yi Xiaotian's shock. So everyone just took a look and continued killing the strange beasts. With Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi carrying them in front, these low-level sea beasts were completely unable to break through their defenses. Later, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan went on a killing spree. Huang Jia also releases one or two skills from time to time. Although there is no attack bonus, the lethality is not bad given the high attribute points. As for Sun Yao, she was standing behind with a staff in hand, looking depressed. Originally, she wanted to join the fight. But he was strongly stopped by others. Sun Yao is a therapist, and the reason why Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi are so fierce is because of her. If she uses up all her mental energy, who will treat them? They are not Yi Xiaotian, they are so abnormal even when they recover. As for Yi Xiaotian, he patrolled the area specifically to look for the Shen family's awakening team. There happened to be no members of the Night Watch Legion in their place, so they stayed here to hunt for strange beasts. Yi Xiaotian quickly took a look at the effects of the new talent skills. Decay, a level curse-like talent skill. After being hit by this curse, the opponent's combat power will be reduced by 3 to 7 times at random. The higher the talent level, the higher the probability of reducing the opponent by a high multiple. Seeing this effect, Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but feel happy. All along, what he has obtained is to enhance his own or his teammate's talents and skills. But I didn't expect that today I would actually gain a strength-reducing talent skill. Fortunately, he was quick enough to do it himself. If he let the other party place such a curse on him, the consequences would be unpredictable. If his combat effectiveness was really reduced by seven times, the outcome of this battle would be unpredictable. It seems that you have to be careful in the future and beware of enemies using curse-like talents on you. He had seen the cursed debilitating talent skills in the Awakening Encyclopedia sent by Deacon Wu, but he had never encountered them before. So I didn't pay too much attention to it. 
Because of the diversity of innate skills, the combat effectiveness of awakened people cannot be judged by their awakening level. And teamwork is also very critical. With a complete team configuration, the combat effectiveness that can be exerted will increase exponentially. Between an increase and a decrease, that is a strength gap of more than ten times, or even dozens of times. Moreover, Yi Xiaotian believes that after the talent skill decay, is strengthened, the effect achieved can continue to improve. He took a look at the life essence, which was enough to enhance the decay, talent skill by one level. He clicked directly. Decay, S level curse talent skill. After being hit by this curse, the opponent's combat power will be reduced by 5 to 10 times at random. The higher the talent level, the higher the probability of reducing the opponent by a high multiple. Sure enough, after the talent skill level is increased by one level, the effect will also be enhanced. It can reduce the enemy's combat effectiveness by up to 10 times. It's just too face conscious. I don't know how likely S level talent skills are to achieve the best results. Yi Xiaotian's mind became active again. With this skill at his side, he would have the courage to fight even if he encountered an SS level awakener. If you are really lucky, you can directly reduce the opponent's combat power by 10 times, and you can kill even the basic SS level powerful ones with one blow. He even had the urge to rush to the ancestor of the Shen family and kill him. But after thinking about it calmly, I decided to forget it. The Shen family has a profound foundation, and there are countless people who assist in awakening. If it was a one on one challenge, he might not be afraid. But if the ancestor of the Shen family was equipped with all kinds of support, he would probably be able to crush the current Yi Xiaotian. Therefore, you still need to pay attention to strategy when doing things. For example, lure the ancestor of the Shen family out, and then find a one on one opportunity. It's a bit inflated, and he actually dares to pay attention to SS level awakened people with over 10 million attributes. Yi Xiaotian quickly shook off this overly inflated thought in his mind, and then continued to patrol around to see if there was any awakener team from the Shen family hiding around. The Shen family members are really becoming more and more shameless. Now I'm thinking of hiding and making a sneak attack. Fortunately, his strong mental power allowed these people to be exposed in advance. Later, Yi Xiaotian didn't dare to stand still. He had to expand the patrol range by more than 10 kilometers, fearing that the awakening team of the Shen family would attack. At that time, he might not be afraid. But Han Xuyao and the others might not be so comfortable. For this reason, he also called out the second soul and asked him to hide and watch. I heard that more than a dozen teams were lost in the past few days. I don't know if Yi Xiaotian has three heads and six arms why is he so powerful? Yeah, isn't it a freshman? Is there such a freshman? Of course he is not an ordinary freshman. There is only one truth, that is, Yi Xiaotian is Haotian. A team of awakened people from the Shen family was walking, and the direction they were heading was where Yi Xiaotian's team was. They walked and chatted. These days, they have been looking for the location of Yi Xiaotian's team. Although the information feedback was very timely. But Yi Xiaotian and the others did not stay in one place. Generally, they would move to another place after firing a shot. Sometimes, Yi Xiaotian thought about taking Han Xuyao and the others to the camp of the Night Watch Corps. But then he thought about it and gave up. In this way, they are safe, but it is contrary to their original intention. So now, they put the team there as a bait. Attracting waves of awakened teams from the Shin family. And they can't arouse the suspicion of the Shin family, so they have to keep changing places. Fuck, you are so right, there is only this explanation, no wonder they don't go back to the fortress, it turns out that there is this great god. Someone said puzzled. Chapter, 215. The team members were chatting, and everyone was in a good mood. Obviously, they didn't believe that Yi Xiaotian was Haotian, and just thought it was a joke. They were talking and laughing. Rays of light shot towards them like meteors. There was no way to avoid it, and it fell directly on them. What's going on? My attributes have been weakened five times. Fuck, my attributes have been weakened seven times. Nima, I have been weakened ten times, what is going on? 
the speed just now was too fast, and they didn't react at all. No, we are cursed. When they reacted, it was too late, and their strength was greatly weakened. The lowest reduction was five times, and the most unlucky was a tenfold reduction in attribute points. For awakeners, attribute points are the foundation. No matter how powerful your talent skills are, you can't play them if your attribute points are not high. Otherwise, Yi Xiaotian's talent skills would have been invincible long ago. A tenfold decrease is a weakening of a major realm. Who can bear this? We are the awakened ones of the Shen family in the Magic City Bay City. I wonder which friend is joking with us. The awakened captain said in a deep voice. While observing the surroundings, they found nothing. At first, they thought it was Yi Xiaotian. But then they remembered that it seemed that Yi Xiaotian did not have this talent. His teammates did not have the talent for curses. So, Yi Xiaotian and his teammates can be lined up. Then who else is on this east beach? Could it be someone from the heretic organization? Only those bastards would come out to make trouble at this time. But what responded to them was not the answer. But the flames all over the sky. The flames covering hundreds of meters fell towards them. Get out of the way. The awakened captain shouted, and he was the first to flash out of the coverage of the flames. And the slower psychics supported themselves with defensive skills. But soon, they found that things were not as simple as they thought. An invisible pressure fell, making their actions completely unbalanced. They could only watch the flames fall on them. At this moment, they could only pray that they could withstand this fire magic. After all, the damage of large-scale magic is a weakness. The hateful thing is that they have not seen where the enemy is hiding yet. This is the beach, endless, there is no place to hide at all. With their eyesight, they can see clearly even a thousand meters away. Unless, he hides under the beach. This is a bit too much. Just this set of combined punches, the opponent is at least a team of people. So many people are hiding under the sand, is this scientific? Let's not talk about whether it is scientific or not, how can they perform magic when they hide under the sand? All kinds of doubts surged in my mind. Then, there was no more. They were covered by flames, and the terrifying high temperature took their lives in an instant. Whether it is a warrior or a superpower, it is no exception. Hundreds of meters away, Yi Xiaotian stood on the sand, looking at the result, very satisfied. Sure enough, the ultimate secret of the Awakener is the cooperation between the team. And what is the secret of team cooperation? It is the mutual complementation between various talents and skills. With this premise, Yi Xiaotian's talents and skills have a place to use. However, if you want to make good use of these talents and skills and match them together, you have to keep experimenting. However, from the current situation, the effect is very good. Illusion, hides the figure, decay, reduces the opponent's attribute points, and gravity, disrupts the opponent's body balance. The last is a pure damaging attack. After a set of skills, the opponent's A-level Awakener team was destroyed by him without even a little counterattack. Even the opponent didn't even see his figure. He didn't know who died in his hands until he died. This mode of hiding in the dark to decide his life and death seems to be very interesting. The key point is that all these skills are gathered in him, so there is no need to worry about coordination. The efficiency is much higher than teamwork. And because his attribute points are all improved as a whole, the casting speed is also very fast, so there is no need to worry about being too busy. So next, Yi Xiaotian's idea is to borrow the heads of the Shen family to study the coordination between talents and skills. How to be the most efficient. And he is a multi-professional. So which skills are best matched between various professions? Oh, it's really troublesome to have so many talents. Yi Xiaotian sighed silently. If others knew his mentality, they would definitely spit in his face. We can't get what we want, but you still think it's too much. Don't be a human being. Shen Xueqing finally came back to his senses. This time he came out of the Magic City Bay City with 30 teams and 160 family awakening masters. The lowest are all B-level masters, and the captains of each awakening team are A-level awakening masters. 
but in just over ten days, two-thirds of them have been lost. This is like digging a piece of flesh out of his heart. Donghai Fortress, Shen Family Mansion Shen Xueqing covered his heart and sat on the armchair. Go, pass on my order, let everyone come back. Shen Xueqing really couldn't afford the loss. This time, not only did he fail to kill Yi Xiaotian, but he also offended Wang Ju, and he might even offend the Night Watch Corps behind him. In the past few days, as the teachers and students of Donghai University have been deployed to the East Beach, there are more and more comments that are unfavorable to their Shen family. Almost everyone knows that the reason why they want their students to go directly to the front line is because the Awakening family does nothing. Especially the Shen family. Originally punished. But after they arrived at the East Coast, not only did they not help the Night Watch Corps fight against sea beasts. Instead, they went to hunt their juniors. It's simply shameless. Have you found out who leaked the news? Shen Xueqing took a deep breath and asked hatefully. The subordinate replied, Master, there is no news yet. This matter is not easy to investigate. What is certain is that the news came from the student group. It's just that those students are very xenophobic now. They don't trust anyone except the people of the Night Watch Corps. So it's very difficult to find out who spread the news. Shen Xueqing smashed the cup directly and said angrily, What is it? It's this bastard. When he was in the base city, he always opposed our Shen family. This time when he came to the east coast, I must make him look good. Shen Xueqing was furious. Master, he is the dean of the Magic City University, and he is also an S-level strongman. The subordinate reminded. Chapter 216 Just then, a subordinate ran in again and said hurriedly, Master, it's bad. Just now, news came that someone on the east coast is hunting our Shen family's awakening team. Shen Xueqing widened his eyes and said in disbelief, What did you say? Shen Xueqing's subordinate hurriedly repeated it. Shen Xueqing's heart hurt even more, and his breathing was a little difficult. Do you know who did it? Shen Xueqing asked in a cold voice. I don't know. The subordinate replied. Puff. Shen Xueqing's blood, which had been held back for a long time, finally sprayed out. Damn, what sin have I committed? How could this happen? Wan Yi Xiaotian has not been killed yet, and the loss is heavy. Now there are still people who dare to hunt his Shen family's awakening team. This is to ride on the head of his Shen family. It is unforgivable to move the earth on the Tai Sui's head. But now, in the entire East Coast, there are only a dozen or so awakening teams of their Shen family left. What should we do if we think there will be more bad news? Send them a message, tell them to find the camp of the Night Watch Corps nearby and not to return to the fortress. Shen Xueqing thought for a while before changing his order. For some reason, he thought of Yi Xiaotian again. He felt that the person who hunted down the Shen family awakening team was Yi Xiaotian. This damn guy, his ghost is still lingering. The situation was so good, but now he has to hide away. This is a great shame. The first subordinate did not dare to delay and went to do it quickly. Shen Xueqing said to the second subordinate, continue to find out the news and see where the people from the Magic City University are, especially where he sure is, and whether he has left. Although he suspected that Yi Xiaotian was the one who hunted down his awakening team, he sure might also be the one. He sure is an S-level strongman. If he really takes action, the awakening teams of the Shen family will only be killed obediently. Even if he hadn't relied on his status as the head of the family, he would have lacked confidence when facing He Shi. After all, although Magic City University is also full of experts, and countless strong people have been cultivated. But when it comes to cohesion, it is completely incomparable with the aristocratic families. As the head of the family, he can mobilize hundreds of awakened masters above B level with a single order. Can he sure do it? There are many vice presidents above him, and there is also a principal who has the final say. Therefore, his Shen Xueqing's foundation is stronger than he sure. He can be not afraid of he sure. But in this East Coast, to be honest, he is really afraid. There is no S-level strongman from the Shen family to protect him here. What should he do if he sure really wants to kill him? 
although this possibility is very small. But he has to be on guard. He has to investigate he sure's whereabouts in recent days first. In this way, he can judge whether he sure intends to attack the Shin family. After all, the news that the Shin family hunted Yi Xiaotian's team has been widely circulated. It is reasonable for he sure to attack his Shin family. Everyone knows that he sure, the director of Magic City University, thinks highly of Yi Xiaotian. There is even speculation that Yi Xiaotian is he sure's illegitimate son. Shen Xueqing cannot sleep well without clarifying this matter. A place on the East Coast. Magic City University selected 600 students this time. In addition to He Shi, the S level director of teaching, who personally led the team, many teachers also came. The 600 students were divided into six camps and matched with the people of the Night Watch Corps. This can better ensure the safety of the students. And He Shi's daily work is to patrol these camps. See if any students are injured, and beside him, there is also a teacher who is a therapist. It is to treat injured students. So he is very busy. Although the ones who have landed now are low-level sea beasts, the number is there. Although these students have certain combat experience, they are bound to panic and make mistakes, and injuries are inevitable. When he came to the East Coast, although he also wanted to go to Yi Xiaotian in person. But he couldn't spare the time. He could only hope that one day, Yi Xiaotian and his team would be able to find their camp. However, in the past few days, the news came one after another, which made him a little confused. The awakening team of the Shen family suffered a great loss at the hands of Yi Xiaotian, with heavy casualties. He was of course happy about this. But there was another piece of news that made him very worried. Yi Xiaotian is Haotian. I don't know where this news came from. It's very convincing. The world announcement of the Samsara Tower said that Haotian is already an A-level awakening expert. And Yi Xiaotian was on the east coast, killing the awakening team of the Shen family and almost retreating to the East China Sea Fortress. The strength of the two is very consistent. It can also be said that among the freshmen, only Yi Xiaotian meets the identity of Haotian. Yi Xiaotian is Haotian, which is originally a good thing. But now this is a sensation. If the news spreads, the heretic organization that has already been stimulated to be crazy may become even crazier. Yi Xiaotian may not have a peaceful day in the future. He sure speculated that this matter was most likely spread by the Shen family. Sure enough, it has come to this. The Shen family communicated with the heretical organization before and took action against Yi Xiaotian. Now, it's even more excessive. They have gone crazy. This is to push Yi Xiaotian under the eyes of the foreign race. No, I have to find Yi Xiaotian, and I have to keep him under my nose, otherwise it will be too dangerous. He called two teachers and gave them some instructions to find someone. He continued to inspect the next camp. Let's say that after half a month of fighting between Yi Xiaotian and the Shen family, the situation reversed. Before, it was the Shen family's awakener team who was looking for Yi Xiaotian, but now it's Yi Xiaotian who is looking for them. Yi Xiaotian had a great time killing, but unfortunately, since the decay, cursed talent skill, he has never obtained other talent skills from the awakened ones of the Shen family. After all, too few people were killed. Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but sigh. What's going on recently? Why can't I find the awakened person of the Shen family? Huang Jia said, Brother Tian, that's enough. If people don't come to trouble us, are you expecting something to happen or what? Yi Xiaotian couldn't find the Shen family's awakener team, and out of boredom, he could only follow the team. But to defeat these low-level sea beasts, Yi Xiaotian doesn't need to take action at all. He missed Peng Xianyu a little. His ambergris is really useful. Once a plate is lit, the number of sea beasts will take off. When I return to the magic city, I have to contact Ping Xianyu and buy some spare parts. This thing comes from the Samsara Mall, but after the formula was reversely researched, no one redeemed it in the Samsara Mall. Who would waste reincarnation points when they can buy something with money? Magic City Base City Some basement There were three people sitting in the dark secret room. Is the news confirmed? The man sitting at the head, 
wearing a black robe and a cloak covering his head, couldn't see what his face looked like, so he asked. Sure, it's him. The man in black robe on the left replied. Yes, there is no one else except him. The man in black robe on the right also said. Okay, then send the news back to the headquarters. The first man in black robe made the final decision. They all knew that after this news spread, unless Yi Xiao Tian died, the assassination operations against him would never stop. Chapter 217 Hao Tian is Yi Xiao Tian, a freshman at Magic City University. This news swept through the heretic organization like a storm, and then blew into the alien base camp. Yi Xiao Tian was on their hunting list. But they didn't expect that Yi Xiao Tian was actually Hao Tian. Hao Tian was the one they must kill. After three months of awakening, he was promoted to an A level awakener. Such a talent is not enough to be described as explosive. It can only be described as against the sky. They are a race that was favored by the will of reincarnation earlier. But in the past thousand years, there has not been a demon like Hao Tian who is against the sky. Once such a person grows up, the threat to the alien race is destructive. So he must die. In the past, I didn't know Hao Tian's specific identity, and I couldn't find him if I wanted to kill him. Now it's good, Yi Xiao Tian is Hao Tian, it's much simpler. At all costs, even if the heretic organization is destroyed, Yi Xiao Tian must be killed. At present, Yi Xiao Tian is only an A-level awakener, and the strength of the heretic organization is enough. He sure was busy with his own affairs on the East Coast. One day, he received a call from the principal. Director He, have you found Yi Xiao Tian? Asked the principal. Principal, not yet. He sure said, they are far away, and the communication signal of the East China Sea Fortress cannot reach them. Upon hearing this, the principal said, put down your work immediately and go find him. Principal, what happened? He sure heard the urgency in the principal's tone. The principal said, I just received a call from above. The heretic organization has confirmed that he is Hao Tian from the reincarnation world. You should also know what will happen next. Find him and bring him back. He sure was silent. He had already guessed that Yi Xiao Tian was Hao Tian. It was just for Yi Xiao Tian's safety that he had been forbearing and not asking. He was afraid that if this layer of window paper was broken, Yi Xiao Tian's identity would be completely hidden. But unexpectedly, this day came. And it came so quickly. Before, he sent two teachers to find Yi Xiao Tian, but after a few days, he still couldn't find him. I don't know where Yi Xiao Tian and the others have gone. If the Shen family hadn't been going crazy recently, he would have thought that Yi Xiao Tian had met with an accident. Now, he must find him. He called his two assistants over and said, Next, the things here will be handed over to you. I have other things to do. Yes, director. The two assistants didn't dare to ask what was going on. He sure gave another instruction and left the camp. The East Coast area is very large, with countless sea beasts landing points. However, after these sea beasts landed, they finally gathered together and formed eight routes to attack the East China Sea Fortress. The Wangju Battalion of the Night Watch Corps stationed at the East China Sea Fortress set up camps on these eight routes to intercept. The battle lasted for more than a month. Fortunately, there were awakening teams coming to help from time to time. Free awakening teams, awakening teams from major families who came out to hunt. The awakening team of the Shen family helped a lot later. But these guys all ran away halfway through the fight. If he sure hadn't arrived with the students of Magic City University, it would have been unknown whether they could hold on. Of course, Yi Xiao Tian and his team had also helped a lot by killing so many sea beasts in advance. On a beach. Wang Hao suddenly said to Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, be level sea beast. A crab more than ten meters tall stood up, holding two huge claws, and rushed towards Yi Xiao Tian and his team in the sea beast team. Yi Xiao Tian took a look and it was true. It seemed that the low-level sea beasts in this sea area had been killed almost. The mid-level sea beasts began to land. Since the past two days, a large number of sea-level sea beasts have begun to land. Now the B-level sea beasts have come. 
It seems that the real pressure on the East Coast defense line is coming. I don't know how the rescue team in the Magic City base city is organized. During this period of time, he was busy hunting the awakened people of the Shin family. He really didn't know that the students and teachers of the Magic City University were sent to support him from the Magic City base city. He had too many secrets. If he mixed with the people of the Night Watch Corps, he might be exposed at any time. So he always looked for places where there were no people to spawn monsters. They were always close to the coastline. The people of the Night Watch Corps were closer to the East China Sea Fortress. Yi Xiaotian came forward with a knife and cut the B-level crab in half with one knife. B-level alien beasts, in his hands, only had one knife. Brother Tian, you should let me come. I still want to try B-level alien beasts. Wang Hao shouted. Okay, stop talking nonsense. Aren't there enough alien beasts here for you to kill? I'm tired. Yi Xiao Tian laughed and scolded. Doing the same thing for too long is boring. Although it was fun to kill alien beasts and lose attribute points at the beginning. But after a long time, it became a bit boring. So I have to find some fun myself. In Wang Hao's eyes, fighting with B-level monsters is fun. But in Yi Xiaotian's view, this is just looking for trouble. Isn't it better to improve your strength honestly? Do you have to suffer? Boom! At this moment, there was a huge sound from the sea, and huge waves hundreds of feet high rushed into the sky. Wang Hao stopped joking, and Yi Xiaotian also looked solemn. Such a high wave must mean that a powerful beast is coming ashore. I don't know if it's this place or other places. Another sound. This time, Yi Xiaotian saw it clearly. It was a tentacle that hit the sea level, and the overflowing energy pushed the sea water up. It's an octopus, but I don't know what level it is. When they were in the Bai Tao secret realm, they killed a B-level octopus. If this one is only B-level, there will naturally be no problem with the task. If it is a higher grade, it may not be. At least that's what Wang Hao and his friends thought in their hearts. You retreat first. Yi Xiaotian raised his knife, and a blade of light swept across like a silk thread. Hundreds of sea beasts were cut in half, leaving Wang Hao and his friends free. Perhaps because the octopus was going ashore, there were no low-level sea beasts at this time, and they might be making way for the big guys. Soon, the octopus emerged from the sea. Just by looking at its size, it was clear that this octopus was definitely stronger than the one they encountered in the Bai Tao secret realm. A layer of light green light appeared on the body of this octopus, protecting it like a light shield. A level C beast green light octopus. Yi Xiaotian was naturally not afraid of this level of beast. He was now considering other directions. Just now, I thought it was only a B-level sea beast that came ashore. Now even A-level sea beasts have come out. Once they form a scale, they will pose a huge threat to the East China Sea Fortress. Chapter 218 This is the case for the East China Sea Fortress, but what about other coastlines? It really rained all night when the house was leaking. I wonder if the alien battlefield is also like the coastline. Although the Shen family is a bastard, he still loves this world. Who knows if there will be another chance to be reborn after death. What's more, there are many people and things in this world that he can't let go of. Moving as fast as teleportation, the A-level junior blue light octopus had just landed ashore and waved its eight claws, trying to destroy the ground to show its power. Then I saw a flash of light coming over. After that, there is no more. The brain of this blue light octopus, which had been showing its teeth and claws just now, was smashed into pieces by Yi Xiaotian's sword light. The huge body lay on the ground, like a hill. When all the teammates saw this, they all looked at each other. That feeling is hard to describe. They wanted to ignore the power of the blue light octopus, and then said that even if Yi Xiaotian killed the octopus instantly, it would not be a big deal. But the mood felt wrong. After all, this is an A-level beast. Faced with such a being, regardless of Yi Xiaotian, if they went together, they might also be instantly killed by the blue light octopus. This is very uncomfortable. Calmness and shock appeared in my heart at the same time, creating a fierce collision. 
After clearing away thousands of sea beasts three times, five times and five times, Yi Xiaotian said, Let's go, we have to go back. Han Xuyao said, Brother Tian, what's wrong? Yi Xiaotian said, Let's go back first. He doesn't know what's going on at the East China Sea Fortress now. I don't know what the conditions are like at the landing points of other sea beasts, so I have to go back and find out first. Then he met someone who came out to find him. Director He, why are you here? Yi Xiaotian and the others were very surprised to see He Shur appeared here. He Shur said, I finally found you. If I can't find you again, I will go crazy. Director He, what happened? Yi Xiaotian also felt something was wrong. He Shur said, the news that you are Haotian has been leaked. Now the heretical organization is trying its best to find you. They will never give up until they kill you. The news that you are on the east coast cannot be hidden, so the principal means to find you and take you back immediately. Yi Xiaotian narrowed his eyes slightly and said, Did the Shen family do it? He sure didn't answer, and he was acquiescing by not speaking. Is Shen Xueqing still in the East China Sea Fortress? Yi Xiaotian asked. He sure answered this time, Yes, he doesn't dare to disobey orders from above, even if it's just a show. Ha! Yi Xiaotian sneered. Director He, I want to go back to the fortress now. Yi Xiaotian said. He sure said, Okay, okay, I will follow you, and then I will accompany you back to the base city of Magic City. Yi Xiaotian didn't want to say more, but said, Director He, we just encountered A level and B level sea beasts coming ashore on the coast. Are there any other places? He sure was stunned and said, Did you come so fast? Oh, Director He, where do you start with this? Yi Xiaotian said. He sure Dao, we speculate that the alien race and the sea beasts are uniting to launch an attack on the Blue Star human race. It is estimated that this meeting has already begun on the alien battlefield. The four supreme powerhouses are stationed on the frontline battlefield because of this incident. After listening to his story, Yi Xiaotian said, that's it. It seems the situation is worse than we imagined. If it hadn't been so bad, we wouldn't have pulled out the students from our school. He sure said helplessly. Where are those aristocratic families? Why don't their masters come out? Yi Xiaotian asked. The Shen family can send out a team of more than a hundred A-level awakeners, and other families can certainly do the same. What's more, there are even more powerful family forces above the aristocratic family. Now, all official forces are sent to the front lines of the alien battlefield. The important task of protecting the base city should be shouldered by these awakened families. But judging from the current situation, this is obviously not the case. He sure Dao, those aristocratic families now focus more on family interests. There are intact eggs under the overturned nest. If Blue Star is really attacked by aliens and sea beasts, will their family still exist? Yi Xiaotian said angrily. He sure said, isn't that time not yet reached? If you come forward at this time, whose loss is it? Yi Xiaotian was speechless. It was already this time, but he was still planning this. Is it true that the Blue Star human race will not unite until they are in danger of destruction? The bad nature of the human race is fully demonstrated at this time. It is said that foreign races are good at fighting among themselves, so why not the human race? In critical moments, they can unite regardless of interests. But when things slowed down a bit, they began to fight for power, fearing that if they were one step slower, they would lose a big step. It's already this time, but there's still no movement from these aristocratic families. Is there nothing the National Defense Committee can do? Yi Xiaotian asked. He sure said, control. Why don't you care? But how can you control it? Yi Xiaotian. The boss of the Supreme Defense Committee is a supremely powerful man. Who dares not to listen to what he says? Yi Xiaotian expressed disbelief. This is also an unwritten rule. Although the Defense Committee is the strongest and the largest, there are countless aristocratic families in Xia country. Once they unite, they will also be a very terrifying force. He sure said lightly. Yi Xiaotian understood what was going on when he heard it. 
For the official, the development of aristocratic families is definitely not a good thing. But for the sake of need, they cannot stop it. They can only turn a blind eye. As long as it is not too much and does not dig into the official corner, they can only let it go. With the development of time, the power of these aristocratic families is getting stronger and stronger, and their attitude towards the defense committee is also inconsistent. This situation not only happened in Xia country, but also in other countries. You can't control it yet. Eliminating these aristocratic families will still lose the power of the human race. He sure said helplessly. Yi Xiaotian also felt that the matter was very tricky. If I destroy the Shen family, will the defense committee care? Yi Xiaotian suddenly asked. He sure was shocked and said, don't be impulsive. You can't afford to offend the Shen family now. Even he, an S-level strongman, couldn't afford to offend. Yi Xiaotian went to destroy the Shen family, and it was almost the same as being destroyed by them. You have a good talent. Now your identity is exposed. Although it is very dangerous, it is not without benefits. The higher-ups will definitely increase your training efforts. When you break through to the S-level, you can say this again. He sure said with a serious face. Chapter, 219 At the East China Sea Fortress, Yi Xiaotian and He sure chatted all the way here. Director He, it's safe now. If you have anything to do, go and do it. Yi Xiaotian said to He sure. He sure said, it's okay, I'll take you to Wang Ju's place. Yi Xiaotian said, no need, right? It's very necessary. You are in danger now. He sure said. Yi Xiaotian had no choice but to go to Wang Ju's captain's mansion first. Originally, he planned to settle the score with the Shen family when he returned to the fortress. It's hard for him to go to the Shen family's ancestral home now, but here, there is no problem. The Shen family gave him so many gifts, so he naturally wanted to give some back. How many times did he really think that Yi Xiaotian was made of clay? In the past, I was worried about not exposing my identity. Now that it has been exposed, there is nothing to worry about. But it's better to go to Captain Wang's house first, so that Han Xuyao and the others can stay there. It doesn't matter to him that he faces the Shen family. But these teammates of his are still too weak now. As far as he knew, the Shen family had sent out more than 30 Awakener teams this time. Now, only about 20 of them have been killed by him. It is estimated that there are still more than a dozen Awakener teams at the Shen family's residence in the East China Sea Fortress. There is also Shen Xu Echen, the head of the Shen family, an A-level high-level Awakener who is one step away from being promoted to an S-level powerhouse. And this is his business to begin with, and it is not good to involve his teammates. At least, that's what he thought. Next, he will be continuously hunted by heretical organizations. On his way back, he was thinking about whether he should leave the team and act alone. Forget it, let's talk about it then. He does not plan to stay in the Magic City base city anymore. The power of the heretical organization is almost all in the base cities. Of course, the East China Sea Fortress may also infiltrate. But there is one place they will definitely not go. That is the alien battlefield. When people from heretical organizations go there, they are looking for death. The people sitting there are all the major legions of the Blue Star human race. Orders and prohibitions. People from the heretical organization don't want to go to war with aliens. Therefore, their people can be distributed in major base cities around the world, but they will never go to the front lines. The aliens don't need them to gather information or anything. Wang Ju was relieved to see Yi Xiaotian and the others return safely. Only now did he know that Yi Xiaotian was Haotian. It's really unexpected. Modu University is so lucky. He actually recruited the powerful Haotian into the school. The hospitality was very warm. This is a person of the supreme power level in the future. Now that we have established a good relationship and have this incestuous relationship, there may be times when requests come to our door in the future. Yi Xiaotian didn't care, but Han Xuyao and the others felt flattered. In the evening, Wang Ju invited them to stay in the mansion. 
Now in the East China Sea Fortress, if you want to say where is the safest place, it must be his captain's mansion. As long as he is here, there is nothing else. Safety. Tomorrow, Wang Ju is going to personally escort Yi Xiao Tian and his team back to the base city of Magic City. I heard that the Magic City base city will also send experts over. Nowadays, the journey from Donghai Fortress to base city is the most dangerous. When it came out, no one knew. Yi Xiaotian's identity was not exposed. Therefore, even if the heretical organization wants to assassinate him, it will not invest too much. But things are different now. The heretical organization has spared no expense. Hao Tian has long been ranked first on the heretical organization's must-kill list. As it happens, he's on the east coast. Naturally, we should take advantage of this opportunity and try to kill the master who invested the most in one blow. When Yi Xiaotian returns to the base city and the Demon City University, it will not be that easy to kill him again. The defense force of Mordu University is definitely among the top three in the Mordu base city. There may also be people from the heretical organization in the East China Sea Fortress, but their power will not be too strong. After eating and drinking, everyone is ready to rest. The people of Yi Xiaotian's team have been fighting hard for so many days, and finally they can have a good sleep. Brother Tian, why don't we go for a walk outside? Han Xuyao came to Yi Xiaotian and said. During this time, Yi Xiaotian turned back into the brother Tian she was familiar with. So she had forgotten all her previous unhappiness. Although this Donghai fortress is a military fortress, it also has streets and other places to replenish supplies. Wherever there are people, there will be a market. There is a large group of people stationed here, plus a large number of Freedom Awakener squads haunting here. Therefore, Donghai Fortress also has streets where you can go shopping. Of course, compared with the streets of the Magic City Base City, it is completely incomparable. But how could Han Xuyao pick these things? She didn't have to choose. Since I arrived at the base city of Magic City, it was either a summer camp or various accidents. It is impossible for her and Yi Xiaotian to be like other lovers. Being able to live in the same villa is already great. Now that he finally had the opportunity, Han Xuyao naturally didn't want to miss it. It's so difficult for her to fall in love. Yi Xiaotian thought for a while, nodded and said, okay. Anyway, it's still early, so let's go out for a walk. Sister Bingyan, let's go for a walk and see the night view of the East China Sea Fortress. Sun Yao also said excitedly. Mu Bingyan looked at Sun Yao strangely, then looked at Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao, feeling a little embarrassed. She also wanted to see what the night of the East China Sea Fortress, a military stronghold, was like. But she couldn't go with Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao, otherwise she would have to fill her mouth with dog food. Xiao Shi, let's go and see it too. I don't know if there will be another chance in the future. Wang Hao also said. Next, the East China Sea Fortress should enter martial law mode. It will be impossible to visit the night view of the East China Sea Fortress next time in a short period of time. Even whether the East China Sea Fortress can be preserved is a question. Then let's go together. After that, this fortress may not be like it is now. Seeing that everyone was interested, Yi Xiaotian simply turned it into a group action. Han Xuyao felt a little unhappy. But she didn't stop it. Anyway, whether they were there or not, she still had to sprinkle the dog food she should sprinkle. Anyway, she was used to it. Holding Yi Xiaotian's arm, the group left the captain's residence. Seeing this, Wang Ju asked Yi Xiu, Brother He, do you want someone to follow? He Xiu shook his head and said, Forget it, there shouldn't be any danger in this fortress, let them have a good night. It seems that brother he is very confident in Yi Xiaotian's strength. Wang Ju said with a smile. He sure said, doesn't Captain Wang have confidence? Wang Ju's expression became serious, and he said, this is a rare opportunity, an opportunity for Magic City University, and also an opportunity for us. I don't want any accidents to happen. The favor of a future supreme power is too precious. Chapter, 220 Shen Family Mansion in Donghai Fortress Master, according to reliable information, Yi Xiaotian has returned to the fortress. 
Director He of Magic City University personally brought them back. Shen Xueqing subordinates reported. Yi Xiaotian has returned to Donghai Fortress, which is what Shen Xueqing is more worried about. But he is also a little excited. He vigorously promoted the news that Yi Xiaotian is Haoqian. Although there is no solid evidence. But his speculation is not completely unreasonable. Otherwise, the heretic organization would not believe it. Now, Yi Xiaotian does not need him to deal with him. The heretic organization will help them deal with him. So Shen Xueqing was also relieved. Instruct his subordinates to keep an eye on Yi Xiaotian's whereabouts and report immediately once he returns to Donghai Fortress. Shen Xueqing is going to sell the news about Yi Xiaotian to the heretic organization. Let them know when Yi Xiaotian will leave the fortress and return to the base city. At that time, the heretic organization will naturally know what to do. He told his men to keep an eye on Yi Xiaotian and his men, and report immediately if there was any news, and then he reported his men back. He took out a special communication device and sent out Yi Xiaotian's message. This is a communication treasure exchanged from the Samsara Mall. No matter where you are, as long as it is covered by the will of Samsara, you can send messages. Of course, those who receive messages also need this kind of communication treasure. And they have to leave special seals between each other to be able to contact each other. The most important thing is that this thing is very expensive. Shen Xueqing naturally couldn't afford it. This was exchanged by the ancestors of the Shen family who emptied their savings for decades. At night, at a certain moment. Boom! The gate of the Shen family mansion was shattered into slag. In the dark night, a figure holding a staff was suspended in the air, covered in a black robe. Who dares to come to the Shen family to make trouble? Soon, the silent Shen family mansion became lively. Figures of awakened people came out of the room, some jumped onto the roof, and some stood in the yard. Each of them found their teammates and stood in battle formation. Everyone held weapons and prepared for battle. Yi Xiaotian in the air nodded his head, worthy of being a well-trained awakened team from a big family. This reaction speed is indeed not comparable to the student team. From the time he broke the door to now, it was only a few seconds, and more than a dozen combat teams were ready for battle. Shen Xueqin came out of the room and stood in the crowd. Who are you? What grudge do you have with my Shen family? Shen Xueqing's face was as gloomy as water. The gate is the face of a force. The man who came in didn't say a word and directly broke the gate of their family. This is completely disregarding the Shen family. What? The head of the Shen family forgot about me so quickly, but I think about you all the time. Yi Xiaotian didn't hide it and directly revealed his voice. Now he holds the initiative, he has nothing to fear. The only thing to worry about is the old ancestor of the Shen family. But as long as he doesn't go to the old house of the Shen family, there will be no problem. So it's you, little bastard. You really don't want to go to heaven, but you insist on breaking into hell. Shen Xueqing recognized Yi Xiaotian's voice. While secretly happy, he was also very surprised. Doesn't this Yi Xiaotian have both close combat and auxiliary talents? What's wrong? Doesn't he have other talents? At least he has wind talent. He can see that Yi Xiaotian is flying in the air, using the wind talent skills. He is worthy of being the famous Haotian god in the world of reincarnation, he is really powerful. No wonder the aliens want to issue a killing order against him. Once this guy grows up, he will definitely be a huge threat to the aliens. It is also a huge threat to their Shen family. What a pity. If he hadn't been on the opposite side of the Shen family, it would have been great. Now, the two sides are incompatible and have reached a life and death situation, so there is nothing to say. Even if Yi Xiaotian's future achievements are brilliant, they have nothing to do with their Shen family. If even the Shen family does not exist, what is the point of this world? As the head of the Shen family, the interests of the Shen family are always the first priority. Anyone who threatens the Shen family, no matter who it is, must die. Kill him. Shen Xueqing gave the order without hesitation. When Yi Xiaotian was outside, he had no way to deal with the other party. After all, the personnel were scattered. 
People outside only knew that he brought 30 combat teams, but no one knew that there were more than a dozen combat teams hidden in their Shin family's mansion. This is the foundation of the family. You never know how many backhands they have hidden in the dark. The awakened people of more than a dozen teams attacked together, first assisting their teammates with various amplifications. Then the psychics began to cast spells. As for melee combat, they can only be on guard on the spot. Although they can also participate in the battle, the effort is not proportional to the reward. This kind of long-range combat is better left to the psychics. Yi Xiaotian snorted coldly, waved his staff, and pieces of flames fell, and star flames descended. How is it possible? How can he cast so fast? Yes, doesn't he need to chant the spell? Impossible. Yi Xiaotian performed the large-scale magic of star flame descent in an instant, shocking all the psychics on the ground. For such a large-scale magic, the preliminary preparation process takes at least more than 10 seconds. But Yi Xiaotian released it in one second. How fast is this? Such a speed can be comparable to that of S-level strongmen. Shen Xuecheng was also shocked. Where did this Yi Xiaotian come from? What kind of talent did he awaken to make him so abnormal? It completely violates common sense. Such a talent, what a pity. At this moment, Shen Xuecheng completely stood in the camp of the alien race, and Yi Xiaotian must die. Teams 1 to 5 defend, and the other teams attack. Shen Xuecheng shouted. Under his command, the first to fifth awakened teams changed their directions and began to perform defensive magic. Unfortunately, their agility attributes are far inferior to Yi Xiaotian after the amplification. They perform one magic, and Yi Xiaotian can perform more than five. Five consecutive star flames descended. Directly destroyed the defensive magic of the Shen family awakening team, and the star flames fell directly on the awakened people. Ah! 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 Shrill screams came, and the awakened people who were touched by the star flames all howled. The high temperature burned, the pain was unbearable. They hurriedly dispersed the star flames, but more star flames fell again. As for the attacks of the 6th to 10th teams, they didn't touch the corner of Yi Xiaotian's clothes at all. Eagle soaring, this innate skill is not comparable to the flying skills of the wind-type psychics. At the extreme speed, Yi Xiaotian's figure left a trail of afterimages in the air, and he had moved to more than a dozen places in an instant. Chapter, 221 After a round of attacks, the awakened people of the Shen family suffered heavy casualties. Shen Xuecheng was stunned. Is this the true strength of Yi Xiaotian? This guy has just been promoted to A-level awakened, and he feels stronger than him, a veteran A-level high-level awakened person. After a round of star flames fell from the sky, not only did the awakened people of the Shen family suffer heavy casualties, but even half of the Shen family mansion was destroyed. The places covered by the star flames were burned, and finally left a scorched earth and scorching high temperature. Shen Xueqing hurriedly commanded the water-based psychics to cool down, and then personally went down to attack Yi Xiaotian. He is a veteran A-level high-level awakened person, and his main attribute has reached the critical point of breaking through the S level. If it weren't for the fact that several other attributes have not yet reached the requirements. He could have been promoted to S level long ago. Seeing that the head of the family was going to take action, the auxiliary psychics of the Shen family gave him auxiliary skills. A strong momentum emanated from Shen Xuecheng. Shen Xuecheng was delighted. He was lucky this time. He actually increased his strength attribute. That was great. In this way, with his innate skills, his attack power could even reach SS level. Yi Xiaotian was the only one. Such an attack could definitely kill him instantly. But his joy hadn't lasted for a few seconds. A ray of light was cast on him. Then, he felt that his surrounding attributes suddenly dropped tenfold. Damn! Shen Xuecheng was shocked. How could this be possible? Then he saw Yi Xiaotian killing him. He didn't care about much and killed Yi Xiaotian with a long sword. At the same time, in the eyes of the awakened people of the Shen family, Shen Xuecheng also became Yi Xiaotian. That's right, this is illusion. 
but it's not Yi Xiaoqian's innate skills. Instead, he brought the Phantom Martin over, and he was holding it in his arms at the moment. Looking at the Shen family members below in chaos, killing each other, a sneer appeared at the corner of his mouth. Of course, there were also psychics who were not trapped in the illusion. Their spiritual attributes were relatively strong and their resistance was also very good. But how could Yi Xiaotian give them a chance? When he waved his staff, his innate skill illusion was also activated. Under the double illusion, these people were completely trapped in the illusion and fought madly against their comrades around them. The movement of the Shen Mansion soon alarmed other people in the fortress. More and more awakened people came outside the Shen Mansion, and then they saw an incredible scene. The head of the Shen family and the awakened people of the Shen family started fighting. The fight was very crazy, everyone was bloodthirsty, and they cut anyone they saw. It seemed that everyone was the murderer of their father. The one who killed the most was naturally Shen Shuecheng. Although his strength was weakened by Yi Xiaotian's decline, skill. But his combat power at this moment has also broken through the S level. The sword energy of dozens of feet was crisscrossed, and anyone who touched it would die. The house was destroyed. Various screams were heard. Yi Xiaotian was flying in the air, holding the magical sable in his arms, with a calm expression on his face. Soon someone noticed him, but he was completely wrapped up in a black robe, so no one recognized him. They just thought he was here to watch the fun. After all, the internal strife in the Shen family had nothing to do with others. But soon, someone found something wrong. Because the person who was yelling and cursing in the mouths of the Shen family members was Yi Xiaotian. So they were not fighting internally at all, but were under an illusion. Thinking of this, some people began to sweat coldly on their foreheads. Illusion talent, this is rare among rare ones. It is about the same rarity as healing talent. And Shen Xuecheng is a veteran A-level high-level awakening expert, who can make this level of expert fall into an illusion. It can be seen that people who cast illusions not only have high talent grades, but also have a high awakening level. There are not many awakeners who meet these two conditions. I don't know who this Yi Xiaotian is, and he actually has such a skill. Wang Ju and He Shi also came. At first, they were both shocked that someone dared to attack the Shen family. Then they saw that the people fighting were all from the Shen family, and they were a little confused. After realizing that the Shen family had been under an illusion, they began to speculate who had done it. They only heard the Shen family shouting Yi Xiaotian, die. And then they started to kill each other. It seemed ridiculous no matter how you looked at it. So, the Shen family members thought that the other party was Yi Xiaotian, so they attacked each other. But where is Yi Xiaotian? Could it be that the one floating in the sky? Wait, what is he holding in his hand? He sure saw the illusion Martin in Yi Xiaotian's arms and knew what was going on. This Yi Xiaotian, I thought he had listened to the words, but I didn't expect that he really came alone to kill. Seeing the miserable situation in the Shen mansion, he sure kept thinking in his heart, how to deal with this matter. This is too much. Donghai Fortress does not allow such a thing to happen. Wang Ju snorted coldly. Then he was pulled by He sure, who said, Calm down, don't be impulsive. Wang Ju said strangely, What's wrong? No matter what, the Shen family is the defense force of our human race. We can't just watch it disappear like this. He sure pointed at Yi Xiaotian in the sky and said, Don't worry about this matter. Who is he? Wang Ju's intuition told him that he sure knew the man in the sky. He sure looked around, and then whispered, Yi Xiaotian. He is Yi Xiaotian. Wang Ju exclaimed, scaring He sure. Wang Ju also realized that he was a little careless, and quickly lowered his voice and said, How could he be Yi Xiaotian? Isn't Yi Xiaotian a warrior? All along, Yi Xiaotian has shown the power of a warrior on the east coast. A battle knife can kill countless enemies. The squadron leader and the team leader below reported to him, but all of this. Now Yi Xiaotian is flying in the air, feeling the breath of the Shen family star flame, and this illusion. This is fucking, this Yi Xiaotian is going to defy the heavens. He sure said, the phantom Martin in his arms. Wang Ju realized that he had made a mistake. 
He thought it was a cat before, but it turned out to be a phantom Martin. Where did he come from? Wang Ju almost bit his tongue. Is this Yi Xiao Tian? Is this still Yi Xiao Tian? Even if he is Hao Tian, he wouldn't be so perverted, right? A series of questions emerged in Wang Ju's mind. It seems that they all underestimated this monster. How many cards does he have that he hasn't revealed yet? Look at this arrogant Shen Shuechen, who was played around by Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian can endure until now, which really makes people look up to him. What should we do now? Watch the Shen family kill each other to death. Wang Ju said worriedly, when the Shen family investigates, the school will take the blame. He sure snorted coldly, the Shen family can do the first day, but they can't allow Yi Xiao Tian to do the fifteenth. I want to see how the Shen family has the face to investigate. Chapter 22 He sure knew very well how much the Shen family had done to Yi Xiao Tian. Although there has been no conclusive evidence, some things, sometimes, do not require evidence. When the Shen family was strong, he sure advised Yi Xiao Tian to be patient. But when Yi Xiao Tian became strong, he no longer needed to be patient. Now, it was time for Yi Xiao Tian to be strong. He sure looked at him with a radiant look. He still seriously underestimated Yi Xiao Tian. The opponent's strength was simply unfathomable. It was ridiculous that the Shen family had been targeting him. But they had never succeeded. No matter what tricks they played, they were resolved by Yi Xiao Tian one by one. Instead, the Shen family suffered losses. He sure was actually very angry about the collusion with the heretic organization last time. But there was no direct evidence. In the end, it was the Magic City University that put pressure on the Magic City Defense Committee to issue a punishment order. Let Shen Xuecheng take the masters of the clan to the East China Sea Fortress to resist the sea beasts. But what did the Shen family do? After arriving at the East China Sea Fortress, he actually wanted to kill Yi Xiaotian. Unfortunately, Shen Xuecheng's conspiracy did not succeed in the end, but caused the Shen family to suffer heavy losses. He sure wanted to applaud. Originally, he thought he had overestimated Yi Xiaotian, but now he realized that he had never really seen through Yi Xiaotian's depth. Sure enough, he was the final winner. As long as he managed Yi Xiaotian's line well, he would have a promising future. It was such a blessing to have a friendship with a supreme strongman. When the sword god rose, he had no chance. But he had to seize the opportunity of Yi Xiaotian's rise. Now, Yi Xiaotian has shown his fangs. Next, he will definitely be under pressure from all sides. Now is the time for them to contribute. Captain Wang, you know Yi Xiaotian's potential without saying it, and it depends on you how to choose. He sure reminded. Wang Ju was silent for a while before saying, Director He, are you so optimistic about him? This optimism is not only about Yi Xiaotian's potential, but also whether he can grow up. The human race has too many geniuses, but very few of them have really grown up. Most of them died in the process of growth. So some people say that geniuses who died prematurely are not called geniuses, but short-lived ghosts. Others say that the current human race's strong men are actually not geniuses, but they have become strong just because they have lived long enough. Geniuses are targeted, and mediocre people can grow up safely. This statement is not completely correct, but it does make sense. Geniuses attract everyone's attention. No matter whether they are of the same race or different races, there will be people who are jealous and don't want such geniuses to grow up. Of course, this phenomenon does not only happen in the human race. Even the different races are the same. In fact, the struggle between different races is even more intense. Okay, since the school is so optimistic about him, as a student graduating from the school, I naturally can't drag my feet. Wang Ju made up his mind. When you return to the base city, I will escort you personally. Wang Ju said. With the protection of an S-level awakening expert, the safety of Yi Xiaotian and his party can be said to have been improved by several levels. Among the masters sent by the heretic organization this time, there must be S-level awakening experts, but there should not be SS-level awakening masters. If it was just he sure alone, there would inevitably be some things that could not be taken care of. But if Wang Ju was added, 
it would be foolproof. I think the heretic organization would not have thought that Wang Ju would leave the East China Sea Fortress and personally escort Yi Xiaotian back to the city. Especially in such an urgent situation, it can have unexpected effects. I just don't know if the Shen family will take other countermeasures after Yi Xiaotian made such a scene at night. The battle of the Shen family has come to an end. The scene is very tragic, and the awakened people around are sweating coldly. At this time, everyone knows the whole story. It is not an internal conflict in the Shen family, but an illusion of others. This is fucking terrifying. If you put yourself in my shoes, that feeling might be more painful than death. Look inside, there is only one Shen Shu etching left. When he wakes up and sees this scene, will he collapse directly? What is killing people and destroying their hearts? This is it. What will happen when he finds out that these people died in fratricide, and most of them died in his hands? Although I can't fully understand it, I can empathize with them. In the half-crippled Shen family mansion, Shen Shuecheng slowly woke up. Then the scenes that happened before flashed through his mind. Puff! Shen Shuecheng spurted out a mouthful of blood, and his face turned purple. He looked up at the sky, staring at Yi Xiaotian in the air, and said, Yi Xiaotian, my Shen family will never stop fighting with you. Yi Xiaotian looked down at Shen Shuecheng, snorted coldly, and said, Shen Shuecheng, don't you think it's a little late to say this now? We have been at war for a long time. When your son sent people to kill me, when you sent people to kill me in the secret realm, when you colluded with the heretical organization to kill me. Of course, there are also masters of your Shen family on the east coast who have tried to kill me dozens of times. Master Shen, you are not a noble person who forgets things so quickly, right? I thought the head of the Shen family had already sorted out the relationship between us, but I didn't expect that he could say such a thing. Should I say you are naive, or do you think everyone else is a fool? Shen Xueqing pointed at Yi Xiaotian, and opened and closed his lips several times, but he couldn't say a word. Even as the head of the Shen family, he was speechless by Yi Xiaotian's words. The audience who were watching the excitement exclaimed after hearing Yi Xiaotian's words. Then he asked his fellow practitioners around him whether what Yi Xiaotian said was true. Is it still a mystery? Why would the Shen family go to the East China Sea Fortress to resist sea beasts? It seems that the rumors are true. What rumors? It means that the Shen family colluded with a heretic organization to murder a human genius and was punished by the defense committee. Is it true or not? The Shen family colluded with a heretic organization, and this is the only punishment. Without evidence, what can you do? Shen Xueqing was anxious after hearing these remarks. Yi Xiaotian, you are slandering me. What evidence do you have? If you don't have any evidence, I will sue you at the Supreme Defense Committee. Shen Xueqing said sternly. The Shen family has made great contributions to the human race in resisting alien races. You slander the Shen family like this, which is intolerable in heaven. Yi Xiaotian sneered, now you know that it is intolerable in heaven. If it is intolerable in heaven, you, Shen Xueqing, would have been struck to death by lightning many times. Shen Xueqing, do you really think I am a three-year-old child? I remember all the things your Shen family did. As for the evidence, what I, Yi Xiaotian, say is the evidence. Chapter, 223 What I, Yi Xiaotian, said is the evidence. What a domineering sentence. Yi Xiaotian, you will pay for your stupid behavior. Shen Xueqing couldn't believe it. How dare he, Yi Xiaotian, do this and say this. When the Shen family does this kind of thing, they have to be sneaky, for fear of being caught. But Yi Xiaotian is so blatant. Is he really not afraid of gossip and human law? After all, the things done by the Shen family are just Yi Xiaotian's words, without sufficient evidence. The Shen family can just push it away. But what Yi Xiaotian is doing now is in the public eye, and he can't deny it even if he wants to. How dare he do this? Is he a fool? No, if Yi Xiaotian is a fool, he would have died long ago. He wouldn't have waited until now to do it. So he is more inclined to believe that Yi Xiaotian dared to do this only when he was sure. 
Does Yi Xiao Tian have direct evidence in his hand? After this speculation, Shen Xu Eching's heart sank. But at this time, you must not be timid. Even if Yi Xiao Tian has evidence in his hand, he will not admit it. But it is obvious that Yi Xiao Tian will not show him any evidence. He just wants to suppress the Shen family with force. Let the Shen family also taste what it means to have a hard time. Let the noble families also know that no matter how clean you are, you are not allowed to do whatever you want. But Shen Xueqing obviously doesn't think so. He thinks Yi Xiaotian is still young after all. Young people are full of energy, so they do things idealistically. Will this world allow you to be idealistic? Too naive. It doesn't matter if the Shen family loses this round. He Shen Xueqing is still there, and the Shen family is still there, so they can win back. He will teach Yi Xiao Tian a good lesson about what the power of the noble family is and what it means to suppress others with power. Even if Yi Xiao Tian had the upper hand before. But after tonight, Yi Xiao Tian is the public enemy of the noble family. What He Shen Xueqing said cannot be changed even if a god comes. But it is obvious that he is too naive. The reason why Yi Xiao Tian spared his life was just to let him feel what it would feel like after waking up. Now that he was no longer angry and had vomited blood, he could go and die. Since Yi Xiao Tian came today, he had no intention of letting Shen Xueqing go. No matter if he was the head of the Shen family or not. He only knew that Shen Xueqing had tried to kill him several times. So Shen Xueqing was doomed. As he said, even gods couldn't save him. Shen Xueqing, are you feeling better? Yi Xiao Tian suddenly asked. Shen Xueqing felt something bad in his heart and said, What do you want to do? Asking if you were feeling good at this time was a ghost. Yi Xiao Tian said, Since you are no longer angry, you can go and die. Yi Xiao Tian, you dare, I am the head of the Shen family, if you dare to touch a hair of mine, the Shen family will not forgive you. Shen Xueqing was scared. Really scared. The previous scene flashed in his mind again. This Yi Xiao Tian was too scary. Dozens of masters from his Shen family just killed each other. Even he didn't know when and how he was trapped by the illusion. Yi Xiao Tian said, the head of the Shen family is really forgetful. Didn't he just say that the Shen family and I will never give up? Since we are all going to fight to the death, what's the point of keeping you? In fact, we don't have to fight to the death Shen Xueqing admitted his weakness. Now his strength is only one third of what it used up. How can he fight Yi Xiao Tian? Before, Yi Xiao Tian had been standing aside to watch the fun and didn't do anything at all. Oh, no, at the beginning, he released a few star flame skyfalls, which killed many of his men and destroyed half of the Shen family mansion. But that little consumption is probably recovered now. Then, he saw He Shu and Wang Ju in the crowd with sharp eyes. Director He, Captain Wang, help. Shen Xueqing didn't care about the embarrassment and immediately asked for help from the two. He Shu and Wang Ju regretted that they should have found a sheltered place. However, it seemed that the front half of the entire Shen mansion was destroyed, and there was no shelter. He Shu turned his face away, indicating that he did not see this incident. Wang Ju wanted to follow suit, but was stopped by Shen Xueqing. Captain Wang, my Shen family has shed blood for the human race and made great contributions. Are you, the Night Watch Corps, just watching the human race's heroes being slaughtered? Shen Xueqing's voice was shrill. Damn, after saying this, Wang Ju couldn't do anything about it. Otherwise, what would others think if this word got out? What would other awakened families think? The current awakened families were all fought with swords and arrows. Which ancestor did not shed blood for the human race? Now that there has been peace for a few years, have they started to slaughter heroes? But is the Shen family's actions really worth Wang Ju's protection? However, the most feared thing in the world is rumors. In today's incident, those present may know who is right and who is wrong, but after it is passed on to the second or third hand, who knows what will happen. Those who know it are the personal grudges between Yi Xiao Tian and the Shen family, and those who don't know it think that the defense committee wants to get rid of those aristocratic families. So after this was said, no matter what, Wang Ju must protect Shen Xueqing. 
Even if Shen Xuecheng is guilty of a serious crime, he cannot be allowed to die here, but should be handed over to the defense committee for disposal. Sighing, Wang Ju turned around and said to Yi Xiaotian, Student Yi Xiaotian, let's stop here today. I will send the head of the Shen family back to the base city and hand him over to the defense committee for disposal. You want to save him, you can try. Yi Xiaotian said lightly. He said that Shen Xuecheng is dead today. Unless the ancestor of the Shen family appears here, maybe he can still save his life. Or, another SS level awakening power comes. Neither Wang Ju nor He Shi can stop Yi Xiaotian. Since his identity has been exposed, he should expose more, so that no one dares to come to him. Doesn't your heretic organization want my life? Then come. Let's see who kills who first. He sure had to speak up at this time. He didn't want Yi Xiaotian and Wang Ju to have a falling out, so he said, Xiaotian classmate, let's just leave it like this today. No, I said, he must die today. Yi Xiaotian said. How dare you? Wang Ju scolded. Yi Xiaotian, do you really think no one can cure you? You can try. Yi Xiaotian said. He sure said anxiously, classmate Yi Xiaotian, the right and wrong of this matter will be investigated and dealt with by the defense committee. No matter what grievances you have, you cannot be lynched. Do you understand? Take my advice, hand this matter over to Captain Wang, he will definitely give you an explanation. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, No, I've been waiting for this explanation for too long, but what have I waited for? What I've waited for is just repeated injuries, so I'll take this explanation myself, so you don't have to worry about it. Chapter, 224 Shen Xuecheng also wanted to say that Yi Xiaotian was innocent and that the world was not as simple as he imagined. But Yi Xiaotian pointed his magic staff, and a mysterious power enveloped Shen Xuecheng. Shen Xuecheng first looked horrified, then vomited blood, and finally fell to the ground with lifeless eyes, twitching a few times, and was lifeless. Wang Ju and He Shi were both shocked. They came to Shen Xuecheng and checked. Dead. He Shi said. How did you die? Wang Ju asked puzzledly. They all saw Yi Xiaotian's last action just now, but they were a little baffled. What kind of skill is this? It can actually kill an A-level high-level awakener silently. But none of this matters anymore. The important thing is that Yi Xiaotian killed Shen Xuecheng in full view of everyone. The Shen family will never give up. This matter is no longer something they can handle. Wang Ju immediately took out his communicator and started to contact the Demon City Defense Committee. The Night Watch Corps is affiliated with the Defense Committee. Let's leave this matter to the National Defense Committee. You are too impulsive. He sure said to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, if I had been impulsive, I would have killed both father and son long ago. What I endured was the endless pursuit. The Shen family colluded with heretical organizations, but they let them come to the East Coast without any pain. Even resisting sea monsters is a matter of free decision. What about me? What did I do wrong? The Shen family has been targeting and hunting me down again and again. I'm so disappointed with the current top management of the human race. After saying that, Yi Xiaotian left. He sure opened his mouth, but not a word came out. Wang Ju had just contacted the National Defense Committee and asked He sure, what did he say? He sure said solemnly, he said he was very disappointed with the top management of the human race. What? Wang Ju didn't know how to describe Yi Xiaotian. This kid is not very old, but his tone is very arrogant. What did the National Defense Committee say? He asked Wang Ju. Wang Ju said, bring Yi Xiaotian back first. They will have to hold a meeting to discuss how to deal with this matter. They will even have to wait for the decision of the Supreme Defense Committee. He sure nodded to express his understanding. This matter involved Yi Xiaotian, and even the most powerful sword god of the Xia Kingdom was paying attention. It is definitely not something that the Magic City Defense Committee can decide. I just don't know how the Shen family will react after learning the news. When the two of them settled Shen Xueqing's body and returned to the captain's mansion, they discovered that Yi Xiaotian and his team had already left. 
One Jew was furious when he heard this and scolded his men, Are you all pigs? His men were also very aggrieved. What could they do if they wanted to leave? And one Jew never said that they were not allowed to leave. What should we do now? One Jew asked what happened. He sure said, Do I know what to do? I don't know where they went now. Whether they went back to the base city of Magic City or to the east coast. One Jew was reminded by him and said quickly, I'll ask the guards at the city gate. Soon, they got the news that Yi Xiaotian took his team members to the east coast. Hearing that Yi Xiaotian was not going back to the base city of Magic City, he was relieved for some reason. Going to the east coast is safer than returning to the devil. Brother Tian, aren't we going back to the Magic City? Why are we coming out again? Wang Hao asked with a puzzled look on his face. Yi Xiaotian suddenly found them just now and said that he would immediately go back to the east coast to hunt sea beasts. Although everyone was confused, they still had no doubts about Yi Xiaotian's words and followed him out immediately. This was dozens of miles away from the Donghai fortress, and then Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiaotian said, What are we going to do back in the demon city at this time? Improving our strength is the most important thing. With our current strength, there are only two places that are most suitable. One is the coastline, and the other is the alien battlefield. Where do you want to go? Wang Hao heard this and said, It makes sense. I thought before that we should not return to the city, but should continue to stay here to hunt sea beasts. Our strength here is improving very quickly. After a while, we will be promoted to B-level Awakeners. Then we can pass the team copy again. They have already experienced the benefits of team copy. For the awakened, reincarnation points are actually the most precious. Because the best things are all in samsara mall. The best talents, the best skills, the best equipment, and all kinds of treasures that make people drool just by looking at them. As long as you have enough reincarnation points, these are yours. As for redeeming attribute points, that can only be said to be the most basic use of reincarnation points. If it weren't for the fact that new awakened people were too slow to improve their physical attributes in the early stage, it would actually be a big loss to exchange reincarnation points for attribute points. It's just that you can't grow without starting. So this is a process that must be experienced. But as an awakened person, the pursuit of reincarnation points is a must. Therefore, the people in the team are full of passion and are just waiting to be promoted to B-level awakeners. This time, Yi Xiaotian went further and Shen Xueqing died. He died in his hands, and in full view of everyone. So he must prepare in advance. It is certain that the Shen family is taking revenge. There may even be penalties from the National Defense Committee. If he wants to resist, he must have stronger strength. Although his current strength is already very strong, not to mention the new awakeners, even most of the old people who have awakened for decades are not as strong as him. But it is not enough. The Shen family alone is terrifying enough. Add to that an even more terrifying defense committee. Although the defense committee may not necessarily push him out to calm the anger of the Shen family. But he has to prepare for a rainy day. So for many things, he doesn't need to hide his teammates anymore. Anyway, now everyone in the world knows that he, Yi Xiaotian, is Haotian. Everyone take a break first. Yi Xiaotian found a place for everyone to stop and rest. Wang Hao said anxiously, why are we still resting? We rested well and revived with full health. Yi Xiaotian said unhappily, just rest if I tell you to. Why are you talking so much nonsense? There is something I want to explain to you. Yi Xiaotian explained, in fact, I am not just a dual talent awakener, I am a multi-talent awakener. So if you see me use other talent type skills later, don't be too surprised. As for Haotian's identity, let's not talk about it for the time being. When they know it, they will naturally understand it. It's a bit self-praising to say it directly. And this place is far away from the city, there is no network coverage, and there is no messy information, so they can hunt sea beasts with peace of mind. Chapter, 225 How many talents do you have? Wang Hao asked. As for the others, they all looked very calm. It was different from what Yi Xiaotian expected. 
he thought that they would be surprised or even jump up when he said this. This calmness was a bit abnormal. Aren't you surprised? Yi Xiaotian asked. What's there to be surprised about? We are not surprised by anything that happens to you. Huang Jia said, Brother Tian, what kind of person are you? Don't you have any idea in your mind? What's wrong with me? I'm very normal. Yi Xiaotian said. Huang Jia looked like his eyes were about to pop out, and said, Are you still normal? If you are normal, then what are we? Giant babies? Yi Xiaotian was also a little embarrassed and said, It's not as exaggerated as you say, right? Yes. Very much. A series of answers made Yi Xiaotian even more embarrassed. It seems that he is really not normal. Brother Tian, ignore them, they are all jealous, envious and hateful. You all should be careful when you talk. Han Xuyao defended her husband domineeringly. Well, Brother Tian, actually, we are not normal either. Think about it, which freshman has awakened to a high-level C-level awakener within a few months and can soon break through to B-level? No, no. We are not normal either, ha ha ha. Everyone laughed with embarrassment. Only Mu Bingyan has remained calm all the time, watching these people go crazy, too childish. Okay, the jokes are over, now let's get serious. Next, I'm going to go all out, so if you see something you can't understand, please understand. Yi Xiaotian put away his smile and said seriously. Huang Jia said, Brother Tian, can you quickly increase the attribute points? Yes. Yi Xiaotian replied immediately. Then there is nothing to say, as long as it can improve the strength, anything can be understood. Huang Jia finished speaking, and everyone nodded in agreement. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, the break is over, let's go to the battlefield. Soon, Huang Jia was slapped in the face by his own words. He didn't understand. What's going on with the thousands of Tian brothers that suddenly appeared just now? One face was confused. Two faces were confused. All kinds of confusion. Everyone looked at Han Xuyao. Han Xuyao shook her head to indicate that she didn't know. Everyone looked at Wang Hao again. Wang Hao also shook his head to indicate that he didn't know. Then he said casually, didn't you say before that no matter what happened to Tian Gu, you all understood it? But this is too incomprehensible, can you understand it? What kind of talent skill is this? Huang Jia said speechlessly. Wang Hao said, you don't know, how can I know? Nightmare. Mu Bingyan suddenly said. Nightmare? What nightmare? Everyone asked in confusion. Bingyan, you know, tell us quickly. Han Xuyao hugged Mu Bingyan's arm and urged. Mu Bingyan said, I have seen this talent in the Samsara Mall. The price is 80 million Samsara points. Fuck. Huang Jia and Wang Hao cursed. 80 million samsara points, they will never be able to earn so much in their lifetime. Sure enough, although the samsara mall has everything, there is only one word that stands out, that is expensive. All good things are very expensive. High-level talents are originally one of the most expensive types. This talent is very rare. At present, no one has awakened this talent among humans. I don't know if there are any in the alien race. Mu Bingyan added. Do you remember the specific effect of this talent? Han Xuyao asked. Mu Bingyan said, it seems that the same number of clones can be differentiated according to the number of enemies, but the strength of the clones depends on the grade of the talent. Everyone was stunned when they heard it. This is too abnormal. Doesn't that mean that one person can be equivalent to a legion? Mu Bingyan knew what they were thinking when she saw their expressions. Explained, in fact, it is not as terrible as you think. If the strength is not enough and the grade of talent is not high, it is useless to split more clones. Everyone heard that it was indeed the case. If there is no strength, what does it matter if there are many clones? So what level is Brother Tian? Wang Hao suddenly asked. Mu Bingyan paused for a moment, and then said, his talent is of a high grade, and his own strength is also very strong. Did you see that even the sea level sea beast was killed in seconds just now? 
I don't know why Mu Bingyan talked a lot today. After listening to her explanation, everyone had a rough idea in their hearts. After all, Yi Xiaotian is still very powerful. I don't know who is more powerful, Brother Tian or God Haotian. Huang Jia said casually. But the speaker is unintentional, and the listener is interested. Do you think Brother Tian is the God Haotian? Sun Yao suddenly asked. Hey, now that you mention it, it's really possible. Apart from Lord Haotian, there really is no one else as powerful as him. Wang Hao said with a smile. Impossible. Mu Bingyan said flatly. Why? Lord Haotian is an A-level awakener, don't you think Brother Tian is? Wang Hao said. Mu Bingyan said, don't forget, they appeared at the same time in the reincarnation world. Everyone was speechless when they heard it. Yes, this is the biggest flaw. Yi Xiao Tian and Hao Tian God appeared in the reincarnation world at the same time, and they used two different reincarnation IDs. As far as they know, in the world of the reincarnation tower, a person must not use two reincarnation IDs. Someone has tried this before, but failed. Is it possible that Brother Tian is an exception? Sun Yao said. Yes, Sister Bing Yen, do you know if there are any talents or skills in this area in the reincarnation mall? Huang Jia also said. Mu Bing Yen shook her head and said, No, I haven't seen it. Wang Hao held his chin and said, Could it be that Brother Tian and Hao Tian God are really two people? Is it really the human race that is destined to prosper, so two top monsters appeared in this session? If it is true, then there is no problem. No wonder Brother Tian and Hao Tian God can be friends, because they are originally the same kind of people. Huang Jia said. That makes sense. Wang Hao nodded. As the saying goes, birds of a feather flock together, and people are divided into groups. It still makes sense. Han Xuyao said, You guys are really worrying about things that are not worth worrying about. Is this something you should worry about? Our current task is to kill more sea beasts and improve our strength. As for whether Brother Tian has other identities, is there anything strange about this? In her opinion, Yi Xiao Tian just killed the head of the Shen family, and she was not surprised. Chapter 226 I'm going to the sea, you wait for me on the shore. Yi Xiao Tian cleaned up the sea beasts on the shore, and he couldn't wait any longer. Although the quality of the sea beasts coming ashore is higher now, the number is much smaller. It's better to go to the sea to hunt sea beasts automatically than to wait for them to come ashore here. He can let go of his hands and feet without hiding in front of his teammates. Brother Tian, will go too. Han Xuyao said first. Yes, Brother Tian, will go with you too. Wang Hao and others also expressed their opinions, and each of them looked determined. Brother Tian can't be left alone to fight alone anymore. Even if their strength is weaker than Yi Xiao Tian, they can always help. At least, they can kill a few more sea beasts. Yi Xiao Tian thought about it and said, but underwater is different from land. Can you adapt? Mu Bingyan suddenly said, there are water repellent pills in the Samsara Mall, which can make us walk on flat ground underwater, and they are not expensive. Ten points for one pill can last for half an hour. Even she spoke up, so Yi Xiao Tian did not refuse. Ten points for half an hour is really cheap. Keep your points, I'll change them for you. Yi Xiao Tian said. No, Brother Tian, your points are also precious. Han Xuyao refused. Others also refused. Yi Xiao Tian said helplessly, take a look at my points first. He opened the Samsara points page and showed them his points. Fuck, am I dazzled? Huang Jia screamed. Wang Hao also said exaggeratedly, eight digits, damn, this is not true. Several girls were also stunned. If they were not well educated, they would definitely swear. This is too shocking. Their points have never been in the seven digits, but Yi Xiao Tian has already broken through the eight digits. This gap is too scary. How can he have so many points? Does he get up every day to brush the reincarnation dungeon? But that's not right. They are together every day, whether Yi Xiao Tian brushes the reincarnation dungeon or not, 
they must know. Brother Tian, what's going on? How do you have so many reincarnation points? Han Xuyao's voice trembled a little. This is too rich. This is more shocking than Yi Xiao Tian suddenly taking out billions. As we all know, money is easy to make, but points are hard to brush. Things that can be bought with money can be bought with points. But many things that can be bought with points cannot be bought with money. If all these reincarnation points are converted into physical attributes, how much will it be? You can become an S-level awakener right away. Others expressed confusion. They all brushed the reincarnation dungeon with Yi Xiaotian, so why are their reincarnation points not even the last digit of Yi Xiaotian's? Yi Xiaotian said, I said before, if there is anything you can't understand, understand it. I can't explain too much to you now, anyway, you just need to know that I have a lot of points. Compared with the 8-digit reincarnation points, the water repellent pills with 10 points each are not worth mentioning. Everyone enjoyed it with peace of mind. After taking the water repellent pills, the group entered the underwater world. Yi Xiaotian was also relieved. Now, he can finally let his teammates know some secrets. This feeling is great. Is this the underwater world? It's so beautiful. Wang Hao and Huang Jia both praised it. Several women also chattered non-stop, and they were very curious about the underwater world. But soon, they saw the horror of the underwater world. A large group of sea beasts roared in, most of them were B-level and C-level. Fuck! Are there so many sea beasts in this sea? Huang Jia and Wang Hao didn't know how many swear words they said, but no one blamed them. Even the girls who hated swearing understood their feelings. Calm down! Calm down, this is just the beginning. Yi Xiaotian reminded them. Yi Xiaotian waved his staff and activated various talents and skills. But Han Xuyao and the others only saw the screen full of flashing lights, and then they didn't know how many sea beasts they saw fell one after another and floated in the sea. Go collect the bodies of the sea beasts, and then continue to move forward. Yi Xiaotian ordered. Wow! My attribute points have increased a lot. Sun Yao suddenly exclaimed. Then the others also opened their own attribute interfaces to check. Then there was a series of exclamations. In just this short period of time, their gains were higher than the previous 10 days. The drops of this mid-level beast are really not comparable to those of low-level beasts. The probability and number of attribute points dropped by killing high-grade beasts are higher. For example, F-level beasts can only drop a little attribute, and it is not certain that one will drop even if you kill a hundred of them. However, a B-level beast can drop five attributes, and it is possible that one attribute will be dropped after killing five beasts. This gap is also huge. The more important thing is efficiency. Yi Xiaotian killed too fast. There were at least hundreds of sea beasts on the screen, but they were all killed in a few seconds. How long did it take for other awakeners of the same level to kill a beast of the same level? For example, a B-level awakener can fight a B-level monster for half a day, and it is still unknown who will win or lose in the end. Yi Xiaotian once again refreshed their three views. Their cognition was seriously impacted. Especially Huang Jia and Mu Binyan. They both came from the awakening family and knew more about some common sense things than the others. They also knew very well how difficult it was to do what Yi Xiaotian did. Even if an S-level or even an SS-level master came, he might not be able to achieve such monster-killing efficiency. Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian could only start collecting the corpses of sea beasts silently. These were all money. Even if they were not sold for money, they could be used to exchange for school points and various cultivation resources. His reincarnation space was large, so even if the corpses of these sea beasts were large, they could still fit. Moreover, he was too lazy to collect the corpses of sea beasts below level D. Okay, the souls have returned, and we have to move on. Yi Xiao Tian reminded. Brother Tian, don't you want to collect the bodies of these sea beasts? Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiao Tian asked back, can your reincarnation space still be loaded? Wang Hao said with regret, what a pity, it would be great if the reincarnation space had an automatic recycling function. 
Don't talk about this, there is a place to recycle the bodies of strange beasts in the East China Sea Fortress, but we left in a hurry, so we didn't have time. Huang Jia said. They didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian would take them back to the East Coast. They thought they would go directly back to the Bay City, so they didn't sell the sea beast bodies in the East China Sea Fortress. After all, the price in the base city of the Magic City is higher than that in the East China Sea Fortress. Chapter 227 Devil City Base City, Shen Family Boom! With a loud bang, a building was blown into ruins. Powerful auras rose from the old house of the Shen Family. Then they flew towards the direction of the East China Sea Fortress. Just now, they received news that their patriarch died in the East China Sea Fortress. No matter what the reason, they must avenge the patriarch. The murderer must die, otherwise how can the Shen family gain a foothold in the magic city? The big movement of the Shen family alarmed many people in the base city. All the major families and official agencies knew that the Shen family was crazy. Their news channels were very powerful. As soon as the incident in the East China Sea Fortress happened, they had already received the news. While marveling at Yi Xiaotian's strength, they also mourned for the Shen family. It was a joke that the head of a family died in the hands of a young man. It is said that there is no impenetrable wall in the world, let alone such a big thing. Soon, a message spread in the awakened circle of the magic city. The head of the Shen family and many awakened teams of the Shen family were killed by Yi Xiaotian. This news spread like a whirlwind. It directly pushed Yi Xiaotian to the forefront. But soon, another piece of news came out. It was said that the Shen family had been sending awakened teams to hunt down Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian had been unable to bear it, so he fought back. Both pieces of news spread violently, and it was obvious that someone was secretly fanning the flames. Everyone soon saw who was behind the two pieces of news. One of the pieces of news wanted to drive Yi Xiaotian into the abyss, while the other piece of news was whitewashing Yi Xiaotian. Which of the two pieces of news was true, no one knew. After all, they were not the parties involved. Both pieces of news were well founded. Ordinary awakened people naturally could not tell the difference, and they would believe whichever side they had a better innate impression of. Only those well informed families and institutions knew what was going on. It's just that there is no right or wrong in this kind of thing, it's all about strength. The world is so realistic. The Magic City Defense Committee, referred to as the Defense Committee. What did those noble families say? There were more than a dozen people sitting in the conference room, all of whom were senior members of the Magic City Defense Committee. There were representatives from the political side and the military side. They only meant one thing, people like Yi Xiaotian must not be let go. They are too much. This matter was not Yi Xiaotian's fault. Why do you say that? Is this the first time you sit here? The noble families have put their own interests first since thirty years ago. Yes, although Yi Xiaotian's behavior this time only hit the Shen family in the face. But those noble families have the same sense of crisis, and what they want is our attitude. They are getting more and more excessive now. The situation is getting more and more unfavorable to our blue star. The aliens have already started small-scale actions, and the momentum of the sea beasts is getting stronger and stronger. And those noble families? They are still only concerned about their own interests. An old man slapped the table loudly. Obviously, everyone present was very dissatisfied with the actions of the noble families. But they also knew that the noble families were now in power and had become too powerful to be removed. Now, even if the Supreme Defense Committee wanted to move them, they would not dare to do it casually. The combined power of all the noble families even exceeded the power of the official. Moreover, many of the top leaders of the Defense Committee also had their own noble families behind them, and their forces were intertwined, and one move would affect the whole body. Therefore, even if the Supreme Defense Committee had the Supreme Sword God in charge, there was still no way. If all the noble families united to put pressure, the Defense Committee would have to compromise. The attitudes of the major noble families in the Magic City just came, and it was just as they expected. The noble families would not tolerate Yi Xiaotian. 
or, they would not allow such people who dared to challenge the noble families to exist. Today, a Yi Xiaotian appeared, and tomorrow there would be a Lu Xiaotian, or even a Li Xiaotian. The Xin family could fall, but Yi Xiaotian must die. This is the attitude of the major noble families in the Magic City. If the Shin family did something wrong, your defense committee could punish him, or even let the Shin family disband on the spot. But the defense committee must also give an explanation to the noble families. This is also the reason why the high-level officials of the defense committee are angry. Gu Yanian, the chairman of the Magic City Defense Committee, is already over 70 years old, but because of his strong strength, he looks about 40 years old. After listening to everyone's complaints, he knocked on the table and said in a deep voice, Okay, everyone, you can complain when you go back, now let's talk about your opinions. Chairman, what is the attitude of the Supreme Defense Committee? And what is the attitude of Lord Sword God? An elder asked. The other elders also looked at the chairman. The attitudes of these two parties are crucial, especially the attitude of the Sword God. The Sword God is one of the five supreme masters of the human race and the strongest in Xia country. It can be said that it is because of the existence of the Sword God that Xia country can become one of the five permanent members of the Supreme Defense Committee of the Blue Star Alliance. This is the real Dinghe Shenzhen. It is also the supreme existence of Xia country. But precisely because of his importance, he rarely expresses his opinions. Whether it is the Supreme Defense Committee or the noble families, they are watching his attitude. Gu Yanian frowned and said, it's still unknown. The Supreme Defense Committee has not made any statement. It is probably waiting for the attitude of the Lord Sword God. President, how about we wait a little longer? Said an elder. But the masters of the Shen family have already gone to the East China Sea Fortress. Yi Xiaotian's safety is not guaranteed. This is a genius that only appears once in a hundred years. An elder said worriedly. All the S-level masters of the Shen family set out for the East China Sea Fortress this time. Can Yi Xiaotian stop them? In their opinion, it is definitely not possible. Although Shen Xuecheng is an A-level high-level awakener, there is still a big gap between him and the real S-level masters. They don't think that Yi Xiaotian can compete with several S-level masters now. If there is no helper, Yi Xiaotian will definitely die. Now there are only two S-level masters, He Shi and Wang Ju, in the East China Sea Fortress. A decision must be made before the S-level masters of the Shen family find Yi Xiaotian. Gu Yanian said, I would like to remind you that with Yi Xiaotian's current momentum, he will definitely be a supreme powerhouse in the future. This very important sentence reminded everyone present. How difficult it is to be a supreme powerhouse. Just look at the fact that only five of them have appeared in the whole human race in more than a hundred years. And with Yi Xiaotian's growth rate, his achievements may even surpass those of the supreme powerhouses. If they save Yi Xiaotian today, they will be grateful to a supreme powerhouse in the future. But correspondingly, in the future, they will be jointly sanctioned by the aristocratic families of the Demon City. Chapter 228 I would also like to remind you that now that alien races and sea beasts are coming aggressively, we have to rely on the aristocratic families a lot. No matter how good Yi Xiaotian is, he can't help the nearby fire. At this time, an elder of the defense committee who came from an aristocratic family warned. The elders from aristocratic families naturally looked pleased. The elders who were not from aristocratic families, however, were angry. These aristocratic elders were simply too much, and they actually threatened the human race with such a big thing as life and death. It's so hateful. Sure enough, the aristocratic families now have changed. Gu Yanian, who was sitting in the first seat, was even more pale. He was very angry in his heart, but he couldn't say no. He would never make the final decision on this matter before the Supreme Committee made a statement. As for Yi Xiaotian, he could only pray for good luck. But they didn't know that Yi Xiaotian and his group had already gone to sea, and it was not easy for the Shen family to find them. After searching in the East China Sea Fortress without success, the masters of the Shen family went to Wang Ju's house and forced them to hand over Yi Xiaotian. Although they did not find Yi Xiaotian and his group, they did find out a lot about them. 
They knew that Yi Xiaotian lived in Wang Ju's house before he went to the Shen's house to kill people. As for Wang Ju's claim that Yi Xiaotian and his group had left and went to the east coast, they did not believe it. They all agreed that Wang Ju must have hidden Yi Xiaotian and his group and waited for the decision of the defense committee. So they had to put pressure on Wang Ju and must get Yi Xiaotian out before the defense committee made the final decision. The more angry Wang Ju was in his heart, the more gloomy his face was. These awakened people from the aristocratic families are really bold. Do you really think that the aristocratic families can do whatever they want? I really don't know what those people in the defense committee are doing. It has been so long, and they haven't made a decision yet. I guess by the time they make a decision, the daylily will be cold. Thinking of this, Wang Ju was a little relieved. Yi Xiaotian was really foresight and left early. If he really stayed, he would not know how to deal with it now. The people who came from the Shen family this time were all S-level strongmen. Such strongmen have such strong mental power that they can cover the entire East China Sea fortress with just one thought, and nothing can escape the scan. Before receiving the order from the top, Wang Ju did not want to conflict with the people of the Shen family. Let Yan Ming let them search by themselves. The masters of the Shen family almost turned the captain's mansion upside down to find it. Unfortunately, they didn't find a hair. They continued to put pressure on Wang Ju. It seemed that they had determined that it was Wang Ju who hid the person. Wang Ju was so angry that he almost vomited blood. The meeting room of the Magic City Defense Committee was filled with smoke. The meeting could not be held halfway because the two forces formed a confrontation and no one could convince the other. In the end, it was Gu Yanian who made the final decision. This matter would wait for the decision of the Supreme Defense Committee. The elders on the side of the aristocratic family were all very pleased. They believed that even the Supreme Defense Committee had to act according to the mood of the aristocratic family. Otherwise, this time, the invasion of alien races and the landing of sea beasts could not be handled by the Defense Committee alone without the help of the aristocratic family. The expressions of the elders on the side of the Free Awakeners were much more complicated. They were already angry when they should be angry, and now all that was left was helplessness and deep disappointment. The Supreme Committee had not given any orders for so long, and it must be difficult to make a decision. It seems that the forces of both sides are evenly matched. Even the aristocratic family has the upper hand. The sky was already turning white. Just when the aristocratic family thought they had won the victory. The earth and the sky shook violently, and a terrifying breath came. They all walked out of the meeting, and then saw a horrifying scene. Especially the elders on the side of the aristocratic family, they were even more like losing their parents. Boom! A huge sword fell from the sky and landed directly on the old house of the Shen family. The vast and extremely luxurious old house of the Shen family turned into ruins in an instant. The entire base city of the demon city felt this strong shock. Countless strong men flew into the air and saw this shocking scene with their own eyes. This is the sword god himself. An awakened strong man from a noble family muttered to himself, feeling very depressed. The sword god's move means that this fight has come to an end. The sword god used the destruction of the Shin family to tell everyone a truth that the power of the noble family is indeed very strong. But whoever dares to show up, just wait for destruction. Everyone knows that the sword god is far away in the capital, but he can cross thousands of kilometers with a thought and kill with a sword. In the ruins of the Shen family, a figure flew to the sky in a very embarrassed manner. Looking at the giant sword hovering over the ruins of the Shen family, he roared, The Supreme Lord is unfair to my Iron Blood family. This is the ancestor of the Shen family, a great SS level beginner, who has not been concerned with worldly affairs for decades. Unexpectedly, the day when he appeared in people's sight again would be the day when the Shin family would be destroyed. If the family feels unfair, then there is no need for the family to continue to exist. A deafening voice came from the giant sword. As soon as the voice fell, the giant sword fell. The ancestor of the Shin family roared, and a sword appeared in his hand, soaring into the sky and blocking the giant sword. Ding! A light sound. It only blocked for a moment. 
the sword in the hands of the ancestor of the Shin family shattered into pieces. The giant sword fell and directly swallowed the figure of the ancestor of the Shin family. An SS level awakener fell just like that, and the Shin family, a noble family that had dominated the magic city for decades, also disappeared completely. From beginning to end, it was only a moment's work. The giant sword was suspended in the air again, giving great pressure to the awakeners below. From today on, the magic city noble families will go out of the city to meet the enemy. Those who pretend to obey but secretly disobey will be killed without mercy. The voice fell, and the giant sword whistled and flew towards the direction of the capital. At the command, all the noble families in the magic city took action and sent masters to the east coast to meet the enemy. As for the several masters of the Shin family in the East Sea Fortress, when they received the next news from the Magic City, they did not dare to stay any longer, and rolled to the East Coast to meet the enemy in disgrace. They did not dare to return to the Magic City base city, for fear that the Lord Sword God would be unhappy and kill them. The Lord Sword God personally took action, and destroyed the awakened family of the human race, which gave all the awakened people in the Demon City base city a huge shock. The demeanor of the Supreme Strong is like a deep abyss and a mountain. Especially the students of the Demon City University, each of them is envious and jealous. Of course, the target is not the Sword God. But Yi Shao Tian. The news has been circulating for so many days, and the Demon City University is one of the places where the news is concentrated. So most of the students know that the reason why the Lord Sword God personally took action to destroy the Shen family this time was for Yi Shao Tian. For Shen Ao, who is studying at the Demon City University, the sky has fallen. Chapter, 229 The thundering means and domineering declaration of the Supreme Sword God made the noble families in the Magic City unable to sit still. They quickly organized their forces and rushed to the East Coast. In fact, not only the noble families in the Magic City, but also the noble families in the entire Xia Kingdom, and even the noble families in the entire Blue Star, or other organizational forces, were all shaken. What does the Sword God represent? It is not the Supreme Defense Committee of Blue Star. To be precise, none of the five Supreme Masters of Blue Star have joined the Supreme Defense Committee. The five of them are free. However, the five of them can decide the life and death of the entire Blue Star. Their power is superior to the Supreme Defense Committee of the Blue Star Alliance. The five of them have a Supreme Conference. Now there is only the Sword God left on Blue Star, so he represents the Supreme Conference of Blue Star. So no one dares not listen to him. It's just that the noble families in Xia Kingdom are also very sad at this time. Their original intention was just to compete with the Supreme Defense Committee and make the Supreme Defense Committee of Xia Kingdom make some compromises. But who could have thought that they would directly report the matter to Lord Sword God? What's even more outrageous is that Lord Sword God actually took action himself. Not only did he destroy the Shen family, he even issued a serious warning to all the noble families, which could even be said to be a final ultimatum. Now the noble families are very passive. In the past, they could still fight against the defense committee, but now they have directly used the ultimate weapon. Who dares to do this in the future? The main reason is that the destruction of the Shen family shocked them too much. There is no room for reasoning at all, and they just kill them directly. Lord Sword God said that whoever dares to show up will die. In this case, let alone the awakened family, even the powerful family and even the inherited family are finished. In Xia country, Lord Sword God is the Supreme God. One word from him is more effective than a hundred words from the Supreme Defense Committee. Shen Ao is now like a dog that has lost its home, and he is in a state of panic all day long. His biggest reliance is gone, the Shen family. Killed by the Lord Sword God himself. What else does he have? It can be said that at this moment, he has become a hated existence. All those lackeys who used to follow him and fawn on him are gone. Even his teammates Emo Qian and Wu Yen quickly drew a line with him, fearing that they would be killed if they were slow. Even the families behind them recruited them back from school. To show their attitude. Too terrible. They had calculated everything, but they didn't expect that the Lord Sword God would take action personally. 
This intensity is completely different from the punishment that the Magic City Defense Committee gave to the Shin family before. Shin Ao's sky collapsed. But the sky of the East Coast was about to collapse, but now it was supported by the awakening masters sent by the aristocratic families. Wang Ju was stunned. Things changed too quickly, and he didn't react at all. The pressure from the Shin family was still ringing in our ears, but the Shin family had already been destroyed. Then the awakened masters of the Shin family also went to the east coast to resist the invasion of sea beasts. I heard that the strength of the sea beasts that came ashore recently has greatly increased, the number of sea beasts below level D has sharply decreased, and the number of B and C level sea beasts has suddenly increased a lot. The students of the Night Watch Corps and the Magic City University were almost unable to hold on. Even he sure gave up looking for Yi Xiaotian and went to the front line to fight the sea beasts in person. If he hadn't been in the East China Sea Fortress to guard against accidents, he would have gone there too. Now it's good, with the addition of the living forces of the aristocratic families, the East China Sea is much safer. I just don't know what the situation is on the alien battlefield. The situation on the alien battlefield is not much better than the coastline. The frontline troops of the aliens have exchanged fire with the garrison troops, and both sides have suffered casualties. But they seem to be waiting for something. They didn't launch a too fierce charge. The aliens are indeed waiting for news. One is the news about the sea beasts on Blue Star. The two families agreed to work together and divide Blue Star equally. The other is the news about Yi Xiaotian. Because of Haotian, the alien race paid the price of blood and increased the difficulty of the reincarnation copy many times. But in the end, not only did they fail to curb Haotian's rise, but they also sent him off. This made the leaders of the alien race almost vomit blood. So this time, they want to take Haotian's head as a sacrifice. Taking Haotian's head can not only improve their own morale, but also suppress the morale of the human race, killing two birds with one stone. With this, the alien army can definitely break through the defense line of the human army in one fell swoop and invade Blue Star again. The flesh and blood of the humans on Blue Star are delicious, and the effect of improving strength is also top-notch. Yi Xiaotian and his men were under the sea, and they had no idea how many things happened on the shore. I don't know why the Lord Sword God personally took action because of his words I am too disappointed with the human race's high-level officials and destroyed the Shin family with iron-blooded means. Which completely shocked the aristocratic families. He was so happy killing in the sea. Without any scruples, Yi Xiaotian fought with full strength. As for Han Xuyao and Wang Hao, they were numb. In their opinion, even if Yi Xiaotian told them now that he was the biological son of the will of reincarnation, they would not doubt it. If he was not the biological son of the will of reincarnation, could he have such ability? Various talents and skills are emerging in an endless stream, making them dazzled and overwhelmed. So far, they don't know how many talents and skills Yi Xiaotian has used. It seems that Yi Xiaotian is just making a simple move or waving a staff. But they are all very clear. Behind this simple action, there are powerful attribute points and talent skills to support it. Otherwise, those powerful sea beasts would not die in large numbers. It is a kind of enjoyment and a disaster to brush the beasts with Yi Xiaotian. Needless to say, the enjoyment is that you don't have to do anything, just stand aside, and then the attribute points will rise. But the disaster is, if Yi Xiaotian is not here, what will they feel like when they are used to this kind of improvement? It's like a person who is used to earning a million yuan a year, but suddenly only has 2,000 yuan a month. This psychological gap will make people depressed. So the only way is to keep following Yi Xiaotian. Keep up with his pace. But Yi Xiaotian's strength makes them hesitate. With their talents, can they really keep up with Yi Xiaotian's pace? Will they really be able to help Yi Xiaotian in the future? In their opinion, the current Yi Xiaotian has already grown up. Of course, normally speaking, their current strength has reached the standard of college graduation. They will even soon exceed the average line of Magic City University. To be promoted to a B-level Awakener is something that many Awakeners dare to think about after more than 10 years, and it is a height that countless Awakeners cannot reach in their lifetime. 
Under the leadership of Yi Xiao Tian, they achieved it in a few months. Now thinking about it, it really feels like a dream. Chapter 230 The east coast is turbulent, and other coastlines are no less. All countries bordering the coastline have been attacked by sea beasts. But the problem now is that most of the world's combat power is tied up in the alien battlefield. Now a large number of sea beasts have landed, and there is a risk of losing. Originally, dozens of countries on Blue Star perished when the aliens came. This time, the aliens and sea beasts invaded at the same time, and the situation may be more serious. All countries on Blue Star have taken action. At this time, it is wisest to stick together. Some small countries with weak strength have started the merger process. However, these have nothing to do with Yi Xiaotian, and he is not interested in knowing these. He just wants to improve his strength quickly now. He knows very well what the consequences will be after killing the head of the Shen family. He may not be afraid, but are his teammates not afraid? Not to mention, behind his teammates, there are their relatives and families. Among the seven people in the team, only he and Wang Hao are real orphans. Even Sun Yao has a grandmother. Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi are both from Jiangqing families. As for Huang Jia and Mu Bingyan, it seems that until now, Yi Xiaotian still doesn't know where they are from. But as comrades, it's like this. No matter where the other party comes from, as long as they can trust each other, it's enough. As for the rest, they will naturally say it when they want to. Brother Tian, my attribute points have reached the standard of B-level awakeners. Unexpectedly, Huang Jia would be the first to report to Yi Xiaotian. He thought it would be one of Wang Hao, Han Xuyao, or Mu Bingyan. After all, the three of them are S-level talents, and they are combat-type awakeners. Unexpectedly, they were surpassed by an auxiliary. Brother Tian, I can do it too. After a while, Sun Yao also raised his hand to report. That's not right, why is the auxiliary first? Does the auxiliary have a bonus effect on the attribute point drop? Wang Hao said with a depressed look. As a shield warrior fighting at the forefront, he originally thought that he would be the first to advance to B-level Awakener. But he didn't expect to be surpassed by the little fat man Huang Jia first, and then Sun Yao achieved it. Ahem. Mu Bingyan cleared her throat twice and raised her hand. Although she didn't say anything, everyone knew that she must have achieved her goal. Wang Hao was even more depressed, as he was still hundreds of points short. Following Yi Xiaotian to brush the attribute points of the alien beasts, the growth was very fast, but the growth of these attribute points was not subject to their will. It was random. Wang Hao was unlucky. He was a shield warrior and his main attribute was physique. But it seemed that God was deliberately against him. His strength attribute points grew faster than his physique. Now, his strength attribute is almost equal to his physique. The advantage of this is that his attack power is greatly improved. But as a shield warrior, physique is the first priority. His innate skill is to greatly improve the defense effect and slightly enhance the attack. Increasing the physique attribute can maximize the effect of his innate skill. Don't worry, take your time. Chang Xiaoxi patted him on the shoulder. After looking at her attribute panel, she only needed a few points of physical attribute to reach the B-level standard. Yeah. I have reached the standard, and I can go to the promotion dungeon. Han Xuyao also said happily. After reaching the promotion standard, the attribute will be locked, unless you pass the promotion dungeon and officially advance to a higher awakening level, it can be unlocked. Otherwise, you all go to the promotion dungeon, I'll wait for you here. Yi Xiaotian said so. It's not good here, or we should go ashore first. Han Xuyao said. Yi Xiaotian said, it's okay, when you come out of the reincarnation world, just take a water repellent pill first. That's good, so as not to waste time. Everyone thought that they didn't lack water repellent pills, so they didn't refuse. As for danger, with Yi Xiaotian guarding here, there will definitely be no danger. Wang Hao was even more depressed. Others have been to the promotion dungeon, but he still has to continue to kill monsters here. Yi Xiaotian said unhappily, don't be ungrateful. Your other attributes are higher than theirs. 
when you are promoted to A-level Awakener, you will definitely be faster than them. Really? Wang Hao was revived immediately. Yi Xiao Tian said, Nonsense, to be promoted to B-level Awakener, the secondary attribute only requires a few thousand points, but to be promoted to A-level Awakener, the secondary attribute requires tens of thousands of points. Who do you think can achieve it earlier? Suddenly, Wang Hao was full of energy and shouted, Xiao Shi, watch me. Looking at Wang Hao who was rushing in the sea beasts, Chang Xiaoxi looked helpless, really childish. Compared with Yi Xiaotian's stability, forget it, she still prefers the childish Wang Hao. Yi Xiaotian is really too stable, so stable that it makes people scared. I don't know what Han Shuyao likes about him. Being handsome can't be eaten. Besides, he is not as handsome as she said. Buzz. While they were chatting, waves of undercurrents surged towards them, pushing them back hundreds of meters before stopping. Is the big boss coming? Wang Hao said with a look of fear. They hadn't even seen it yet, but the undercurrents that had been stirred up were enough to make them unable to stop it. Soon, a huge shadow covered the area where they were. Is that the black turtle? Chang Xiaoxi said tremblingly while covering the corner of her mouth. Wang Hao also widened his eyes. How big is this? With such a body, it must be hundreds of meters long and wide. Such a black turtle is definitely a dominant sea beast in the sea. Brother Tian, what should we do? Because Han Xuyao and the others entered the reincarnation world to break through the promotion copy, they had to stay here, and now they didn't even have the conditions to escape. Otherwise, when Han Xuyao and the others came out of the reincarnation world, they would probably be swallowed by this black turtle. Yi Xiaotian said, Don't worry, you two should retreat a little, I will deal with it. The black turtle is famous for its defense. Judging from the size and breadth of this black turtle, it is at least a sea beast above level A. It is unknown whether their attacks can break through the defense of such an existence. Looking at the tortoise shell on the black turtle and the phantoms of mountains and rivers lingering all over its body, it is simply armed to the teeth. Wang Hao said, Brother Tian, are you sure? Yi Xiao Tian said, at least there is no problem in saving your life, you guys go quickly. After hearing what he said, Wang Hao had no other opinions. Every time Yi Xiao Tian said this, he never said it wrongly. If they stayed here, they would not be able to help, but would become a burden to Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian held a staff in his left hand and a knife in his right hand. Even when he faced many masters of the Shen family, he had never been so serious. Chapter 231 There is no doubt that this black turtle is an A-level beast, and it is also the best among A-level beasts. The appearance of A-level sea beasts made Yi Xiao Tian feel a little worried. Is this A-level sea beast only in his direction, or has it begun to appear in other directions? With the current defense force of the East Coast, can it really withstand it? In any case, the people of Magic City University and the Night Watch Corps did not let him down. Yi Xiao Tian will always remember the help of Magic City University to him. Although the Night Watch Corps did not provide any substantial help, many of the soldiers were good. It's just that they can't help. Yi Xiao Tian doesn't want to see them suffer heavy losses. Especially the student team of Magic City University, they are all members of the Genius Camp, and their future achievements will not be low. It's really a pity that they fell on the East Coast before graduation. Stand at attention when you are beaten, and pay your debts. In any case, after cleaning up this black turtle, Han Xuyao and others will return to the shore when they come back from the reincarnation world. If you are poor, you can only take care of yourself, and if you are rich, you can help the world. The same is true for an awakener. The greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. This sentence is not just a saying. In the past, Yi Xiao Tian thought that when he was strong enough, he would go to the alien battlefield. But now it seems that this idea has to be postponed. From what I learned from He Shu, the defense force on the alien battlefield is already very strong. The biggest problem now is the defense force of Blue Star. At the beginning, the invasion of sea beasts was not considered, so the defense force of Blue Star was basically aimed at the heretic organization. Of course, there is still a very powerful force in Blue Star, that is, the aristocratic family. 
but judging from the situation of the Shen family, it is not reliable to pin hopes on these aristocratic families. Quick battle and quick decision. Yi Xiaotian's heart became more and more anxious. If Blue Star is gone, where can he survive? There is no egg under the overturned nest, this sentence is still very reasonable. Looking at the terrifying shadow getting closer and closer. Yi Xiaotian waved his staff repeatedly. For himself, it was naturally various amplifying innate skills, and for the Black Turtle, it was a cursed skill that weakened its strength. Decline, skill is needless to say. Yi Xiaotian also exchanged a curse innate skill decline, from the Samsara Mall. Although there is only one word difference, the actual effects of the two skills are very different. The effect of decline, is not immediately reflected, but after being hit, as time goes by, the strength of the person hit becomes weaker and weaker. That is to say, it takes time to play a role. However, even so, there is a threefold reduction guarantee. In other words, after two skills, Yi Xiaotian reduced the Black Turtle's overall attributes by 13 times. It is enough to offset the effect of the Black Turtle's innate skills, or even more. In addition, with the fermentation of time, the reduction effect of the decline, skill is getting bigger and bigger. Yi Xiaotian is not sure to what extent it will be reduced in the end. Ao. The Black Turtle obviously felt that its strength was greatly weakened and roared angrily. The undercurrents in the sea became more violent, and some sea beasts with weaker strength were killed by these undercurrents. Wang Hao and Chang Xiaosi, who were far away, saw this scene and took a breath of cold air. As expected of a powerful sea beast like the Black Turtle, with just a roar, it killed countless D-level and C-level sea beasts. Even those B-level sea beasts that were now invincible to them vomited blood and hurried away from the Black Turtle. Originally, these sea beasts wanted to borrow the light of the Black Turtle. But now they don't have such thoughts. Sure enough, a sneeze from a strong man can make a weak man lose his life. Wang Hao was very worried and said, Xiao Shi, do you think Xiao Tian will be in danger? Chang Xiaoxi also looked solemn and said, I don't know, but I know we can't go over now, otherwise he will be in more danger. Xiao Shi, do you think I am useless? I have always been taken care of by Xiao Tian, but I can't do anything for him. Wang Hao was a little depressed. Chang Xiaoxi thought for a moment and said, Wang Hao, people are different and cannot be compared. The reason why we have been taken care of by Xiao Tian is because he left first. When we become stronger, we can help him. But if you don't even have the chance to become stronger, then there is no chance to help him. Wang Hao nodded after listening. What he thought in his heart was that if he Xiao Tian was in danger, he must rush over as soon as possible. He couldn't take the blame for his brother, but he could die before his brother. It was worth it even if it was only one second earlier. So he stared at the battle between Yi Xiao Tian and the Black Tortoise nervously. He knew that the battle between the two would definitely be earth-shattering, and even disturb the peace of one sea area. But the next scene made him drop his eyes. I saw Yi Xiao Tian holding a golden sword, with countless lights flashing on his body, breaking through the skin directly from the belly of the Black Tortoise. Then there was blood everywhere. Although he had a high physical attribute and amazing eyesight, he gradually couldn't see the situation over there clearly. All they could see was that the water over there was becoming turbulent, gradually affecting the water on their side. Back off a little bit, Xiao Tian has now entered the body of the Black Turtle, and he should be fine. Chang Xiaoxi said. Although the Black Turtle's shell has unparalleled defense. But his belly is a soft spot. Just like the seven inches of a snake. Yi Xiaotian's actions were very bold, and he seized the opportunity and hit the target with one strike. Wang Hao also understood what Chang Xiaoxi said, so he followed back. But in a few minutes, the movement over there slowly stopped. Seeing that the area of thousands of meters was filled with blood, Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi both looked distressed. The blood of the A-level alien black turtle, how much money is it worth? How many resources can it be exchanged for? It was wasted like this. When they came to the area where the black turtle appeared again, the black turtle's body had disappeared, and only Yi Xiaotian was seen. Did you collect the black turtle's body? Wang Hao asked Yi Xiaotian. 
Yi Xiaotian nodded. Although the black turtle's body was much larger than the octopus, it could still be put in. But his reincarnation space is almost full. He took a look at his physical attributes, and there is still half of the attribute gap to break through to S level. However, this time, he killed the black turtle, but he gained a powerful talent skill Black Tortoise Shield. Black Tortoise Shield, SS level defensive talent skill. After using it, a shield formed by three black turtle armors suspended around the body can resist three fatal attacks. Note that it is a fatal attack. If it is not a fatal attack, then the black tortoise shield will not be consumed. This is equivalent to three more lives. Chapter 232 Yi Xiaotian could only say that he was really lucky. The strength of this black tortoise shield is beyond description. Fortunately, he was fast enough, while the black tortoise was notoriously slow. From the time Yi Xiaotian gave him two curse skills to the time he broke the black tortoise's belly with a knife, there was only a few seconds of buffer time. The huge, bulky and slow-reacting black tortoise had no time to react at all before it was invaded by Yi Xiaotian. He began to move like a madman. As for the rest, the black tortoise had no place to use its skills and could only wait to die. This was the black tortoise's biggest weakness. The shell was so hard that it was impeccable. If the black tortoise used the black tortoise shield, first, what would be the consequences? Yi Xiaotian pondered for a while, and the consequences were unpredictable. He had no confidence at all whether he could break the defense of this black tortoise shield. After all, the black tortoise had a part of the bloodline, and was definitely the most defensive sea beast race in the ocean, no one else. Brother Tian, awesome. Wang Hao gave a thumbs up. Yi Xiaotian came back to his senses and said thankfully, lucky. Brother Tian, you are too modest. Wang Hao said. Yi Xiaotian said, I mean it. Wang Hao was very surprised. It seemed that this was the first time he heard such words from Yi Xiaotian. In the past, he said that it was okay and he could handle it. He was very confident. But this time, he actually said that he was lucky. It seems that this black turtle is really different. Hey, my attribute points are enough. Suddenly, Wang Hao said with a look of surprise. Before, he was short of about 100 points of physical fitness, but now it is full. That black turtle must have contributed the most, but when Yi Xiaotian killed this black turtle, he should have killed a lot of other sea beasts. Chang Xiaosi also said with surprise, Mine is full too, I can go to the promotion dungeon. Yi Xiaotian said, Then go, I'll wait for you here. Everyone left, Yi Xiaotian was bored but he couldn't leave here, after all, when they came out of the reincarnation world, they would appear here again. If he left, they might be in danger. After thinking for a while, Yi Xiaotian opened the Samsara Mall again and searched for it. Sure enough, there is this thing. Yi Xiaotian was overjoyed when he saw the ambergris in the mall. It is said that various auxiliary resources in reality are first exchanged from the Samsara Mall, and then reversely studied. It seems that there is not much water in this statement. Although it is a stupid thing to exchange for things that can be bought with money with points. But Yi Xiaotian did not care, anyway, these points can be ignored for him. After exchanging two plates of ambergris, he was a little dumbfounded again. This is on the bottom of the sea, how to light it. But it's not right. If it can't be ignited, how can the fragrance be transmitted to the sea water? This is a fantasy world, not an ordinary world in the previous life. Yi Xiaotian was relieved quickly, took out a lighter, lit the ambergris, and held it in his hand. He has the innate skill aquatic, which allows him to live freely in water like an aquatic creature and control water flow. It is no problem to isolate a burning space for ambergris. Soon, the aroma of ambergris took effect. For sea beasts, the smell of ambergris is irresistible. Countless sea beasts were attracted from all directions. Yi Xiaotian killed very leisurely. As long as there are no special types of sea beasts like the black turtle, sea beasts below S level will not be difficult for him. Only A level sea beasts need to be handled with some effort. For the others, they can be covered with a strange spell. The first one to come back from the reincarnation world was Mu Binyan. 
Yi Xiaotian was a little surprised, but he felt it was expected. Anyway, it was either her or Han Xuyao. Attack-type psychics still have advantages. As for auxiliary ones, they still need to rely on the power of the copy. When they cooperate, it is inevitable that there will be places that cannot be taken care of, so more time is needed. Mu Bingyan came to Yi Xiaotian and saw that only Yi Xiaotian was there. She finally asked a question that had been hidden for a long time, Are you Haotian? In fact, when she was in the reincarnation world, she got a lot of information. Some information that could not be obtained in reality was discussed very lively in the reincarnation world. The biggest thing was that the Shen family was destroyed by the Lord Sword God. Yi Xiaotian did not avoid it and said naturally, Yes, it was me. How did you do it? Mu Bingyan had also guessed this, but there was a problem that could not be solved. That is how Yi Xiaotian managed to have two people online at the same time. Yi Xiaotian thought about it and said, Forget it, wait a while, wait until everyone comes out, I will explain it to you all at once, so that I don't have to say it many times. The best thing about Mu Bingyan's character is not that she will not pester. After Yi Xiaotian made it clear that he would wait for everyone to come out to explain together, she did not pester him anymore. It was just that the look in her eyes when she looked at Yi Xiaotian was a little wrong. What's wrong with you? Yi Xiaotian realized it later. Mu Bingyan retracted her strange gaze and shook her head, saying, Nothing, just a little unexpected, the Shen family is gone. The Shen family is gone. Yi Xiaotian was stunned, What do you mean? Literally. Mu Bingyan said, Lord Sword God personally took action and destroyed the old house of the Shen family. Except for the awakened people of the Shen family who were not in the old house of the Shen family, all others died. Now the awakened people of the Shen family who are still alive have all cut off their relationship with the Shen family, fearing that Lord Sword God will eliminate them. Yi Xiaotian was silent for a moment, and then said, It seems that my words have worked. What words? Mu Bingyan was also a little curious. People in the entire reincarnation world were discussing why Lord Sword God would take action personally. Even if they were optimistic about Yi Xiaotian, they didn't have to take action personally. This must have a special meaning. In the end, after discussing it over and over again, it might be to suppress the aristocratic families. I am very disappointed with the top leaders of the human race. Yi Xiaotian replied. Mu Bingyan thought about it and realized that Lord Sword God would take action personally. She knew very well what Yi Xiaotian's potential was. It was not an exaggeration to say that he was the future supreme powerhouse. Even more, his future achievements will be higher than the current five supreme masters. The human race needs such a strong man. So it is normal for Lord Sword God to take action personally. He just wants to tell everyone clearly that Yi Xiaotian is protected by me. If you want to deal with him, think carefully first. The Shen family is your precedent. He used iron-blooded means to solve countless problems that words could not solve. The recent behavior of the aristocratic families is indeed over the line. Even if she herself is from an aristocratic family, it is the same. If this continues, the human race on Blue Star is in danger. The school is looking for you now, and the heretic organization is also looking for you all over the world. What are your plans for the future? Mu Bingyan was in a complicated mood. She didn't know how to get along with Yi Xiaotian. After all, she likes Haotian. But Yi Xiaotian already has Han Xuyao. Is he going to compete with her? Chapter 233 Mu Bingyan was still struggling but Han Xuyao had already come out of the reincarnation world. Mu Bingyan breathed a sigh of relief, but she also felt a little uncomfortable. Has her love ended before it even started? There is probably only one man like Yi Xiaotian in a thousand years. At least, she has not seen anyone who can compare with Yi Xiaotian in the reincarnation history of the Mu family. If you miss such a man, it will be a lifetime thing. So she was struggling. Brother Tian, I have advanced. Am I very powerful? Han Xuyao showed off to Yi Xiaotian as soon as she came out. Yi Xiaotian hugged her and said, Yes, yes, you are very powerful, miss, we are still in the sea now, can you be more stable? 
With you here, I am not afraid. Han Shuyao said excitedly. What else can Yi Xiaotian say, just bear it silently. She is beautiful and has a good personality. She is not as squeamish as a young lady, and she thinks about her in everything. With such a good girl, you can't ask for more. Think about the past life. Forget it, it's all tears. The two met in obscurity and supported each other along the way. It's really lucky to meet a girl like this. By the way, Brother Tian, everyone in the reincarnation world is talking about you now. They all say you are the great god Haotian. It's really ridiculous. Han Shuyao also brought this news to Yi Xiaotian. Also, they all said that the Shen family was destroyed by the Lord Sword God, and it was because of you. I don't know if it's true. Han Shuyao said the information about Yi Xiaotian in the reincarnation world. Yi Xiaotian estimated that when Wang Hao and the others came out, he would have to listen to this information again. No, it was many times. They have been out for a long time, and there are almost no channels to obtain information. Even Huang Jia, the little intelligence expert, is a bit blind. Entering the reincarnation world, you naturally have to pay attention to the current major events. But Brother Tian, they said that the heretic organization is now frantically looking for you, so are you in danger? Should we issue a statement saying that you are not the great god Haotian? As he spoke, Han Shuyao, who was originally very excited, became depressed again. She was really worried. Once the heretic organization determined that Yi Xiaotian was the great god Haotian, they would definitely kill Yi Xiaotian at all costs. This kind of thing has happened too many times before. A tree that stands out in the forest will be destroyed by the wind. In the past hundred years of reincarnation, I don't know how many geniuses of the human race have fallen in the hands of alien races and heretical organizations. Alien races and heretical organizations invest in this area without considering gains and losses. Yi Xiaotian said, Don't worry, don't you know my strength? It will be fine. But the heretic organization is full of masters. Han Shuyao still said worriedly. Yi Xiaotian said, Then we will hide in this sea and see how they find us. Han Shuyao thought it made sense when she heard it. They are not short of food and drink. After all, there are top-notch seafood here, and there are also many stored in the freshwater reincarnation space. Water-repellent pills can be exchanged directly in the reincarnation mall. It seems that there is no need to rush to go ashore. Wait until the official power drives away the people of the heretic organization, and then you can go ashore. Yi Xiaotian couldn't help laughing when he saw her. This silly girl really believed it. If she stayed at the bottom of the sea all the time, she would probably go crazy soon. After all, they are all human beings, and the environment at the bottom of the sea is really not suitable for their long-term survival. Whether it is physically or psychologically, they can't bear it. This is not a matter of eating and drinking. As Yi Xiaotian expected, Every teammate who came out of the reincarnation world would tell him about the information of the reincarnation world. The main thing is that the matter is too big, and they feel that they must tell Yi Xiaotian. Especially Huang Jia, he took the opportunity of promotion to contact the family and got a lot of information. Brother Tian, now all over the country, no, it should be the countries with coastlines in the world, have begun to organize to resist sea beasts. According to the information I have learned, before, those aristocratic families were still hesitant, but after Lord Sword God took action, they became very active. If you ask me, those guys are cheap. This is a race war. In the face of such a big issue, they are still waiting for the price. It's too shameless. Huang Jie cursed. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Fatty, don't forget that you are also from a noble family. Huang Jie said, So what? You should still scold him. Yi Xiaotian raised his thumbs and waved his staff, and countless clones rushed out again. They chatted here while killing sea beasts. After everyone came out, Yi Xiaotian said, I believe you have all heard a message from the reincarnation world. I am Haotian. Brother Tian, I think what they said is too ridiculous. How could you be the great god Haotian? Wang Hao retorted immediately. Of course, Brother Tian, I'm not saying that you are not as good as the great god Haotian. 
In fact, I think you are even better than the great god Haokin. Wang Hao quickly added. But as he was talking, he couldn't continue. Because he felt that Yi Shao Tian and the great god Haokin were really similar. Especially during this period, Yi Shao Tian would kill sea beasts as a superpower, which made them even more similar. Okay, stop washing, I am Haotian. Yi Shao Tian said calmly. How is this possible? You and great god Haotian are two people. We all saw this with our own eyes during the reincarnation world. Wang Hao said incredulously. Yes, brother Tian, what is going on? Han Shu Yao was the most nervous. Yi Shao Tian said, Okay, don't worry, listen to me and tell you slowly. In fact, this matter is very simple, because the super god has evaluated the novice copy, so he was rewarded with a unique prop, the second soul. After everyone heard this, they were all stunned that there was such a prop. But why isn't there some saramol? Mu Bingyan asked doubtfully. Among everyone, she is the one who has studied samsara mall the most. Yi Shao Tian said, this is a unique god-level prop. It is not for sale at all. Only the awakened person who is the first to pass the novice copy of the super god evaluation can obtain the reward. This explanation is very reasonable and everyone is convinced. Han Shuyao finally reacted. Brother Tian, before you. Yi Shao Tian said, yes, the reason why you feel that I am alienated from you is because that is my second soul. That's it. Han Shuyao said. This can explain some of Yi Xiaotian's suspicious things. In front of them, Yi Xiaotian summoned the second soul and said, Yam Luo, go kill the enemy. Hao Tian is the main body, and Yama is the second soul. Everyone finally understood. Although it feels magical, this world is already magical enough. The more you see, the more you accept it. Chapter, 234 The teammate function of the second soul was unlocked, and now even Yi Shao Tian himself was liberated. Okay, now that you are all out, we are going ashore. Yi Shao Tian said to them. Go ashore. Han Shu Yao was the first to remind, but Brother Tian, the heretical organization is looking for you on the east coast now. No one knows who is from the heretical organization. It is too dangerous to go ashore now. Yes, Brother Tian, otherwise we should wait a little longer. Wang Hao also said. Huang Jia also said, Brother Tian, the people in the heretical organization are all crazy, there is no need to take risks. But the east coast is very dangerous now, and we have to do our part. Yi Shao Tian said. Huang Jia said, then you don't have to worry anymore. Now all the big families in the demon city have sent experts. There will definitely be no problem in a short time. Yi Shao Tian said, you also know that in a short period of time, we encountered an A-level sea beast black turtle before. If my prediction is correct, a larger scale attack by the sea beast has already begun. Now that there are A-level sea monsters, there will be S-level and even stronger sea monsters coming ashore later. Although we now have the support of the powerful family, no one can say for sure about this kind of thing. Besides, we can't hide here. Huang Jia said, we didn't hide either. If we kill sea beasts here, there is no difference between killing sea beasts on the shore. Yes, Brother Tian, I think what the fat man said makes sense. We kill sea beasts here and we kill sea beasts on the shore. What's the difference? Han Shuyao begged, holding Yi Xiaotian's arm. Let's stay here, or we can wait a few more days. At this time, it is the most chaotic time on the shore, and the forces of good and evil are constantly competing. Yi Xiaotian said, but this is the time when we can be most helpful. There is another thing he didn't say, killing people from heretical organizations can get more and better talents and skills. Humans are different from alien beasts. Alien beasts of the same race have a very high probability of having the same talents and skills. But humans are different. Even brothers and sisters with the same father and mother, the possibility of awakening the same innate skills is very small. Therefore, in terms of acquiring innate skills, the chance of killing someone is much greater than killing a strange beast. Yi Shao Tian understands very well that attribute points are easy to obtain, but talents and skills are rare. 
Moreover, human beings feel that the probability of all kinds of magical talents and skills is greater. He doesn't have to worry about the level of his talent skills. Because he also has life essence that can enhance the level of his natural skills. As long as the natural skills are effective. For example, Xuanwu Shield can withstand three fatal attacks. With such an innate skill, Yi Xiaotian just wants to say, give me a dozen. Okay, you don't need to persuade me anymore, I understand what you said. But don't forget, my innate skills, those heretics, I will kill one if they come, and I will kill a pair of two if they come. Yi Xiaotian couldn't help it. Don't show your strongest support. When everyone heard this, they were immediately speechless. Also, they all saw Yi Xiaotian's strength. Even the A-level C Beast Black Turtle died in his hands, and even Shen Xuecheng was killed by him. His strength cannot be measured by their eyes. Okay, since you've made your decision, I won't say anything more. Han Xuyao hugged Yi Xiaotian's arm tightly, her meaning obvious. Whether Yi Xiaotian wants to stay or go ashore, she will follow him. Okay, then we can only risk our lives to accompany the gentleman. Who told us to owe you? Huang Jia said helplessly. He really did not recommend Yi Xiaotian to go ashore at this time. As the saying goes, a gentleman does not stand under a dangerous wall. Knowing that the East Coast is now full of dangers, but still going ashore, isn't this asking for trouble in a hurry? After the ambergris was burned, the group went ashore. Yi Xiaotian did not hide his whereabouts, but prepared to join the people of the Night Watch Legion. Although this will expose his whereabouts to the outside world. But he wasn't worried either. Anyway, he never thought of hiding it from the people of the heretical organization. He sure and Wang Ju received the news immediately. He sure rushed over to meet Yi Xiaotian immediately. But Wang Ju had no way to come because he wanted to stay at the East China Sea Fortress. He told his subordinates to take good care of Yi Xiaotian. This is guaranteed by the Sword God. If something goes wrong with him, the consequences will be serious. No one thought that Lord Sword God would directly kill the Shen family for Yi Xiaotian. So shocking. Wang Ju felt particularly deeply. Before Lord Sword God took action, the East Coast was in danger, and even he wanted to leave the East China Sea Fortress to join the war. But as soon as Lord Sword God took action, the crisis on the East Coast was lifted. Those aristocratic families who initially had no response to their begging, all sent their experts desperately to help. It was as if they were afraid that they would be late and there would be no room for them. In a word, Yi Xiaotian must not die on the East Coast. Classmate Xiaotian, I feel relieved to see that you are okay. He sure was very emotional when he saw Yi Xiaotian again. This boy gives him a different feeling every time he meets him. This little guy is really awesome. No wonder Lord Sword God values him so much. Thank you, Director He, for your concern. Yi Xiaotian said. Classmate Xiaotian, you'd better go back to school with me. It's too dangerous here. He sure said. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, Director He, the reason why I showed up here is to resist the invasion of sea beasts on the east coast. I will not go back to school. He sure actually had some guesses, but after hearing Yi Xiaotian's personal confirmation, he was still a little disappointed and said, Yi Xiaotian. You may not know that a lot of people have now poured into the East Coast, and no one knows how many of them are from the heretic organization. You may face life and death at any time, so I suggest you go back to school. There are masters from the Night Watch Corps and the aristocratic families here, so there is no problem at all. You are the future of the human race, so your safety is especially important. But no matter how he sure persuaded, Yi Xiaotian refused. The reason he came ashore was for the believers of the heretic organization. If he went back to school like this, he might as well stay on the seabed and hunt sea beasts. He sure saw that things were impossible, so he had to give up, but he asked to stay by Yi Xiaotian's side and protect him closely. This made Yi Xiaotian very uncomfortable. In this way, what if the people from the heretic organization didn't come? Having tasted the benefits of cursed talents, he didn't want to miss such an opportunity. The only humans he could kill were members of the heretic organization. But usually these people were like rats in the gutter, 
and you couldn't even find their traces. And he didn't have enough strength before. Now all the conditions are ripe, and he can't let anything ruin his good deeds. Chapter, 235 Pavilion Master, there is news that Yi Xiaotian appeared in the camp of the Night Watch Legion. Somewhere on the east coast, the heretical organization set up a temporary camp here. Huan Bing is the leader of the heretical organization's Demon City Branch Pavilion, and the Demon City Branch Pavilion is the second most powerful of the heretical organization's many branches in the Xia Kingdom. He was the person in charge of the assassination of Yi Xiaotian. For this reason, the masters of the heretical organizations in many base cities around the Magic City were transferred over and put under his unified command. Ever since Yi Xiaotian's identity as Haotian was exposed, the alien tribe was furious. Order the heretical organization to kill Yi Xiaotian at all costs. All this cost included Huang Bing's life. Of course, if this mission can be successful, the rewards they can reap are also huge. The aliens said that they have talents, bloodlines, and various resources. At this point, the credibility of the foreign race is still very high. Isn't the reason why they joined the heretical organization and worked for the alien race because they gave too much? On the human side, they are depressed, but on the alien side, they are rewarded with various resources to improve their strength. Some awakened people who are not determined will be unable to hold on to the final bottom line, and then fall to the alien side. And this kind of thing is addictive. After they receive a reward once, they will hope for a second or third time. Because every time they receive a reward, their strength can be greatly improved. The more difficult the task, the higher the reward upon completion. And this time, it is undoubtedly the highest grade. Yi Xiaotian is really too much of a threat. However, within a few months of awakening, he was already an A-level awakener. And according to the intelligence they collected, Yi Xiaotian's actual combat power was much higher than his awakening level. Even in the Donghai Fortress, he killed hundreds of Shen family members including Shen Xuecheng. There are 30 or 40 others, and they are still masters of the A-level awakening team. Even now, no one knows how Shen Xuecheng died in the end. He just pointed his staff and Shen Xuecheng died. It sounds very fantasy, but it happened. Shen Xuecheng is a veteran A-level high-level awakener, only one step away from S-level. Plus there are so many Shen family masters. Therefore, Huang Bing speculated that Yi Xiaotian should have the combat power of an S-level primary awakener. But Huang Bing is not afraid. Even if Yi Xiaotian has the combat power of an S-level primary awakener, it is useless. Send the order and ask everyone to move closer to Yi Xiaotian. By the way, which direction is he now? Huang Bing asked. The cultist replied, Pavilion Master, there is something strange. Originally, Yi Xiaotian had returned to the camp of the Night Watch Legion, but instead of going back to the base city of the Demon City, he left the camp and led his team to hunt sea beasts. Oh, are you hunting sea beasts? Huang Bing was also very surprised. Why is that? Is it confidence, or does it mean that you don't take them seriously? Normally, since Yi Xiaotian and the others knew that they were being targeted by the heretical organization, they would definitely go back to the safest place. Where is the safest place right now? Of course it's Shanghai University. Modu University has its own security team, which protects the safety of the school. Because there are many research institutions in the school. Therefore, the security level there is definitely the best in the Magic City. Even the security level of the Demon City Defense Committee is not as high as that of the Demon City University. But now, instead of returning to the Magic City, Yi Xiaotian boldly ran out to hunt sea beasts. Either there's something wrong with his brain. Or there is some conspiracy here. Huang Bing smelled the conspiracy. Is this a trap set by the Night Watch Legion or the Demon City University? Huang Bing murmured. What's going on? Are you following me? Huang Bing asked. If he sure followed, it shouldn't be a trap. But if you don't follow, then there's a problem. He follows, replied the heretic. Follow. Huang Bing almost bit his tongue. Although there are two speculations above, he prefers the latter. 
After all, at this time, using Yi Xiaotian as bait to lure them out and then catch them all in one fell swoop was the appropriate method for the other party. But now what happened is actually following, which is a bit hard to figure out. Are they a trap or not? Huang Bing scratched his head a little. Pavilion Master, what's wrong? The heretic asked, seeing the expression on Huang Bing's face changing constantly. Huang Bing said, Why are you following? The heretic replied, They should be worried about Yi Xiaotian's safety. They must know the news about our arrival on the East Coast. So it is normal to protect Yi Xiaotian at close range. But to protect Yi Xiaotian, wouldn't it be safer to let him stay in the camp, or return to the East China Sea Fortress, or even to the Demon City University? Huang Bing asked in return. This the heretic couldn't answer for a long time. This is indeed not normal. Pavilion Master, are you saying that there is a problem here? Huang Bing said, it's not clear yet whether there is a problem, but even if there is a problem, we have no retreat. Pay close attention to Yi Xiaotian's movements, tell our people to move closer to Yi Xiaotian, and then follow my orders. Huang Bing ordered. Yes, Pavilion Master. The pagan went away in response. Yi Xiaotian didn't know how the heretic organization deployed its troops. He only knew that the heretic organization would definitely come. So he swaggered around the east coast. He sure's heart was about to jump out of his chest. Student Yi Xiaotian, it's really too dangerous for you to do this. We received news that the heretic organization is rushing here. Danger can happen at any time. He sure really wanted to tie Yi Xiaotian up and send him to the East China Sea Fortress. At least there can be defended there. Here, looking around, there is no cover. Once a fight breaks out, it really depends on strength. Director He, why don't you go back first? Yi Xiaotian suddenly said. What did you say? He sure was confused. He still felt unsafe following him, and he was asked to go back. Do you think your life is too long? I said Director He, why don't you go back to the camp first? Yi Xiaotian said again. He sure said, no, what do you mean? You are in danger now, why do you want me to go back? Do you want to die? Director He, those pagans are not that scary. I just think if you stay here, they may not come. Yi Xiaotian said. He sure's eyes widened, and he didn't recognize Yi Xiaotian. When I first met Yi Xiaotian, he was a normal guy. Why did he become stupid for no reason? Chapter 236 He sure was very sad. He tried his best, and it can be said that he worked hard for Yi Xiaotian's safety. But why doesn't Yi Xiaotian appreciate it? Now he actually wants to drive himself away. Will staying here hold him back? Am I not even as good as his teammates? He also said that if he stayed here, the pagans might not be able to escape. What is this nonsense? The people in the heretical organization are eager to cut him into pieces. It would be strange if he doesn't come out. When they have all the people, even if the king of heaven is here, he will not be able to scare them. Under Yi Xiaotian's repeated requests, he sure had no choice but to agree to Yi Xiaotian's request. However, he didn't really leave instead, he hid in the distance and secretly observed the situation here. Then, he saw a scene that he couldn't understand. Hundreds of Yi Xiaotian appeared on the beach, but in the blink of an eye, the hundreds of sea beasts on the beach died cleanly. What is this? This scene once again challenged He Shi's perception. As the academic director of Shanghai University, his knowledge is definitely very rich. Talent, skill, or secret treasure. He sure went through it in his mind. I filtered through the various talents, skills, and secret treasures that can produce this effect in my mind, and then I was surprised to find out. There is no secret treasure that can achieve this effect, only an innate skill can. But how could Yi Xiaotian have such a talent? Innate skills cannot be learned casually. The so-called talent skills are those who have talent first and then can learn related skills. However, when the awakened person awakens his talent, he will awaken the corresponding talent skills, and then he can also learn various combat or auxiliary skills under the same talent according to the talent type. The nightmare skill used by Yi Xiaotian requires a summoning talent. 
As far as he sure knew, Yi Xiaotian's awakened talents were warrior talents for violent combat, and auxiliary talents for amplification. But now it seems that Yi Xiaotian has more than just two talents. Sure enough, something that can be valued by the Lord Sword God is absolutely extraordinary. No wonder he is so confident. No wonder he doesn't even look down on heretical organizations. No wonder he dared to kill Shen Shuecheng. It seems that this guy still has a lot of cards that he hasn't revealed yet. After thinking about it, it seemed that this young man had really underestimated him. He became more interested and prepared to stay here to see how many hidden tricks Yi Xiaotian had. Yi Xiaotian didn't find He Sure who was hiding. After all, He Sure was an S level expert. If he really wanted to hide it, he wouldn't be able to find it casually. He also didn't expect that the Dean of the Dean of the Demon City University would actually do such a thing as peeping. Yi Xiaotian did not summon the second soul, which was his trump card. He wasn't going to let anyone know except his teammates. There's nothing to hide here, so forget it. Fortunately, his teammates have now been promoted to B-level Awakeners. With the increase in his talent skills, their combat effectiveness has greatly increased. Basically, he no longer needs to take action to kill these sea beasts. Only when there were too many sea beasts, he would use the nightmare, skill again to help kill some of them. The tacit understanding of the team, as well as personal combat experience, can only be formed after thousands of battles. Therefore, Yi Xiaotian cannot deprive them of their qualification to fight. A group of people gathered at a place 20 miles away from Yi Xiaotian and the others. Huang Bing was among them, surrounded by all the good players who had been transferred this time. There are also police posts outside. Pavilion Master, look, this is where Yi Xiaotian and the others are now. A believer spread a map on the ground and said. But there is one strange thing. What's going on? Huang Bing asked. Why have you left? Replied the pagan. What? Huang Bing was very surprised. Why did he sure leave at this time? Did you read that correctly? He did leave. Huang Bing asked again. That's right, he just left, replied the heretic. Huang Bing thought for a while, then turned around and asked, What do you think is the reason for this? I originally thought why I stayed with Yi Xiaotian to protect Yi Xiaotian. But why did you leave at this time? What kind of regulations is this? Pavilion Master, could it be that they wanted to lure us out, so why did he sure leave on purpose? Said a master of a heretical organization. I don't think so. If they really want to lure us out, why did he sure follow Yi Xiaotian before? I don't believe that with Yi Xiaotian's ability, they don't know that we are watching Yi Xiaotian. Another heretical organization master retorted. Huang Bing nodded and said, I prefer the latter view. Since he sure was following Yi Xiaotian before and was discovered by us, there is no need for him to leave. By doing this, isn't he clearly telling us that there are traps there and telling us not to step on them? Pavilion Master, could it be that they have determined that we will definitely show up, so they don't have to worry about it? A pagan master said at this time. Upon hearing this, Huang Bing nodded and said, It makes sense. Now everyone in the world knows that around Yi Xiaotian, the human race and the alien race are in a contest. Wherever Yi Xiaotian is, there will be a heretic organization. The human race is naturally showing off. The heretic organization is hiding in the dark. Before they are exposed, no one knows that they are heretics. After all, they are no different from the human race. Even, he is hiding next to you, but you don't know it at all. This is also the most troublesome thing about the heretic organization. The alien race holds the heretic organization in their hands, but has done a lot of great things for them. Is there anything wrong around? Huang Bing continued to ask. The heretic replied, No, our people searched the surrounding area for dozens of miles, and did not find anyone from the Night Watch Corps and the Magic City University. This is strange. There are no people from the Night Watch Corps, no people from the Magic City University, and now even he sure has left. What are they going to do? Send Yi Xiaotian directly to us. Huang Bing looked puzzled. I always feel that something is wrong, but I have no idea where the problem lies. Master, 
Could it be that they believe in Yi Xiaotian's strength, so there is no need to protect them at all? At this time, a master of a heretical organization said. Everyone looked at him, and that look, that gaze, was full of care for the mentally retarded. Chapter, 237 Go and investigate again, find out the situation. Huang Bing ordered. This situation was so strange that he broke out in a cold sweat. There was only one team of Yi Xiaotian in the entire area, and no trace of any other awakened teams was found within a radius of dozens of miles. Even he sure, the S-level strongman who was protecting Yi Xiaotian's safety, had left. This situation was too strange. Even though Huang Bing was experienced, he really couldn't figure out what was going on. The heretic organization, the Demon City Branch, was also full of talents, but they couldn't understand the situation in front of them. Yi Xiaotian's tricky operation completely confused Huang Bing. He really didn't dare to give orders for a while. Although the harvest from this vote was very large, even unprecedented. But this doesn't mean that Huang Bing is not afraid of death. Even if he didn't die, but all these men died, then he, the leader of the Demon City Branch, would really become a commander without troops. Is this fun? One general success is the result of thousands of bones. Huang Bing certainly didn't really care about the lives of his awakened men. He just felt that unnecessary casualties would only make him, the pavilion master, look stupid. This time, the mission had to be completed and done beautifully. Not only did he have to get a huge reward, but he also had to prove his ability to the aliens. Well, the position of the chief pavilion master of the heretic organization has been vacant for some time. The biggest competitors are him and the pavilion master of the Beijing branch. Perhaps after this incident, he can compete for the position of the chief pavilion master. By then, he can surpass the pavilion master of the Beijing branch in both strength and position. A day later, Huang Bing's men had investigated back and forth more than a dozen times, and even expanded the scope to a hundred miles away. Still no discovery. The east coast is too big. Although there are people from the aristocratic families participating in the war. But there are still not many people near the coastline. Most people gathered in the eight war camps, so that they can block the sea beasts that come ashore to the greatest extent. Only free awakeners would do this, like Yi Xiaotian's hammering here and there. The awakeners of the aristocratic families are here to help, so they can't be as casual as Yi Xiaotian and his friends. So it's normal that no one was found within a radius of hundreds of miles. Huang Bing didn't doubt this. But his scalp was about to be torn off, and he didn't figure out what the routine was. Master, could they be hiding in the sea? A master of the heretic awakener reminded. Yes, why didn't I think of the sea? Huang Bing suddenly realized, and then sent someone to check. This time the report was faster, and the people came back in half a day, and there was no sea. This time Huang Bing was even more useless. From joining the heretic organization to now, climbing all the way to the position of the master of the Demon City Branch Pavilion, I don't know how many battles I have experienced. But there has never been a time like this, when I couldn't understand what the opponent was doing. Finally, Huang Bing gave the order, forget it, no matter what the reason is, since there is no one around and no one in the sea, then only Yi Xiaotian is here, and he deserves to die in our hands. Pass my order, set off immediately, and when you get there, rush out directly, and kill Yi Xiaotian as quickly as possible, and then evacuate quickly. Huang Bing ordered. Yes, pavilion master. Everyone responded loudly, and then went to give orders. In a quarter of an hour, all the masters of the heretic organization's demon city branch and the surrounding base cities were in place, and under Huang Bing's order, they formed a siege against Yi Xiaotian. And all of this fell into Yi Xiaotian's eyes. He wanted to lure out this group of rats from the heretic organization, so naturally he would not be unprepared. After all, the best way to lure out these things hiding in the gutter is to kill them. There is no reason to be a thief for a thousand days. The best way is to lure out all these rats and kill them. Yi Xiaotian sent out his second soul early in the morning and used illusion to cover his whereabouts. So he saw the people from the heretic organization investigating in the surrounding area these days. He just ignored it. But the necessary preparations still need to be made. 
Haozi, Xiaozi, wait for you two to form a battle formation with Xu Yao and the others, don't rush in. Use all the auxiliary, Sun Yao, pay attention, if there are any injured, help them treat them immediately. Yi Xiao Tian reminded. Brother Tian, what about you? Han Xu Yao frowned. She felt that Yi Xiao Tian was going to take risks again. Yi Xiao Tian said, I will fight in a mobile way. When it starts, I will use curse skills on the opponent to weaken their strength. With one increase and one decrease, we will have a great advantage. But the opponent must have amplification assistance, and I don't know if there is any curse assistance, but it is better to be careful. Fight a positional war. You will contain the enemy inside, and I will fight guerrilla warfare on the outside. Attack from both inside and outside, as long as the opponent does not send SS level powerful people, Yi Xiao Tian will be sure to keep all the people of the heretic organization. However, according to Director He's information, the strongest of the heretic organization's Moda branch is only an S level high level strongman. After having this news, Yi Xiao Tian felt much more relieved. In addition to the curse skills, Yi Xiao Tian also has illusion skills and various other auxiliary skills that can greatly reduce the enemy's combat effectiveness. So Yi Xiao Tian is very confident. During this time, he had been killing sea beasts on the east coast, and he had become familiar with all his talents and skills. There were a variety of auxiliary skills, such as amplification, reduction, illusion, control, etc. Which were dazzling. This time, Yi Xiao Tian would definitely give the heretic organization a big gift. And Han Xu Yao and the others also spent a lot of money to configure a lot of their own talents, which enriched their attack and defense methods. Now they have been promoted to B-level Awakeners and are no longer newcomers. The battle situation they will face in the future will become more and more complicated, so these expenses are necessary. It just so happened that during this time in the East China Sea, they were all familiar with each other and their cooperation was almost done. This time, it was a good test. After giving instructions, Yi Xiao Tian left the team. Under the illusion, his figure disappeared in front of Han Xu Yao and the others. It's really amazing. I don't know how many talents Brother Tian has awakened. God is so unfair. I, Huang Jie, a young genius, have only awakened one talent. God is jealous of talents. Huang Jie said with emotion. He is a pure auxiliary. His attack and defense skills are mediocre. After all, without the increase of talent, he is at a disadvantage. So he is very envious of Yi Xiao Tian, an awakener with multiple talents. He can fight, assist, control, and phantom. There is nothing Yi Xiao Tian can't do. He is simply omnipotent. Of course, if he knew that Yi Xiao Tian also had healing and even resurrection talents, he would probably shout that God is unfair. Chapter 238 Yi Xiao Tian disappeared, and then he continued to arrange things around him. After the arrangement was completed, Yi Xiao Tian waited aside. When Huang Bing and his team approached, they saw Yi Xiao Tian and his team killing sea beasts on the beach. It was normal, nothing unusual. So Huang Bing decisively ordered, go over and kill them. Such a good opportunity is really rare. He sure, those guys are really stupid and they actually let Yi Xiao Tian and his team stay here alone. It's really a great opportunity. Very good. If they complete the task, they can get a huge reward, and then he can definitely rush into the realm of SS level awakeners in one fell swoop. But when they stepped into a certain distance, the scenery in front of them changed drastically. Yi Xiao Tian disappeared, and his team also disappeared. Only a beach and the sea were left and the sea beasts on the beach. Even more sea beasts landed from the sea and killed them. Illusion! Huang Bing exclaimed. Then he felt incredible that he, a powerful S-level awakening warrior, would actually fall for the illusion of a young boy. No, this was definitely not an illusion set up by Yi Xiao Tian. Was it the illusion master of Magic City University or the illusion master of the Night Watch Corps who made the move? At this moment, Huang Bing understood everything. No wonder his men didn't find anything unusual, they must have been deceived by the illusion. So cruel. So calculated. 
What a powerful illusion. He didn't think they were just illusioned, but had been illusioned for a long time. It was only at this moment that the illusion exerted its true power. Master, what should we do now? A pagan asked loudly. Now they are gathered together and have not been separated. Once they are separated in this illusion, they don't even know where they are. Everyone be careful, don't separate. Huan Bing just finished his instructions, and then he felt that the scene in front of him changed, and none of the men who had just gathered around him disappeared. The rest were all ferocious sea beasts. Huang Bing snorted coldly. It was just an illusion. Who were you trying to scare? TSK. Huang Bing felt a pain in his arm and saw blood starting to flow from it. Damn it, it's real. He suddenly remembered that there were many sea beasts on the beach. Combination of reality and illusion. This is the highest realm of illusion. But Huang Bing didn't know that what Yi Shao Tian had arranged here was more than just an illusion. It was a combination of various illusions, illusion arrays and illusions. In this, unless you have absolute strength, you can only obey obediently. At this moment, two rays of light fell on Huang Bing. Huang Bing's eyes were startled. Curse. It was Yi Xiaotian's decline, and weakness, skills. In a short time, Huang Bing's physical attributes dropped by more than ten times. A high-level S-level strongman was reduced to a high-level A-level in the blink of an eye. Nima. Huang Bing almost vomited blood. They came here, and before they had time to add various aids, they were already hit by an illusion. By the time he reacted and told everyone not to get separated and was about to start the amplification assistance, they were separated. This is good, it's really going to be a tragedy. The attribute points were cut by more than ten times at once, what's the point of fighting? Originally, he was a high-level S-level, and he was just one step away from entering the ranks of SS-level power. As long as his subordinates bless him with a main attribute amplification, his actual combat power can enter the SS level. At that time, let alone one he sure, even if there are ten he sure, he will not be afraid. This is exactly where his confidence lies. But now, all his ideas have fallen through. He hasn't even approached, and he has already stepped into the trap set for him. Who is it, who is it, come out if you have the guts? Huang Bing roared. At this moment, Yi Xiao Tian was harvesting his prey. Originally, he had no confidence in his illusion. After all, this is a famous heretic organization. His biggest impression of the heretic organization is that there are many masters. Moreover, they have the ability to transform. After the transformation, half human, half beast, the strength can be greatly improved. So he didn't know whether his illusion could trap the opponent. But the facts proved that his illusion was very powerful. Talent and skills are one thing, the most important thing is his own strength. Roar. In the illusion, the pagans of the heretical organizations began to transform one by one. After their strength was weakened by Yi Xiaotian's cursed skills, they didn't care about anything else and quickly transformed, which could offset the effect of Yi Xiaotian's curse to a great extent. Fight hard. The same is true for Huang Bing. After the transformation, his strength returned to the high level of S-level again. He began to attack frantically in the illusion. Break the trick with force, and one force defeats ten skills. Now he can only pray that his attack can break this illusion and win a glimmer of life for his men. However, he kept hearing screams in his ears. The more anxious he was, the more irritable he became. The rumbling sound continued to sound, as well as the screams of sea beasts and the scene of blood and flesh splattering. Yi Xiao Tian watched this scene. Sure enough, the people in the heretic organization could transform into orcs, and their combat effectiveness increased greatly. If he didn't have the talent for curses and the talent for illusion, he really wouldn't dare to fight hard like this. Sure enough, talent skills are the key to the battle. When the strength is not much different, whoever has more talent skills will be the winner. Yi Xiaotian floated in the air and saw the behavior of all the heretics below. They were in the illusion, and they could do nothing but be incompetent and furious. Yi Xiaotian transferred some sea beasts away and continued to hunt. As for Han Shuyao and the others, forget it. 
if you kill them yourself, you may drop your talent skills. The ones they kill don't have such an effect. His innate talent infinite growth, only recognizes himself, and even the second soul is useless. After a look, Huang Bing's side was the most fierce, and his strength was also the strongest. Originally, Yi Xiaotian was thinking about leaving him to the end. But now it seems that he has to be dealt with first. Otherwise, if he continues like this, it will be a bit troublesome if the illusion is broken. He himself is not afraid. But unexpectedly, this guy's attribute points were weakened by more than ten times, and after the transformation, his strength was pulled back. This heretic organization is really weird, and I don't know how the aliens did it. Just relying on this monster-like transformation, the combat power can be increased several times, or even more than ten times. No wonder those people can't help but be tempted to join the heretic organization. Chapter 239 I wonder if humans can also learn this ability. A strange thought came to Yi Xiaotian's mind. However, when he saw Huang Bing and the others turned into half-human, half-beast monsters, he immediately lost such thoughts. In his opinion, if he turned into such a monster, he might as well die. It's too ugly. However, if ordinary awakeners use it to save their lives, it's not impossible. After all, when they don't transform, they can live like normal people. When they encounter life threats, they can transform again. And after the transformation, there will be no bloodlust or uncontrollable situations. I just don't know if there will be other side effects after the transformation ends. Yi Xiaotian suddenly patted his head. What does this have to do with him? It's really nosy. He is sure that the human race leaders must have discovered this matter and must have conducted a lot of research. Maybe there are some results in the research. However, such things are definitely not known by ordinary citizens, or even ordinary awakeners. It is definitely a high-level secret. In dealing with alien invasions, no matter how many methods are used, it is not too much. Yi Xiaotian waved his staff, and a round of flames like the sun rose up, and the space within a certain range was distorted by the high temperature. Yi Xiaotian didn't know that the small fireball skill at the beginning would have such power after being strengthened to the S-level true flame bomb. This power is not much less than the legendary three-flavor true fire. The true flame bomb fell on Huang Bing's body and instantly ignited his whole body. Huang Bing wanted to put it out, lying on the ground and rolling back and forth. But it was useless. After the true flame bomb caught fire, it could not be extinguished by these physical means. Anyway, even Yi Xiaotian himself could not put it out, and it burned until it was ashes. Very cruel. But it works very well. For the rats in the gutter of the heretic organization, Yi Xiaotian felt no guilt at all. Compared with the damage these people caused to the human race, this point can be completely ignored. Screaming, screaming violently, Huang Bing completely lost the dignity that an S-level warrior should have. He kept rolling on the ground, trying to put out the flames on his body. But all means were useless. Even if he buried himself in the sand, he couldn't stop it. Instead, the sand was turned into nothing the moment it came into contact with the flames. The screams became smaller and smaller, and finally disappeared completely. There was no trace of the scene except a deep pit and the remaining high temperature. It really turned into nothing. Yi Xiaotian was very satisfied with the power of the true flame bomb. It was worthy of being a skill that consumed a lot of life essence to strengthen it. It was a pity that it was not a matching talent skill, otherwise, the power could be increased many times. Among the elemental talents, he only had gold and water elements. He did not get the talent of fire element. Therefore, his fire skills had no additional power blessing, and could only exert the attack power of spiritual attributes. Unlike gold and water skills, once they are used, because of these two elemental talents, the power of the skills will be multiplied according to the grade of the talent. For example, his gold talent Golden Sharpness, is still A level, so the gold skills can get a five-fold power increase. This is why Huang Jia and Sun Yao, who are pure auxiliary systems, are in an absolute disadvantage in battle. After the talent amplification, other people's skills can increase the damage several times. But they can only attack with a flat attack. 
Congratulations to the Awakener, kill the enemy, and obtain the SS level talent skill Fire Burst. Chapter, 240 Yi Xiao Tian was surprised to hear He Shu's cry. Didn't this guy leave? Why did he appear here again? Didn't he leave? I was careless. Because of trust, he never doubted He Shu at all. He thought that since He Shu had agreed, he would definitely leave and return to the camp of the Night Watch Corps. But now it seems that the Dean is still not very confident about himself. It's just that the momentum of the heretic organization is so big, what's the point of him staying here alone? Or does he have a backup plan? Soon, Yi Xiao Tian saw He Shu's backup plan. In the distance, whistling sounds rose continuously, and countless awakened masters were rushing here. Yi Xiao Tian looked at it and was a little speechless. I just want to brush a few more talent skills. Do you need to do this? At this moment, Yi Xiao Tian no longer wasted time and quickly hunted down the pagans. Even the most powerful Huang Bing was killed by Yi Xiao Tian, not to mention other pagans. What's more, at this moment, Yi Xiao Tian's fire related magic has been blessed by the innate skill fire explosion, and its power has soared more than ten times. Under Yi Xiaotian's true flame bomb, they cried for their parents, but in just a few seconds, they disappeared into the air. In this illusion, they couldn't even tell the direction, let alone where their enemies were. Except for some screams that could be heard from time to time, there was nothing else. The final result was that they were all burned to ashes by Yi Xiaotian. More than a hundred masters of the heretic organization, the weakest of whom were B-level awakeners, were killed by Yi Xiaotian. Unfortunately, in the end, only one S-level innate skill Heavy Earth, was obtained. Sure enough, these are the core members of the heretic organization, all masters, and each of them has a high innate grade. The resources and foundation of the alien race are really terrifying. I don't know when the human race will be able to have such a foundation. This ability to raise the innate grade of Awakeners to S-level or above in large quantities is really enviable and jealous. Yi Xiao Tian will not forget that Chang Xiaoxi's talent grade is only A grade now. He has to find a way to improve her talent to S grade. The members of his team must have at least S grade talent. He will continue to improve it if he has the chance in the future. Unfortunately, his life essence cannot help others strengthen their talent grade. When the illusion faded, the figures of Yi Xiao Tian and his team members appeared. On the beach, there were only countless big pits as traces of the battle. There was nothing else, not even a trace of blood, let alone corpses. There was even no trace of burning. Because the sand that came into contact with the true flame had turned into nothing. He sure was confused. The masters of the Night Watch army who came to support and the awakened masters of the aristocratic families were all confused. Didn't they say that hundreds of masters of the heretic organization were coming? Why is there nothing? Yi Xiao Tian, where are the people of the heretic organization? He sure asked. Yi Xiao Tian said, dead. Dead? He sure asked anxiously, what about their bodies? That's not normal. Yi Xiao Tian said, burned. Impossible. He sure thought Yi Xiao Tian was joking, or was deceiving him. Even if the bodies were burned, it's impossible that there would be no traces left on the ground. Who are you trying to fool? It's as if he had never seen the appearance of a body after burning. He, Director He, has lived for decades and experienced countless battles. He has rich experience. But this situation is really the first time he has seen it. Yi Xiao Tian didn't waste any words and directly hit the beach with a real flame bomb. Then it was visible to the naked eye that the sand and stones melted in the place covered by the real flame bomb, but in the blink of an eye, a large sand pit appeared in front of everyone. The group looked at each other in surprise. What a terrifying flame! What a powerful skill! In theory, sand and stones are non combustible. Even if you hit them with fire magic, at most it will only leave a little black mark. However, Yi Xiaotian's fire magic melted the sand and burned a large sand pit. The most terrifying thing is that there is no trace of burning around this large sand pit. It can be said that the target was burned silently and completely disappeared. What kind of flame is this? How high is this temperature? 
Among the people who came to support, there are also fire-related supernatural masters. But after seeing Yi Xiaotian's ability, they immediately felt very ashamed. Their fire-related supernatural powers are weak compared to the power of Yi Xiaotian's true flame bomb. He sure was speechless. Alas! He sure felt bitter, but couldn't say it. The clown turned out to be me. He always thought that Yi Xiaotian was too arrogant and didn't even take the heretic organization seriously. They sent more than a hundred masters, led by Huang Bing, a high-level S-level strongman. Such a powerful force. How could Yi Xiaotian, a young boy, resist it? So he not only stayed, but also sent a message to Wang Ju to dispatch more experts. The purpose was to catch all the people in the heretic organization in one fell swoop. Of course, the most important thing was Yi Xiaotian's safety. The reason why he took a step back was to teach Yi Xiaotian a lesson and let him know how powerful the people in the world were. But I didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian really killed Huang Bing and his men. There were more than a hundred awakening masters above B level, and a large part of them were A level and S level masters. But just like that, they were killed by Yi Xiaotian without bloodshed. And Yi Xiaotian and his team did not suffer any casualties. Even Yi Xiaotian's team was still concentrating on killing sea beasts. Such a mentality is really great. How could he know that Yi Xiaotian's team had never encountered people from the heretic organization? The enemies were all killed by Yi Xiaotian. They had never confronted or fought with the enemy, so where did the emotional fluctuations come from? But others didn't know. They all thought that Yi Xiaotian's team had fought with the enemy, and this mentality was really different. It really deserves to be the team led by Yi Xiaotian. It is worth cultivating vigorously. He sure originally prepared countless words, well, words of teaching, words of encouragement, and words of consolation for Yi Xiaotian. But now, he couldn't say a word. He felt like he had something stuck in his throat and a thorn in his back. Okay, since you are all fine, let's withdraw. He didn't want to stay any longer, it was too uncomfortable. As for Yi Xiaotian's safety, he didn't have to worry about it at all. Even Huang Bing and more than a hundred masters were captured by Yi Xiaotian without bloodshed. In a short period of time, no one from the heretic organization could threaten him. Unless the aliens directly sent masters over. Or, dispatch masters from foreign heretic organizations. Chapter, 241 But if you want to do this, at least it won't be possible in a short time. Moreover, the people brought by Huang Bing were all wiped out, and there was also a time lag. So what they urgently need to do now is to drive the sea beast back to the bottom of the sea. Now that A-level sea monsters are starting to come ashore, it is estimated that the largest landing of sea monsters is about to begin. The decisive battle between the two sides is about to begin. On the alien battlefield, the scale of the conflict between the two sides is getting bigger and bigger. What the top leaders of the human race are worried about now is whether there are any powerful people at the supreme level among the sea clan. After all, nowadays, there is only one sword god in Blue Star's native land who is at the supreme level. If there were supreme level experts among the sea beasts, things would be in trouble. The supreme strongman on the alien battlefield cannot be transferred. There are more supreme experts from the alien race, but just four of them are sitting there, and they are already at a disadvantage. If they are transferred back again, it will be detrimental to the battlefield. So now that Yi Xiaotian's crisis was over, they rushed back in a hurry. Although sea beasts can also be hunted on the coast. But their mission was to prevent the sea beasts from gathering at the East China Sea Fortress, leaving Yi Xiaotian and the others to continue hunting the sea beasts. Yi Xiaotian also knew what the core of this battle was, so he said, I will go back with you too. What? He sure really didn't understand Yi Xiaotian's thoughts at all. When you asked him to stay, he left resolutely. But now that it's safe here, he wants to go back. Wherever there is real danger, he will go wherever it is. There are eight routes from the east coast to the East China Sea Fortress. It can now be said that these eight routes are the most dangerous places. After all, the vast majority of sea beasts will gather on these eight routes. On the eight major lines, there are eight major military camps, guarded by eight squadrons of the Night Watch Corps. 
Wang Ju, the commander of the eight squadrons, led his masters to the East China Sea Fortress. After all, the East China Sea Fortress is the last line of defense leading to the Demon City Base City. If the eight major camps are defeated, they can still retreat to the East China Sea Fortress. If the East China Sea Fortress is gone, then the Magic City Base City will have to face the Sea Monster Army. By that time, the casualties would be countless. Therefore, the East China Sea Fortress is very important. For the Magic City Base City, it is the lifeline. Therefore, the Eighth Camp and the East China Sea Fortress can be said to be dangerous places. On the contrary, this coast may not be so dangerous. What exactly do you think? He sure asked. Yi Xiaotian said, I know that the next step will be a critical moment in our decisive battle with the Sea Clan, and I want to contribute to the Human Clan. Considering the combat effectiveness of Yi Xiaotian and his team, he sure agreed to this request without hesitation. He somewhat understood what Yi Xiaotian was thinking. This little guy was completely straightforward. When he was at the East China Sea Fortress, he directly said that he was very disappointed with the top management of the human race in front of countless people. I don't care if the top management of the human race will be angry because of this. Then, when the heretical organization attacks, the same is true. He directly carries it on his own and tells him to get out of here very directly. This is true again. This is a sign of extreme confidence in his own abilities. There is no need for people to be pretentious and submissive, just talk about it. Now his goal is very clear, that is, he wants to kill the strong men of the Sea Clan and win a good battle for the Demon City Base City. However, he sure remembered something and said to Yi Xiaotian, I heard that there are sea beasts landing in Jiangcheng. The meaning was very clear, he was asking Yi Xiaotian if he wanted to go back to Jiangcheng. After all, Yi Xiaotian is from Jiangcheng. Moreover, Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi both have large families in Jiangcheng. He didn't know what the situation was in Jiangcheng now. But if he doesn't tell Yi Xiaotian, if something happens in the future, I'm afraid Yi Xiaotian will have to blame him. Yi Xiaotian and the others are the same. They haven't returned to the base city for a long time, and they haven't logged into the reincarnation space, so the source of information is a bit blocked. Yi Xiaotian thought, he couldn't do this again in the future. No matter how important it is to improve your strength, news is also important. Therefore, people must log into the world of reincarnation every day in the future to learn about world events. Although there is no signal for mobile phones in the wild, there is no problem logging into the world of reincarnation. As long as it can be guaranteed to be safe when you come out. This matter will be left to Huang Jia. Sure enough, after hearing the news, Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi became anxious even before Yi Xiaotian was fine. Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao are both orphans and have no relatives in Jiangcheng. But these two are not. The Han family and the Chang family were both wealthy families in Jiangcheng. Moreover, Jiangcheng is originally a small base city, and its protective power is not too strong. It would definitely be dangerous if a large number of sea beasts came ashore. Then you have to rush to support. Thank you, Director He. I know about this matter. I will contact Jiangqing immediately and then decide whether to go back. Yi Xiaotian thanked him. He sure said, okay, let's go back to the camp first. If you make a decision later, tell me. After they left, Yi Xiaotian quickly said to Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi, you two quickly enter the world of reincarnation, contact your family, and see how the situation is in Jiangcheng. Then he said to Huang Jie, fat man, you come in too, contact your family, and see what's going on in Jiangcheng. Yi Xiaotian was afraid that Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi would not be able to contact their families in the reincarnation world, so he asked Huang Jie to ask their families. After all, the situation in Jiangcheng is unknown, and it is not known whether anyone from the Han family and Chang family has entered the world of reincarnation. Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi were both very straightforward, and Yi Xiaotian entered the reincarnation world after speaking. Huang Jie said, Don't worry, Brother Tian, I will definitely find out the situation in Jiangcheng. The Huang family is not comparable to the Han family and the Chang family. Their family always has people online 24 hours a day, and there are many people there. 
The role of these people is to collect information about the world of reincarnation. Not only from the Xia kingdom, but also from abroad, and even from foreign races. This is the handiwork of a big family. Brother Tian, why don't I go to the world of reincarnation and see it too? Wang Hao said a little worried. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes and said, what's the point of going? Forget it, you can go if you want. Anyway, I'll stay here, so there won't be any danger. As soon as he finished speaking, Wang Hao's figure disappeared. Yi Xiao Tian didn't even know what to say. Brother, you can't be a licking dog. Haven't you ever heard of licking until there's nothing left? Yi Xiao Tian summoned the second soul again and asked him to kill the enemy. He, Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan were waiting for several teammates to come out. Mu Bingyan looked at Yi Xiao Tian with a complicated expression. She was torn between wanting to talk to him and worrying about Sun Yao's presence. Chapter 242 don't worry too much. Jiangqing should be fine. If something really happens, they will ask for help from the surrounding base cities. Mu Binyan held back for a long time before she said this. Yi Xiaotian said in a deep voice, You have also seen the strength of the sea beasts that landed this time. With Jiangqing's strength, it has no ability to resist. Is Jiangqing close to the sea? Sun Yao asked. Yi Xiaotian said, it's not far from the sea, although it's not as close as the magic city to the East China Sea. But once the sea beasts land, Jiangqing will definitely not be spared. It just happens that Jiangqing's strength is weak. I should have thought of this before. Yi Xiaotian said with great annoyance. Before, he focused on improving his own strength, on the Shen family, on the heretic organization, and on the East Coast. He even thought about the alien battlefield. He just didn't think about Jiangqing. The place where he was born and raised. If he didn't have the ability, there would be nothing to say. But now that he has this ability, he will not allow Jiangqing to have any accidents. Soon, Han Xuyao, Chang Xiaoxi and Wang Hao appeared on the beach again. The mechanism of the reincarnation world is like this. Where you enter, you will come out. So generally speaking, unless it is a safe place, you will never enter the reincarnation world. Otherwise, it is easy to get into danger. Unless it is a last resort. And the time for each person to log into the reincarnation world is limited. So a person cannot stay in the reincarnation world for a long time. The awakened enter the reincarnation world, either to brush the dungeon and earn points. Or to buy various resources. If there is nothing to do, then you will never stay in the reincarnation world and waste time. So Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi hurried out when they didn't contact their families inside. Don't worry, wait until Huang Jie comes out. There are people in their family in the reincarnation world 24 hours a day. Let them inquire about the news of Jiangcheng. There will be no problem. Yi Xiaotian comforted. Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi felt relieved, but the anxious look on their faces did not disappear. Huang Jie came back from the reincarnation world more than ten minutes later. Fatty, how is it? Han Xuyao asked anxiously when she saw him. Huang Jie said with a heavy face, I just asked my family to inquire about the news of Jiangcheng. Jiangcheng was indeed attacked by sea beasts. Jiangcheng was farther away from the coastline, so it didn't notice it at first. When we found a large number of sea beasts coming ashore, the sea beasts had already attacked the city. Jiangqing immediately asked for help from other base cities, but the situation was still not optimistic. The base cities around Jiangqing base city are not large in scale, so there are not many masters. In fact, because there are too many sea beasts, it is not so easy for rescue teams from other base cities to go there. It can be said that Jiangqing is almost an isolated city now. According to the news from our family, there are sea beasts coming ashore on the long sea beast line of our Xia country, so there are no more masters sent to Jiangqing now. Huang Jia added at the end. Han Xuyao immediately said, Brother Tian, I want to go back. Yi Xiao Tian immediately said, Okay, let's go back. Mu Bingyan, Huang Jia, Sun Yao, you are not from Jiangqing, this time, you don't have to go. Yi Xiao Tian turned to the three of them and said, the three immediately said, Brother Tian, 
we will go with you. Seeing the firm expressions on their faces, Yi Xiaotian did not say anything more, but said, Okay, we will share the good and the bad together. Never leave, never abandon, live and die together. The three also responded immediately. Let's go. Yi Xiaotian did not delay and immediately rushed to the nearest night watch court camp. When he sure saw Yi Xiaotian coming over, he asked about the situation in Jiangcheng. In fact, he did not specifically inquire about the situation in Jiangcheng, he just speculated based on the situation in the base city of the Magic City. After all, Jiangcheng is also a coastal base city. And Jiangcheng is where Yi Xiaotian was born, so he kept a little more attention and reminded him. Now I heard that something really happened in Jiangcheng. He sure was a little hesitant instead. Yi Xiaotian can still take care of things if he stays in Magic City or East Coast. But if he returns to Jiangcheng, he can only rely on himself. And the news of Yi Xiaotian's return to Jiangcheng cannot be concealed. I believe the heretic organization will know the news soon. A new round of assassination operations is expected to be brewing. At that time, Yi Xiaotian will not only face the attack of sea beasts, but also beware of the assassination of the heretic organization. But looking at Yi Xiaotian's appearance, he must go back. So he can only remind, be vigilant, sea beasts are enemies, but there are also enemies around you. Yi Xiaotian said, I understand. After experiencing this assassination, Yi Xiaotian's feelings are more profound. The heretic organization is really elusive. There is no way, before they are exposed, you really can't tell them apart. Before they are exposed and transformed, they are pure humans, without any traces to be found. So we can only be careful. After saying goodbye, Yi Xiaotian took his people away. They first went to the East China Sea Fortress, and then rushed to the Magic City through the fortress. The situation in Jiangqing was not optimistic, so after they returned to Modu, Modu University, which received the news, immediately arranged a protective military vehicle for them. The situation in Blue Star was not very good either. Sea beasts came ashore, aliens invaded, and the remaining alien beasts in Blue Star began to move. The distance from Modu to Jiangqing was long, and it was inevitable that they would be attacked by alien beasts on the road. Fortunately, with Yi Xiaotian, there was no need to worry about this. And Modu University was also very considerate and directly allocated a military vehicle. This military vehicle has two advantages, one is that it has good defense, and the other is that it has sufficient power. Otherwise, it would definitely not work if it was too weak when support was needed. Yi Xiaotian thanked the school leaders and immediately drove to Jiangcheng. Wang Hao was driving, and Yi Xiaotian had to pay attention to the situation outside. The atmosphere in the car was a little depressing. The Huang family had heard that the situation in Jiangcheng was not optimistic, but they were not sure about the details. The communication in Jiangcheng had been cut off, and the latest news could only be communicated through the reincarnation world. So Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi were very worried and didn't want to talk. Xuyao, Xiaoxi, don't worry too much. We can reach Jiangcheng in two days. Nothing will happen. Sun Yao comforted them. Jiangcheng was attacked. As the awakened families in Jiangcheng, the Han and Chang families must go to the top of the city to resist the sea beasts. How can there be no casualties when resisting sea beasts? There may be their relatives among them. Now they can only pray that time is in time. Chapter 243 Jiangcheng, on the top of the south gate Countless awakened people and children of Jiangcheng are fighting bloody battles. But they don't know whether they have a chance to win this kind of war. They can only live one day at a time. Because the support they are waiting for has not arrived yet. It has been more than ten days, and many people have begun to despair. If there is support, it should have arrived long ago. Now Jiangcheng's communication is cut off, and its contact with the outside world depends entirely on the reincarnation world. But they don't have time to kill sea beasts, so where would they have more time to communicate slowly with others in the reincarnation world? This time, Jiangcheng is really forced into a dead end. On the top of the city, the awakened families such as the Han family and the Chang family, 
as well as the Lord of Jiangqing Lu Jian are also there. As the most powerful group of people in Jiangqing, they are solemn at this moment, standing on the top of the city, killing sea beasts while discussing the future fate of Jiangqing. Yes, they don't even have time to sit in the conference room to discuss now. Family heads, it has been more than 10 days since the message for help was sent out, but the feedback is not optimistic. City Lord Lu Jiang killed a sea level sea beast and said, Oh, City Lord Lu, what did the higher up say? A family head asked in a deep voice. The higher up's meaning is very clear. Now the alien battlefield and the coastline have been in full scale war, and no more masters can be sent to support. The support sent before was blocked outside by sea beasts and could not enter the city at all. Lu Jiang has been really worried during this period. Now more than 10 days have passed, and the support has not arrived. It is estimated that it is impossible to arrive. So it is time for him to consider the issue of leaving a fire for Dongcheng. Although Jiangcheng has not been completely surrounded, even a fool knows that it is very dangerous to leave the city at this time. Especially ordinary people, there is no chance of survival. And according to what they have learned, sea beasts are still coming ashore in an endless stream. This is not only the case in Jiangcheng, but also in other coastal base cities. Now the whole reincarnation world is in a turmoil. After all, the alien battlefield is far away from the people. But the sea beasts are constantly forcing the base city, even destroying the base city. I heard that the Hanqing base city has been breached. At this time, a middle-aged man said a shocking news. What does the breach of the city mean? Everyone present is very clear. That means that the people in the base city will not survive. Only a few awakened people can survive such a catastrophe. As soon as this topic came out, everyone's mood became heavier. Lu Jiang spoke at this time, Dear family heads, Jiangqing is probably not going to be able to defend it. I will definitely live and die with Jiangqing. If you have any fire plan, please prepare it quickly. Otherwise, when the sea beasts completely besiege the city, there will be no chance for the fire plan. The so-called fire plan is to select family disciples with talent and potential, and use all means to send them out. In the future, the family can also be rebuilt. Even one day, they can return to Jiangcheng and rebuild Jiangcheng. In fact, many of the children of these aristocratic families are studying outside. For example, Han Xuyao of the Han family, Chang Xiaosi of the Chang family, etc. However, most of the children of the family are studying in the base city universities in the coastal areas. And those who can enter the Magic City University and Jiangnan University in these coastal universities are rare. They have the greatest hope of survival. However, a large part of the children of the family are studying in ordinary awakening universities. These universities are located in the coastal base cities, so there is not much guarantee. So the heads of the Han and Chang families were relieved after hearing this. At least, their families will not be exterminated. After all, the Magic City University is one of the top three universities in the country, and the Magic City Base City is the second-ranked base city in the country, and its strength is absolutely unquestionable. This safety is needless to say. If even the Magic City Base City falls, then the Xia Kingdom is probably not far from extinction. However, for the fire plan, the more fires that can be left, the better. We are willing to live and die with Jiangcheng. All the family heads expressed their opinions. At this time, you can implement the fire plan, but if the family head takes the lead and runs away, don't blame the official for being rude. At this moment, they didn't think about Yi Xiaotian's return. After all, although Yi Xiaotian has been promoted to A-level awakener. But it is far from enough to solve the problems of Jiangcheng. Even if he is the great god Haotian praised by people, it won't work. In the crisis of Jiangcheng, at least an S-level awakening strongman must come to have a glimmer of hope. Unfortunately, in the entire Jiangcheng, even the city lord Lu Jiang is only an A-level high-level awakener. The strongest people of other families are about the same as Lu Jiang. Unfortunately, now that the war has broken out, the Blue Star human race will face the disaster of genocide. So there is no extra S-level strongman sent to Jiangcheng for support. After all, 
compared with the safety of the entire Blue Star human race, Jiangcheng is a bit insignificant. It is the job of the top management to assign limited resources to the most suitable positions. As for Jiangcheng, they can only pray for their own good fortune. After hearing this, all the family heads summoned their subordinates and asked them to act according to the plan. Yes, they had already discussed and arranged this matter a few days ago. As long as the city lord speaks, they can immediately execute it. There are precedents for this kind of thing, otherwise Lu Jiang would not dare to do it. I hope it's not too late. Lu Jiang said after they had made all the arrangements. Now I can only wish them good luck. Family heads, now is the time for us to contribute to Jiangcheng. Lu Jiang said, and jumped off the wall first. With a palm wave, several sea beasts several meters tall were beaten into meat paste by his palm power. Seeing this, the other family heads, melee warriors, jumped off the corners one after another, while the long-range superpowers continued to stand on the top of the city and throw supernatural powers into the distance. One sea beast after another fell under their attack. Their joining greatly relieved the pressure on the guards. Among the attacking sea beasts now, the strongest is still B-level strength. But everyone knows that there will definitely be stronger sea beasts coming later. A-level and even S-level sea beasts may appear. The former is easy to say, after all, there are many masters above A-level in Jiangcheng. But if S-level sea beasts appear, the result will be hard to say. The most terrifying thing is that they don't know the number of high-level sea beasts. If there is only one, there is still a chance to fight. But if there are more, Jiangcheng will definitely not be spared. Chapter 244 The battle in Jiangcheng was very brutal. Because mid-level sea beasts began to appear in large numbers. This was similar to the East Coast. The first ones to come were low-level sea beasts, and then mid-level and even high-level sea beasts. However, the ones attacking Jiangcheng were only mid-level sea beasts, and high-level sea beasts had not yet appeared. Yi Xiaotian and his team encountered many sea beasts that came ashore along the way, but they were not large in scale. They should have been scattered. This situation also happened on the east coast. Those scattered sea beasts would eventually gather at the East Sea Fortress, and then be killed by the night watchmen in the fortress. As the second largest city in Xia country, the protective measures of the Magic City Base City are naturally not comparable to those of other base cities. A large number of protective measures have been arranged in the East Sea direction alone. The enemies can be guided to the East Sea Fortress in the end. Even if there are fish that slip through the net, the number is not large, and the Magic City Base City can completely solve it by itself. But these small base cities on the Jiangnan side do not have such measures. There were all kinds of reasons, such as insufficient resources and lack of money. The original idea was that if a small base city was attacked, the big base city could send experts to support it. But this time, the joint action of the alien race and the sea race suddenly stretched the experts of the human race. Wang Hao drove the car, and Yi Xiaotian cleaned up the sea beasts encountered along the way. They rushed to Jiangcheng at the fastest speed. Two days later, the Jiangcheng base was already in sight. However, the sea beasts that surrounded the Jiangcheng base city were like a vast ocean. The walls were covered with bloodstains. On the top of the city, some figures could be seen fighting hard. Just looking at their movements, they were already very slow. And under the city, some people were killing sea beasts. In the final analysis, the reason why the sea beasts have not broken through the city gate is because the sea beasts in front blocked the way of the sea beasts behind. Then the city gate was protected by the A-level Awakener Masters of Jiangcheng. But no one knows how long it can be protected. After all, they have been fighting hard for many days, and the old Awakeners who fought in close combat are already covered with scars. Now they are only supported by a breath of hardness in their chests. If this breath of hardness is lost, they will also die under the claws of sea beasts. The current situation is already very dangerous. Jiangcheng has two city gates, each of which is guarded by several A-level masters. This is already the last foundation of Jiangcheng. As for the other city walls, awakeners of other levels are fighting hard. Fortunately, the city walls of Jiangcheng are very high, 
and they are also built with special materials, and they are very thick, so it is not so easy to break. After all, there are only a few sea beasts that can climb up from the city walls. After all, they are too large and there are not so many empty spaces. And the awakeners on the city walls only need to block the sea beasts that climb up. The majority against the minority can still hold on. However, such a situation is piled up with human lives. It has been more than 20 days since the sea beasts began to attack Jiangcheng. I don't know how many awakened people died in this battle. Because no one has the time to count. Even ordinary people are busy at this time. Taking care of the injured awakened people, helping to carry supplies and so on. As long as they can do it, they are trying their best. They are just seeking a way out for themselves. They know very well that once all the awakened people in Jiangqing die, it will be their turn. War is cruel. Deaths and injuries are inevitable. Since the arrival of the Samsara Tower, Blue Star has no idea how many human ancestors have sacrificed in the war between the two races. As long as the fire can be left for the human race, no matter how big the sacrifice is, it is worth it. Fortunately, the human race on Blue Star succeeded. After decades of fighting, the alien race was finally driven back to the alien space. But unfortunately, the peaceful days did not last for a few years, and a bigger storm will sweep Blue Star again. Brothers, I can't hold on any longer. At the gate of the city, an old ancestor of a noble family was panting heavily, his face was very pale. He really fought for Jiangcheng until the last moment. The major families that were originally in a competitive relationship have now become a family. These old people who have been fighting for a lifetime have also abandoned their past grievances and fought side by side again, becoming the closest, and can safely entrust their backs to each other's comrades. Brother, hold on a little longer, support will come soon. Another old man said with a breath, killing a sea beast in his palm. Boom! Two thunders fell, blasting the sea beasts around the two old men. Thank you, Brother Han. The two old men thanked the ancestor of the Han family on the top of the city. If it weren't for the two thunders of support from the ancestor of the Han family, they would definitely be seriously injured or even die. They are all grey-haired, and they have long since stopped caring about worldly affairs and handed over family affairs to their sons. But this time, the sea beasts invaded, and they had to come out again. With their old bodies, they fought against the aliens again. Old brothers, be careful. I, Han Debang, can fight against the aliens with you again. Even if I die, it is glorious. Han Debang on the wall shouted. For the human race, fight against the aliens again. Several old men flushed because of this sentence, which was exciting. It seemed that in an instant, a strange force fell on them, making their strength increase by several percent. Then, another force came, and their injured parts began to recover. The pain dissipated, and the strength returned to them again. What's going on? They were all confused. Just now, it was the amplification technique, and there was also the healing technique. This amplification technique is much more advanced than what they had before, and there is also this healing technique. There is not a single healer in the whole Jiangcheng, so where does the healing technique come from? They looked up and saw two figures in the air. The two people in the air were Yi Xiaotian and Sun Yao. After they drove close to Jiangcheng, the car could not be used. Yi Xiaotian had a very good vision and saw the situation at the city gate, so he took Sun Yao here first to treat the old people. As for Wang Hao and Han Xuyao, they could only stay outside for the time being and wait for him to go back and take them. Han Xuyao's father Han Jing was standing on the top of the city at this time, standing with his father Han Debang, supporting the frontal battle. At this moment, he looked up and saw Yi Xiaotian, but he didn't recognize Sun Yao. Yi Xiaotian. He was shocked. How could Yi Xiaotian fly? Only when awakened to S level can the awakener fly short distances. Unless he awakens the talent for flying. But it is obvious that Yi Xiaotian has not met these two conditions. So what's going on? Is it a flying secret treasure? Han Debang heard this and said, he is the boy that Xu Yao liked, called Yi Xiaotian. Yes, father, he is Yi Xiaotian, but why is he back now? 
Han Jing was worried in his heart. If Yi Xiao Tian appeared here, what about his daughter? She must have come back too. Jiang Qing at this time was extremely dangerous. It was not a wise move for them to come back at this time. Chapter 245 Han Jing was very relieved that Yi Xiao Tian could come back at this time. This shows that Yi Xiao Tian is a man who values friendship and loyalty. His daughter would not be wronged if she followed him in the future. It's just that Jiang Cheng is too dangerous at this time. They are still so young and have great potential. It's a pity to come back and die at this time. I don't know how the leaders of Magic City University do things. They didn't stop them from coming back. Good, good, it's responsible to be able to come back at this time. Han Xuyao's father Han Debang nodded repeatedly. For the awakened people of the older generation, Yi Xiao Tian has such courage and responsibility, and he is a real man. It's great that my granddaughter can meet such a young hero. Father, the situation in Jiangcheng is too complicated now. It's not the right time for them to come back. Han Jing reminded. Han Debang waved his hand and said, If you don't come back at this time, you can see his true nature. I agree with his relationship with Xu Yao. Han Jing was stunned. Is this the time to talk about this? Yi Xiao Tian gave amplification skills to all the awakened ones in battle, and then Sun Yao also treated the external injuries of those awakened ones in close combat. Let them increase their combat effectiveness. Yi Xiao Tian then landed on the top of the city with Sun Yao. Uncle Han, this is my teammate Sun Yao, she is a healer, you take her to treat the injured awakened ones first, I will go to bring Xu Yao and the others in. Yi Xiao Tian said anxiously as soon as he arrived in front of Han Jing. Han Jing said, Xiao Tian, why are you back at this time? Jiang Cheng is too dangerous now. You should go back to the magic city. Yi Xiao Tian said, Uncle Han, don't worry, Jiang Cheng will be fine with us. Yu Han Jing wanted to speak, but Yi Xiao Tian flew into the sky, took out his staff, and began to perform strange arts. Soon, the whole sky was reflected in a fiery red. Countless Yang Yen fell from the sky and fell into the army of sea beasts. This is the fire skill sun flame falling from the sky, which is a strengthening of star flame falling from the sky. Now, Yi Xiao Tian has an SS level fire talent, and the power of the fire skill has increased tenfold. These sun flames fell on those powerful sea beasts, causing countless screams even a powerful B-level sea beast was burned to death after struggling for only a few breaths. Although it is not as perverted as true flame bomb, sun flame falling from the sky, is a large-scale skill. With one skill, a large number of sea beasts blocking the city gate were cleared. For a while, the pressure at the city gate was reduced sharply. Yi Xiao Tian flew to several other directions of other cities, and several sun flames fell from the sky to relieve the pressure on the defending awakeners. Then he went to pick up Han Xuyao and the others. However, this scene fell into the eyes of the awakened guards of Jiangcheng, but it was like the arrival of a god. Most people don't know who Yi Xiao Tian is and where he came from. Of course, there are a small number of people who know the name of Yi Xiao Tian. Recently, the news that Hao Tian is Yi Xiao Tian in the reincarnation world has been widely circulated, although it was later blocked by the human race's high-level officials. But since the news has come out, how can it be really blocked? What's more, this Jiangcheng is the place where Yi Xiao Tian was born. Here, he has classmates, teachers, neighbors, and the like. So there are quite a few people who have heard of the name of Yi Xiao Tian. But, isn't it said that Hao Tian is only an A-level awakener? How can he be so powerful? Some people are very suspicious. In just a few months, Yi Xiao Tian was promoted to an A-level awakener, which is amazing. But among the sea beasts that Yi Xiao Tian destroyed before, there were also A-level ones. But under Yi Xiao Tian's fire-related magic, the A-level sea beasts could only last for a few rounds and then were burned to death. Is this something that an A-level awakener can do? Do you really think that A-level sea beasts are soft persimmons? If the A-level sea beast was a soft persimmon, the old awakeners in Jiangcheng would not have fought so hard. These old-fashioned A-level awakeners had to besiege several people to stop an A-level sea beast. 
but when it came to Yi Xiaotian, it was just like cutting melons and vegetables. Incredible. This is definitely not the Yi Xiaotian they knew. This is fake. Rumors are all lies. Yi Xiaotian didn't care about these. After he used a few skills to relieve the pressure on Jiang Qing, he went to take Han Xuyao and Wang Hao to the top of Jiang Qing. Han Jing and Han Debang hadn't come back to their senses at this time. They just felt that the previous scene was a bit like a dream. Yi Xiaotian, so powerful. Is it fake? At this time, the crowd shouted like a tsunami. The sea beast retreated. After several A-level strongmen were easily killed by Yi Xiaotian, the sea beast finally retreated. Regardless of whether the sea beast will come again, the awakened people and the common people in Jiangqing can finally get a chance to breathe. Looking at the sea beasts retreating like the tide, Yi Xiaotian said to Han Jing, Uncle Han, let them all go back and rest. We will guard the city. Yes, Dad, Grandpa, you all go back and rest. We are enough here. Han Xuyao also said. But can you really do it with just a few of you? Han Jing said hesitantly. Han Xuyao smiled and said, Dad, you have seen Brother Tian's ability before. A level C beasts can only last for a few breaths in his hands. With him here, it will be fine. You go to rest first, eat and drink, and heal your wounds. By the way, Yao Yao, you go too, see if there is anything you can do to help. Sun Yao nodded. After the war, the most important thing is to recuperate. Many seriously injured awakeners died or became disabled in the end because they did not receive better treatment. But with her here, this kind of thing should not happen. Jiang Qing still needs them to fight against the invasion of sea beasts together. Even if Yi Xiaotian is here, he can't stay in Jiangqing forever. Seeing this, Mr. Han Jing was not polite. Han Debang brought all the old brothers over and introduced his granddaughter and grandson-in-law to them. Old Han, you are too shameless. This is your grandson-in-law. Nonsense. An old man scolded with a smile, and then said to Yi Xiaotian, Xiaotian classmate, I tell you, I also have a beautiful granddaughter, much prettier than his granddaughter of old Han. Sun Qingzong, you've had enough. Han Debang scolded. This old guy actually poached their Han family so blatantly, it's really hateful. Old Han, I think what old son said is right. In fact, we have several very beautiful girls in our family. Xiao Tian classmate, you should consider it and come to our house. It's good to have more choices. Another old man said. Chapter, 246 Some old men were shameless and tried to steal Han Xuyao's girlfriend in front of her. What was even more infuriating was that she couldn't say anything because these people were her grandfather's old comrades in arms. Her face turned red with anger. Enough, you old guys, do you still have any shame? Han Debang saw that his granddaughter was anxious, so he quickly stood up and pulled a group of old comrades away. Decades ago, they were all comrades who fought side by side. But after returning to Jiangqing, they all established their own families. Because of the competitive relationship, these old people had some grudges against each other. But after this battle, the grudges between them completely disappeared. Brothers, the war is not over yet, everyone hurry back to rest and heal, maybe the war will start again soon. Han Debang said with a serious look. Now, his old brothers really didn't feel like joking here. One by one, they hurried down the city wall, rested nearby, recovered their physical and mental strength, and those who were injured had to heal their injuries quickly. After all, Han Debang was right. The sea beasts would attack the city again at any time, and they would have to continue fighting. Han Jing brought Lu Jiang to Yi Xiaotian and introduced him, Xiao Tian, this is our Jiangqing Lord Lu. Brother Lu, this is Yi Xiaotian. Lu Jiang hurriedly said, Classmate Yi Xiaotian is indeed a young hero. This time it is really thanks to your timely rescue, otherwise the result of Jiangqing would be disastrous. Yi Xiaotian replied, Lord Lu is polite. Jiangqing is also my home. It is right to protect my home. The former Lord Lu was high above. For Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao, he was a big shot. 
But now, Lord Lu is slightly inferior in front of him. This is the change of status brought by strength. Today's Lu Jiang is indeed not good enough in front of Yi Xiao Tian. Well said, Jiangcheng is indeed everyone's home, but this time, it is really hard to say whether it can be saved. Lu Jiang said with a heavy face. Yi Xiao Tian said, Lord Lu, it will definitely be saved. Lu Jiang did not feel relieved. It's not easy. This time the sea beasts are coming, it's definitely not as simple as imagined. Next, they will definitely face a larger scale and more powerful attack from sea beasts. He has no idea whether Jiangcheng can be saved. There are no other reinforcements. The only support is Yi Xiaotian and his team. But how much can such a young awakening team resist? Yi Xiaotian's strength is indeed beyond his expectations. Even the A-level sea beasts are like toys in his hands. But to be honest, he still doesn't think Yi Xiaotian can defend Jiangcheng. After all, the real strong sea beasts have not been dispatched yet. But at this time, Lu Jiang can't hit Yi Xiaotian too hard, so he can only wait and see. Next, Yi Xiaotian met another acquaintance, that is, his high school class teacher Wang Zurin. Comrade Wang was very excited to see Yi Xiaotian again. Being able to meet a student like Yi Xiaotian is definitely the pinnacle of his teaching career. It's hard for a small base city like Jiangcheng to produce geniuses. Yi Xiaotian was admitted by four famous universities. He finally had something to brag about. My students go to Magic City University. And there are more than one. Comrade Wang has been very successful in Jiangcheng No. One middle school in recent months. And he got promoted. When Yi Xiaotian's identity as Haotian was exposed, Comrade Wang became even more arrogant. Haotian the Great is actually my student. Damn, he really wanted to shout who else. He has been promoted to A-level Awakener in just a few months of awakening. This unprecedented achievement is definitely the greatest achievement in Comrade Wang's life. There is no one before, and even for him, there will definitely be no one after. He will never meet a better student than Yi Xiaotian in his life. Comrade Wang is much more upright. In school, even the principal is very polite to him. However, the good times did not last long. Soon, sea beasts invaded. He thought that he would never see Yi Xiaotian again in this life. He really didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian would actually come back to help Jiangqing Bay City. Xiaotian, it's really you. Comrade Lao Wang held Yi Xiaotian's hands, and his eyes were filled with tears of excitement. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Teacher Wang, don't be excited, just calm down. Wang Hao smiled and said, Teacher Wang, we are here too, we are all your students, you can't be partial to one over the other. Comrade Lao Wang smiled and said, Wang Hao, you are still so naughty. I'm really worried about you. Comrade Lao Wang's words hadn't been finished yet, Wang Hao and Han Shuyao said in unison. Comrade Lao Wang blushed and said, Nonsense, you are all great, even if I worry about it again, it's worth it. He still remembered that Yi Xiaotian fell asleep in the classroom on the day he participated in the awakening ceremony, which was really incredible. If he hadn't asked Wang Hao to find Yi Xiaotian, he might have missed that awakening ceremony. Whenever he thought of this, he was full of energy. He wanted to let everyone in the world know that Yi Xiaotian was where he is today because of him. If Yi Xiaotian missed the awakening ceremony, perhaps he would only be an ordinary person in his life. Or if he missed the right moment, his awakened talent would be different again. Naturally, it was impossible for him to say this when he really faced Yi Xiaotian. You guys are really comrade Lao Wang couldn't laugh or cry. This is indeed his mantra. There is no way. There are really too few students these days that people don't worry about. I felt tired before. But now, not anymore. Because he managed to produce a top talent. He hopes that if he keeps trying and gets a few more, his life will be complete. By the way, Teacher Wang, where are the other teachers? Yi Xiaotian asked casually. The smile on Comrade Lao Wang's face suddenly disappeared, and he became gloomy, saying, Many were seriously injured and some died under the claws of sea beasts. 
For a time, the joyful atmosphere became depressing. To be honest, the awakening level of the high school teachers was not high, but Jiang Qing had reached the most critical moment, so all the teachers went to the battlefield. Fortunately, I survived. Unlucky enough, even the body was swallowed by sea beasts. Seeing that everyone fell silent, Comrade Lao Wang said, It's okay. If it weren't for you, I'm afraid this Jiangqing would be over. If everyone wasn't injured or too tired, everyone would come to thank you in person. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said, You're welcome, I just did what I should do. Classmate Xiao Tian, what are your plans next? Comrade Lao Wang said with a serious face. Chapter 247 I will stay in Jiangqing and defend Jiangqing. Yi Xiao Tian replied. Originally, he thought that Comrade Lao Wang would be very happy when he heard this. But unexpectedly, Comrade Lao Wang looked solemn. Teacher, what's wrong? Yi Xiao Tian was very puzzled. Aren't you happy that we're staying? Comrade Lao Wang then said, Of course I am happy that you can stay, and I am happy for the people in the city. But Xiao Tian, your future is destined to be extraordinary. Many people believe that you will be the sixth most powerful person in the human race in the future. Yi Xiao Tian has known this statement for a long time. However, there are also many people who look down on him. After all, no matter how talented you are, you must be able to grow up smoothly. If you die halfway, you are not a genius, but a short-lived ghost. In the history of reincarnation, although there has never been a genius as amazing as Yi Xiao Tian, there have also been geniuses with supreme talents. Sadly, they all died in infancy. Under the assassination of aliens and heretical organizations, they failed to grasp their luck. For example, this time, if Yi Xiao Tian died in Jiangqing, he would have no future. Therefore, Comrade Lao Wang's meaning is very clear. He hopes that Yi Xiao Tian can lead his team to leave Jiangqing and return to the base city of Magic City. Teacher Wang, do you want me to leave? Yi Xiao Tian looked stunned, if I leave at this time, maybe the entire Jiangqing people will die under the claws of sea beasts. Comrade Lao Wang said in a deep voice, Xiao Tian, I know this result very well, but even if the entire Jiangqing people put together, they are not as important as you alone. If something happens to you because of Jiangqing, then everyone in Jiangqing will be the sinners of the entire human race. Comrade Lao Wang gave Yi Xiao Tian an analysis and immediately said that Yi Xiao Tian was confused. The people in Jiangqing are all sinners. This is too exaggerated. Teacher Wang, don't be nervous. It's not as dangerous as you think. To tell you the truth, my return has been approved by the leaders of Shanghai University. If I really don't have enough strength, they won't be able to let me back. So, put your heart back in your stomach and take a rest first. We don't know when the next sea monster attack will be. Yi Xiao Tian was still very grateful to Teacher Wang for telling him this. This is a good teacher. True to his mantra, he truly cared about his students. Unfortunately, many times the effort is not proportional to the gain. As for the idea of evacuating the people, of course no one would bring it up. In the current situation, this is not evacuation, but death. In the city, at least there is still a chance to fight. But outside the city, you really have no choice but to be slaughtered by strange beasts. After all, there are all kinds of strange beasts everywhere outside the city, and Yi Xiao Tian and his team members have been killing them all the way. In other words, the damage done by Yi Xiaotian's various talents and skills was astonishing. The strange beasts they encountered were not high-grade. Otherwise, they would not have arrived so quickly if they came from the Demon City base city. Comrade Lao Wang listened to Yi Xiaotian's words and said hesitantly, Is what you said true? Yi Xiaotian said, Why am I lying to you? The car arranged for us by the school is still outside. If you don't believe me, you can go and have a look. Howzi, while the sea beasts are retreating now, go and drive the car back. You will need it when you return to the magic city, and it is the property of the public. Yi Xiao Tian said to Wang Hao again. Wang Hao agreed, jumped off the city wall, and went directly. Comrade Lao Wang was shocked. He jumped off such a high city wall. 
Yi Xiao Tian is a monster level genius and there is nothing he can do about it. But since when did Wang Hao have such ability? And isn't he a sea level talent awakener? Of course, the most critical thing is not the talent level, but the awakening time. Forget about monsters like Yi Xiao Tian. Even Wang Hao is so strong, this is a bit abnormal. Isn't it because everyone in his team is so strong? Xiao Tian, I heard that you brought a therapist back this time. Comrade Lao Wang suddenly remembered what someone had mentioned to him before. He was still a little confused at first, but now it seems that the therapist should also be a member of Yi Xiaotian's team. Yi Xiaotian said, Yes, that is my teammate, her name is Sun Yao, she is a native of the Magic City base city. That's it. Comrade Lao Wang calmed down immediately. Being able to let a therapist follow him, Yi Xiaotian and his team are obviously stronger than he guessed. Since you have made up your mind, I won't say anything more. No matter what, it's best to be careful. You are the future of the human race. Comrade Lao Wang repeatedly warned. Soon, Wang Hao came back in an armored vehicle, and the people below quickly opened the city gate and let the armored vehicle in. Wang Hao came to the top of the city again and said to Yi Xiao Tian, I just took the opportunity to go out and investigate. Although the sea beasts retreated, they are not far away, about five kilometers at most. Yi Xiaotian said, I knew they couldn't really retreat. Why is that? Wang Hao asked puzzledly. Yi Xiaotian said, they should be waiting for the stronger sea beasts behind them. Everyone, I want to take the initiative. I agree. Wang Hao said immediately. I agree too. Chang Xiaosi also said. I have no objection. Huang Jia raised his hand. Mu Binyan said nothing, but everyone knew what she meant. Han Shuyao immediately said, then let's go. Yi Xiaotian grabbed her and said, I'm talking about me. You stay here. Why? Han Shuyao was angry. It was always like this. She always did dangerous things alone. Although she felt protected, she was very unhappy. Yes, Brother Tian, let's go together. Wang Hao didn't listen to Yi Xiao Tian this time. Yi Xiao Tian said, But if we all leave, who will guard Jiangcheng? Although the sea beasts have retreated now, who knows if they will come back while we are gone. But aren't we going to hunt sea beasts? If we kill them all, how can there be sea beasts attacking the city? Wang Hao looked puzzled. Yi Xiao Tian said, Do you know how many sea beasts there are outside? Do you know which directions the sea beasts in Jiangqing come from? Wang Hao shook his head, indicating that he didn't know. Yi Xiao Tian continued, It's right not to know. We don't know the situation at all. We don't know where the sea beasts that attack Jiangqing come from, so someone must guard here. Everyone heard it, this is the reason. But they really felt uncomfortable letting Yi Xiao Tian go out on an adventure alone. Yi Xiao Tian said, If possible, Try not to put the battlefield near the city wall, it is easy to cause casualties among civilians. After all, there are long-range attacks among the sea beasts. Look at this city, how different is it from when we left? Maybe we can drive away the sea beasts in the end, but if this base city is almost destroyed, what's the point? Chapter, 248 Close-range combat can have great advantages for awakeners, but it is devastating for a city. But then again, if there is a choice, City Lord Lu and his men would not choose this way of fighting. With the strength of Jiangcheng, they can only rely on the thickness of the city walls to resist the invasion of sea beasts. But it is different when Yi Xiaotian comes. What Yi Xiaotian said makes sense, and Han Xuyao and the others are speechless. If possible, they certainly hope to do as Yi Xiaotian said and annihilate the enemy outside the city. Don't put the battlefield at the doorstep, or even at home, this is basic common sense. They are just worried about Yi Xiaotian's safety. Yi Xiaotian said, don't worry, with my ability, even if I can't beat them, can't I escape? Don't forget that I destroyed all the masters of the heretic organization Demon City branch by myself. Hearing him here, everyone came back to their senses. Yi Xiaotian had too many brilliant achievements, so they would subconsciously ignore them. Before returning to Jiangcheng, Yi Xiaotian had this feat on the beach on the east coast. 
He destroyed more than a hundred masters of the heretic organization alone, including the leader of the heretic organization's Demon City branch, who was an S-level high-level awakener. Even director he had to retreat, but he died in Yi Xiaotian's hands. Even a master like director he couldn't figure out how Yi Xiaotian did it. Their principle is that if Yi Xiaotian doesn't say it himself, they won't ask. God knows how many tricks Yi Xiaotian has not yet used. Han Xuyao curled his lips, and he admitted that he was pretended by Yi Xiaotian again. Brother Tian, you can go, take Xiao Zi with you. She asked. Yi Xiaotian heard it and said, No, let Xiao Zi help you here. I really don't need Xiao Zi's help. Besides, Xiao Zi can do it, and I can do it too. It's completely useless. Everyone was helpless when they heard it. Although this sounds very frustrating, we have to admit that what they said is true. The battle on the East Coast Beach really showed Yi Xiaotian's power. That is why he sure and the school leaders agreed to let Yi Xiaotian and his team back. Even Huang Bing and hundreds of masters couldn't do anything to Yi Xiaotian, so this trip to Jiangqing should be fine. Yi Xiaotian's reminder made everyone come back to their senses. Okay, get out. Wang Hao laughed and scolded. It's too discouraging. Compared with other freshmen, they are all geniuses among geniuses. But compared with Yi Xiaotian, they are just trash. They have never been able to show their abilities when they are with Yi Xiaotian. Watching Yi Xiaotian jump off the wall and go away, the rest of the people exchanged glances. Wang Hao, remember, humility makes people progress, and pride makes people fall. Han Xuyao reminded. Isn't it backward? Wang Hao said puzzledly. It's degenerate when we come to you. Han Xuyao said, we are lucky to be able to hide behind brother Tian and grow up. We should cherish such opportunities. There will be countless opportunities for you to become famous in the future. Don't worry. After listening to Han Xuyao's words, Wang Hao's restless heart calmed down a lot. Sister Xuyao, you are right. We still have a lot of opportunities. Practice good martial arts and sell them to the emperor's family. If you don't even have good martial arts, then what's the point of selling them? No one wants them even if you give them away. Wang Hao grinned and said. Okay, just figure it out. Han Xuyao said. Mu Bingyan was a little surprised. She didn't expect that Han Xuyao actually had such ideological awareness and eloquence. I originally thought she was just a little girl, with a love brain. It turns out that Yi Xiaotian is in two completely different states when she is with her or not. When Yi Xiaotian is around, Han Xuyao has no autonomy at all. Everything is based on Yi Xiaotian. Unexpectedly, as soon as Yi Xiaotian left, she showed her true nature to everyone. Okay, since Brother Tian has given us such a difficult task of defending the city, we can't let him down. Haozi, Xiaoxi, you two are close combat, so you have to separate. The five of us will be divided into two groups, Xiaoxi and I in one group, Haozi and Bingyan in one group, and Fatty, you will be in the middle to coordinate. The Awakeners in Jiangqing have experienced more than half a month of fighting. They are already very tired. They need to rest and heal their wounds. So in the next period of time, Jiangqing will rely on us. Bingyan, Fatty, you two are not from Jiangqing, but I hope you can also regard Jiangqing as your home. Mu Bingyan looked at Han Xuyao with a strange look on her face. Huang Jie said, I understand, Sister Xuyao, don't worry, my teammate's home is my home. Bingyan, why are you in a daze? Han Xuyao looked at Mu Bingyan. Mu Bingyan came back to her senses and said, Oh, nothing, I just feel that you are different today. Han Xuyao said, What's different, I've always been like this. Different, very different. Mu Bingyan shook her head and followed Wang Hao to another city gate. Han Xuyao looked puzzled and asked Chang Xiaoxi, Xiaoxi, am I different today than before? Chang Xiaoxi said, no, the same. She was too lazy to say anything. It would be a waste of words to say more. As long as Yi Xiaotian appeared, she would return to her dog-licking appearance. She had said it many times before, but it didn't work at all so she didn't bother to say it later. When Yi Xiaotian wasn't around, 
it was fine, pretty normal, a beautiful woman, a talented woman. But when the two of them got close, it was as if a lot of water suddenly filled her brain, and her brain went crazy. Why did Bing Yen say that? Han Xuyao felt that Chang Xiaoxi was perfunctory. Chang Xiaoxi said, maybe it's her first time in Jiangcheng, so she's a little uncomfortable. Is that so? Han Xuyao thought about it and felt that it was really possible. After all, Mu Bingyan is about the same age as them. Leaving home and going to a strange place does require an adaptation process. When they first arrived at Magic City University, weren't they not used to it? Xiaoxi, do you think Brother Tian can succeed? Han Xuyao asked suddenly. Chang Xiaoxi looked at her, and it was indeed not normal. Did he forget to take medicine when he went out? Why are you looking at me like that? Mu Bingyan looked at her with this look just now. Chang Xiaoxi said, Oh, I'm just a little surprised. Don't you trust Yi Xiao Tian unconditionally? In your heart, isn't your brother Tian omnipotent? Yes, I just asked you redundantly. What brother Tian said can definitely be done. Han Xuyao seemed to have thought of something and smiled sweetly. Chang Xiaoxi stroked her forehead with her hand. She wanted to exchange with Wang Hao. Chapter, 249 In Yi Xiaotian's view, all the alien beasts are his attribute points and talents. It's just that the attribute points are easy to get, and the talents are hard to drop. On the east coast, he didn't know how many sea beasts he killed, but unfortunately he didn't get a few useful talents. The main reason is that his awakening level is already very high. If he kills sea beasts with a lower awakening level than him, the drop rate of talents is almost zero. Even the drop rate of attribute points is already very low. However, many of the sea beasts that invaded Jiangqing this time are B-level, and a small number are A-level. I don't know if there will be S-level or above strong people later. But B-level alien beasts are already very good. Now, except for the alien battlefield, where can you find so many B-level alien beasts to kill? Well, it's not that there are none. There are also some in the Samsara Tower copy, and the number is unlimited. But Yi Xiaotian is too lazy to talk about the harvest of the Samsara Tower copy. The drop rate is lower than killing low-level alien beasts on the east coast. The only harvest may be the essence of life. Compared to the world of reincarnation, Yi Xiaotian prefers to hunt exotic beasts outside. In the world of reincarnation, he always feels that he is completely exposed to the gaze of the will of reincarnation, without any privacy. Anyway, in the real world, he doesn't feel this way. In an area a few kilometers away from Jiangqing, countless sea beasts gather here. These sea beasts are the ones that attacked Jiangqing before. After Yi Xiaotian destroyed a group of B-level and even several A-level sea beast masters, these sea beasts retreated here. Yi Xiaotian's sudden appearance disrupted the sea beasts' attack frenzy. Originally, they thought that there must be no masters in a small base city like Jiangcheng. At the beginning, it was indeed the case. They thought that in a few days, they could break through Jiangcheng, and by then, all the humans in the city would be their blood food. But unexpectedly, Yi Xiaotian fell from the sky. He was extraordinary as soon as he made a move. Even A-level sea beast masters couldn't last for a few seconds in his hands. That kind of flame is too terrifying. As a sea beast clan, what they hate most is fire. So the sea beast master who presided over the battle of Jiangqing this time issued an order to retreat temporarily. They need more powerful sea beasts to come to support. If they continue to attack, they must die. When the will of reincarnation comes, the human race can get rewards for killing alien beasts, and the alien race can naturally get rewards for killing humans. The sea beasts don't want to give up their lives, and they also want to improve the strength of the awakened people in Jiangcheng. So they waited here, waiting for the S-level masters of the sea beasts to come. This place is not too far from the sea, and their S-level masters rushed over from the depths of the sea, and one day is enough. But they never expected that they retreated temporarily, and the people of Jiangqing would not rest well, but would take the initiative to attack. When the sun flames fell from the sky, it was too late for them to run. Countless water curtains rose into the sky, protecting a piece of area. 
The sun flames fell on the water curtains, making a hissing sound, and the water mist produced by the evaporation of water vapor did not form, but dissipated directly. The temperature of Yang Yen was extremely high, and the defensive skill of the sea beasts could not be blocked by the water curtain, and the water mist was even worse. It evaporated completely before it was formed. In an instant, countless screams sounded below. Yi Xiao Tian stood in the void, and the skill of Yang Yen Skyfall could destroy a radius of more than a kilometer. After a few skills, a radius of more than 10 kilometers was within his attack range. Of course, the place where sea beasts gathered stretched for hundreds of miles. It was just that the area attacked by Yi Xiao Tian was the gathering place of the strong men of the sea beast army this time. If he wanted to kill the masters of the sea beasts above level B, then half of the crisis in Jiangqing would be solved this time. The rest, even the awakeners of Jiangqing could deal with it. As for the stronger sea beasts coming later, it doesn't matter, just wait here. Or go to the sea. City Lord's Mansion City Lord Lu Jiang was recuperating in the mansion at this time. He also suffered a lot of injuries in this battle of Jiangqing. However, external injuries are easy to treat, but he has been fighting for more than 10 days without much rest, so he is very tired. But he still has to cheer up and take time to deal with some things in the city. The Battle of Jiangqing has caused many things to pile up in the city. Although there are many subordinates in the city lord's mansion to help deal with affairs, some things need to be decided by him as the city lord. At this time, a guard walked in quickly and said, City lord, there is news from outside the city just now. Outside the city? Could it be that the sea beasts are attacking again? Lu Jiang was shocked, thinking that the sea beasts were attacking again. How long have they retreated? They are attacking again. It would be better not to retreat, what's the fun? The guard said, no, just now the spies of the city guard sent back news that a lot of the sea beast army outside the city were destroyed, especially the masters of the sea beasts, almost all of them died. Ha! Huh. Lu Jiang was a little confused, this news didn't seem to be true. The guard quickly continued to explain, it is said that Yi Xiao Tian went out of the city alone and killed these sea beast masters. It was him. Hearing that it was Yi Xiao Tian who took action, Lu Jiang had no doubts. He still remembered the scene of Yi Xiao Tian killing the sea beast masters at the city gate. Those A-level sea beast masters who were so powerful in front of them, could not even last for a few breaths in Yi Xiao Tian's hands, and they were already annihilated. So there was no problem for him to take action. City Lord, now that all the sea beast masters outside have been killed, is the crisis of our Jiangqing resolved? The guard said with a smile. His face was also relaxed. During this period, because of the sea beasts attacking the city in no support, the whole Jiangqing was in a state of pessimism and tension. Now, I can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Lu Jiang frowned and said, resolved. How can it be so easy? But now haven't the sea beasts been repelled? Those middle and high level sea beasts are also dead. Do sea beasts dare to attack? The guard asked in confusion. Although the IQ of sea beasts cannot be compared with that of humans, they are not fools. Naturally, I know that the current Jiangqing is not the Jiangqing of the past. Lu Jiang said, now the sea beasts of the entire Blue Star are landing, and large-scale battles have begun on the alien battlefield. If things can really be solved so easily, it would be too much of a joke. Does the city lord mean that the sea beasts will send experts over? The guard said nervously. I thought the crisis was resolved, but unexpectedly, a bigger crisis was still to come. Lu Jiang said, there will definitely be one. I think Yi Xiao Tian took the initiative to attack and eliminate those sea beast masters. The purpose is to wait for the strong men behind the sea beasts to come, so that the pressure on our Jiangqing can be relieved. The guard suddenly realized and said, I see, then city lord, what should we prepare now? Chapter, 250 Yi Xiao Tian killed all the way, and he didn't know how many sea beasts he killed. Anyway, as long as they entered his sight, there was no hope of survival. It can really be said that he killed the sea beast army and cried for his father and mother. Since you came up from the sea, since you participated in attacking human cities, you have to pay a price. 
He wants to kill the sea beast until it becomes frightened. It is best to kill them until they dare not invade Jiangqing again. But he also knew that this was unrealistic. Unless the human race can severely defeat the alliance between the alien race and the sea beast this time. The pain will really subside for a while after you hit them. Especially the army of sea beasts along Jiangqing's route would be too painful to fight alone and would be crippled. I just don't know what level of masters are leading the way from Jiangqing to the sea beasts. Now many A-level sea beasts have appeared in Jiangqing, but they are all middle and low level. The high-level A-level ones have not yet appeared. So Yi Xiao Tian was wondering whether the one that would appear in the end would be an A-level high-level sea beast or a real S-level sea beast. However, after experiencing the battle with the heretical organization on the east coast, Yi Xiao Tian was very confident that as long as the sea beasts did not send SS-level sea beasts over, he would have no problem. As for SS-level sea beasts, Yi Xiao Tian really didn't think they would appear in Jiangcheng's boundaries. Whether they are humans or sea beasts, SS-level experts are all strategic-level experts. Even if they want to go ashore, they will only target first-line base cities like the Demon City Base City and Jiangnan Base City. Jiangcheng, a low-ranking city, will not be affected. Yi Xiaotian fought his way towards the coastline. Soon, there was no trace of the sea beast in his sight. Is this the end of the killing? Yi Xiaotian was a little surprised. On the east coast, there was a steady stream of sea beasts coming ashore, and it was impossible to kill them all. Sure enough, the sea area here is still too small. Even if it can breed sea beasts, the number will not be large. Yi Xiaotian didn't pay attention and continued flying towards the coastline. Be very careful along the way. After all, under this starry sky, in addition to sea beasts, there are also land beasts. It's just that the land beasts have been hunted by human awakeners over the years, so their numbers cannot be compared with the sea beasts. But that doesn't mean there aren't any. Yi Xiaotian was also worried. As he was flying, a powerful land beast or even a flying beast would come out to give him a blow. Fortunately, Yi Xiaotian did not encounter any attacks until he reached the coast. Hundreds of meters above the beach, there was a terrifying giant beast swimming there at this moment. Is this a snake in the sea? Yi Xiaotian was flying in the air, looking at the terrifying giant snake hundreds of meters long and more than 10 meters in diameter below, and his heart trembled. It's not fear, it's purely a physiological reaction to snakes. The scariest thing is the snake's head. It looked like a skull, with two huge eyes protruding from the sockets, and the yellow pupils exuded a fierce light. It was raising its head and looking at Yi Xiaotian flying in the sky, making a hissing sound in its mouth. This is an S-level sea shero. Yi Xiaotian felt the terrifying aura emanating from the giant snake and unconsciously raised the flying position a lot higher. He had seen strange beasts bigger than Hai Xiaoyuo, but he didn't feel this way at all. So Yi Xiaotian distanced himself, at least to make the impact of his sight weaker. Moreover, snakes only have a few attack methods. As a superpower, it is reasonable for Yi Xiaotian to fight at a distance. To Yi Xiaotian's surprise, the Hai Sha Luo glanced at Yi Xiaotian and then continued to move forward. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. What does it mean? Look down on him. Or was it too far away to hit, so he just left? Yi Xiaotian directly hit it with a real fire bullet. Hai Xiaoyuo's body twisted a bit and he avoided it. Yi Xiaotian was shocked, this snake is so powerful. He glanced at Hai Xiaoyuo who was accelerating, and immediately realized that Hai Xiaoyuo was really smart. It is said that the intelligence of high-level alien beasts is the same as that of humans, and it seems to be true. This sea shark saw that there was no cover on the beach, so he thought that he could hide himself in the forest in front of him. Yi Xiaotian would not let it go as he wished. A dozen real flame bullets were thrown at Hai Xiaoluo. But they were all avoided by Hai Xiaoyuo. Little kid, don't bully me too much. Do you really think I'm afraid of you? Suddenly, Hai Xiaoyuo raised his head and shouted sharply at Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian was stunned for a moment, then shouted, Since you dare to go ashore, you must be prepared to be killed. How about I go ashore? Don't we, the Sea Clan, 
have the qualifications to come up on this land? Hai Xiaoyuo roared. The huge body stood upright for hundreds of meters, with a pair of snake eyes staring at Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, Of course there is no problem for you to go ashore, but if you attack human cities, you will be dead. The Hai Xiaoyuo giant snake sneered and said, Hypocritical human beings, I have never attacked a human city. If I want to inflict a crime, why bother? Oh, what do you mean by that? You came ashore not to attack the city? Yi Xiaotian said with a smile. Of course, I came ashore just to experience the customs and customs of the land. Just like you humans can also go to the sea. Said the Hai Xiaoyuo giant snake. Yi Xiaotian sneered and said, Do you think I will believe what you say? Countless members of your high clan attacked Jiangqing, causing heavy casualties to Jiangqing soldiers and civilians. You are going ashore at this time, and the direction you are heading is Jiangqing. You are coming ashore with me just to experience the local customs and people. It is said that the snake race is very cunning. Now it seems that it is true. Yi Xiaotian directly exposed the cover-up of the giant snake Hai Luo. Are you the human awakener master who caused heavy casualties to my race? The giant snake Hai Luo asked in a deep voice. Why, you don't say that you are here to experience the local customs and people now? Yi Xiaotian sneered. A strange expression appeared on Hai Luo's face that looked like a skull. Boy, humans can't stop our determination to go ashore. Yi Xiaotian said, You live well in the sea, why do you want to go ashore? Do you think that you can destroy the human race by uniting with the alien races in the other plane? Dream on. The giant snake Hai Luo said, We just want more living space. More living space, are you kidding me? Yi Xiaotian glared. The sea is boundless, much larger than the land. Now the sea shero giant snake actually told them that it wanted more living space, isn't this nonsense? Do you think I will believe it? Yi Xiaotian said. Whether you believe it or not, this is our goal. The sea shero giant snake said as it slowly moved towards the forest. Yi Xiaotian sneered, do you think the alien race will give you more living space? Chapter 251 The Hai Sha Luo giant snake said disdainfully, does it matter whether they agree or not? The living space that our sea clan wants can be obtained by ourselves. Sunfire from the sky. Yi Xiao Tian discovered the little action of the Hai Sha Luo giant snake. Since the Rayal flame bomb could not hit it, he would directly launch a large scale covering attack. The sunfire fell all over the sky, and the hundreds of meters long Hai Sha Luo giant snake was covered and hit. Water curtain sky flower. The Hai Sha Luo giant snake shouted angrily, and a water column rushed up from his huge mouth, and then formed a water curtain like a fairy scattering flowers, covering himself. Swish. 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 Countless sunfires fell and came into contact with the water curtain of the Hai Sha Luo giant snake, and the water vapor evaporated, making a loud sound. But it was obvious that this time, it was not so easy for Yi Xiaotian's attack to break the defense of the Hai Sha Luo giant snake. Infinite water columns spurted out of the mouth of the Hai Sha Luo giant snake, as if its body was connected to an endless sea. His water curtain sealing defense skill is very stable. Suddenly, a sense of crisis surged in his heart, and Yi Xiaotian quickly moved sideways and moved hundreds of meters to the side. Boom! A water column rushed into the sky and hit the place where he just stood. Yi Xiaotian was shocked. This Hai Xiaoyuo giant snake was really too cunning. It actually confused himself and then attacked him by surprise. It was really too despicable. Sure enough, snakes are all despicable and shameless. Yi Xiaotian was not polite either. He used the gravity, skill, and several times the gravity enveloped the Hai Xiaoyuo giant snake. The Hai Xiaoyuo giant snake suddenly felt its body sink, and the difficulty of action increased several times. However, the Hai Xiaoyuo giant snake was extremely powerful and quickly adapted. At this time, more than a dozen true flame bombs fell from the sky and hit the Hai Xiaoyuo giant snake. But they were all blocked by the water column of the Hai Xiaoyuo giant snake. This water column is really omnipotent. 
It can attack and defend. Yi Xiao Tian thought about it, it seems that fire magic alone will not work. The skill illusion was activated again, covering the giant sea serpent. But soon, Yi Xiao Tian found that it was useless. The yellow eyes of the giant sea serpent radiated light, and were not affected by the illusion at all. Since the magic doesn't work, then close combat. Yi Xiao Tian had a plan in mind. There was no one else here, so his various close combat talents could be used. After he blessed himself with various amplification skills again, two more rays of light shot towards the giant sea serpent, but were blocked by the water curtain Tianhua. He could only put away the staff and take out the sword. Vitra bodyguard, frenzy battle, bull demon power, dragon elephant, and then black tortoise shield, various talents that can increase the combat power of warriors were activated. Suddenly, a terrifying aura emanated from Yi Xiaotian's body, and various lights flashed on his body, like a colorful light bulb. The light flashed so brightly that the cave eyes of the Hai Sha Luo giant snake were almost blinded. How can this guy have so many secret treasures? Yes, in Hai Sha Luo's eyes, the light on Yi Xiaotian was the embodiment of secret treasures. He didn't believe that a human could have so many talents and skills. This time, it's really a head-on collision. Yi Xiaotian used the curse skill on the Hai Sha Luo giant snake several times, but was defeated. He didn't know whether the Hai Sha Luo giant snake could be immune to illusions, and whether it could also be immune to curses. But the facts were in front of him. So he could only rely on his own strength to kill alone. Fortunately, after the blessing of various amplification skills, his four-sided attribute points surged to six or seven million points, which had already touched the threshold of the S-level high level. Coupled with the blessing of various combat talents and skills, his actual combat power at this moment is definitely comparable to the top S-level combat power. It's just that the Hai Sha Luo giant snake in front of him is very strange, so he has to be cautious. Even the black tortoise shield was cast. It can withstand three fatal attacks. After being prepared, Yi Xiaotian's figure appeared like a ghost at the seven inches of the Hai Sha Luo giant snake, and the sword slashed towards its seven inches. No matter what kind of snake it is, the seven inches is their weakest point. He was fast, but he didn't expect that the Hai Sha Luo giant snake was not slow either. It tilted its head and dodged the attack of Yi Xiaotian's sword. The giant snake swung its tail and slashed towards Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian accelerated and fell, and moved sideways again, dodging the giant tail of the Hai Sha Luo giant snake. The giant snake's tail slapped on the beach, the sound shook the sky, and even a gully was pulled out of the beach. It shows the terrifying power of the Hai Sha Luo giant snake. Yi Xiaotian did not dare to be careless, and while moving his body, he attacked the Hai Sha Luo giant snake again. His attack frequency was very high, and he could slash dozens of knives in one second. Sparks burst out from the intersection of the sword and the scales of the Hai Sha Luo giant snake. Yi Xiaotian was speechless. Is the scale defense of this giant sea sorrow snake so powerful? Difficult. Fortunately, I met him. Otherwise, if this giant sea sorrow snake came to Jiangqing, it would probably break Jiangqing with one tail. Strictly speaking, this was the first time that Yi Xiaotian faced an S-level strongman head-on. Huang Bing's didn't count, because after Yi Xiaotian used two curse skills, Huang Bing's strength was directly reduced to A-level. And Huang Bing had no immunity or ability to resist illusions. So Huang Bing's strength is seriously weakened, and he can't compare with the real S-class strongman. But this Hai Xiaoyuo giant snake is a real S-class sea beast. And the curse and illusion skills are ineffective against it. The defense of the scales is abnormal to the extreme. Yi Xiaotian has a combat power comparable to the top of the S-class, but he can't do anything to the opponent for a while. And without the threat of the fire-type strange arts above, the body of the Haishaluo giant snake has become more flexible. The huge body, hundreds of meters long, formed a cage, trying to trap Yi Xiaotian inside. Fortunately, although Yi Xiaotian couldn't do anything to it for a while. But it's unlikely that the Haishaluo giant snake wants to trap him. It's just that this damn Haishaluo giant snake protects its 7-inch position very well. 
several times Yi Xiao Tian was about to attack, but in the end the Haishaoyuo giant snake dodged it. There was no chance at all. I don't know how this giant snake can be so flexible with such a huge body. What puzzled Yi Xiao Tian the most was how the giant sea snake discovered his attack trajectory. It was as if the giant snake could see through his next move. When his body just moved, his head had already dodged. Its eyes. Yi Xiao Tian could only attribute the reason to the eyes of the giant sea snake. Because its eyes were really weird. Chapter 252 Yi Xiaotian's speed combined with his flying talent kept shining in the air. Countless sounds of metal clashing were heard. Then all kinds of gold stars appeared on the body of the sea shero giant snake. Yi Xiaotian was a little depressed. He used to think that this B-level sword was enough. But now he found that it was really not enough. When the real combat power of both sides is not much different, the quality of the weapon will be infinitely magnified. If it is an A-level beast, with Yi Xiaotian's absolute strength advantage, even a B-level sword can cut through the opponent's physical defense. This is true even if the enemy is known for its physical defense. But now, Yi Xiaotian encountered a very perverted Si Shero giant snake. It was very uncomfortable to make all his advantages unable to be brought into play. What should I do now? Under the insightful eyes of the Si Shero giant snake, his illusion, curse, and speed seem to have no effect. What advantage does he have now? He can fight with the fire element, but it seems that he has not reached that point yet. Speed is no longer a problem. Strength and physique, huh? This is a good idea. His four attributes are all rising in a relatively balanced way because of his supreme talent. This is a huge advantage. Even for an SS level awakener, the value of his secondary attribute is probably only as high as his current one. This is a huge advantage. This Haishaoyuo giant snake, even if it has the eye of insight, still has incomparable iron armor scales. But its power is definitely not so abnormal. Otherwise, this Haishaoyuo giant snake would be omnipotent. But seeing the huge body of the Haishaoyuo giant snake, Yi Xiaotian felt a little numb again, and he didn't know where to start. His little hands couldn't hold it. His eyes were cast on the tail of the Haishaoyuo giant snake. It seems that only there can be touched. It is said that you can't touch the tiger's buttocks, and when it comes to snakes, you definitely can't touch the tail. Because catching a snake is always stuck by the head. If you grab its tail, aren't you sending it to the door? Therefore, Yi Xiaotian must act quickly and must not give the Haishaoyuo giant snake a chance to counterattack. When the Haishaoyuo giant snake reacts and becomes alert, it will be even more difficult to grab its tail. Now the Haishaoyuo giant snake's body is in a ring shape, which is trying to trap Yi Xiaotian to death inside. This is also an opportunity for Yi Xiaotian. The Haishaoyuo giant snake did not realize that Yi Xiaotian wanted to grab its tail, and it was still trying to avoid Yi Xiaotian's attack on its seven inches. Suddenly, Yi Xiaotian put away the sword, and his figure flashed and appeared at the tail of the Haishaoyuo giant snake. He grabbed the tail of the Haishaoyuo giant snake with both hands. The terrifying power was launched, and the hundreds of meters long Haishaoyuo giant snake was directly pulled up. His height of 1-8 meters was really as small as an ant in front of the Haishaoyuo giant snake. But it was such a tiny ant that lifted up the huge Haishaoyuo giant snake. Boom! The terrifying power was transmitted, and the body of the Si Sha Luo giant snake was inevitably lifted up, and then smashed to the ground. There is a chance. In an instant, Yi Xiaotian felt relieved. Sure enough, as long as he found the right method, he could still abuse this Si Sha Luo giant snake. He fell into a misunderstanding. He thought that snakes were very powerful. After all, snakes usually kill enemies by strength or whip the tail to kill, or curl up and strangle. These are all manifestations of powerful strength. So Yi Xiaotian felt from the beginning that the best thing about this Si Sha Luo giant snake should be strength. So he chose not to fight the Si Sha Luo giant snake head on, but wanted to take the path of long range attack. But now he understands, he wants to fork. The best thing about this Si Sha Luo giant snake is not strength at all. 
I'm afraid that all its skills are on those pupils and scales. However, the physical defense of the alien beast clan is not weak. In this regard, humans are simply incomparable. However, the advantage of the human race is all kinds of weapons, all kinds of weapons with various styles and functions. But now the Haishaluo giant snake gives Yi Xiaotian the feeling that the power of this snake is not as great as he imagined. Yi Xiaotian has terrifying strength and physical strength. Under his crazy whipping, the Haishaluo giant snake soon became dizzy. Although the scales of the Haishaluo giant snake are very tough, even Yi Xiaotian's B-level Tianjin war knife can't cut it. But his internal organs are very fragile in comparison. Under Yi Xiaotian's crazy whipping, the terrifying shock force caused the Haishaluo giant snake's internal organs to shatter, and blood overflowed from the snake's mouth. Even between the scales, there was blood seeping. Yi Xiaotian was not careless, he didn't want to give Haishaluo another chance. Seizing the opponent's weakness, of course, he would kill him. After more than ten minutes of whipping, the beach didn't know how many holes were smashed by Yi Xiaotian. Finally, Yi Xiaotian stopped, took out the heavenly gold saber, and stabbed it into the seven inches of the Si Sha Luo giant snake. Under the shock of power, the seven inches of the Si Sha Luo giant snake were torn into pieces, and the head and body were about to be separated. Congratulations to the Awakener, successfully killed the Si Sha Luo giant snake, and obtained the SS level talent skill Eye of Insight. Chapter 253 if you ask Yi Xiaotian which talent skill he wants to strengthen to the highest level, then Yi Xiaotian will tell you without hesitation that it is Eye of Insight. This talent skill is too abnormal. Yi Xiaotian is very confident that if he does not have this talent skill, with the strength of the Si Sha Luo giant snake, he will definitely have a hundred ways to kill it. But after having this talent skill, he can only rely on brute force. This is when he has a body of physical talent skills. If a human awakener comes over, even if it is S level, if it does not have so many auxiliary talent skills of Yi Xiaotian, it is definitely not the opponent of this Si Sha Luo giant snake. Sure enough, in this magical world, talent is the most important. And the skills that match the talent are also very important. Sometimes, a good talent skill can ruin your skills. This eye of insight is too powerful. If it were not for his various amplification skills and various physical strengthening skills, Yi Xiaotian would have to retreat. Now, he has obtained this Eye of Insight, and he is very fortunate. This luck is really amazing. It seems that his guess is right. The higher the level of the beast, the greater the probability of dropping talent skills and attribute points after killing it. Yi Xiaotian collected the body of the Si Sha Luo giant snake. Fortunately, when he was in Magic City University, he exchanged all the bodies of the beasts in the reincarnation space. Now his reincarnation space is empty. Otherwise, it really can't hold the body of the Si Sha Luo giant snake. On the way back to Jiangcheng, he also encountered some sporadic sea beasts, and he dealt with them casually. He didn't know what the sea tribe would decide next, whether to stop the invasion or continue to send experts so he could only go back to Jiangcheng and wait. As for going to the sea, he did consider it. But the sea is not on land. If there is no familiar person to lead the way, he can't find the other party's nest at all, so he still waits in Jiangcheng. Back on the top of the city, Jiangcheng is still calm. Han Xuyao was delighted when she saw Yi Xiaotian coming back, and asked quickly, Brother Tian, how is it? She was still very nervous. On one hand, she was worried about Yi Xiaotian's safety, and on the other hand, she was worried about Jiangcheng's safety. In Jiangcheng, she has many relatives and friends. If Jiangcheng cannot be saved, the possibility of her relatives and friends surviving is very low. In history, there are very few humans who can survive in the base city that was attacked by aliens. Yi Xiaotian said, most of the sea beasts outside the city were killed by me, and an S-level sea serpent came ashore and was also killed by me. Really? Does it mean that the crisis in Jiangcheng has been resolved? Han Xuyao said in surprise. She did not question how Yi Xiaotian could beat the S-level sea beast. After all, when he was on the east coast, Yi Xiaotian also killed the S-level pagan. 
Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, it's hard to say now. It depends on whether the Sea Tribe will send another expert over. Brother Tian, you are so nice. Han Xuyao hugged Yi Xiaotian's arm, leaned her head on his shoulder, and said happily. Chang Xiaoxi on the side could only force herself to look elsewhere and then turn off her hearing. When she couldn't look straight, she said, you guys stay here and I'll go to the city gate over there to take a look. If she stayed any longer, she was afraid that she would burn. Her headlights were too bright and she couldn't bear it. Han Xuyao said, Okay, Xiaoxi, tell Hao Zi and Bing Yan that Brother Tian is back, let them rest assured, just stay over there. Chang Xiaoxi rolled her eyes. Now that Yi Xiao Tian is back, the sea beasts outside the city have been killed almost. Do they still need to stay here? Isn't it because she can be alone with Yi Xiao Tian here? I know, I won't let them come to disturb you. Chang Xiaoxi said directly, because she was uncomfortable if she didn't make it clear. That's good, thank you, Xiaoxi. Han Xuyao smiled and thanked. Chang Xiaoxi was autistic again. Sure enough, the higher the virtue, the higher the evil. Han Xuyao in love, her face is invincible. She can say that the opposite is right. However, in recent months, Chang Xiaoxi has gradually adapted to Han Xuyao's shameless appearance. She left quickly and came to the gate guarded by Wang Hao and Mu Binyan. Xiaoxi, why are you here? Is there a sea beast attacking over there? Wang Hao saw Chang Xiaoxi coming, and his heart tightened immediately. His first reaction was that the sea beast was attacking. Chang Xiaoxi said, No, Yi Xiaotian is back, so I came here to take a look. Wang Hao felt relieved and said, That's good. Mu Binyan's expression moved, and her expression was a little tangled. The moment she knew that Yi Xiaotian was Haotian, her mood collapsed. She was very tangled, and her secret love ended before it even began. During this period, she has been restraining her feelings. But in the end, she found that the more she constrained herself, the more counterproductive it would be. She wondered if she could just let things take their own course. But when she thought of Han Xuyao, she felt guilty, as if she was stealing her sister's girlfriend. She heard what Chang Xiaoxi said just now, and she also saw the change in her expression. She knew very well that things were definitely not as normal as Chang Xiaoxi said. Chang Xiaoxi must have been unable to stay there, so she came here. This kind of thing often happens to Chang Xiaoxi. Wang Hao, a big boss, didn't see it, but she knew it in her heart. The relationship between Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao is very good. Han Xuyao is also her recognized bestie and friend. She didn't want to ruin the relationship between the two because of a man. It's a pity that gods will place tricks on people. Fortunately, because of Mu Binyan's cold personality, her mental activities did not show up, and no one noticed anything unusual. But some things cannot be hidden after all. After all, everyone in the team knew that Mu Binyan liked Haotian. The reason why no one thinks about this now. It's just because too many things happened during this period. By the time everyone came to their senses, Mu Binyan didn't know how to face it. Therefore, this matter must be resolved before everyone reacts. Inexplicably, Mu Binyan felt a little irritable. You guys watch here, I'll go for a walk in the city. Mu Binyan said a few words before getting off the city wall. Wang Hao was immediately overjoyed. Now it was better. He and Chang Xiaoxi were the only ones left here. What a world for two. Chang Xiaoxi looked at Mu Binyan's back thoughtfully. If there is anyone in this team who is most sensitive to Mu Binyan's affairs, it must be her. After all, Han Xuyao was her best friend since childhood. She was also observing how Mu Binyan would make her choice. Chapter 254 Comrade Lao Wang is here again. This time not only did he come, but many others came as well. The school leaders of Jiangqing No. One middle school and many classmates who were in the same class with Yi Xiaotian. Seeing these classmates, Yi Xiaotian was very emotional. Same people but different fates. These students didn't even get to go to college. Just because the awakened talent level is too low, they can only be ordinary people, or work hard to become non-staff awakened people. 
The so-called non-staff awakened people are awakened people that no one wants. They don't even recognize the awakened association. But they have awakened their talents and have a certain fighting capacity. So they can only fight hard. Or work hard to clear the reincarnation dungeon, or go out of the city to fight alien beasts. With good luck, there are some achievements. Those who were unlucky died directly outside the city. Very cruel. But this is reality. Yi Xiao Tian looked at these classmates with emotion, and his classmates looked at him, so why not? Once upon a time, Yi Xiao Tian, like them, had awakened a sea level useless talent. But I didn't expect that he was a dual talented awakener. Sea level talent is just one of them. As for the other one, it is an S level auxiliary talent, and its effect is comparable to that of SS level auxiliary talent. Before the exams even started, the four prestigious universities were vying to recruit him. Even, for Yi Xiao Tian, he took over his entire team. You know, Chang Xiaoxi in this team is only an A-level talent. Of course, A-level talents are already very good for them and are beyond their reach. But for the four major famous schools, it is still a bit unsatisfactory. Just because of Yi Xiao Tian, I accepted it. And Wang Hao was originally only a C-level talent awakener. Just because of Yi Xiao Tian, a bottle of B-level talent enhancing spiritual fluid directly sent him to the throne of S-level talent awakener. It was as if Yi Xiao Tian was a child of luck, and anyone who had a good relationship with him would be successful. They knew very well that although Chang Xiaoxi was still only an A-level talent awakener at this stage. But it is estimated that soon, her talent level will be upgraded to S-level, or even higher level. Just because she is a member of Yi Xiaotian's team. Of course, these are things they cannot envy. Being able to be in the same class as a monster among geniuses like Yi Xiao Tian is already a huge blessing. Even as an ordinary person, I can brag to others in the future that I was once in the same class as great god Hao Tian. According to the teacher, Yi Xiao Tian's future achievements are limitless, and he may even grow into the sixth most powerful person in the human race. As a classmate of the supreme power, just thinking about this title can make people laugh. This time Yi Xiao Tian returned to help Jiang Qing. Comrade Lao Wang came first to check in, and the effect was very good. Yi Xiao Tian was very nostalgic. So this time, the school leaders and Yi Xiao Tian's old classmates came. One is to reminisce about old times, and the other is to see if I can ask Yi Xiao Tian for help. To develop, Jiang Qing needs more talents and resources. Yi Xiao Tian is now Jiang Qing's best business card. As long as this business card is displayed, Jiang Qing can attract more talents and resources. For example, in Jiang Qing No. 1 Middle School, with Yi Xiao Tian here, more people will send their children here. It's also good to get a little bit of the divine spirit. Moreover, Yi Xiao Tian can also use his influence to find more resources for Jiang Qing No. 1 Middle School. After all, Jiang Qing No. One middle school has cultivated a genius like Yi Xiao Tian. Should the higher-ups encourage him? Talents and resources are always fundamental to the development of a place. No one has money, how do you develop? It can be said that because of Yi Xiao Tian's appearance, Jiang Cheng saw the dawn of his rise. After reminiscing about old times, Lao Wang said, Xiao Tian, the principal wants to discuss something with you. Can you give me a chance? the previous senior management of No. 1 middle school were all beaten to the bottom because of the forced buying and selling of quotas. Today's top executives were all promoted later. Even comrade Lao Wang was promoted from an ordinary class teacher to grade leader, and he can be regarded as a small leader. Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said, Teacher Wang, why are you so polite to me? Let's talk over there. He knew that if comrade Lao Wang said this, the next words would definitely not be suitable to talk in front of everyone. The three of them walked aside, and Wang Zurin said to the principal of No. One middle school, principal he, if you have anything to say, just tell classmate Yi Xiao Tian directly. He graduated from our No. One middle school. I believe that as long as it is not too difficult, he will definitely help. Yi Xiao Tian heard something in comrade Lao Wang's words, but he didn't say anything more. He just looked at Lao Wang with a strange look. 
Lao Wang also noticed Yi Xiaotian's eyes and knew that he had seen through his little thoughts. This kid's thoughts really don't match his age. The principal said with a smile on his face, Student Xiaotian is indeed a young genius with unparalleled talents and supreme talents. Principal He, there is no need to say these polite words between us. If you need any help from me, just ask. As long as I can do it, I will never refuse. Yi Xiaotian said. Principal He breathed a sigh of relief, then became serious, and said, Classmate Xiaotian, you also know the situation in our Jiangcheng. The place is small and the population is small. As a result, there are few talents and lack of resources. When Yi Xiaotian heard this, he frowned and said, But principal, this matter is not something I can solve. He can't just go to other places and force people over, right? Xiaotian, listen to me. Principal he was interrupted by Yi Xiaotian, but he didn't get angry. It's like this, Xiaotian, you are now famous in Xia country, and you can also be said to be a business card of our Jiangcheng. As long as you spread your name, you can attract more talents to Jiangcheng. As long as there are talents, there will be resources. And there is a good opportunity right now. After this melee, there will definitely be a lot of base cities that will be abolished and personnel will be diverted. If it was before, Jiangqing would definitely not have this opportunity, but now with you, the situation is different. With Principal He's explanation, Yi Xiaotian finally understood what they meant. It's to use his name to attract people to Jiangqing. As long as the population base is large, the chance of geniuses appearing will be greater. And with Yi Xiaotian's current fame, it can also attract some large groups, big families, and big institutions to come to Jiangcheng. At that time, Jiangcheng can be thoroughly developed. Why can base cities like Beijing, Shanghai, and Jiangnan become first-tier large base cities? Because people have resources. The huge population base has given birth to countless geniuses. And when these geniuses grow up, they can bring countless resources to the base cities. The two complement each other, promote each other, and grow together. Unlike a small place like Jiangcheng, there is nothing and it can only be ordinary. Chapter 255 Jiangcheng needs his help. And from what the principle of no. One middle school said, he was just here to make a forewarning. The one who really wanted to help was the city lord Lu Jiang. But Lu Jiang didn't have much friendship with him, so he was embarrassed to speak first. Let comrade Lao Wang bring no. One middle school here to clear his mouth first. No matter what, Lao Wang was Yi Xiaotian's class teacher and had taken care of him. Although the principal of no. One middle school was not familiar with Yi Xiaotian. But the incense was always there. For them, it was better than Lu Jiang coming directly. Yi Xiaotian thought for a while before saying, Principal, Teacher Wang, I was born in Jiangcheng, and I survived with the subsidy from Jiangcheng. If I have the opportunity to repay Jiangcheng, I will naturally do my best. The principal of no. One middle school showed a gratified smile. Lao Wang looked like I was right about you. But I may be on the front line of resisting the monsters in the next period of time, so I don't have more time to cooperate with you. Yi Xiaotian explained. Oh, no, it's okay, as long as you are willing for us to use your name. The principal of no. One middle school explained quickly. Yes, as long as Yi Xiaotian's name can be used for publicity. Originally, if it was someone else, there would be no need to come here specially. But it's different when the target is Yi Xiaotian. Without prior notice, who can take responsibility after the event? This is the future supreme powerhouse. Jiang Cheng wants to use his name to attract talents and resources, so he must make a big fanfare. There must be some impact on Yi Xiaotian himself. But Yi Xiaotian doesn't care about these. As long as he doesn't have to wait here all the time, it's fine. He doesn't have time to stay here to help Jiang Qing promote. With Yi Xiaotian's statement, the principle of no. One middle school has completed his task. If he wasn't afraid of Yi Xiaotian's misunderstanding, he would have wanted comrade Lao Wang to talk to Yi Xiaotian alone. Then Mr. Wang, you should talk to Xiaotian more. I will go back first. 
he had to go back to report his achievements to the city lord. If this thing is done, not only Lu Jiang will benefit, but he, as the principal of No. One middle school, will also benefit greatly. Every genius starts from school. As the principal of No. One middle school, he is naturally the enlightenment of all young awakeners in Jiangcheng. It's a pity that when he came, Yi Xiao Tian was about to graduate. Otherwise, the relationship between him and Yi Xiao Tian could be closer. Having a good relationship with a future Supreme Strongman, the benefits are needless to say. The friends who followed the Supreme Strongman Sword God to conquer the world in the past have now become successful. The worst ones have established their own families, and most of them are big men who can influence all aspects of Xiaogua. What a pity! But Comrade Lao Wang. The principal thought of Lao Wang. He is Yi Xiaotian's class teacher. If there is someone in Jiangcheng who has the best relationship with Yi Xiaotian, it must be him. Six years of teacher student relationship, that is not to be underestimated. And it is said that in these six years of junior high and high school life, Comrade Lao Wang also took good care of Yi Xiaotian and Wang Hao. And Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaosi. Damn! If you don't want to know, the principal was shocked after a calculation. This Lao Wang didn't know how much shit he had stepped on in his previous life, but he was so lucky. In Yi Xiaotian's team, there are actually four of his students, and they are his own students. This luck is really against the sky. It seems that we have to treat Comrade Lao Wang well in the future. The school still has a position of vice principal, and Lao Wang can be promoted. Comrade Principal did it as soon as he thought of it, and went directly to the city lord's mansion to prepare to make this suggestion to the city lord. After all, the city lord's mansion is the highest decision-making body for the appointment of personnel in various institutions in Jiangcheng. In the next few days, Jiangcheng was calm. Occasionally, one or two sea beasts wandered near Jiangcheng, and they would be killed remotely by Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan. In the past few days, the city guards and awakeners of Jiangcheng have almost rested. Then Yi Xiaotian and his team members walked down the city wall. The work of guarding the city wall was returned to the city lord's mansion. Moreover, the city guards also sent scouts to places dozens of miles away, not only in the direction of the coast, but in all directions. After all, no one knows how many sea beasts have landed, and no one knows where these sea beasts have gone. After all, it is impossible for all the sea beasts that have landed to come to Jiangcheng. Some have gone to other directions. Now the war in Jiangcheng has stopped temporarily. We have to guard against these sea beasts running to Jiangcheng again. These scouts all carry signal transmitters, which will be triggered once a large number of sea beasts are found approaching the direction of Jiangcheng. At that time, Jiangcheng will know it in the first time. After listening to the arrangements of the city lord's mansion, Yi Xiaotian was relieved. With such a comprehensive arrangement, I believe that there should be no problem with the safety of Jiangcheng. Once the enemy appears, it can be known in advance, and there is enough time to make corresponding arrangements. In this regard, Lu Jiang is much more experienced than Yi Xiaotian. The battle in Jiangcheng was so brutal that almost everyone was mobilized to fight. Not to mention the city guards and awakeners, even ordinary people, some have not rested for a long time. The city is about to be destroyed, who can take care of rest? So when Yi Xiaotian came and the sea beasts retreated, they were arranged to rest. With Yi Xiaotian personally in charge of the city, they were relieved. Now that they have rested well, Yi Xiaotian must be replaced. In fact, the day after the sea beasts retreated, Lu Jiang had already arranged for replacement personnel. But Yi Xiaotian refused. After experiencing such a cruel war, they must rest for a few more days. Otherwise, it will be disadvantageous for the next possible battle. When Lu Jiang heard it, he also thought it made sense, so he didn't be polite to Yi Xiaotian. After getting off the city, the first thing was for Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaosi to go home. The team members were also invited. Yi Xiaotian had only one thought in his mind at this time, that is, does this count as meeting the parents? Han Xuyao, who was originally very generous, began to be shy at this time. Mu Bingyan had no expression on her face, but she felt a little sad in her heart. 
Although she was ready to give up the thought in her heart, some things could not be changed by will. Huang Jian Sun Yao, on the other hand, did not have any other emotions. Wang Hao was a little envious. He wanted to go to the Chang family to meet the parents, but unfortunately Chang Xiaosi gave up this idea. Some things cannot be rushed, Wang Hao understands. Walking on the streets of Jiangcheng, the people greeted them one after another. This is their lifesaver. The scene of Yi Xiaotian and his team falling from the sky was seen by countless people, and it was even broadcast on TV. There are also corresponding videos on the local forum. So now there are not many people in Jiangcheng who don't know their awakening team. Chapter 256 Soon, the group arrived at Han's house. If it weren't for Han Xuyao, if Han Xuyao and Yi Xiaotian had a special relationship. With Yi Xiaotian's current status, he would naturally open the main gate, and then the whole family would welcome him at the gate. For him, the Lord Sword God even destroyed the Shen family, one of the four major families in the Demon City. What is there for the small Han family to be proud of? But who made Yi Xiaotian have a special relationship with Han Xuyao? In fact, Yi Xiaotian is also a junior of the Han family. So at the gate of the Han family, only Han Xuyao's father Han Jing was waiting for them. Originally, according to Han Jing's intention, there was no need to wait at the gate. When they arrived, they would just go and welcome them in. But his father Han Debang didn't do it, and directly ordered him to wait at the gate. Han Jing had no choice but to follow the order. But when he thought that Yi Xiaotian, this kid, had kidnapped his little cotton jacket, he felt a dull pain in his heart. If it weren't for the amazing potential of Yi Xiaotian, Han Jing would never agree. Awakening for a few days and already a sea level awakener, can you believe it? I have never seen this before, and I have never even heard of it. So in the end, Han Jing could only agree to ignore it for the time being. As for now, he can no longer care. If he dares to think of breaking up the two of them, not to mention others, his father will break his legs and teach him a lesson. Dad! Han Xuyao saw Han Jing at the gate and called out, then pulled Yi Xiaotian over. Han Jing looked at the two people holding hands and became a little autistic again. But he had to force a smile on his face, a smile like a spring breeze. Uncle Han. Yi Xiaotian greeted, and other team members also called people. Han Jing's mood inexplicably improved at this moment, and the smile on his face became more sincere, and he returned the greetings to Mu Bingyan and Sun Yao. These are all geniuses. I don't know what kind of shit luck Yi Xiaotian has, he can actually recruit so many talented team members. But on the other hand, it is their luck to meet a captain like Yi Xiaotian. Please come in, everyone. Don't be polite. You are Xu Yao's teammates. Treat this place as your home. Han Jing led everyone inside. The Han family is also a big family in Jiangcheng, although it can't be compared with the families in large base cities like Modu. But it is also one of the most powerful forces in Jiangcheng, so the family is naturally very impressive. A small manor covering hundreds of acres. These days, Blue Star can really be said to be vast and sparsely populated. The war with alien races was too tragic, and too many people died. Until now, there is still a special industry of fertility tools. Again, the larger the population base, the greater the chance of geniuses. So the top leaders of various countries have such regulations. Those who have poor awakening talents and have no hope of becoming awakeners should have children. For example, some of Yi Xiaotian's high school classmates who failed to go to college can only get married and have children. And there is also a rule that the more children you have, the better the treatment. Other classmates can go to college and live a thrilling life as awakeners, but they can only stay at home and have children. This is the same person with different fates. They can only pray that geniuses can be born among their descendants. Ha ha ha, welcome all geniuses to our home. Han Xuyao's grandfather, Han Debang, the old man of the Han family, welcomed them in the main hall. This old man has fought all his life, and when he is old, he thought he could enjoy his retirement life. But unexpectedly, when the sea beasts came, they went to the front line and continued to fight for the human race, fighting to the death. There are many such people on Blue Star. 
there are more than a dozen in Jiangqing alone. It is precisely because of their existence that Jiangqing persisted until Yi Xiaotian and his team came back to help. Both sides sat down, and Mr. Han sighed, fortunately you came, otherwise Jiangqing would have been gone long ago. When Yi Xiaotian and his team arrived, a group of old guys were already at the end of their strength. The others are even more so. It can be said that they have all reached the most desperate moment. Once these old guys who are at the forefront fall, the defense of Jiangqing will collapse like a domino effect. Everyone is supported by a belief. And these old soldiers are their last belief. So, all the people in Jiangqing should thank you. Said Mr. Han. Yi Xiaotian said, Grandpa, you are too kind. I am also a Jiangqing person. It is my duty to contribute my heart and strength to Jiangqing. Mr. Han nodded with satisfaction. Yi Xiaotian's words touched his heart. This is a sense of belonging. The awakened people who walked out of Jiangqing can still feel a sense of belonging to Jiangqing, which is not forgetting their roots. Unlike many people, after going to big cities and improving their strength and status, they look down on the place where they grew up. Just because it is small and backward. Yi Xiaotian can think so, at least his character is not bad. Awakened people with bad character are useless no matter how powerful they are, and they may even become a scourge to the human race. Look at the people in the heretic organization, isn't that how they came about? Is it true that all the heretics joined because they saw no hope? In the final analysis, it was because they could not control their inner desires. They were eager to gain more powerful power in a short period of time, so they went astray. Others simply think that the human race cannot resist the invasion of aliens. After all, the strength of aliens is obvious to all. It's just that the final result did not let them get what they wanted. Well said, well said. Old Master Han kept patting his thigh and said. Then he looked at Sun Yao and said, Your name is Sun Yao, I have to thank you on behalf of my old comrades. Sun Yao hurriedly said, Old man, don't be polite to me. The captain and sister Xu Yao have helped me a lot. I can't afford it. Old Master Han waved his hand and said, One thing is one thing. You are teammates. It is right to help each other. Teammates should be able to trust each other with their backs. But we owe you a favor, this is real. And you too, I also thank you on behalf of the people of Jiangqing. This was said to Mu Bingyan and Huang Jie. The two hurriedly said no. At this time, the servant came to report that lunch was ready. Old man Han waved his hand and said, then let's eat and talk. Everyone moved to the dinner table. Old man Han picked up the wine glass and said, today, I will take advantage of my age and toast you on behalf of the people of Jiangcheng. Don't dare, don't dare. Yi Xiaotian and the others said they didn't dare. Xiaoya, do you think the crisis in Jiangcheng has been resolved? Old man Han put down his wine glass and asked Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, it's hard to say now, mainly because we know too little about the situation of the sea tribe and have no way to judge. Yes, we missed the sea beast tribe. We survived the land beast tribe and even the flying beast tribe, but we missed that there is a sea beast tribe in the sea whose base is larger than the land beasts and flying beasts combined. The situation on the alien battlefield is not good now. This is a great catastrophe. I hope the human race can win the final victory. Old man Han said in a heavy tone. The atmosphere was a little depressing in an instant. Chapter 257 The human race has won one game, but no one knows whether they can win the next one. After all, this time the human race has to face not only the alien races with which they have reached a preliminary cooperation. There are also the local sea beasts who have joined their camp. Grandpa, maybe the situation is not as serious as we thought. Our human race is no longer the human race of the past. As for the alien races, whether they are united with land beasts, flying beasts or sea beasts, it is the same for us. Huang Jie suddenly spoke at this time. This statement is quite interesting. Grandpa Han looked at him with a satisfied smile on his face and said, Well said, young people should have such a belief in victory. Even if the sea beasts come ashore, so what? We humans could win before, and we can win now. 
the atmosphere that was just suppressed suddenly became warm again. However, Han Jing on the side was not as easy to fool as these young people. A trace of worry flashed in his eyes. The old man said it so simply. But it is obvious that the sea beasts are definitely not comparable to the land beasts. Whether in quantity or quality, they are incomparable. Although the overall strength of the human race is much stronger than before. But the alien races are more united. After a hundred years of development and growth, the sea beasts are not comparable to the land beasts and flying beasts of the past. God knows how many masters and strong men there are in the sea beasts now. Even the supreme level strong men. You know, now the alien battlefield alone has already tied up four supreme strong men of the human race. If the sea beasts come with another supreme strong man, or even two, how will the human race of Blue Star resist? Can the sword god alone stop it? Even if it can be stopped, the loss of the human race of Blue Star will be incalculable. It's just that he didn't say this worry, but just kept it in his heart silently. He believed that the high-level people of the human race must have thought of this problem. As for how to deal with it, it is not for him, a small B-level awakener, to comment. The atmosphere of the dinner party was still quite good. Old man Han was very talkative and had a lot of combat experience. He kept telling Yi Xiaotian and the others about how they hunted aliens on the battlefield. This was the first time that Yi Xiaotian and the others had a direct feeling of the alien battlefield. They originally thought that the battle to defend Jiangqing was tragic enough, but compared with the alien battlefield, it was still not good enough. The real alien battlefield was the purgatory on earth. According to old man Han, there were broken limbs and arms everywhere on the battlefield, which were the awakened humans. In the battle with aliens, as long as they died or failed, they would be eaten by the aliens on the spot. It was very common to die without a complete corpse on the alien battlefield. Hearing this, there was a picture in my mind. Ugh. Including Yi Xiaotian, they couldn't help but feel a surge in their bodies. They were also experienced in many battles. With alien beasts, sea beasts, and pagans. But the scenes they had seen were nothing compared to what Grandpa Han said. So they couldn't help but vomit. Han Jing was helpless and said, Dad, can't you let them finish eating first? Grandpa Han said with a serious face, it's better to let them experience it, so that when they really step into the alien battlefield, they can adapt as quickly as possible. You mean let them go to the alien battlefield? Han Jing said speechlessly. How old are they, how long have they awakened, let them go to the alien battlefield, it's unlikely. Generally speaking, awakeners will try to go to the alien battlefield after graduating from college. Grandpa Han said, if he is not Yi Xiaotian, if they are not Yi Xiaotian's teammates, there is no need to be so anxious. But now, time is running out. Han Jing said, is it really that serious? Grandpa Han said, it may be much more serious than you think. Han Jing was silent. He had already felt that his estimate of the battle situation was cruel enough. But now it seems that he still underestimated it. So is it from the alien race or the sea race? Dad, do you have any basis for what you said? Han Jing said. Old man Han shook his head and said, No, this is the intuition of an old soldier. Han Jing stopped talking immediately. This kind of words are sometimes very accurate, and sometimes completely useless. But he felt that his father's words were very likely. After the juniors finished vomiting, they returned to the table with pale faces. Seeing that they had no appetite, old man Han waved his hand and asked people to clear the table. Do you know why I am telling you this? Old man Han stared at Yi Xiaotian and the others. The juniors all shook their heads to indicate that they didn't know. Old man Han repeated what he said to Han Jing to them, and finally said to Yi Xiaotian, Have you ever thought about going to the alien battlefield? Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, I have thought about it, but not so soon. Oh, when was your original plan? Old man Han was a little surprised that this little guy actually thought about this matter. Yi Xiaotian said, my original plan was to solve the problem of sea beasts before heading to the alien battlefield. Old man Han nodded in agreement. After all, 
at this stage, the biggest crisis for the human race does come from sea monsters. Where do you think our most important battlefield is this time? Mr. Han asked Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian hesitated for a moment and then said, please give me some advice. Mr. Han said, in your opinion, our biggest crisis this time is the sea monster, right? Several juniors nodded incessantly. Although the aliens are cruel, in the final analysis, they have not yet broken through the alien battlefield. Therefore, it is not a threat to Blue Star's homeland. But the threat from sea beasts to Blue Star is real. For example, during the Battle of Jiangcheng, if they had not arrived in time, the millions of people in Jiangcheng would have become the food of sea beasts. Grandpa, don't you think the threat from sea beasts is not great? Han Xuyao asked doubtfully. Mr. Han shook his head and said, yes and no. What do you mean? Several juniors were confused for a while. They couldn't understand what they were saying. The old man explained, currently, it is true that sea beasts pose the greatest threat, but in the final analysis, the development of the sea beast clan is only a hundred years old, which is about the same time as our blue star human race. But what about alien races? But we don't know how many years ago it started. So the key to this war is not whether we can drive the sea beasts back into the sea, but whether we can seal the aliens in the alien battlefield. If the foreign race fails on the battlefield, then forget about everything. But if we win the alien battlefield, then the threat of sea beasts will be nothing to mention. Chapter, 258 Grandpa, do you mean to let you go to the alien battlefield? Yi Xiaotian asked at last. Grandpa Han shook his head and said, No, I just want you to understand the real key to this crisis. In this way, when you make certain decisions, you will not deviate from the key points. Yi Xiaotian said solemnly, Don't worry, Grandpa, we will definitely not. Very good, good, you are all good children, the future of Blue Star belongs to you. The old man ended their conversation today with this sentence. He went to rest. But Yi Xiaotian didn't want to rest, he didn't want to waste time on resting. Coming to the courtyard specially arranged by the Han family for them, Yi Xiaotian said to them, Since you have all been promoted to B-level Awakeners, then tonight, I will take you through the B-level team copy of the Reincarnation World. Naturally, several people had no objection, anyway, it was just a formality. And there are still a lot of Reincarnation points to be taken. There was just one question. Huang Jie was very curious, so he asked, Brother Tian, you have two accounts. When you pass the promotion dungeon and the team dungeon, can you get double the points? Other people's eyes lit up when they heard this. They kind of understood where Yi Xiaotian's reincarnation points, which were so much higher than theirs, came from. Reincarnation points are the most important thing for awakeners. No one else. When I didn't know before, it was nothing. Now that I know, of course I have to ask clearly. Yi Xiaotian said, no. No. Huang Jie was a little confused. He thought Yi Xiaotian could get double the points. It turned out that he didn't. So where did his high reincarnation points come from? But no matter where they came from, at least they felt much more comfortable. They all had super god-rated dungeons. Even if it was the will of reincarnation, they couldn't favor one over the other. My points should be ten times yours. Yi Xiaotian added. With a plop, Huang Jie sat directly on the ground. Ten times. How did it come from? This was the only thought in his mind. Others also looked doubtful about their lives. Could it be that Yi Xiaotian was the biological son of the will of reincarnation? However, when they thought about the fact that the points reward they received from the team dungeon was a hundred or a thousand times that of others, they felt balanced. If they couldn't compare with Yi Xiaotian, the biological son of the will of reincarnation, then they could compare with other awakeners. Thinking of this, everyone felt much better. Come on, let's not talk to him. Huang Jie excluded Yi Xiaotian. The more this pervert talked, the more he was hit. After a group of people laughed for a while, Chang Xiaosi said, My dad called and asked me to invite you to dinner at home. What do you say? Yi Xiaotian had already decided to play the team dungeon in the evening. So whether to go or not depends on Yi Xiaotian's opinion. 
Wang Hao looked at Yi Xiaotian expectantly, his eyes full of pleading. Yi Xiaotian had no choice but to say, as the younger generation, we should go visit uncle and aunt. Wang Hao's face was full of joy. Chang Xiaoxi was also very happy. Yi Xiaotian agreed to go to their house, which was the greatest affirmation of her. She went to reply to her father happily. Haozi, stop drooling, your saliva is all over the ground. Huang Jie joked. Wang Hao quickly wiped the corner of his mouth, but there was no saliva. He was furious. Fatty, I'll beat you to death. Wang Hao chased Huang Jie in anger. At the same time, the news that Yi Xiaotian came to Jiangcheng also reached the hands of the heretic organization. The branch of the heretic organization in the Magic City has been out of contact for many days. The headquarters of the heretic organization suspected that they had been defeated. After all, there are many masters around Yi Xiaotian in the Magic City. So it is normal for the Magic City branch to fail. But now that Yi Xiaotian has gone to Jiangcheng, it's different. The sea beast has come ashore, and this situation is naturally very bad for normal human beings. But for the heretic organization, it is God's help. The alien race and the sea beast race cooperate. There is a natural alliance between them. If the city is the world of the human race, then the outside of the city is the free land of the heretic organization. So it is very easy and safe for them to shuttle in the wild. The alien beasts will not attack them. When humans see them, they don't know their identity as heretics, so they won't attack them. So at this time, the heretics all over the world who are determined to hunt Yi Xiaotian and get the highest reward from the alien race are rushing to Jiangcheng. The base city of the magic city, they have to consider their own safety. But Jiangcheng doesn't care at all. In the Jiangcheng Sea area, there are two S-level sea beasts in the sea area with a radius of one million miles. One is the giant sea serpent killed by Yi Xiaotian before. And the other is a spider crab. The ordinary spider crab can reach 4 meters after stretching its two legs. But the spider crab after mutation is dozens of times larger than before mutation. At this time, the S-class giant spider crab was sitting cross-legged in its own palace. It looked very much like a spider, with a terrifying face, and its facial features looked more like a human face. In front of it stood a human in a black robe. He is the messenger sent by the heretic organization to contact the spider crab this time. This time Yi Xiaotian came to Jiangcheng, and the heretic organization was ready to let Yi Xiaotian die in Jiangcheng. Coincidentally, Jiangcheng is also the target of the sea beasts. So the two sides have a basis for cooperation. If the two sides unite, the chance of success will be greatly increased. Master Crab, I wonder if you have any opinion on our proposal? The black-robed man said in a deep voice. The two spider eyes on the ugly face of the giant spider crab stared at the black-robed man, and his voice was harsh. Do you know that Hai Sha Luo is dead? The spider crab said. Master Hai Sha Luo is dead. The black-robed man was shocked. Before coming, he naturally inquired about the situation in the sea area here. Knowing that this sea area of a million miles is the territory of the giant spider crab and the high Sha Luo giant snake. It is also the highest commander of this Jiangqing battle. With the addition of these two S-level sea beasts, their action to hunt Yi Xiaotian this time can definitely be said to be foolproof. But now, the operation has not started yet, and the high Sha Luo giant snake is gone. Could it be that it died of natural causes at the end of its lifespan? How did it die? The black-robed man couldn't believe it. He couldn't think of any other reason except natural death. The giant spider crab said, it died on land. To be precise, it came ashore after receiving a distress message. But it died not long after it came ashore. The black-robed man was stunned. Impossible. How could there be a strong man in Jiangcheng who could kill Lord Hai Sha Luo? The black-robed man couldn't believe it was true. Chapter, 259 10,000 people in black robes didn't believe it. That was an S-level high-level Haisaluo giant snake. How could it possibly fall into a small place like Jiangcheng? Is this a trap? 
the man in black robe thought that Yi Xiaotian was in Jiangcheng. Of course he wouldn't think that it was Yi Xiaotian who killed the Haishaoyuo snake. He guessed that there was a master hidden beside Yi Xiaotian. A master who didn't even notice them. This is very possible. The Supreme Sword God could destroy the Shen family in the magic city with one sword from the distant capital for Yi Xiaotian. Why can't we send a master to follow Yi Xiaotian to protect him? Now everyone around the world knows that the Supreme Sword God values Yi Xiaotian very much. It was normal for him to send a master to protect Yi Xiaotian. The man in black robe was a little numb. If that's the case, things are a bit troublesome. After all, they have never collected intelligence in this area at all. The situation in Xia Kingdom was so bad, but the Sword God actually sent people to protect Yi Xiaotian. This was because he did not take the safety of other base cities in Xia Kingdom into consideration. Or does the Sword God think that Yi Xiaotian alone is more important than the lives of hundreds of millions of people in Xia Kingdom? Regardless of the possibility, the heretical organization should inquire about it. Only by knowing yourself and the enemy can you fight without danger. Now that a new situation has arisen, they naturally have to investigate again. But they don't have much time. Master Crab, do you mean that the Battle of Jiangqing is over? The man in black robe calmed down and asked the giant spider crab. But the giant spider crab said leisurely, aren't there still you here? With the strength of the alien race on your back, you must have a way to deal with the masters in Jiangqing. The man in black robe was stunned. This was what he had planned. Damn it. After the man in black robe figured it out, he began to curse in his heart. This damn C clan actually has no good intentions. They are so cunning. Originally, in this battle of Jiangcheng, the high clan was the main force. But now, the C clan wants to turn their heretical organization into the main force. Even the Haishaoyuo giant snake died in the Battle of Jiangcheng. Although their heretical organization came with many masters this time, God knows how many masters are hidden in Jiangcheng. Originally, the man in black robe was still thinking of letting the sea beast take the lead and draw out all the masters from Jiangcheng to find out what was true. But now it seems that the sea clan is not easy to fool. Lord Crab, according to our agreement, the sea clan is the main force in Blue Star's home battle. Our main battlefield is in the alien space battlefield. The man in black robe reiterated the agreement between the two parties. Remind the giant spider crab not to get it wrong. Boom. Suddenly, the giant spider crab stood up like a mountain. The two thighs at the front stretched out and were nailed directly in front of the man in black robe. The atmosphere of terror spread. Are you teaching me how to do things? The giant spider crab stared at the man in black robes, or do you want to threaten me with aliens? The man in black robe sat down on the ground and almost peed in fear. These damn beasts really had no credibility at all. How shameless. There is no trace of the bravery of the orcs. Now that the human race has killed your Haishaoyuo giant snake, shouldn't you rush directly to Jiangcheng and kill everyone in Jiangcheng? Master crab, you misunderstood. I didn't mean this at all. I just think that only by closely uniting both of us can we win this war. The man in black robe quickly explained. The giant spider crab retracted its two giant legs, sat down again, and then said, it's just a misunderstanding. Go back and tell your master that the battle in Jiangcheng will be led by you. Of course, we see monsters will also send warriors to assist you. The man in black robe moved his lips, but finally chose to compromise and said, Yes, Mr. Crab, I will definitely report your words to the master word for word. The giant spider crab looked at him intently for a while, and then said leisurely, Then you go back. As for when to act, just send us a message. Don't worry, we have countless warriors from the sea tribe, and we will definitely outnumber you. Satisfied. The man in black robe wanted to cry but had no tears. What's the use of quantity? No matter how many sea tribes you send, if they don't have the strength, they will only give away their heads. A large magic spell covers it, and there is no resistance at all. It is a complete instant kill. For the truly strong, quantity puts no pressure at all. 
However, the man in black robe also knew that this matter was completely beyond his control. He could only tell his boss what the giant spider crab meant. The decision on what to do in the end would naturally be decided by the superiors. He hurriedly exited the giant spider crab's lair because he was under too much pressure here. He was about to collapse. After exiting, he immediately went back. In a valley outside Jiangqing, this is the temporary camp of the heretical organization. The purpose is to participate in the Battle of Jiangcheng and hunt down Yi Xiaotian. After the man in black robe returned here, he immediately went to see his master. A middle-aged man, about forty years old, was sitting inside a temporary wooden house. He was very elegant. Judging from his appearance, no one would think that he was a notorious heretic. Master, those sea tribesmen are really shameless. He recounted the exchange with the giant spider crab. After listening to this, the elegant middle-aged man frowned, but he was not angry. A.S. level sea serpent has already died, so are they not allowed to be afraid? Have you contacted the people in Jiangcheng? Asked the elegant middle-aged man. The black-robed man shook his head and said, No, the whole Jiangcheng has been blocked now, and we have no way to contact the people inside. What about the reincarnation world? Said the elegant middle-aged man. The black-robed man said, We are trying, but our people are not online. Master, could there be any accident? The elegant middle-aged man was silent for a moment before answering, It is possible. The power of our holy church in Jiangcheng is already very weak. The rubbish of the seventh night took away another batch, and now even if there are still alive, there are only two or three big cats and kittens. Whether these people died in the previous siege of the Sea Clan, no one can say. After all, as an awakened person, if you don't participate in the battle to defend the city, your identity will definitely be exposed immediately. But if you participate in the battle to defend the city, life and death will be another matter. There are people around, and any abnormality will be identified soon. At that time, they will die more miserably. If they die on the battlefield, they can still get the treatment of dying in battle. But if their identities are exposed, they will probably die without a complete body. So at this time, if all the pagans in Jiangcheng are killed, the elegant middle-aged man will not be surprised at all. What should we do now? There must be an ambush in Jiangcheng. The man in black robe said seriously. Chapter 260 The elegant middle-aged man fell silent and did not immediately answer the black-robed man's question. For him, this is a difficult question to answer. He needs to think about it carefully. Is there an ambush in Jiangcheng? There must be one. Otherwise, the S-level high-level Hisaluo giant snake would never die. Moreover, there are at least two to three S-level high-level experts in Jiang City. Otherwise, the Hisaluo giant snake would not even have a chance to escape back to the sea. It is definitely a big problem to kill an S-class high-level sea beast powerhouse on the beach, and it is also a local snake. After all, at this level, defeating is not difficult, but killing is a big problem. This is true for both humans and aliens. Unless the strength gap between the two sides is too big. For example, it would only be possible if there was a powerful SS-level person on the human side to take action, or several high-level S-level experts to encircle and suppress the enemy. The elegant middle-aged man did not believe that the human race would send SS-level powerful awakeners over. After all, the heretical organization knows very well how many SS-level powers the human race has. It can be said that 80% of the masters of the human race have been transferred to the foreign battlefield. Otherwise, the heretical organization would not be so arrogant. When facing the Sea Clan, he would not be so confident. After all, in this joint operation, the aliens made great efforts. In the final analysis, the Sea Clan is just playing the drums. Compared with the power faced by alien races, it is nothing to mention. Therefore, on the Blue Star mainland, it is natural that the Sea Clan will contribute more efforts. According to the idea of the heretical organization, the Sea Clan should be the main force, and their holy cult is beating the drums at the same time. Why is it reversed now? It is unlikely that SS-level power is possible, that is, 
at least three S-level awakened warriors and above have come to Jiangcheng. In other words, he was lurking beside Yi Xiaotian to protect him. The first priority of this operation was to lure these strong men away. It would be very difficult to hunt Yi Xiaotian without luring them away from Yi Xiaotian. How to lure people away? Of course it's the sea monster attacking the city. Only when Jiangqing reaches its most critical moment can these people leave Yi Xiaotian's side. Moreover, the elegant middle-aged man is sure that there will be at least one expert protecting Yi Xiaotian. So they don't have much chance. Taking advantage of the opportunity to lure people away, Yi Xiaotian launched a fatal blow when there was only one master protecting him. This is their best chance. But who can seize this opportunity, not even the elegant middle-aged man knows. But he wanted the opportunity to be his. After all, Yi Xiaotian only has one head, so there is only one person who gets the highest reward. Fortunately, they are the first batch of saints to arrive, so their chances are the greatest. But the longer time goes by, the less hope they have. After all, heretical organizations have their own branches in various countries around the world, and the larger the country, the more masters they have. The elegant middle-aged man is Lu Zhengdao, the pavilion master of the Xia Kingdom's capital branch, an S-level high-level powerhouse and an absolute master. The name is very righteous, but the path taken is evil. Originally, people were asked to contact the high clan, but it was just a process. Unexpectedly, so many things happened. After understanding the details, Lu Xingdao was also frightened into a cold sweat. Fortunately, he had an extra thought and thought about bringing the Sea Clan back. Unexpectedly, he saved his own life. He doesn't know now whether he should be grateful or cry. After guessing that there were at least three S-level high-level awakened experts around Yi Xiaotian, Lu Xingdao had no intention of going to the city to kill Yi Xiaotian. He is now thinking about how to encourage the Sea Clan to go out and create opportunities for him. After thinking about it for a while, he finally decided to meet the giant spider crab himself. It didn't matter whether Jiang Qing died or not, but Yi Xiaotian had to die. Jiang Qing Yi Xiaotian and his party went to Chang's house under the guidance of Chang Xiaosi. Fortunately, the Chang family is not far from the Han family, so it didn't take long to walk there. I used to dream about coming in and taking a look, but I didn't have the chance. Wang Hao said with envy as he looked at the surrounding environment. This is the wealthy area of Jiangcheng. Those who can live here are either middle to high level awakened people or people from aristocratic families. Orphans like them are not even qualified to come here. Once upon a time, he never would have thought that one day, he would be invited to enter here. Have you wanted to come here before? Why haven't I heard you say that? Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, I'm not, I don't have it. Why would Hao Zi say that? Han Xuyao didn't believe it. Yi Xiaotian said, that's Hao Zi himself. I definitely haven't thought about it that way. Hao Zi, is it true? Han Xuyao asked Wang Hao. Wang Hao said awkwardly, this is indeed what I thought, and it has nothing to do with brother Tian. Really? Han Xuyao felt that Wang Hao's words were a bit unbelievable. Wang Hao said sternly, it's absolutely true. Brother Tian said at the beginning that he would use his own strength to come in here in an upright manner. He did what he said. Han Xuyao looked at Yi Xiaotian with admiration and said, is this really true? Brother Tian, you are awesome. Yi Xiaotian was a little embarrassed by the praise. Chang Xiaosi covered her face and couldn't listen anymore. Vomit. Vomit. Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan looked like they were gagging. Han Xu Yao suddenly became angry, you too, stop. Help. Sun Yao asked Chang Xiaosi for help. Several beauties huddled together to form a beautiful scenery. Hey, beauties, hello. At this moment, a young man's voice sounded, and then he said quickly, sorry, I got the wrong person. After saying that, this person wanted to slip away. Stop! Chang Xiaosi shouted. When Chang Xiaosi drank the young man, he immediately stopped, turned around, showed a smile that was uglier than crying, and said, Xiao Shi, I really didn't know it was you. Why, can't I just tease you? 
Chang Xiaoxi crossed his arms and sneered. Wang Hao immediately stood next to Chang Xiaoxi and said, Xiaoxi, what's wrong? Who is he? He didn't know why, but he had a bad feeling in his heart. Could it be that there was some special relationship between this young man and Xiaoxi? Otherwise, why would you be so afraid of Xiaoxi? Don't blame Wang Hao for thinking too much, this is the only way to make sense. Chang Xiaoxi said, Chang Wei, introduce yourself to them. When the young man, Chang Wei, heard this, a very sincere smile suddenly appeared on his face, and he said, Good afternoon everyone, my name is Chang Wei, and I am Xiaoxi's cousin. Cousin. Wang Hao was stunned, and then said, Hello, cousin. Chang Xiaoxi rolled her eyes and said, Why are you joining in the fun, why are you seeking relatives, Chang Wei, it's almost dinner time, where are you going? Chapter 261 Chang Wei shrank his neck. It was obvious that this cousin was very intimidating in his mind. He said with a sneer on his face, Didn't Grandpa say that you are here and asked me to come out to greet you? Is this how you welcome people? I want to nag Grandpa, when did our Chang family's family tradition become like this? Chang Xiaoxi said. No, Xiaoxi, didn't I see you or recognize you? Chang Wei turned pale with fright. What he fears most in his life is the old man of the Chang family. It can be said that he grew up in the shadow of the old man. And Chang Xiaoxi is the old man's sweetheart. Because in the third generation of the Chang family, there is only one girl, Chang Xiaoxi. That is definitely the apple of Mr. Chang's eye. The kind that holds it in your hand for fear of falling, and holds it in your mouth for fear of melting. Therefore, the third generation men of the Chang family are all afraid of Chang Xiaoxi. Especially Chang Wei. He is one of the few libertines in the Chang family, and he plays wildly outside. Chang Xiaoxi sued him several times, and he was severely punished by the old man. So now in the Chang family, what Chang Wei fears most is not the old man, but Chang Xiaoxi. After all, the old man is old and doesn't go out. But Chang Xiaoxi could always keep an eye on him. He had teased her before, but unexpectedly, he bumped into Chang Xiaoxi's hand. If this is told to the old man of the Chang family, he will have a difficult time for a while. If you don't beg for mercy at this time, why don't you keep it for the new year? Anyway, he was used to begging for mercy in front of Chang Xiaoxi. He came to Wang Hao and said loudly, Brother, at first glance, you look majestic and majestic, with jade trees facing the wind, a strong back and strong waist, and a heroic figure. At first glance, you look like a strange man. I think, brother, you are Yi Shao Tian, the great god of Haotian. After saying that, he held Wang Hao's hand and shook it continuously. Wang Hao looked embarrassed. Others had strange looks on their faces. After shaking for a while, Chang Wei felt something was wrong. He grabbed Wang Hao's hand and asked Chang Xiaoxi, Xiaoxi, what do they mean? Chang Xiaoxi was furious with this cousin. As expected, mud cannot support the wall. I know how to fool around every day. Now Jiangqing's TV and internet are full of videos and photos of Yi Xiao Tian and the others, and even children of several years old can recognize them. But when I got here, I still recognized the wrong person, it was simply incredible. Chang Xiaoxi put her hand on her forehead and said with a cold face, You have recognized the wrong person. He is Haotian great god Yi Xiao Tian. A brighter smile appeared on Chang Wei's face, and he turned to hold Yi Xiao Tian's hand, and then shook it again, saying, I really didn't expect that all of Haotian's teammates are so talented. They are indeed worthy of their reputation. The team brought by the great master. Master, I am your diehard fan. Chang Wei wisely implemented the strategy that as long as I am not embarrassed, then others will be embarrassed. He was smiling all over his face, and it was impossible to tell that just now he had recognized the wrong person and praised the wrong person. He praised Yi Xiao Tian again. Yi Xiao Tian pulled his hand back hard and asked, Brother Chang Wei, do you know martial arts? Chang Wei was stunned for a moment, not understanding what Yi Xiao Tian meant by asking this question. Of course, I am a melee warrior, and our Chang family is a family of warriors. Chang Wei said, waving his arm in a show-off manner. 
Unfortunately, his arms looked weak and his face was a little pale, looking like he was overindulging himself. Master, you asked me if I know martial arts. Do you want to invite me to join your team? Don't worry, I will definitely agree. Chang Wei continued. It looked like he had joined the famous Haokian team, and he didn't have to make drafts to brag in the future. Of course Yi Xiao Tian didn't invite him to join his team, and it's not like he was out of his mind. He just thought of a joke from his past life, so he asked it casually. At this time, he put away his smile and said, No, I'm just asking casually, Xiao Si, let's go quickly, don't keep your grandpa waiting. Chang Xiao Si glared at Chang Wei fiercely and shouted, Why don't you lead the way? Chang Wei didn't mean to be embarrassed at all. He showed a very sincere smile to Yi Xiao Tian and said, Master, remember, if your team is short of people, you must think of me. Yi Xiao Tian thought to himself, even if my team is short of people again, I will never do this to you. The logistics are probably not good enough, let alone the combat. Judging from his vain appearance, he would probably have weak legs on the battlefield. No wonder Chang Xiaoxi didn't want to see him so much. Chang Xiaoxi is a strong girl. Chang Wei led the way, and Chang Xiaoxi was there to control him, so he didn't dare to make any more mistakes. Although beauties are nice, life is more important. As long as you keep your life, what kind of beauties aren't out there? So cherish life and stay away from Chang Xiaoxi. This is Chang Wei's usual principle. And he will definitely stick to this principle for the rest of his life. I used to be afraid of Chang Xiaoxi because she had an old man behind her. It's different now. Chang Xiaoxi's own strength is not something he can compete with. He was even more afraid. He was very honest along the way and didn't dare to glance around. When they arrived at the Chang family's residence, the old man of the Chang family was waiting at the gate in person. Yi Xiao Tian and others hurried forward and said they did not dare. Mr. Chang was in a good mood and said with a loud smile, The great god Haokian and the Haokian team can come to the humble house and make it shine. Grandpa Chang, we are all juniors. If you say that, I don't dare to enter the Chang family. Yi Xiao Tian said so. Don't look at the monk's face, look at the Buddha's face. Chang Xiaoxi is his teammate, and Wang Hao is his brother. Of course, he has to give the Chang family enough face. Upon hearing this, Grandpa Chang said, Okay, okay, then I won't be polite. Come on, come on, everyone, please come in, Xiaoxi, hurry up and greet your teammates. Wang Hao was very nervous and almost fell when he entered the door. Fortunately, Huang Jia supported him in time and said, Calm down. Wang Hao said unhappily, Fatty, the matter has not been spread to you, of course you are calm. As the saying goes, care makes you confused. Wang Hao was too nervous about the impression of the Chang family on him, so his emotions were a little out of control. He was afraid of losing etiquette in front of the Chang family, but the more he did so, the more things went the other way. He almost fell at the door. Fortunately, no one except Chang Wei noticed his loss of composure. As for Chang Wei, he didn't think much about it. He just wanted to reduce his presence to zero. Otherwise, if the Chang family knew about what happened before, he would be in trouble. Although Yi Xiao Tian said not to be too polite, the Chang family was still very polite. Chang Xiaoxi's grandfather, her father, several uncles and other elders of the Chang family surrounded him, making him very uncomfortable. He winked at Han Shuyao and Chang Xiaoxi repeatedly, asking them to help. This time, Han Shuyao didn't stick to Yi Xiao Tian, but walked with Chang Xiaoxi. The two women covered their mouths and laughed softly, and had no intention of helping Yi Xiao Tian out. Chapter 262 If it was an unrelated person, Yi Xiao Tian would not be able to pretend. But facing the elders of his teammates, he couldn't pretend, and he couldn't pretend. He still prefers the way of getting along with the old man of the Han family. The elders are the elders, the juniors are the juniors, you can do whatever you want. Of course the Han family can. But the Chang family didn't dare. Everyone in the Han family knows the relationship between Yi Xiao Tian and Han Xuyao. But what about Chang Xiaoxi? She is just an ordinary member of the Haokian team. 
although Chang Xiaoxi and Han Xuyao are best friends. But the Chang family can't take this seriously. How can team, being able to have Chang Xiaoxi join it is already enough to give them face. Go out and find out how many S-level or even SS-level talent awakeners want to join the Houtian team. Not to mention other things, just being in a team with great god Houtian is already a great honor. The Chang family is afraid that one day the daughter of their family is kicked out of Wu Tian's team because her talent level is too low, then the Chang family will have to live. So let alone being polite or enthusiastic, they even wanted to worship Yi Xiao Tian as their ancestor. It's a pity that countless people want to worship Yi Xiao Tian as their ancestor, but they haven't had the chance yet. Let's take a look at how the members of Houtian team are treated. All team copies are rated as super gods. Get full marks. What's the meaning? This means that their reincarnation points are infinitely higher than others. Isn't there a saying like that? As long as there are enough reincarnation points, even a pig can be trained to become a god. Unfortunately, it is difficult to obtain reincarnation points. This is especially true for ordinary awakened people. Even for those genius awakened ones, although it is easier to obtain, it is still limited. There is definitely no such thing as Yi Xiaotian and his team members. Even those supreme experts cannot be like the members of Yi Xiaotian's team. All team copies have been evaluated by super gods. Now all the awakened people are curious about one question, that is, the super god has evaluated the team copy, how many points can be obtained for the first pass, and how many points can be obtained for subsequent passes. Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao both saw this question, but did not answer it. It's so hateful. Although there is no clear answer. But everyone knows that copy points are based on evaluation. The higher the rating, the more points will be awarded. So far, the published dungeon points have only reached the SS level. Some people even spent a lot of money to find the answer to this question, but failed. Since there is no answer to this question, someone wants to join the Houtian team. It's a pity that since Yi Xiaotian's identity as the great god Houtian was exposed, no one knew his whereabouts. It is said that countless students from Shanghai University of Science and Technology regretted their studies so much that their intestines turned blue. They regretted not seizing the opportunity to join Yi Xiaotian's team when school started. But having said that, at that time, the reputation of Yi Xiaotian and his team at Shanghai University was indeed not very good. It would be polite enough not to step on them. Now that Yi Xiaotian and his Houtian team have arrived in Jiangcheng, there are countless people who want to join his team. But Chang Wei is the only one who can really say it shamelessly. After having dinner at the Chang family, the Chang family naturally strongly invited them to stay. But Yi Xiaotian still refused. He would never live in the Chang family even to death. And because of the relationship between Mu Bingyan and Sun Yao, it was not easy for Yi Xiaotian to live in the Han family. So in the end, Yi Xiaotian and his team members all went to the reception hotel of the city lord's mansion. The reception hotel in the city lord's mansion is naturally of the best quality. The city lord Lu Jiang personally arranged accommodation for Yi Xiaotian and the others, and then came to Yi Xiaotian's room to discuss the issue of Yi Xiaotian becoming Jiangqing's image ambassador. Yi Xiaotian just said, City Lord Lu, I don't have much time, so as long as it's publicity that doesn't require my cooperation, you can make your own decision. As long as it won't have a negative impact on my personal reputation and image, you can go. Do. Jiangqing gave birth to me and raised me. I should also do my part for Jiangqing. It's just that the situation now is quite special, so there's only so much I can do. After the matter in Jiangqing is over, I have to go to other base cities and even alien battlefields. When Lu Jiang heard this, he immediately stood in awe and said, Mr. Yi is very righteous, so I won't talk nonsense. Thank you very much, Mr. Yi, for everything you have done for Jiang Cheng. After Lu Jiang finished speaking, he didn't bother Yi Xiaotian any longer. He said goodbye and went back, preparing to summon the heads of major organizations in the city lord's palace to make plans on how to use Yi Xiaotian's influence to attract talents and investment for Jiangcheng. That night, there was an endless stream of people going to the reception hotel. They had one thing in mind, that is, they wanted to see Yi Xiaotian. 
However, it is obvious that the hotel has received instructions from the city owner Ji Jiang not to disturb Yi Xiaotian's rest. Therefore, the hotel treats all those who ask for a meeting with caution. These awakened people or aristocratic families who are well known in Jiangcheng can only do the next best thing and give gifts. I can't see anyone, so I can just put the gifts down. Some were even decisive and put their things directly in the hotel lobby, and the people left. The hotel manager almost cried when he saw this. Everyone knows that Jiangcheng is at a critical moment, and Yi Xiaotian is the key figure in Jiangcheng's survival. They are naturally ecstatic that Yi Xiaotian can live in the hotel. No matter what, if Yi Xiaotian lives here, then this is the safest place in the whole Jiangcheng. But if Yi Xiaotian is not satisfied with them at all, then it is a small matter for him to lose his job as a hotel manager. If he is directly demoted to the outside of the city by the city lord to kill strange beasts, that would be a big deal. But people bring gifts here, they can't just throw them away. In desperation, they can only ask people to sort these things out and then ask the city lord for instructions. After listening to Lu Jiang, he only said one sentence, you can accept the things, just don't disturb Mr. Ye's rest, and wait until dawn. After all, these things are for Yi Xiaotian. They are not qualified to make decisions for Yi Xiaotian. After Yi Xiaotian and others have rested tomorrow, they will report the situation and let him make his own decision. It doesn't matter whether you return it, throw it away directly, or use other methods to deal with it. At this moment, Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao have entered the world of reincarnation. He is going to take them to play the B-level team dungeon. So he has no idea what happened in the hotel lobby. In fact, Yi Xiaotian hasn't been to the world of reincarnation for almost two months. In fact, the rewards from playing the dungeon are not as good as hunting monsters outside, except for the first pass, so he is too lazy to come. Of course, only he is qualified to say such things. If it were someone else, even if the rewards were small, they would have to play every day. Chapter 263 if other awakeners knew that Yi Xiaotian and his team members wasted their time every day, they would probably be envious and hateful to the point of vomiting blood. At this time, Jiangcheng's publicity work also began. Lu Jiang spent a lot of money this time. He spent his reincarnation points and sent the content of the promotional video into the reincarnation world, and then used the reincarnation world as a transit station to radiate to the entire Xia country. In other words, radiating the whole world cost too much and he couldn't bear it. Otherwise, he really wanted to tell the world that Haotian God came from our Jiangcheng. Our Jiangcheng is a place with outstanding people and beautiful scenery. You all should come quickly. Jiangcheng is a blessed land for all mankind. If you come, you will be the second Haotian God. It must be said that Jiangcheng still has talents. Yi Xiaotian's influence has been used to the extreme. Tell others directly that as long as you come to Jiangcheng, you may very well be the second Haotian god. After this promotional video was launched on the national network, it immediately caused a huge sensation. Just as Lu Jiang had expected, after knowing that the great god Haotian came from Jiangcheng, whether they believed it or not, they all wanted to try their luck. Even more, many people's eyes were cast on the members of the Haotian team. For example, some noble families who found out about the identities of Chang Xiaoxi and Han Xuyao started to think about a marriage or something. Wang Hao also entered their sight. This is a friend who grew up with Yi Xiaotian, and the relationship must be different. If he can be taken down, there will be a strong hub between him and the great god Haotian in the future. This is the brother of a future supreme powerhouse. Even if Yi Xiaotian died in the end and could not become a supreme powerhouse, it would not matter. It's an investment. There are always losses and gains. So countless people took action, showing their magical powers and rushing to Jiangcheng. Of course, this is even more true for Yi Xiaotian himself. He is always the first target. But most people know that it is very difficult to take down the great god Haotian. But dreams always have to be had, what if they come true? Those who can come, bring them directly. Those who can't come, bring a lot of photos. In short, whether it's handsome guys or beautiful girls, the quality is absolutely impeccable. A large group of people rushed to Jiangcheng. 
When Lu Jiang heard the news, his mouth was almost unable to close. No matter why they came, as long as they came, it would be fine. Jiang Cheng will benefit. And now Jiang Cheng is being attacked by sea beasts. If these people come, can they just stare and not help? Just when countless people rushed to Jiang Cheng from all over the country, a series of world announcements sounded again in the sky above the reincarnation world. Yi Xiao Tian brought his Haokian team and once again made their names resound throughout the reincarnation world. But this time, there was no excitement on the public channel before. Some things are very exciting the first time, very passionate the second time, and very agitated the third time. But the fourth time, you will be very calm. After all, things are not more than three times, and they will be exhausted after three times. At most, everyone would say on the public channel, Haokian Master is so awesome, Haokian Team is so awesome, all members are already B-level Awakeners. And then, nothing happened. Since they are already B-level Awakeners, they might as well work hard. Do you still have any shame for chatting and gossiping here? So after a short period of excitement, the public channel became calm again, even silent. The Awakeners abroad were very strange. Isn't this the time when Xia Awakeners are most excited? They know the extent of the excitement very well. At the beginning, they could still say a few sarcastic words and make some sarcasm. But later, they were too lazy to make sarcasm, because even they themselves could feel the sourness. It's so embarrassing. But this time, why didn't the Xia people get crazy? Are the Xia people scared silly by the sea beasts? Why are they not happy at this time? Yes, aren't they the most noisy at this time? Maybe they were beaten by the sea beasts and didn't have time to come in and make noise? Yes, the sea beasts have come ashore recently, and there are more and more masters. We can't hold on here. Not only the sea beasts, the situation on the alien battlefield is also not good. Can our blue star human race still hold on this time? As he spoke, the public channel leaned towards the sea beasts and alien races. After all, this time the commotion was very big, second only to the time when the Samsara Tower just descended. If they don't deal with it properly, the blue star human race may fall. You are still chatting here, the Xia people are already desperately brushing the dungeon. If you don't work hard, you will be surpassed by the Xia people. I don't know when, a sentence appeared on the public channel. Really? Damn Xia people, they are so cunning. That's right, Xia people, so shameless. They actually hid it from us and worked hard in secret. No more talking, I have to work hard too, work hard to improve myself and fight sea beasts. Forget about the above, just forget about it, he is just a newcomer, he will be the main food for sea beasts if he goes. Fake you, what's wrong with a newcomer? Don't newcomers have human rights? Hao Tian is also a newcomer, why don't you talk about him? It's really funny. You dare to compare yourself with the great god Hao Tian, a bunch of rubbish. Without the intervention of the Xia people, a group of foreigners quarreled on the public channel. But they suddenly stopped quarreling, and no one was talking. I don't know if it was because the awakened people of Xia country took the lead in entering the state of hard work, and the foreigners couldn't hold on. When Yi Xiao Tian and his friends came out of the reincarnation world, it was already dawn. The B-level team dungeon, whether it is the number of alien beasts or the quality of alien beasts, is a qualitative improvement. Of course, the greater the difficulty, the greater the reward. Especially Yi Xiao Tian. All of them are B-level or above alien beasts, and it is the first time to pass the dungeon. This reward is absolutely huge. It is greater than the reward of brushing high-level sea beasts on the east coast. Of course, this refers to reincarnation points and life essence. Even the talent skills, but there is none. Let Yi Xiao Tian sigh that killing people or killing alien beasts in reality is the best way to gain talent skills. In one night, many awakened masters who lived in the inland base city close to Jiangqing, as well as people from awakened families, had already arrived in Jiangqing base city. They first went to the city lord's mansion to inquire about Yi Xiao Tian's whereabouts. Lu Jiang didn't want to say it at first, but later more and more people came, and he was under great pressure. 
In the end, he could only tell them that Yi Xiaotian and his team members were resting in the reception hotel of the city lord's mansion. He could inform them on their behalf, but they must not force their way in. Chapter 264 Except for the city lord's mansion, the Chang family has the most visitors. It's not because of other reasons, but because some people are more informed and know that Han Shuyao and Yi Xiaotian have a close relationship, so they dare not make any plans. But some people who are not well informed and don't know this news. Naturally, they set their sights on Han Shuyao. After all, from what they know, Han Shuyao is more beautiful than the Chang family. And Han Shuyao is also an S-level Thunder Awakener. But everyone knows that the members of the Haokian team cannot be simply evaluated by their talent grade. After all, they may be S-level today and SS-level tomorrow. In the Haokian team, the most legendary one is the Shield Warrior Wang Hao, who has risen from a C-level Talent Awakener to an S-level Talent and is called the Son of the Will of Reincarnation. These are all recorded, and as long as there is a little connection, they can be found in the Awakening Bureau. So even if someone says that the general talent grade of the members of the Haokian team is too low, they will be criticized by others to doubt their lives. Is this a problem? This is not a problem at all. When the great god Haokian is here, the talent level of these people in the future will at least start at SS level. So smart people know that they should take advantage of the fact that they have not yet completely risen and strike first. At this time, the Chang family is about to become a vegetable market, and the gate is almost trampled. Since the establishment of the Chang family, it has never been so lively. No, the guests have never been of such high quality and so many people. Those who can come to the Chang family at this time are all aristocratic children and awakening masters from Jiangcheng or several nearby base cities. This is just because the time is short, otherwise there must be more people. The old man of the Chang family did not show up. He hid in the name of needing to recuperate. The one who received these people was Chang Xiaoxi's father, the current head of the Chang family, Chang Qing. Chang Qing is now in pain and happiness. The pain is naturally too many people, which makes his face a little stiff when he smiles. As for happiness. Since he became the head of the family, no, since the beginning of the Chang family, there has never been such a lively scene. However, he would not make a hasty decision about his daughter's marriage. Can he make the decision on Chang Xiaoxi's marriage now? Not to mention him, even his father, the old man and founder of the Chang family, can't handle it. Chang Xiaoxi has to make the decision herself. Because she is a member of the Haotian team, who dares to make a decision for her? I'm sorry, I really can't make a decision on this matter. The old man is the one who makes the decision in our family. Old man. Several sea beasts attacked the city, and the old man was seriously injured. He is still recuperating. Yes, at such an old age, he fought for ten days and nights and almost died in the hands of the sea beasts. Yes, it's not easy. It's useless for my generation. The old man is so old and he has to go to the battlefield in person. There's no way. Jiang Cheng was almost gone. The old men of each family took over. Those who were seriously injured are still recuperating. What? You are too proud to see guests. Absolutely impossible. External injuries are easy to heal, but internal injuries are difficult to heal. Everyone is an awakener, and you should know this truth very well. So it's reasonable for the old man to recuperate for a longer time, right? Chang Qing almost drooled. He didn't know how much tea he drank. He was about to vomit when he saw the tea. But people still came to the door in an endless stream. Locals from Jiangcheng, nearby base cities, and even base cities further away, one group after another. In fact, they had to receive several groups at a time. The old man hid himself, and if he, the head of the family, didn't step up, he would offend people. Although he was not afraid, there was no need. The same scene also happened in the Han family. But Han Jing's life was much better than Chang Qing's. Oh, Xu Yao's marriage, she's already in love. What, cautious? Indeed, children's marriages do need to be cautious, but my daughter's boyfriend is very good, and we are also very satisfied. What, your son is better, 
impossible. To tell you the truth, our Xu Yao is in love with Yi Xiao Tian. Yes, they are in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. And then, there was nothing else. Damn, it's come to this point, who dares to say that their son is better? If you dare to say it, bring it out for comparison. You don't know until you compare. Once you compare, you will be shocked. No matter how outstanding a genius is, he will be compared to trash. It's uncomfortable and I want to cry. Then these people turned around and went to the Chang family. Then Chang Qing was even more miserable. If Chang Xiaoxi hadn't joined the Houtian team, there would be so many marriage proposals. He would wake up laughing in his dreams. But now, things are the other way around. I can't say bad things to them. I can only smile on my face and MMP in my heart. When he heard Han Jing's easy response, he felt even more uncomfortable. After all, after the news came out, fewer and fewer people went to the Han family to propose marriage, and even none. Because no one wants to hit a wall. But more and more people will come to the Chang family. There are two other girls in the Houtian team. Let's not talk about Mu Bingyan. Until now, even Yi Xiao Tian and the others don't know where she came from. It is estimated that there are few people outside who know. As for Sun Yao's family, there is only an old grandmother, and there are people from the Magic City University watching over them, so naturally no one will mess around. The Magic City base city is too far away, so they just came to Jiangqing first. Moreover, in the Magic City base city, there are countless awakened forces. How could such an outstanding woman like Sun Yao be the turn of these second and third rate forces? The threshold has probably been trampled by people who want to propose marriage. It is better not to waste time on useless work. Find the target and strike first, this is the wise choice. Two days later, Chang Qing couldn't hold on any longer. He called his daughter and told her the situation, and even expressed his envy of Han Jing, a man, who could be so relaxed. Finally, he said, my daughter, the gate is about to be demolished, think of a way. Chang Xiaoxi heard it, what can I do, I am not in love with Yi Xiaotian. No. Although I am not in love with Yi Xiaotian, my relationship with Wang Hao is not ordinary. Although Chang Xiaoxi has never officially admitted his relationship with Wang Hao. But the whole team knows that Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi are in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. It's just that Chang Xiaoxi has always been very arrogant. Although she didn't admit it, her body was very sincere. Some intimate actions, if you say they are not boyfriend-girlfriend, people won't believe it. But is it really useful to tell Wang Hao's identity? Although Wang Hao is also a member of the Houtian team and is a brother of Yi Xiaotian, he can't compare with Yi Xiaotian in terms of external influence. Dad, Wang Hao and I are dating, can this make you feel relieved? Chapter, 265 Chang Qin was shocked when he heard the voice on the phone. What an unexpected game. His original plan was just to complain to his daughter and let her know how hard her father was working now. I didn't expect that. His daughter took down Wang Hao without saying a word. Who is Wang Hao? A member of the Houtian team and the brother of Yi Xiaotian, the great god of Houtian, they grew up together and lived in the same room. They were not real brothers, but better than real brothers. Therefore, Wang Hao's future achievements will definitely not be low. A thought flashed through Chang Qing's mind before, it would be great if her daughter could have a successful relationship with Wang Hao. But he also knew it very well. Compared with Sun Yao and Mu Bingyan, his daughter is still a step behind. So he didn't mention this matter. I really didn't expect that. Daughter, you are amazing. Chang Qing couldn't help but praise. What? Chang Xiaoxi was a little confused, what's so great about this? You are my father's pride for being able to win over Wang Hao. Xiao Xi, you must cherish this hard-won fate and don't always act petty. Do you understand? Chang Qing explained in a serious tone. Chang Xiaoxi was stunned. What was this? She was a passive person, so when she got to her father's place, it was as if she couldn't wait to knock Wang Hao down. She hung up the phone very decisively and couldn't hold on any longer. Wang Hao saw that Chang Xiaoxi answered the phone, and when he came back, his face looked a little strange. 
He was shocked and asked concernedly, what's wrong? What happened? Seeing Wang Hao's anxious and concerned look, Chan Xiaoxi felt warm in her heart. Maybe her father was right and she should cherish it. It's okay. My dad called and said that there were many guests at home and he was a little tired. Chang Xiaoxi said casually. When Wang Hao heard this, he breathed a sigh of relief and said, Oh, those people should be here to see Brother Tian. He has promised City Lord Lu to become Jiangqing's publicity ambassador. City Lord Lu also told everyone that Brother Tian is in Jiangqing. If these people don't come, that's weird. Chang Xiaoxi said with a strange expression, Do you think they are here to find Yi Xiao Tian? Isn't it? Wang Hao said hesitantly. Chang Xiaoxi said, Just say so. Wang Hao didn't think much about it, thinking that he had guessed it right. Then he said, Xiao Xi, what do you plan to exchange for the reincarnation points this time? Chang Xiaoxi was a little annoyed. Apart from cultivation matters, is there nothing else to talk about between us? Wang Hao, how about we go out for a walk? Wang Hao was stunned, a little surprised, a little surprised, but also a little worried, can we go out now? Chang Xiaoxi said, what does our relationship have to do with you? You are not Yi Xiao Tian. Wang Hao's eyes lit up and he said, Yes, we will definitely not be able to get out if we follow Brother Tian, but we are fine. They all knew that the hotel lobby was crowded with people, all of whom wanted to see Yi Xiao Tian. So they all felt that as long as Yi Xiao Tian didn't show up, there would be no problem. But it's obvious that they are a bit self effacing. The first target of those in the lobby was naturally Yi Xiao Tian, but they were also very enthusiastic about the other members of the Haokian team. So when Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi appeared in the lobby downstairs, they were immediately surrounded. With Yi Xiaotian's identity exposed, the identities of the other members of Haotian's team naturally cannot be concealed. Whether it is in Jiangcheng or in the Magic City, there are a large number of people who know their information, and they will know it after a little inquiry and investigation. What's more, those who can find this place at this time are all well-informed people. So not only their identity information but also their appearance is also very clear. Wang Hao was startled when he saw the crowd swarming in. He quickly protected Chang Xiaoxi behind him and said loudly, What are you doing? Stay back and stop crowding. The enthusiasm of the crowd directly drowned out Wang Hao's words. Classmate Wang Hao, I am from the Qin family in Jiangcheng. Classmate Wang Hao, I am from the Lu family in Jiangcheng. Wang Hao could only hear the first part of a lot of words clearly, but could not hear the rest clearly. There was so much talk that his ears went deaf for a moment. Everyone, be quiet. Wang Hao had no choice but to yell, and the noise that had just filled the entire lobby suddenly fell silent. Wang Hao felt a little guilty, but he quickly became tough again and said, Everyone, I don't know who you are, and I don't care what your purpose is. Now I have to go out for something. Please make way for us. Thank you. He held Chang Xiaoxi's little hand tightly, very nervous, and he didn't know if what he said was useful. If everyone doesn't give him this face, he doesn't know what to do. Can we still kill him directly? Not to mention whether he has this ability, if he really dares to do this, he will probably be spitted to death. Fortunately, everyone was very considerate. Seeing that he was anxious, they quickly got out of the way, and then watched Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi leave the hotel. After they left, everyone sighed. They are all from Jiangcheng and nearby base cities. They are said to be from aristocratic families, but their scale is limited. At worst, they are almost the same as the Han family and Chang family in Jiangcheng, not much stronger. So they really didn't dare to be too presumptuous in front of Wang Hao. No matter what, Wang Hao is a member of the Haokian team, and he is also Yi Xiaotian's brother. This is the best brother of the future supreme power. Who dares to offend this? At least, these people in front of him don't dare. We just came out like this. After running out of the hotel, Wang Hao was still a little bit unbelievable. Chang Xiaoxi said, What do you think? You are already angry, do those people dare not give way? Do I have such a strong deterrent power? Wang Hao scratched his head a little. Chang Xiaoxi said, Don't be confident, they are all for Yi Xiaotian's face, 
at least now. But I believe that one day, just based on your name Wang Hao, others will give you face. Wang Hao didn't have any jealousy, but smiled and said, Do you believe me so much? Chang Xiaoxi was a little entangled in her heart, but in the end she still said firmly, Of course, I believe you. Xiaoxi, thank you, don't worry, I will definitely treat you well, definitely. Wang Hao said firmly, adding several definitely. Chang Xiaoxi said, I believe you, otherwise I wouldn't go out with you. So where are we going now? Wang Hao had never dated a girl alone, and he didn't know where to go next. Chang Xiaoxi said, whatever, let's just walk around and then go home for lunch. Going home for lunch, just us. Wang Hao was a little surprised, but also a little nervous. Yes, just us. Chang Xiaoxi said. Chapter, 266 Wang Hao and Chang Xiaoxi acted alone, but Yi Xiaotian couldn't. Not to mention that he couldn't leave the hotel now, even if he could leave, he couldn't leave alone with Han Shuyao. Where would the other teammates be? In fact, he also knew that Mu Bingyan and the others would definitely not mind. But Yi Xiaotian couldn't do that. If you want to leave, then leave together. If you want to stay, then stay together. Actually, Brother Tian, if you and Sister Xu Yao leave the hotel, we can be more free. Huang Jie stabbed Yi Xiao Tian in the chest. Fatty, what nonsense are you talking about? Sun Yao scolded mischievously. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned. So, the clown was actually me? Xu Yao, how about we go? Yi Xiao Tian looked at Han Xu Yao. Fortunately, there was this little cotton jacket around him who had never abandoned him. Han Xuyao pointed at Huang Jia and Sun Yao and said, You too, apologize, or you won't have dinner tonight. Forget it, Brother Tian, I can't pretend anymore, let's just go. Halfway through, Han Xuyao changed the subject and pulled Yi Xiao Tian outside. But when they reached the corridor outside, the two hesitated again. It's not that they were embarrassed. It's that the front lobby was crowded with people, that is, they lived on the top floor, and the city lord's mansion issued a death order not to let anyone come up to disturb them. Otherwise, they would not have a peaceful life here. The temptation of Houtian God and Houtian team is too great. Especially when all members of Houtian team broke through the B-level Awakener, it was even more so. Countless people made joining Houtian team their first goal. This is completely a case of one person's success, and everyone else's success. In the history of the Samsara Tower, there has never been someone as fierce as Yi Xiaotian. It's okay if he is awesome. His team members are so awesome. Some people even suggested that Yi Xiaotian should lead Awakeners to play dungeons. The previous dungeons have been played, so we can bring more people to the A-level team dungeons. However, because the war was stalemate, this matter was temporarily suppressed. But the news came out after the matter was suppressed. Now there is such an opportunity, these people are still pestering. If they miss this time, they probably won't see Isaiah Ocean's true face again in this life. So even if they don't sleep or eat and stay here, they have to see Yishao Tian. Regardless of whether they can squeeze people in, it's good to say a word to Yishao Tian. It's okay to touch him. In the future, they will have the capital to brag. So after a few days, the number of people in the lobby of the City Lord's Mansion's reception hotel has not decreased, but has gathered more and more. If it continues like this, it will not be able to fit in. Of course, there are also smart people who have taken other routes. For example, looking for the Han family. Isn't your daughter from the Han family in love with the great god Houtian? In other words, there shouldn't be any problem in getting someone into the Houtian team, right? So the door of the Han family was almost broken. Han Jing, who was originally drinking tea leisurely and laughing at Chang Qing, couldn't laugh anymore. The hall of the Han family was already full of people. They were all well-known people. Except for a few local people in Jiangcheng, the others came from other places. As the saying goes, don't hit a smiling person. They came with gifts and smiles, you can't just drive them out. Although the Han family is now in the limelight because of Yi Xiaotian, it is not to the point where they can ignore these people. In the final analysis, they are looking at Yi Xiaotian's face, 
not because the Han family really has such strength. Everyone, such things are really not something I can decide. My ability is limited. Please forgive me for being unable to help. Han Jing was very polite in his words, without any pretense. Master Han, you are too modest. We just want you to introduce Mr. Yi. Yes, Master Han, Mr. Yi is your son-in-law. If you say something, it will definitely work. Han Jing's face became serious and he said, My dear brother, my daughter is just dating Mr. Yi and we are not married yet, so I really can't do anything about this matter. Master Han, don't belittle yourself. We have all heard about the relationship between your daughter and Mr. Yi. Now it's all over the internet. We know it very well. Yes, Master Han, just give us a message because we have come all the way here with sincerity. Having said this, if Han Jing doesn't give us a message, he will offend everyone. Anyway, it's just a message. It's not like he's forcing Yi Xiao Tian to decide anything. It should be fine, right? After thinking for a while, Han Jing said, Okay, then I'll call my daughter and let her know. As for whether she will see him or not, I don't know. Thank you, Mr. Han. The group quickly stood up and thanked Han Jing. Han Jing's smile was very stiff, although it felt good to be praised by everyone. But he was not yet confused and knew that this was not directed at him. Putting aside the relationship with Yi Xiao Tian, people simply didn't bother to pay attention to him. When Han Jing called, Han Xuyao and Yi Xiao Tian were hesitating in the corridor of the top floor suite. My dad's phone. Han Xuyao took it out and said to Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian said, See if there's anything. Han Xuyao answered immediately and said, Dad, what's wrong? Han Jing whispered the story over there, and finally said, Xuyao, the house is almost full of people, and they are blocking the front door. I have no choice, so I made this call. Han Xuyao immediately laughed and said, Dad, I say you deserve it. Who told you to laugh at Uncle Chang two days ago? Han Jing said speechlessly, I say, kid, are you my daughter or his Uncle Chang's daughter? Han Xuyao was not afraid at all, and said, I will side with whoever is right. Han Jing felt a pain in his heart. This daughter really can't be kept. It's only been a few days since he returned to Jiangcheng, and he has already stabbed him several times. Okay, I know about this matter, I will tell him. Jokes aside, things still need to be done. Han Jing said, okay, I'll hang up then. After hanging up the phone, Han Jing breathed a sigh of relief, returned to the hall, and said to everyone, I've already delivered the message, otherwise you all go back first, and I'll have someone notify everyone when there's a response. Everyone hesitated for a while after hearing this, and had to leave first. Otherwise, we really can't keep blocking here, right? That would be too much. Thank you so much, Brother Han, I'll wait for your good news. Yes, Brother Han, I live in Building 28 of the community, and I can come right away if Brother Han calls me. Fuck, Lao Li, that's great, you actually bought a house here. I'm unlucky, I came a little late, and didn't get it, alas. Han Jing didn't know what to say. He didn't expect that Yi Xiao Tian had only been back for a few days, and the promotional video had only been released for two days, and Jiangqing's houses were not enough to sell.